Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Press start. Uh, and this happened last time. You actually have to be tabbed into the game to what? do it. And also Just my controller what? needs to Six be on. Months. Let's start there we the challenge. Go. I have Julian, the love of my life. Speaking of Julian, did y'all see what I tweeted yesterday? There was an article from Screen Rant, I think is what they're called. They made an article. So I posted on Reddit, the Animal Crossing subreddit. About halfway through my progress of decorating every single house in the game to... Oh yeah, I should have changed the time. Wait, no, I can change the time on the train, right? Anyway, um, I made a Reddit post when I was like halfway through decorating all the houses and I was like... Oh, here's who has the best score so far. And some goober, who I don't remember the name of, and even if I did, I probably shouldn't say it. That's wrong! So, getting started? What time does it say that I should start this at? What time do I should say, say I should start this at? Does it say it all? Oh, set the internal clock on the Wii? On the Wii?! July at 17 o'clock. Okay, 17 o'clock. I believe that's what they call it. All right, there we go. 17 o'clock on July on 2030. July. All right, I guess let's go the first for posterity's sake and then let's go 2030. There you go. That's the time that we got to set it to. That's what it says. Now, it says Oh. It says the Wii because you can play GameCube games on the Wii, so I'm assuming this thinks that we're doing it on the Wii. So, we'll see. I assume that that also is the case for... No, I'm not a psycho, man. Don't worry. Enter my name. Of course, like, the ideal thing to do would be to not type in your whole ass name. But that's fine. I'm going to do it anyway because I'm a bad dude who don't give a shit about nothing, alright? This will be interesting? I think so. I don't think we'll finish GameCube today, to be honest with you. Um, that is an odd name. Yo. Supernova Starlights. Thanks so much for the uh, subscription. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Where am I headed? I don't know, man. Fish. All caps, fish. Is there like a fishing... Uh, hang on. Is there like a fishing... No, 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 no. How do I change the... No, 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 Don't go back. I want... Not caps, but... How... How do you change, like, to the symbols? How do you change the symbols? Partying face. And I'm not talking the instrument. Like this? Like this? There we go. Is there a fish? <laughs> There's a fish. I don't have room to write anymore. It's damn five characters. It's four. You go over to icons. That's what I was trying. It's it, that it, it's it's more the button that I needed to press. Yeah, icons. I I I I, I, I thanks chat. Thanks. It's more just like figuring out how to get over to the icons. All right, I guess it's just all caps fish. Yo, Cloetta, thank you as well for the two months in a, in a row as well. Hey, Governor. Thank you. Leave me alone! You haven't found a place to live yet? Please fuck yourself, alright? It's a very stressful time for me, and he's laughing in my face. The three genders, male, female, and infinity. So true, bestie. So true. Do you see there are new soccer outfits in Switch Sports today? I was watching somebody play Switch Sports. I didn't know that there was new soccer outfits. No. No, I can't say I knew that. Rover laughs at the homeless? Yeah, my man's is just like, you ain't got a place to live, idiot. This is my dissertation. Rover, how, why Rover would be canceled on the internet if this game came out in 2022? Maybe that's why they had to tone down the dialogue. Nintendo didn't want to get canceled. Anyway, um, yeah. Good, good bit, Dagnall. Good bit. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. So, of course, we gotta do our chores first. Oh, God, I'm ugly. What is up with, like, the gingham plaid outfit, man? That's disgusting. Are you homophobic? No, man. I'm not homophobic. 
We have to move to an island and build our own in 2020? I heard they were sassy in earlier versions of AC. Oh, it is very true, and you'll probably, even if uh, the game, even if the challenge isn't focused on, like, talking to villagers, you'll definitely see that for yourself. At least you're color coordinated. Huh, wait till you learn that the shirt and the hat always take the same pattern. Unless you're talking about the shoes and the shirt, in which case, kind of, I guess. Sure, take the orange one, man. It's the closest, so why not? Yeah, who just walks up and asks someone if they're homophobic? I guess... I, I guess just the average Twitch chatter, I suppose. Yo, thanks for the follow, Tom Nook. The Viking horns are iconic, though. They are pretty... I don't know, I kind of wish you could... Can you not, like, get those in New Horizons? For nostalgia purposes, it'd be kind of cool. What's up, Sapphire? How are you doing? I want to be roasted by my villagers, dang it. I mean, you, I don't think... I think that they can make the, the villagers good in this game without making the villagers just roast you unnecessarily like they did in this game. But yeah... There's a Viking helmet, but I don't think there's a custom one. See, I want the custom ones where you can, like, put custom designs on it. They're all canonically Vikings. Yeah, like, why did they do Viking hats? I don't know. What's up, Sizzo? How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, there you go. Give that over to Big Man over there. Now, he's gonna laugh at me for being poor as well. A thousand bells? No, I'm not joking, man. What's up, Killer Claws? How are you doing? The best part of old AC is the roasts, change my mind. I mean, there isn't a whole lot that this game does better than newer versions, but the villager dialogue is definitely one of them. What a prick. Yeah, I get laughed at for being homeless. I get laughed at for being poor. It's tough out here being poor, man. It's tough. All right, where's the shop at? Where's the shop? Oh, wait, that is the shop. Okay, sweet. Cool. Tom Nook bullying children with no money, colorized, 2022. He's like, what took so long? It was damn 10 seconds before you left, and then I arrived at the shop. It was 10 seconds. Like, not far from that, at least. My gosh. All right, work uniform. I'm actually gonna... It's, it's rare, but I think I'm gonna keep on the work uniform, because I actually think it's better than the mint gingham plaid. <laughs> it's so nasty. Been watching the YouTube channel for a while now. Thank you. I appreciate that. What do you want me to do? You want me to plant shit. Pimpin' ain't easy. That's true. That's pretty true. Mint gingham. All right. Just just plant the freaking things. Oh, my God. It's so clunky. Like, I know that this probably doesn't sound like a big deal, but you can't use the D-pad. You have to use the joystick to, like, navigate the menu. I can't tell you how clunky that feels. I don't know. It don't feel right. I'm also just gonna throw all these down. Who cares if they don't freaking... Who cares if they don't freaking grow? Not me. Just finished moving apartments so I can finally catch stream again? Yo, that must have been heavy. He moved a whole ass apartment. That's crazy, dude. Tough talk for a tanuki with three pixels for a face? That's- that's so true. My man's apron is more high definition than his face is. Quite generous? Yeah, thanks, man. I love using the D-pad. Yeah, like, it makes it so clunky, dude. Yo, Dr. Harris. Brew, this game. Not that it's a bad game. It's just either expensive or hard to find. Force and despair. Oh! He's terrifying. <laughs> He's terrifying. He's horrible. Thanks, Dr. Harris, for the 100 bits. Okay, no, this game is definitely disgusting. You're right, man. You had it right the first time. You had it right the first time. Wait, you can have three layers? You can have three layers? Is that right? I thought you could only have two layers. Interesting. At least they made them look better in AC and H. I mean, it's mostly just like because the game is high definition. The dude is just legit creepy. Like, in normal circumstances. But this game being low res made it even worse. I thought chat- yeah, like, if you thought he looked bad in New Horizons, just you wait. Now, if you want to see a cutie patootie... Did she say, oh my god? 
Wait, I don't think you can do that. I don't think you can make religious enunci- not enunci- implications? I don't know. At least they wouldn't do that in the modern day. Hey, another good villager. Daisy, B-Day twin, and then you got old William over here. Alright, now where were the rest of the houses? I really wasn't paying very much attention. I really wasn't paying very much attention. Okay, okay, okay. Oh! Well, hello. I bet her house isn't as nice in this game as it is in New Horizons, according to the HHA. But that's okay. And then there's... Oh! 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 Interesting. You got cut. Sue E. Chop Suey? Yo, why she be... I feel like she would be called, like, Queen Baddie. Like, I, I feel like she would be like, uh, I don't know, nobody be talking about Sue E. Nobody be talking about Sue E. Like, I feel like she would be mommy if she was in like a modern Animal Crossing game. I feel like she would be everyone's mommy. I don't know though, but that's just me. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. And Weber! Alright, he got cut for a while. So he was only ever in this game until I think New Leaf brought him back for the series four amiibo cards or five amiibo cards. No, four. And then, um, yeah. Or no, the RV series, whatever they call those. They brought Weber back, but he was cut for Wild World, for City Folk, and for New Leaf at the moment of release. And then they brought him back. Game being expensive for a decent copy, it's between 80 to 100 or more. Oh, well, that's when emulating is the ethical option, in my opinion. Is that everyone, or did I miss someone? Well, aren't you a social butterfly? Yeah, I... Huh? I missed someone. Do you start with all your villagers on this Animal Crossing? No, you definitely get more that move in over time. Who did I miss, though? You start with a lot of villagers, though, relative to later games. Uh... No, no, pretty sure I met everybody, man. No, no, like, yeah, no, that's, that's, that's everybody. No, like, that's, yep, that, that's everyone, man. Sorry to say, but that is actually everybody. Maybe I gotta talk to someone again? I don't know why I chose you. Hey, Daisy, thanks for the five months. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate- I didn't talk to the mayor, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I didn't talk to the mayor. I'm so tunnel visioned. Now, do, do, don't you really ask me for my birthday or something? It's me again, yeah man. Quit wasting my time, please fuck yourself. GC? They are so rude in this game, they are rude and I love it. I wish I had a map, but you don't get that until, I think, after this quest, which seems unintuitive, but whatever. What do I know, really? Okay, ciao! Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Where's the... So he's at the wishing well? I don't know where the fuck the wishing well is, man. <laughs> I don't know where the wishing well is. Blathers? No, you don't have to talk to Blathers. You just gotta talk to the mayor and all the villagers. Well, I feel like a three-tier town is, like, super inconvenient. There you are. I feel like it's super inconvenient, man. My dad, my mom, my grandma, my grandpa. I say my grandma. Heh, <laughs> youth. May your torty, old torty boy. Old gust of wind would turn him into dust, old torty boy. Angry Chow is frightening. Yeah, it's pretty much like nightmare fuel, but, you know, he's endearing. That's just his, that's just how, that's just how God made him. You're saying you're not the mayor? No, in this game, you're not the mayor. In fact, in every game until New Leaf, you're not the mayor. Or really in any position of power whatsoever. I mean, in New Leaf, you're the mayor. New Horizons, you're not the mayor, but you're like, God instead? So, alright, there's a pawn. That'll be very important to know. How long do you reckon this will take? Rough estimate. I had no idea, man. I think GameCube will be the longest of all of it. Because the rule is that if a fish debuted in a game, you must catch it in that game. So that means that since GameCube is the first game, that naturally that one will take the longest. But we may only need to end up catching like 10 fish in New Leaf, maybe 10 more in City Folk, 10 more in 
Wild World, 10 more in New Horizons. So really, like, getting this one done will be, like, half of it already done. And I don't know how long this will take, really. Yeah, give that. We're all just Tom Nook's bitch? That's true. That's pretty true. I miss not being responsible for anything in town and just living there. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of people didn't like the fact that you have so much control in New Horizons, but I don't know. It's not like anything's really asked of you, right? And besides, like, even though you didn't really have obligations, like the mayor in this game, you still had a lot of control over the island, you know? Ooh. It's been nice to finally catch a stream. I appreciate your videos a lot, and thank you for the content. Well, thank you so much, Amy Smade of Wax. Or Amy, Amy is made of wax. Thank you. Thank you so much for the prime. I appreciate that. I'm sorry to hear that, though. I hope to provide more comforting content in the future. I know it's a tough time, but you'll get through it. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amy, okay, look. It's really tough for me to do my job, all right? You gotta have to live with me for a little bit. What's up, Vibes? How are you doing? I'm like, Amy Smade? Oh, that could be, like, your last name. Smade could be, like, a last name. That's- that's- and then I saw- yeah. Okay, look, just- just bear with me for a little bit, alright? They changed his appearance after New Leaf? No more Nightmare Fuel? I don't really think they cho they changed his appearance? Wait, who is this going to? Oh, fuck. didn't pay attention. Bill! Thank you. Someone's paying attention. Is this okay? Yeah, man, that's good. That's good. Thank you, Hamblin. MVP of the stream right there. Oh, I got oranges. I didn't even realize. Thank you for paying attention. Yeah, well, you know, I got a job to do, okay? Y'all not doing anything. Y'all just watching, okay? I'm out here on my motherfucking grind. I don't have time to be paying attention. Y'all got nothing to do. Would you like to mail more letters? No, that's all right, girl boss. You just keep on keeping on. I don't know how to play Pocket Camp. My mom had it on her phone, but you weren't able to play. Yeah, that's actually not relevant to that specifically, but maybe I'm going to get a lot of people being like, Oh, aren't you going to do Pocket Camp? And I'm like, no. First of all, I don't like Pocket Camp. Second of all, it's not a mainline game. And so a lot of people who were... A lot of people... I don't know if they were mad at me for it, but... I forget what game it was. What do I got to do? I still haven't gotten it ready. Oh, right, right, right. I got to do a favor for a villager now. Um, what was the video that people were like, what? You didn't do Pocket Camp, though. I forget. But either way, I'm not doing Pocket Camp for this one either, because I don't like Pocket Camp. I don't like Pocket Camp. Nothing! I got nothing! Sorry, but try again later? God, I'm just trying to help, man. Are you doing E+, plus? I will have to do E+, plus for the Harabuna. And maybe other fish as well. But we'll see. We'll get to that after we're done with GameCube. But yeah, that's a good reminder that I will have to do E+, plus as well, because of the Harabina. Which is a E+, plus exclusive fish. The catch X fish in every game? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry, I don't. Sorry about lying. It's alright. At least you're not an asshole about it. Like, does anyone got a favor for me? I got plenty of things for you to do. Take these clothes to Bill. Alright. E plus, so Animal Animal Forest E plus is a Japanese only exclusive Animal Crossing game. It's basically Animal Crossing, this game, but better. But it was only ever released in Japan, so that'll be fun to navigate around. That'll be fun to navigate around. Sue E, you lazy bugger. Not to mention made my man's even uglier. Thanks for being the- oh, no problem, man, no problem. Yeah, no, it's not for N64, it's for GameCube. Um, Animal Forest was for N64, and then it's, it's kind of weird, like, how the first few releases of Animal Crossing worked. They're basically all the same. I treat Animal Forest, Animal Crossing, and Animal Forest E+, as all basically the same game. However, there are, all, there are differences between all of them, so... But I kind of consider them all to be kind of like how everyone considers Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow to be Gen 1 Pokemon. I kind of consider those all to be Gen 
one Animal Crossing. Because in many ways they're the same, but they do have their differences between versions. Went international and then back to Japan with international exclusives. Exactly. So, Animal Forest, Japan only. Animal Crossing, everywhere. Animal Forest E+, Japan only. In response to the success of this game. New Horizons is the first AC I've ever played. I never saw the others except in your videos. Well, maybe this is a culture shock for you, but this game was where it was at, man. This game is still maybe the second now, maybe the third best of the game. I don't know. Depends on what you value. Because I think that it has more to offer in many ways than, like, City Folk and Wild World. Lucky Clover Dragon. Thank you so much for the Prime. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. God, my hairdresser fucked up my hair so bad. It's a bad time to face like 600 people a day for a living. That's crazy, man. I'm sorry to hear that. I mean, if I could recommend, you should just, like, I, I, I don't know. You should just, like, do like me. I got short hair. I can literally wake up with bedhead and nobody says anything about it, man. It's pretty epic, I gotta say. Which one's the best? I don't know, I'm still having this internal debate on whether I think Animal Crossing New Leaf or New Horizons. You could also wear a paper bag, yeah. I'm still having this, like, internal debate on whether I think New Leaf or New Horizons is better. I really don't know, man. It's still tough to say. Ooh, easy there. <laughs> Didn't you have Daisy on that other island you did the HHA challenge? Yes, I did. Correct. So, I guess we're all about Daisy right now. I'm gonna leave now because it's half ten where I live. Yo, have a good night. I assume half ten at night. So, have a good night. Uh, wait, Bill, 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 Bill. Do you get to plot the buildings or are they like that from the start? They are like that from the start. You have no con- I mean, even as like- even in- I mean, New Horizons is the first game that lets you put where villagers move in. Yeah, that was me. No big deal. Oh, yeah, yeah, no problem. It's a very from the heart letter right there. Nigh the science, the duck. Yeah, man. You got it. Daisy was a good villager, a bit basic, but I like her. Yeah, she is great. I like the basic villagers, honestly. Um, yeah, New Horizons was the first game where you could even, like, tell your villagers where they could go to move in. New Leaf, it was, a, I remember it was a big thing that people complained about, was villagers plopping their house, like, on their, like, flower garden or something like that, and then being, like, pissed off. And I'm like, that was kind of fair, honestly. I'm glad that they let you do that. Yo, drooling baby, thanks so much for the tier one. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright, the Bulatin board, which is for some reason in, like, the trailer park over here. Alright, how do I write... How, how do I... How do I... There we go, got it. And, you know, let's stay on brand there. Let's, let's stay on brand. I gave her cookies catchphrase of Arfur. Why would you ever want to make anything like cookie? Just curious. Love your vids? Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, I'm all done, boys. All right, now that we're done with all the chores, now that we're done with all the chores, we got to spawn in the fishing rod now. And if you're mad at me for spawning in the fishing rod instead of earning it naturally, Okay, I have one thing to say to you. I don't really have anything. Like, that's kind of fair. You're valid in the way that you feel, bestie. But the official Animal Crossing speedrun for the golden net, for the golden rod, literally has a code. Literally says just use the code because it takes a while to get the. Because it takes a while to get a fishing rod. You need to spend a certain amount of bells before you're actually eligible to um, get a fishing rod to be available in your shop, which is really annoying. So they're just like, hey, use the code. Yeah, just spawn shit in, basically. In case you don't know what the codes are, here's what they are. They're basically a way of uh, 
They're basically a way of spawning in whatever item you want. I think the original purpose of them was... Not, not to just be able to cheat items in, but hey, that's what it became. I don't really know how it worked in the first place, but... Yeah, I don't know. S, okay, so I'm like looking at the document that says the code here, so that's why I keep looking over here. JXJ, capital J, PR, lowercase p, R, all right. And we're gonna go capital BF for a big fucking, and then we're gonna go RB, and then two, and then give me a two, and then HO for hydrogen oxide. I think, no, hyd hydrogen, that would be hydrogen oxide, right? Is that even a chemical? Would that kill you? Q-Z-A-B. Kaisars are bastards. And then just M. A-B-M. You can't... What? Bro. The guy- I, I typed it in exactly as the guide said. And he's like, you can't use other people's pass- Oh, you know why? You know why? I think I know why. The guide tells you to use... The guide tells you to use a certain name for your character. That being exclamation point, because it's really fast to type in. So I think that that code would only work if your character's name and maybe also your town's name is also exclamation mark. I think that's probably what the problem is. So you know what? Gold- no, 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 no. Goldenrod code and- aw, oh, fuck, my timer. Ah, oh, damn, dude. My timer. What was the timer at, chat? Can somebody tell me where we were at before I, like, clipped the, uh, like, go back through the footage there and tell me what it was at? Alright. I found the code to get the golden rod. It was at 27 minutes. Thank you, thank you. So we'll just start it again at 27. Right? Alright, very good. And then go again. Alright, thank you. Alright, now I got a code... Now I got a code that should actually work this time, alright? Oh my god, you're gonna make me do the whole fucking thing again? I didn't delete it all! How do I move? There we go, gosh. 27, 21 and change? It, it's not a big deal, as long as it's like... Urgh, the mashing god. Um, as long as it's close enough. As long as it's close enough. It ain't gonna be no official category world record speedrun, so as far as I'm concerned, I don't really care how it, uh, how accurate the timer is. Where's my, there we go. Nine. F-U for fuck you. Okay, okay, this is, all right, I remember, first of all, it says fuck, that's hilarious, but <laughs> it's kind of funny, this code. Crack. Which is just, I don't know if it's a coincidence, but I remember this code is the code for the golden rod because of how close it comes to saying Shrek in the code. Which I don't really know why, but either way. 3M. There you go, 3M. Uh, pound sign. I be out here calling it pound sign, y'all be calling it hashtag. Fuck! Fuck Crack! It's the fucking, like, I I don't know. It's the plot to Shrek 5, I'm sure. Um, 4. And symbol. Okay, we call that an ampersand, actually. Lowercase f3. Okay. 
BD for big doo doo. AZ. LJ. Lowercase f. Hit me with it. Yeah, yeah, you see now. You see now. What do you mean, Dagnal? That's a tic tac toe symbol? Oh, of course. My apologies. How silly of me. All right, golden rod, please. Thank you. And then please move that up to your mans up there. All right, we got it. That So if you're mad at me for spawning in a golden rod, then please don't get mad at me, okay? Just, I promise you, I'm a good guy. All right, so we need to catch the following fish. A sweet fish, an eel, an arowana, and a catfish. And then in the lake, we need a giant catfish. Okay. It says fish at the lake until you have a giant catfish. Optimally, you want to get away from the lake as soon as possible. River fish will appear in the lake, but at a lower rate than in the river. The last fish that you need is eel. Change the time to 9 p.m. Okay. So we want to go to the lake is basically what it's telling us to do. The lake being this right here, which is nice and close by. Is making me want sushi. Is there like a catfish sushi out there? Shrek 5 might come out in September of this year. Okay, wait, I was joking about Shrek 5. Is there actually a Shrek 5, dude? That's insane. By the way, is the counter still at zero? Like, that hasn't changed? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Get away from me, mosquito. Eel sushi is bomb as fuck? Oh, eel sushi. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I had sushi from the grocery store. I mean, I might as well catch something even if I don't think it's what I need. Oh, fuck. Right. Yeah. Uh, fishing in this game is hard. <laughs> Forgot about that fact. Um, yeah, fishing in this game, fucking brutal. But there's our first fish, a sweet fish. All right, fish number one, done. So that means that we don't need to catch a sweet fish in any future game. Now that we got it in the game that the fish debuted, we're good. And this is probably just gonna be another sweet fish, but I'm not a, I'm not familiar enough with sizes of fish to really tell. Just, uh, bite me, bite me, bite me, motherfucker. There you go. Was that a monkey noise? Oh, the whoop, woo, whoop, woo, whoop, woo. No, that's just the noise that it, oh shit my ass. That's just the noise that it makes, man. That's just the noise that it makes. <laughs> if you don't like it, then I don't know, man. That's, that's a classic. You're so sweet, bestie. Is that the uh, catch text? Oh, and then a uh, regular bass, right? Yeah, regular bass. All right, I'll take it. That's not something that I need to catch, but it is. Uh, it means there. It means I don't have to catch it later. Monkey confirmed. Yeah, something like returned a monkey or something like that. Okay, what is this? Another sweet fish, all right. Are there different fish in other games? No, so, okay. A lot of the fish do carry over to the next game. However, every game does introduce new fish, and so that's the fish that I need to catch for this challenge. It doesn't say yes when you catch something new. No, it didn't do that until New Horizons, and that's a small bass, all right. So that should be three. Okay, so we already got the regular bass, the small bass, now we need the large bass. You love the lily pads, colon three? Awesome, man. Maybe you should, I don't know, protest, get it back? I don't know. They're pretty cute, I guess. Okay. So, yeah, it's actually just Blathers cheering. Well, then explain to me why, when you get a bug, that he does the same thing, when in reality he should be doing anything but cheering. So, yeah, um... I, in case you weren't around for when I stated the rules, you only, in order to complete this challenge, which, I mean, I just made it up, so I guess I could, like, you know, just make up the rules as well. But um, my tentative rule is if a game... Oh, that's a big honker. Sting me so that I don't miss this. Sting me. Sting me, please. Please sting me. Please bite me. Please bite me. I got my license after six years of being deathly afraid of driving. Yo, let's go, dude. That's awesome. I still ain't got my license. Not out of, like, fear of driving. Please sting me. Bite me. I want you to bite me. No, but actually, like, please bite me. Like, because what's going to happen is I'm going to, like, try reeling in this fish, and it's going to bite me as soon as I do it. This might be an arowana. 
Like, as soon as I want to catch this fish, it's going to bite me. And then I'm going to miss the fish. And this is a big fish. Oh, I think he's stuck on, like, the... Well, there you go. I missed it anyway. <laughs> I think he was, like, stuck on the riverbed. It's kind of weird. Giant catfish? Let's... Wait. It's just a regular catfish. Ah. Oh, he's giant, man. Dude, fishing in this game is just harder. Like, they just, they're so quick to, like, go towards your rod. It makes you even jumpier. Makes you so jumpy. That's another big honker. Kind of. Why is it so limp and wiggly when you're holding it? I, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> I think everything back in the day was just limper and wigglier. I don't know. All right, well, maybe this isn't a big honker, man, because I keep seeing this. I keep seeing this size fish. Okay, a carp. I'll take it. Take a carp. Should be at five here. I might get carpal tunnel. Nice one, man. Yeah, and it's a little... I don't know if the delay is too bad on emulator, but it's a little bit rough. Rougher, I would say, on emulator because of the uh, input delay. It's not too bad, though. And also, the fishing is quieter. If you're one that goes by noise, which I tend to do... Then that makes it kind of tough because the oh, that's what we want right there. That's big man. That's big man right there. I mean, that man is ginormous. Now, I don't think I'm going to be able to get him from over here, though. That's big man. All right, please. I, I beg of you, don't despawn in the time that it takes me to, like, get over there to catch you. Please don't despawn. I will cry. I will shit myself. I'm going to be very upset. Bro, I am crying in the club right now. I am infuriated. There was just nothing I could do. I literally, like, didn't waste any time. And, I mean, unless he's there still, and I just can't, like... I'm mauling. I want the jury to know I am fucking mauling right now. I am absolutely furious. Barbel Steve. That's, uh, that got cut after New Leaf for some reason. You might want to fix the challenge command. If a mod wants to do it, I, I got my little, I got my little fingies tied right now. But, uh, if a mod wants to do it, they can. So, yeah, that was going to be the giant catfish, which is... Pretty tough to catch. I might have missed it anyway, I guess, if you want to look at it from that perspective. I might have missed it anyway, but I don't know. Yeah, so what do you do? I need like a, I need a pro in here. What do you do if there's a fish on the other side of the lake and you need to get it? Do you just go over there and just hope it doesn't despawn and I got unlucky? with the giant catfish, or do you just keep trying from this side so you know it doesn't despawn? Yeah, they cut the barbel steed. It's like a fish that's been in every Animal Crossing game, and then for this game, or er, for New Horizons, they were like, nah. Nah, fuck that fish. That fish fucked my wife. Someone at Nintendo just got a personal vendetta against the barbel steed, apparently. Hmm. I mean, I guess just keep catching these fish. I mean, you never know what they could be. The split does only tell you to catch, like, a few fish. I mean, you might as well get, like, what you can, right? Oh, yep, there you go. That's what fucking happens if you don't... Let the mosquito bite you before you start fishing. <laughs> no pole? No vaulting pole? No, that wasn't a thing until New Horizons. Vaulting pole did not get introduced until New Horizons. Help. Bite. Look at it. There you go. Son of a bitch. Okay, another small bass. At least it's a C plus. That's a leading question. What's a leading question? Like, what is a leading question? And also, what did I ask that was a leading question? I thought I saw something underneath the lily pads. I gotta say, they're kind of inconvenient for the fact that they're hiding fish underneath. The coelacanth was only discovered 84 years ago. Yeah, back when um, Animal Crossing actually was good in a dialogue front. I remember when you gave a coelacanth to Blathers, he would tell you about how they were, like, recently discovered. 
And I say recently, like, you know, as far as the course of human history has gone. So I remember that from when Blathers told me it as a kid. I remember. What were the four fish that I needed? Sweetfish, eel, arowana, catfish, and then a giant catfish. Okay, so I got two of those. With some extra fish, you know, it hasn't been a total, like, failure so far. I got a couple of those fish. I got a couple of them. Villagers used to be so mean. I miss it, dude. I'm trying to learn Stardew Valley songs on piano. Why the hell are they so complicated? I don't know. I mean, anything music for me is complicated, so... Because I'm, like, tone deaf as hell. Ooh, do I need a... I do need a Crucian Carp. Okay, sweet. Should be at 7. Not like that, though. There we go. There we go. Blathers educating kids. So wholesome. Yeah, it's pretty wholesome. Big Chungus Keanu 100. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Oh, that was fast. Makes you wonder what the hell that- Oh my god! What the fuck is that? What is that? I didn't know fish could get that big. Alright, well time to miss this. I knew it! I knew it! I fucking knew it! Jeez Louise. <laughs> Sorry, the counter got messed up there. My bad. I, jeez, man. <laughs> I, oh, I'm gonna have to get a little bit more familiar with fishing before I can reel in something like that, man. Oh my god. <laughs> that thing was fucking huge. What? The only thing I can think is that's an Arapaima? Is that an Arapaima? Are Arapaima even available right now? It is a summer fish, so I think that's probably what it must have been. It's weird how they tell you that you need to catch an Arowana, but not an Arapaima. They always ask Arapaima, but not Ara, how are you? I don't know. Whale shark? Doubtful. Doubtful, but possible, I suppose. Got a hat out early today. Enjoy the rest of the stream. Yo, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. What a goober. I know, man, but, like, it's tough, okay? Look, I, I don't expect you to really understand just by watching, but it's really hard to fish, okay? It's really hard to fish in this game. Now, it's not, like, the most difficult thing, but it's, it's tricky, okay? Just g give me a break, all right? Give me a break. It's tricky. Considering there's no sound when they, like, bite down, and they're, like, the, the time between their bites are so small, it's really tough. Okay, just... Which fish are you looking for specifically in this game? Well, in this game... Oh! In this game, we need every fish, because the rule is, is that if a fish debuted in a game, that must be the game that you catch the fish in. I mean... Even if it's not required to get an Arapaima this split, I would love to. Big man! Let's go! We'll take it! Let's go. Alright, that saves me from having to catch that later. That saves me from having to catch that later. Now, I don't think I'll need money for this, so it's fine to just let it go. But I'll keep it, just for memento's sake. Alright, cool. I mean, again, you don't need an Arapaima, but good to get it now, I suppose. Good to get it now. I'm gonna get bit by a mosquito. That's gonna be nice and awesome. Yep, there you go. Cool. Dude's just putting fish in his pocket. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah. He's got, he's got, I mean, it's like Minecraft Steve, right? Who can carry like literally millions of pounds worth of gold in his pockets. Video game pockets are just built different, man. Place the fish in your house? I could, I suppose. What good would that do me? I did watch the triple overtime last night. I'm excited for another heart-wrenching game tonight as well. Come on, Dag, don't cheese it. Come on, Daggy, you can do it. Pave the way, put your back into it. It seems like the fishing timing is pretty generous. Maybe that's because of the golden rod. I'm playing Valheim and your pockets can only be so full. Well, I mean, like, any game. It just really depends on the game, you know? Like, this game, your pockets can be only be so full. However, you know, it's not as restrictive as, you know, maybe Valheim. 
One game in particular that really pissed me off with, like, the lack of inventory was Fallout New Vegas. I'll take a koi. Absolutely, I'll take a koi. I should be at nine. Yeah, there we go. Fallout... Fallout games just in general, just weirdly restrictive with the amount of space that you can have. I don't know. This game, kind of up there as well. So only the giant catfish? No, we need the arowana as well. We need the arowana as well, which is a 1%, apparently. So, yeah, that one will take us a little bit of time. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you can't shoot those down in this game. Did the counter reset again? <sighs> All right, it's fine, because I got a counter over on... I'm going to get really mad. <laughs> like I said, man, I'm in a bad mood today. I can't deal with all this bullshit. Can't deal with all this bullshit. Yeah, luckily I got a counter over on the other screen that's also keeping track, so... At least I think I've been keeping up with it, right? Just gonna give it a quick cursory glance to make sure there hasn't been anything that I've missed. And I don't think there has. Where's your character's neck for real though? Bro, like the characters didn't have their modern day proportions until New Leaf. Like up until City Folk, they were basically just like giant heads. So it's not just a thing with this game, man. Gotta up your strength. Is it at zero again? No, it's at nine now. It's at nine. Okay, you guys got me all scared. <clears throat> the ad I just got was actually so bad. I'm sorry, man. If I could just disable ads, I would. Unfortunately, I can't. Unfortunately, I can't. What is the percent for a giant catfish? Ten? Ten percent, and I haven't gotten one yet? Interesting. I adore your videos. The dedication is amazing. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please, before the waterfall. Thank you. The old GameCube game is such a classic. It is great. Like, genuinely, this game was a lot of fun. I don't think people appreciate, like... I don't think people appreciate this game enough. They just look at it and they're like, Oh, it's ugly. Yeah, of course it's ugly, man. It's a freaking 2001 game. The one that I got was so weird. I can't, yeah, unfortunately, like, I can't, I can't audit the ads that roll before they roll. And then, on top of that, I can't just disable them outright, even though I would if I could, because Twitch is so bad with the ads. I have a final in an hour? Yo, good luck on your final, man. Good luck on your final. It's pretty late final, is it not? I mean, I guess I don't know where you are in the world, but still. Even earlier than 2001, since it's a port of the N60 Vert. Yeah, that is true. And I'm also emulating it, so it even probably still looks a little bit better than it otherwise would. So, yeah. Help. 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. What kind of hours are that for an exam? Like, I know that, like, night school exists. But... Ooh. An eel. All right. I did... I, I thought the eel was going to be, like, a long boy. I thought that was going to be, like, a... Like, a super long shadow. All right. There you go. There's an eel. A net. Yo, thanks so much for the two gift subs to the Le Leviathan and Chrissy Cat Christian Christina. Thank you, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Annette. I appreciate that. And what's up, Man United? How are you doing? Welcome. It's yeah, that was so short. I was like, that's just a regular fish, man. I think its vision was really bad though, which is how you differentiate it. Interesting though. I had a dissertation, yes. A dissertation, Jesus Christ. I don't miss these words, man. I don't miss these words at all. Despite the fact that I never got to the part of college where I had to write a dissertation, like, I don't miss these words at all. Like, isn't it amazing how, like, school just embeds so much anxiety in our brains that even the mention of, like, dissertation or exam season just, like, immediately puts us into panic mode? I just, I just think that's quirky and kind of, I just think that's kind of quirky, you know? Just, just a little quirky. Yeah, hard. I registered for all my classes yesterday, and I'm so amped to finally start college after a two-year gap. Yo, let's go. Very wise of you as well to take a gap year. A lot of people don't realize that that's a viable option for them when they want to go to college. Like, after high school, it was never like, 
It was never really, like, said to me that, you know, you could take a gap year if you want. Like, you don't have to immediately go into college. It was kind of just, like, go to college. Or community college to, like, get some college credit for cheap and then go to a four-year university after transferring those those credits at a community college. Like, that was never really an option for me. I mean, it was, but I just didn't know it at the time. That's a tiny fish. There you go. Hell yeah. What is that? Here. <laughs> Thanks for clarifying, Animal Crossing. I, would, I wouldn't have known where it was if you didn't tell me. Wait, a killifish? Where the hell is a killifish at? There we go, I got it. A killifish. All right, well, that also wasn't required, but absolutely, we'll, we'll take a killifish as well. It's here. Thanks, man. Oh, I wouldn't have known otherwise. I thought it was like on the corner of the screen for all I knew. I regretted not taking a gap year. Yeah, same bestie. Now I'm burnt out and taking a break in the middle of my studies. Yeah, and then colleges are not so nice about that. Like, taking a break in the middle of studies? You're better off doing it before. Like, I don't know. I, I don't know. It, it, it's tough. It's a tough. It's a tough life out there, man. So the cost factor is not that much of an issue? Yes, I'm very jealous of all the people who get free or reduced tuition in other countries at least reduced in comparison to america yes yes i know i'm very jealous you're all very wise and intelligent your legislation is you know makes more sense than ours does i i i know i know i know i'm very i'm very jealous i'm very jealous so is this a way that i could like keep spawning a fish into the lake maybe it's like by moving the camera like that it doesn't seem like it's working but i don't really know I pay 350 euros for six months. That infuriates me, but I'm also very happy for you. Like, that actually makes me so mad. But, yeah. I'm dropping out for a semester because college has made my mental health worse. Just hoping that it's going to be held. is is not going to be held to start it back up. I mean, I hope that the rest is rejuvenating for you. I hope that it's a good thing. Seven years to get a college degree, some were gap years, and now I want to be a teacher, but I don't know about going back to school. Yeah, I don't know. And, like, of course, the longer that you go to get your degree, of course, the more time it takes. The more, or sorry, the more money it costs. So, it's always like, oh, well, I could, like, take an off, I, I could, like, you know, take longer to get my degree, but have it be better for my mental health, but it's also more expensive, which could lead to some mental turmoil in the future, so it's really like, do I take the mental burden now or the financial burden now? I don't want to owe money. That's pretty smart, man. Not Just not going to college. Like, y'all ever play Life as a kid? And then, of course, you have the option at the start of the game to, like, do career or college. Yo, I always did college because I'm like, oh, I don't want to be some uneducated loser who can't get the purple salary cards in the game and now i'm like man the people who chose career those are the wise guys oh the, them geniuses those are the smart people not for everybody pretty true there is not for i mean college just in general ain't for everybody I'm happy being a bartender without degrees. I mean, yeah, all you need is, like, what, certifications, probably? I don't know. I don't tend bars. College doesn't make you more educated. So true as well. Ooh, a brook trout. Yeah, they never brought that back, either. I think that's only in this game. All right, well, there you go. I really wasn't expecting that, but take a brook trout. I'm going to do an apprenticeship instead of going to uni. No cost and being paid to learn on the job. There you go. Being paid in any context. Always good. Plumbers probably making $80,000 a year. Yeah, there you go. Crazy. Oh, but you got to work with shit. I suppose that's pretty true, but, you know. A plumber also became the face of Nintendo, so you really, like, there's a lot of growth potential in being a plumber, you know? You could become the face of, like, the biggest company in Japan. So, I don't know. A lot of growth potential there. I think Tom Nook's gay. What's your logic behind this? You got, like, a research paper behind this? Or are you just gonna put that out there? I wanna go into fashion design, and I think it'd be a good option. 
to go to college, but probably probably will because I get really cheap tuition. I mean, yeah, if you get really cheap tuition, then it's like you might as well at least try, right? And if it's not for you, then no no problem, right? No problem. One day you too can be Mario. You like what if when Mario dies, who's taking over? I guess Luigi would be the next in line, right? Getting paid six hundred dollars to go to school is getting paid six hundred dollars to go to school newish government program after COVID. Wh why? We, that's awesome. Like, why are you like? Why are you like frowny facing after that? That seems kind of sick, though. Six hundred dollars every week, even better. <laughs> I'm like, man, most people pay, not get paid. Who's after Luigi? I don't know. Probably Wario. The favorited brother between the two evil brothers in the Mario franchise. Or Yoshi, maybe. I don't know. Because it sucks that not everyone can have that. Yeah, that's that's true. I would not be frowning facing it about it, though. I don't know. But yeah, no, it does suck that not everyone has that opportunity. But, you know, do what's right for yourself. And that sounds like the right option. Alright, I'm getting the fishing down, man. Is that a blue? No. My parents are pestering me to go to college, but trying to save enough to move out and not be depressed. I mean, look, if I'm your parents, and you have a job, and you have, like, mental health issues, and I know that that's not always easy to see. Like, from a parent's perspective, especially if their child does not really make it known that they have, like, you know, stuff that they got going on. I don't know why your parents would be pressuring you to get you out the house so quickly if, you know, you're probably contributing towards the rent if you have a job and are making money. Diagonal is our parents? No. I'm, I'm not your parents. I'm not, I'm really just, I'm, I'm just some guy, you know? Like, you pass someone on the street? That's me. It More than likely, that was me that you passed there. Ooh, a dace. Nice. More than likely, that was just me. You should treat me to no higher pedestal than you should treat anyone else. I want a paternity test. No. Although I have been thinking about doing 23 and Me, just to see, like, where I'm from, genetically. Yo! Kylat! Thanks so much for the tier one, I appreciate that, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing, I appreciate that very much, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's an eel. Okay, that's an eel because he's blind. Ah, oh, well, too bad I don't need one. What's up, Joe? How you doing, man? Is this a throwback for you? Because you're like one of the few people that was watching me when I was playing this before New Horizons Wally came out. Fab. Imagine it's a throwback. And Blue! Thank you so much for the 10 months in a row. I appreciate- ah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that very much. Thank you, thank you. You are not the father. And then everyone in the Steve will- Oh, here we go. Okay, they, this is the first one of these. Despite being a 10% chance, this is the first one of these that I've seen, so... Look. <laughs> I gotta shut up when I fish, dude. I gotta shut up. I mean, that's actually the second one that I've seen, but it's a 10% chance. And that's only the second one that I've seen? That old anxious finger, dude. That's ridiculous, man. Like, what is these things so rare for? That was a giant catfish, by the way. That was a giant catfish. Slam the controller at 100% works. I was slamming my fist into my other hand. Trust me when I say that. It's not the controller's fault. It's not the controller's fault. I was, I, I was just punching myself. Anyway, yeah, I was thinking about doing 23andMe just so it can tell me, like, hey, you're, like, you got, like, Estonian genes in you. I'm like, ha, that's pretty cool. Then again, it would probably just tell me that I'm, like, I got ans- Ooh! I got ancestry from, like, angelfish. Nice. From, like, Germany. Uh, maybe a little Ireland in there. I don't know. It would just tell me, like, the same thing that it probably tells every other white American man. So, I don't know. I found out that I have a distant cousin in Japan. That's pretty sick, man. Hell yeah. 
It's fun to learn, though. It is fun to learn, and that's why people do it, but I don't know. I also don't really want to, like, spit in a tube and then, like, mail it out to someone and be like, hey, yo. Not saying that, like, this this is not, like, a conspiracy theory of mine. I'm, uh, trust me when I say I'm not, like, a nut job, but, like, <laughs> there is a little bit of uncomfortableness in, like, sending your genes over to, like, you know... 23 and me, and then God knows what they could do with that. Hey, another one. And God knows what, like, they could do with that. They could sell, like, you know, advertisers selling your data. What if 23 and me is selling my information to the government that the government probably already has? Because if they really wanted to figure out who I am and what I'm all about, they could very much do that. Okay, so, like, don't trust me when I say, like, I don't believe this is true. But, you know, you never know. Imagine the Dagnal clones. I would literally, if I saw... A clone of myself, I would probably like strangle it. We got enough of me out here, man. We got enough of me. My mom is done, and it was very, and it was very. Yes, your ancestors were colonized by the Spanish, and here is what took you around. Where here's we took around the world. That's kind of cool, though. Speed run twice as fast with you, or have like one of them giving myself like a. I don't know, like. Like, give me, like, a back massage while I'm speedrunning or something like that? That'd be kind of sick. Then again, like, I wouldn't do that for a clone of myself, so would a clone of myself do that for me? I don't know. Anxieties aren't always rational. No, I know that. Trust me when I say it's it's hardly an anxiety, man. It's hardly an anxiety. Help. If that was a good fish, I would not have caught that. <clears throat> Didn't they catch the Golden State Killer because one of his relatives did a DNA test? Well, I don't think that any of my relatives are serial killers, so luckily I don't think that situation will ever come up. But we'll see. I mean, for all I know, they're not serial killers. I mean, geez. So many Stanleys? Now, cloning Stanley, that's just a net positive for the world. Cloning me? I don't know what you'd get out of that, really. I don't really know what you'd get out of that. Already at one hour? That's pretty true. We are at one hour. Yeah, no more 5 p.m. music. But the great thing about Animal Crossing GameCube is that once 5 p.m. music ends, 6 p.m. music starts. Which is pretty good. Pretty good. What's up, Willow Branch? How are you doing? That's the beautiful thing about it. What the hell do they still want me to get? An arowana and a giant catfish. Well, I don't think that could be an arowana, but it might be something I haven't caught yet. No. The amount of data government and big companies already collected about us is horrifying. Yeah, I'm kind of like... I don't know. I've just accepted that, like, the government knows everything about me that they could ever want to know. And, I don't know, sometimes it's really weird, but I'll be like... I'll be, like, thinking about, like, buying something, and then I'll get an ad that's like, Hey, this thing on Amazon. I'm like, that's weird, man. I didn't even, like, say anything. You don't even have to say it. They'll just read your damn mind at this point. I don't know, though. Like, if I were to speak into the microphone right now and be like, Hmm, I could really use a new can opener. No doubt about it. I would get ads later on that's like, can openers on Amazon. No doubt about it. My boyfriend got COVID this past week, and I thought my housemates were going to react the way my previous roommate did, but I know in my head they're like, no, they won't drop you. No, they will drop you because you're a shit human. Anxiety is dumb. Pretty true. Pretty true. Anxiety is pretty awful. But, you know. The Tin Hat Brigade. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I really believe in any, like, far-reaching conspiracy theories. Like, it's pretty... Uh, to say that, like, the government knows everything about me is not, like, a far reach. It's more like a foregone conclusion. Can you send the ads with can openers later in your Discord? Sure, man. If you really want to see them. I, I don't know if I, I believe in, like, any, like, extremely far out there conspiracy theories. Certainly nothing that would be, like... Wait, that is a large bass, though. I haven't caught that yet, actually. I was mad. I was mad that I got that, but no, I actually do need that. If you aren't committing crimes, I just try not to think about it. Yeah, basically. 
and we're all getting can opener ads now. Yeah, like if you're playing me in your speakers and then those speakers reverberate into your microphones, then just, you know, if you get a can opener ad, then, you know, <laughs> I guess sorry about that. Yo, the Thleen. Thanks for the five months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> I keep getting... <clears throat> I just keep getting a am I gay test for ads and I wonder what that means. Have you taken it? I took those as like a kid because I was like... Yeah, well, my friend would be like, you're gay back when you can like, I mean, it, re it wasn't cool back then, but back in the day, it was like an insult to call things like fake and gay, I remember. And so my friend was like, well, if you're not gay, take this gay test. What's up, the Heidel Hybrid? Thanks for the five bits. How are you doing? Do you believe presidents have doppelgangers to send them to some dangerous meetings and stuff? No. If you're talking about, like, far-out conspiracies, no, I can't say that that's one that I particularly believe in. And you passed? I passed, man. I don't know. I passed, I guess. What did your test say? I don't remember, man. This is like, the seventh grade. It's, like, back in, like, 20... 2009, back when, like, calling things fake and gay was, like, the hottest shit, you know? Like, I guess passing means that, like... I, I guess that means that you're not gay. Yeah, like, what's past, I guess? <laughs> yep, you're gay! Oh, well. I mean, I've been in, like, a... In, in a relationship with Kristen since 2013. I feel like I would have known by now, I feel. I feel like I would have known by now. Seems like passing would be gay. Maybe. Oh, shit. <laughs> Maybe this online quiz is... Maybe I should let this online quiz dictate the rest of my life. I remember there was a website. My sister introduced it to me, but it was called... Go to quiz. I think it's just G O T O quiz. And users would be able to, I mean, of course, it was like every other one of those sites where you could like take user generated quizzes. And legit, like for two months, I was addicted to like making which like Simpsons character are you? Which SpongeBob character are you? And like, it was my first ever dive into internet clout when those things would get like 10,000. 10,000 plays or something like that. I was like, holy shit, man. That's insane. I mean, that's still a lot of, like... I don't know, that's still a lot of people viewing your stuff. So, I don't know. Like, I guess to an extent, it is still kind of crazy. Yeah, like, what's your fursona? Exactly. Exactly. I used to play the duck out of those quote... The quiz quote the quizzes my buzzfeed era yeah it was kind of my buzzfeed era but this was back in like oh i don't know maybe like oh eight back when everybody like took a quiz to determine their personality because they didn't really form a personality of their own at that point i'm in a relationship with a man but truly i am pansexual and polyamorous i see but like I mean, yeah, I, I get what you mean. Now do we do horoscopes? It's basically like old-timey horoscopes. Yeah, what the fuck was that fish? It's kind of like old-timey horoscopes in a way. Hi, Dagnal. Hope you're doing well. Doing all right, man. How you doing? You you were gone for like 20 minutes. What's y'all's favorite Papa's Pizzeria gang game? Well, isn't Papa's Pizzeria like its own game? Like, wouldn't you say, like, Papa's Flash game or something like that? Because Papa's Pizzeria is a game in itself. There's Papa's Burgeria. Papa's Scoop. How many are there out there? Sushiria? Bro, wait. Well, okay, for, this question also implies that there is differences in all those games. There's not. They're all the same game. They're all the same game, just with different restaurant themes. Like, the Burgeria was the only- that's the only one I think I ever played. But, they're all the same. You get orders, you make the orders, and then you send the orders. And, depending on the type of food, 
it, I mean, you may have different, like, ingredients, of course, but, like, they're all the same. Like, they're all the same game. How can you have a favorite if they're all the same game? There are differences. Explain to me what the difference between Papa's Burgeria and Pizzeria or Scooperia might be. Different motions and tasks? That's not enough to really be considered, like, really its own game. It is literally a different game, but that is just the same thing. How can you, like, have favorites? Like, what is the difference between all of them to, like, actually have a favorite between all the Pizza or Papa Papa's games, for lack of a better word? Please. No? He refuses. Eh, probably don't need it anyway. Papa Pizzeria stream at 1 million subscribers? Sure, man. I'll do that for a million subscribers. Yeah, different food. I'm like, is that the only difference? Different tasks. So what? What, is it just move your mouse in a different way? Convincing my teachers that Cool Math Games was about math was the best? Bro, our teachers, like, told us to play Cool Math Games. I didn't even have to convince them. And I was such a nerd that I would actually, like, play the math games on Cool Math Games. I wouldn't even, like, do the games that were fun. I would do, like, the damn lemonade stick. Wow! Okay, there we go. Alright, I really didn't know, like, which size the arowana was, so that caught me off guard. It's a good thing I didn't know what size it was, otherwise I probably would have overthought it and not caught it. Alright. Fish at the lake until you have the giant catfish. Optimally, you would want to get away from the lake as soon as possible. River fish will appear in the lake, but at a lower rate than in the river. If the last fish you need is an eel, change the time to 9 p.m. Okay, so now just look at the lake for a giant catfish is what we need. Am I at 16? I am. Okay, good. Lemonade stand. No, the lemonade stand was kind of popping though, man. That shit was awesome. When you're so old that you didn't have computers in school? Our computers were those iMacs, I think. The ones with, like, the, um... The transparent plastic background behind the monitor that actually houses the actual computer itself. Are those called iMacs or are those something else? The Impossible Quiz? Yeah, and I remember watching, like, speedruns of the Impossible Quiz. I'm like, oh man, good times. So can I, like do this okay that does seem to be like a way of spawning fish into the lake is like just keep switching the camera yeah those are the original imax that was what our computer lab was that was what our computer lab was okay now which side should i stand to catch fish best it seems like most fish spawn on this side of the lake seems like most fish spawn on this side of the lake so probably the side i should do it Subway Surfers? What the fuck is Subway Surfers, man? <laughs> it reminds me of those games that would come in, like, boxes of cereal, and then, like, it'd be a CD-ROM of a game that's relevant to that cereal, except it's for Subway, not a cereal. Temple Run? Temple Run is, like, Zoomer nostalgia, right? Like, I don't know, I feel like Zoomers are nostalgic for Temple Run, man. That's, like... I don't know, that was only, like, 2011-ish, maybe. You don't know what sur Subway Surfers is? No, I don't know what Subway Surfers is, man. Club Penguin? I never played it. Like, if you're nostalgic... I don't want to, like, gatekeep. But if you're nostalgic over, like, an old app, like a game app, then I feel like that's nostalgia. Zo that's, like, Zoomer nostalgia. Which is fine. You know, that's fine. But, I don't know. I feel like the people who are, like, nostalgic for... I don't know, Need for Speed Underground 2 are not the same kind of people that are nostalgic for, like, Temple Run. <laughs> I don't know. Blocked and reported. That's fair. That's fair, I suppose. I mean, I guess just keep doing this. Let's just do, like, a few cycles of this. Rip Club Penguin rewritten. Did Disney yeet it off the face of the universe? I wouldn't be surprised. So I've seen... Despite being a 10% spawn rate, according to this, I've seen two giant catfish, one of which despawned before I was able to reach it, the other of which I just missed, which is my fault, but, you know, still. They got arrested and jailed? For, 
like redoing for for revamping Club Penguin after it got shut down? That's crazy, dude. Grew up in the 80s because my parents were boomers. I'm a Zoomer dude, but then again, I grew up in the 80s because my parents were boomers. What do you mean by that? Like you had you had like old stuff that you played with as a kid that basically made you like an 80s, 90s kid. I mean, I don't know. I guess like in a few ways that was kind of me as well. I remember I had this like handheld football game from the 80s and it was like awesome. I loved that thing as a kid, and I kind of want another one in my adulthood, but I remember I had that. Millennial 1986? There you go, you're like prime millennial age. Wizard 101? Yeah, Wizard 101 is... I mean, it's kind of like Club Penguin, right? I don't know. I remember very... I remember very vividly the era of like... MMO RPGs for kids, like not like World of Warcraft, but like Toontown, Wizard 101, Club Penguin, etc., etc. I feel like those were all the rage in like the mid 2000s. So, yeah, some people still be playing some Wizzy. What about Jumpstart Third Grade? Jumpstart Third Grade. That sounds like when you were failing school and your parents, like, made you take some, like, after-school program. <laughs> Not to, like, call you out or anything, but, you know. Jumpstart? What is that? That was such a fever dream? No, it was just a good game? Okay, uh, interesting. I never heard of it before. I'm 22. I feel like I grew up in the golden age of kids' video games. I mean, we feel like that, of course, but kids these days felt like their games were awesome as a kid, you know? Like, some kid grew up with- I mean, I grew up with Minecraft, and I was born in, like, 1996, which means around the release of Minecraft. I mean, it was made in, like, 09, like, that was first started development. I mean, I was 13, but I would still consider, like, that growing up with it, you know? 13 is still a kid, man. Know the game Putt Putt? Yeah, it's like Putt, it's like a whole ass series, right? Putt Putt something something? It's like a point and click? I don't know. Kids these days, yeah, basically. Basically. At a leap fro- oh, dude, the, oh, the quantum leap pad, dude, yes. I play solely Stardew Valley, Minecraft, and Animal Crossing. There's three good games, man. Three very good games. Leapfrog fucks? Oh, absolutely. I actually probably should have caught that. Leapfrog absolutely fucks. You be Funkins, or was it just me? What the hell is you be Funkins? Is that like a Dance Dance Revolution knockoff? I have no idea what that is, man. I'm sorry. Never heard of it. Or you be Funkies? No, I have no idea what that is, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. No idea what that is. Never heard of it. Leapfrog was the best. Leapfrog was pretty leapfrog. I agree. So true, one might say. What is the best way to get something to spawn in the lake up here? Like, what what am I doing wrong? I think I'm just getting unlucky, but I don't I don't know if I just want to say that I'm getting unlucky and move on. You know. I'm, a, I'm just a little gay farmer, farming to my heart's content. You go, little gay farmer. You go. Don't let no one stop you or tell you what to do. Help. I think this is too small, right? This is too small to be a giant catfish. Might be a giant bass? No, it's a cart. I love the background sports games, but yes, dude, the backyard baseball. Yeah, I never played it much as a kid, but I remember I'd go over to my friend's house and he had it. And then I would beat him at it, and then he'd be like, this game sucks. Just catching bugs too, please, Daddy Flick. Don't call him Daddy Flick, okay? He's already got daddy issues himself. Like, there's this, there's this theory out there that he doesn't talk much with his dad, Nat. I mean, I think it's like... <clears throat> I think it's confirmed that he, de that Nat is definitely his dad because, I mean, Chip is CJ's dad and, I mean, it just makes sense in kind of like every way. Except for the fact that I guess Nat is like not the same species as Flick, but I, I think it's most people's accepted canon that Nat is Flick's dad. 
There we go. Alright, don't fucking bin it, you idiot. Don't fucking bin it. Don't bin it. Mosquito, don't bite me. That's a- that's a pond skater. We're alright. Beautiful. Alright, wonderful. That only took me... Mm, way too long. Alright, there we go. Let me, um, clear out my inventory, and then the next time that we have to go to is June at 2 o'clock. June at 2 o'clock. He's either his dad or his granddad. Anyway, he, Flick canonically has daddy issues because Nat has an obsession with eating the bugs that are brought to him. As opposed to Flick, who of course is like, Hmm, yes, I love to look at bugs and... Oh wait, hang on, how do you do the bulk cell? There we go. Yeah. He's like, ooh, I love bugs and all their beauty and form, and I would never eat them. And then his dad's like, <sighs> he just straight up fucking blasts them down his gullet. Hey, that's pretty good. All right. So that's the first, that's the first time frame complete. Now we need to go to June at two o'clock to catch a pop-eyed goldfish, a guppy, a bluegill, a pale chub, a brook trout, which I already got, a Crucian Carp, which I already got, and then a giant snakehead as well. Okay. And also a goldfish, it says, but you can also catch that later. Alright, that's what we gotta do. Lick looks like he has daddy issues. That's okay, don't judge him. They're boyfriends, I don't care what context says. Yeah, like, I, I get it, everyone's got their own headcanon. Uh, save and quit. Because he's emo. <laughs> I don't want to make the stereotype that every emo kid has daddy issues, though. And they were roommates. Oh my god. They were roommates. I too love to look at bugs. I mean, I'd rather look at one than eat one. So I guess me and Flick can at least agree on that, even if our fashion sense maybe isn't the same. God, you're horrendous. <laughs> If you can believe it, that's not even my most horrendous looking villager. It's not even my most horrendous looking villager. Uh, can I have other settings, please? <clears throat> I would like to set the clock. June at 2 o'clock, so that'd be 14. There we go. Sue E, bring Sue E back to New Horizons. She's vile looking. I fucking love it. She's pretty bad. She's pretty bad, man. Then again, they brought back... I don't know, um... What's a really bad one that they brought back? I suppose there are worse ones than Sui that they brought back. Oh, it's raining, that'll help. Good to see. Alright, river and lake again. So basically, go back to the same spot. Alright, boys, we're doing the same thing we were yesterday. Ah. Yeah, and they kept Chow. Ain't that fucked up, man? That's so fucked up. They kept Chow. Hey, Bluegill. Alright, dude, we're, we're, we're moving right along. I don't care what anyone says, man. We're making decent progress. I think, for context, by the way, the world record for the Golden Rod in this game is like an hour. So, we're not making world record pace, but... You know... <laughs> We're doing all right. I think this is fine. I was not expecting to compete with world records. I mean, hell, I'll just be happy to be maybe halfway done by the time. Well, I guess we're only two fish away from halfway, but I don't know. Make some de decent progress, and I think we're doing just that. Are you are reading chat, though. That's true, but there's plenty of speedrunners that can read chat and still, you know, do a really good job. I think I'm maybe a little bit more interactive than most, but that's just the trade-off that you gotta do. They need to bring back Woolio. I really don't know why they would not bring back most, if not all, of the characters that they cut. Like, really, what is the point in not bringing some of them back? Even if it's like, like, maybe their logic is that it can be like Pokemon, where there can be like too many villagers. Like, I agree with, like, Pokemon, where there can be, like, too many Pokemon, where it, like, waters down the pool of Pokemon. But I don't really see that as easily with Animal Crossing, where, like... Thanks for the hydrate. I don't really see that as much with Animal Crossing, where it's, like... I don't know. I, I don't really see it, like, diluting the pool of 
villagers in the same way that, like, a bunch of Pokemon can dilute the Pokemon pool. I don't know. I feel like it's different, but I really don't know why I feel that way. I can't explain why I feel that way. I just do. Yeah, 93 fish across all the Animal Crossing games. 40 in GameCube, and then I think... Every game after that introduces, like, another 10, and then there's a few others scattered around. So we got the bluegill. We need the pop-eyed goldfish and the guppy, which are both 1%, which is tragic. Pretty tragic. I loved Belle from this game. She was a simple cow. Yeah, I like Belle. I don't know. It's just a lot of, like, good villagers that they just didn't bring back. Even the bad ones, man. Bring them back. What's the point in not? I really don't see it myself. I really don't see it. Bell and Tipper would be feuding in New Horizons? That's true, they do look pretty similar, don't they? I guess maybe that's why they didn't bring her back, because she looks too similar to Tipper, but... I don't know, it doesn't mean you can't redesign them. I don't know if I knew half the villagers before the HHA challenge. I mean, like, that's still too... If you didn't know half the villagers, that's still over 200 villagers that you know, which is a lot. That's a lot, man. I couldn't name you half the Pokemon that exist, but I could still knock off maybe like 200 of them, which is a lot. Anyone that tells you that ain't a lie is a Pokemon nerd. The dog and the cat with the oh, meow, meow and bow, dude, yes. I mean, those are pretty common ones that people want back, but I don't know. Even the ones that aren't so popular, I just want to see back. Yeah, my fish is a... My, my fish is a... <laughs> my fish is a bitmap, dude. Help me. They're so pixely. It's alright, they're still worth the same, I suppose. Is it parasocial to say that I really enjoyed the last video? No, that's not parasocial. Parasocial would be like, assuming I'm your friend, because you watch me on Twitch, and like my videos on YouTube. That's parasocial. Like, thinking that I would like... I don't know. Th thinking that like, I would... I, I don't know, I'm trying to, like, basically just thinking that I'm, like, your friend in the, in the way that you would, like, in the way that we would, like, hang out together just because you watch my videos. That's parasocial. It's not parasocial to, to say that you enjoy my stuff. If anything, I appreciate that. Streamer is not your friend. Let that be a lesson to you. Pale chub. That's gonna go in the video, because I caught a pale chub, which is a new catch. How many am I at? Should be at 19. There we go. Internet friend. Not to be parasocial, but are we friends? Huh? JK, unless flushed emoji, hand pointing right emoji, hand pointing left emoji. Just got unfriended by streamer. Okay. A memory in my brain just resurfaced that I haven't thought about in like 10 years. Do y'all remember the dubstep band Knife Party? I mean, do y'all remember dubstep? Let's start with baby steps here. We all remember dubstep, right? That era? Dubstep era? We all remember. There was a band called Knife Party, and they had a song that was like, You blocked me on Facebook, and now you're going to die. And then it's like this, I mean, it's dubstep. It does like this insane beat drop. And then it's just wub, 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 wub. I don't know. I had a little bit of a dubstep phase. <laughs> you know it's age, though, because it has Facebook on it. Blender music? I don't know. I feel like it's very boomer of people to be like, Oh, dubstep? You mean, <laughs> you mean car exhaust? Like, I don't know, man. Like, I'm not a big dubstep guy no more, but I, I also don't believe in, like, you know, trashing other genres just because you don't like it. I don't know. Uh, Mongolian throat singing? Uh, you mean the sound my stomach makes when I haven't eaten in eight hours? And it's like, it's kind of insulting a whole ass culture there, man. Even if it ain't for you, I feel like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking too much about it. Well, that's a bluegill. God, he's a genius. Because that bluegills in this game, according to the notes here, have 360 vision, which means they can see a bobber all around them. That guy saw that from, like, behind his asshole right there. You're a country defender? That's crazy. What the fuck do you even mean by that? 
Just barely made it to the stream. So glad to be here. Been re-watching and watching your videos. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. The fish has eyes up his ass. Yeah, apparently. Apparently. Or, you know, more likely ears and he heard the bobber behind him. But th that's not as funny as me picturing eyes in his ass, alright? Hey, that's old eyes in his ass Tony over there. And then do some studying in the background. Enjoy your studying. Ooh, piranha. That wasn't something that I needed, but I'll take it. At least I don't think it was. Good to get it now, though. What is that little noise it makes when you catch the fish? Uh, don't insult the woo 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 woo, okay? That is literally the greatest sound effect in the entire game. I I wish that they would bring back some remix of that when you caught a fish in New Horizons, but I guess keep dreaming, because, I don't know. Having good music and sound effects in that game, well, I guess the sound effects are good, but the music, uh, it's not my favorite. It's good, but it doesn't feel like Animal Crossing in many ways. Not as funny as the fish with the eyes in their ass, but there's a mutation in frogs that make them grow eyes in their mouths. Yeah, that's just nasty. <laughs> I don't know, I guess eyes in your ass is pretty gross as well, but I don't know. Picturing it's pretty funny. Yeah, make it into dubstep, dude. Hell yeah. What is up? Yo, what's up, Cricky? Cry, cry, cricket? How you doing? I wish there was like a little music app on the Nook phone to change hourly music to a different game. Yeah, like, I don't know. Seems like a no-brainer to us, right? Seems like a no-brainer to us. And what's up, Captain, as well? Late night music in New Horizons is so cursed. If you're talking about that track that goes wah, 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 that one is a fucking banger, and I really wish more tracks in the game were like that one, because it actually just feels silly. Like, it just feels like they just wanted to have a good time when they made 3 a They're like, oh, nobody's gonna play at 3 a.m. For all we know, we can just fuck around for this track. And they did. They fucked around. And I like that. Because that kind of feels like what they did for a lot of the soundtracks in this game, you know? They're just having fun. They're just goofing around. Just a bunch of music nerds just like, let's make the silliest fucking track imaginable. And they made bangers. Banger after banger after banger. What's up, Octomads? How are you doing? They fucked around and we found out. Oh, yeah. 3 a.m. music reminds me of old... Yeah, it reminds me of old games. Where they just, I don't know, it feels like they didn't just take themselves as seriously as they did in New Horizons. I think in New Horizons is so polished, and that's good. It's not a bad thing. I just think that, like, I feel like the roughness of these old games is kind of nice, you know? Me hunting my dreamy so my plot doesn't autofill? I mean, obviously it's an exaggeration to say no one's playing at 3 a.m., but definitely one of the less trafficked hours of the night for Animal Crossing, I feel. But I don't know. 9 a.m. music? Yeah, I mean, there's good tracks. Don't get me wrong. It's just sometimes they, do, they feel like they took themselves too seriously. It sounds nostalgic despite me not playing the older games. Yeah, I got that with some things as well. Like, sometimes I'll listen to a song and I'll be like, ah, good times. But it'll come from a game that I literally never played. I don't know. Sometimes things just feel nostalgic. Like, I don't know, like, uh, Yoshi's Island. I've never played it before, but, like, the soundtrack to that game is just, like, oh, it's so good. And yet I never played it, which sounds criminal, I know, but still. I haven't gotten anything new in, I feel like, a while. What all am I going for again? Popeye Goldfish Guppy. Pale Chub I got. Bluegill I got. Pale Chub I got. Brook Trout I got, Crucian Carp I got. And then a giant snake head in the lake. Alright. It has some bomb-ass music? It does. Early 2000s Nintendo game? It probably has really good music. I mean, really, even, like, modern Nintendo games do as well. I don't know. Maybe we'll be nostalgic about New Horizons music in, like, 2035. We'll see. Good times ignoring this game? Good times ignoring this game? Like, that noise when you get fish, I'd never played it, but, like, doesn't it feel... I don't know, it feels nostalgic, maybe? At very least, it just feels silly, you know? It just feels silly. Just has its way with music making. It sounds like the time it was made, it's so cool. Yeah, I don't know. 
They're always really good about, like, thematically appropriate music as well. Like, their music always feels right. There's never a Nintendo track that feels out of place. I don't know if that makes sense. Thematically, they always fit. Where the music perfectly matches the tone or the activity that's going on in the game. Every hourly track feels representative of that respective hour. Even the 3 a.m. one that's like, wow, 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 wow. Like, I don't know. It's 3 a.m., man. Of course you're gonna get some, some buffoonery at 3 a.m. So why don't you make some music that most appropriately represents that? 7 p.m. New Leaf? Yes, dude. And 1 a.m. New Leaf as well. What was the end of the dubstep anecdote? Oh, nothing. We were just talking about, like, unfriending someone on Facebook and how there was a song when I was, like, a teenager during the dubstep era of the internet that from Knife Party that was called, like... I don't, I don't remember what the fuck it was called, but it was basically this song about how someone unfriended them on Facebook. It was pretty hilarious. That's all the anecdote was. Hey, dude, you want to, like... My man just looks at the cliff for the entire time. This cornbread about to make me act up. Cornbread's pretty pog. No wonder that Nintendo soundtracks on YouTube get close to a million views. Yeah. Just publicly promoting Nintendo products. So, of course, naturally, Nintendo has to shut that shit down. I remember they took down, like, a whole channel that archived so much, like, video game music. I don't know. Just completely, like, took the took the channel off of YouTube entirely. Dubstep is just so chaotic. It's kind of, like, wild, but I don't know. I was kind of into it back in the day. No, don't enjoy our product. But if you do, pay for it, please. Which is ironic, considering I may or may not be emulating this at the moment, because... Look, all I'm saying is that if they didn't want me to emulate this, they would make it more readily available on other platforms, okay? Is all I'm saying. If you made this available on, like, the Wii U Virtual Console, I'd have bought it on the Wii U Virtual Console. But you didn't. And unfortunately, despite the Wii U just being a Wii, but more, you can't play GameCube games on it, which is kind of silly. We're on again. I don't know. Yeah, Knife Party Internet Friends. There you go. That's what it's called. The Nintendo cops are coming for you now? I don't think they really care, man. Like, there's people out there on Twitch, like... Like, go onto the Animal Crossing category right now. Animal Crossing New Horizons, specifically. And then tell me how many, like, Treasure Island streams are there out there. All those streams are done through hacked Switches. And probably many, many hacked switches, okay? If Nintendo hasn't shut those down yet, I don't think they're going to be shutting me down either. Oh, that's a tiny fish. I need that. But if I go around to the other edge, it's going to it's gonna swim away. So I got to get it from this side. God, I love a good treasure island, though. I mean, like, they serve a purpose. I'm not saying they're bad. I'm just saying, like, if Nintendo didn't take those down yet, I think I'll be okay. Who's y'all's favorite billionaire? Good question, man. I, I, if I go over to the other side of the lake, this thing will despawn. I just know it will. Next, are you going to get every bug in the series? Depending on how well received this challenge ends up being, then I can do that as well. But we'll see. Bro. Kind of got a small issue here. If I go over to the other side of the lake to catch this thing, it will despawn. Because if you, like, walk away from a fish too far... Ah! It snuck up on me. <laughs> oh my god. Jump scare. It snuck up on me, man. And luckily I... Oh my god. Luckily I... I, I think if he didn't bite down on the very first go... I probably would have missed it because he scared the shit out of me. Like, I just panic pressed the button. Luckily, it was perfect timing. Luckily, it was perfect timing. Lucky me, I guess. These challenges help you with your Animal Crossing burnout? Yeah, um, because they give me something to do. Which, really, that's the best way to alleviate burnout. Is have something to do, you know? Something to keep your mind occupied. 
Like, if you're just mindlessly playing because you feel obligated to play the game, then that's kind of like peak burnout, right? Do kids get a Popeye reference in 2020? Yeah, man, I'm pretty sure people get... I, I'm pretty sure people know who Popeye the Sailor is in 2022. Not to mention, this game came out in 2001, so even more so back then. Like, I don't know, one of the most popular animated characters of all time? I feel like people get that. I want you to know that you sparked a Mario Kart flame in me and it's been all I can think about. Hey, I hope it's like a good thing. Because there's some times where like, I'll be like really addicted to a game. And while it is a good feeling to like have something that you're so like into. It, I've also had addictions for games, certain games that can be like really bad because they basically make it so that it's all I can think about. I don't want to do anything other than play that game. I hope it's not like that level of addiction because I've had that before. And that's not so good because your obligations fall by the wayside. <laughs> I'm sure that we've all had those games. Yeah, like game hyper fixations beyond addictions. I get stupid ha I get stupid happy. It's the neurodivergence in it. Hey, I try to be as interactive as possible. What's up, Philo Joe? Love it when you play GC. Hey. Love it when you love the GC, I think. I don't know. It's Zelda for me. Breath of the Wild? Yeah, I, I had that. But with a stream game, I'm good about, like, limiting myself to only playing it on stream. Which is what I did with Breath of the Wild, so, yeah. I, I know you meant GameCube. I know you meant GameCube. I didn't play ACNH for a year because I got so burnt out after getting 400 hours in three months. Yeah, and it's like usually the games that you get like super addicted to like that are also the ones that you get like super burnt out of as well. RimWorld sounds too vulgar. I can't. RimWorld is one of those games that people get really into. I, I never really got into it myself. It's kind of as, as much as like I'm an idiot for it. It's too complicated for me, man. Like there's too many things to worry about. It's one of those games kind of like where if you're not like staying on top of absolutely everything at all times then everything in your colony is going to fall apart and i hate that i have to pay attention to so many things like i can't i can't do that i can't focus on a absolutely everything at all times it stresses me out too much i can't get into rim world for that reason if there was like a rim world but like it's kind of like you know, automated as far as, like, a lot of things take care of themselves, then I could probably get around to enjoying RimWorld. It's a more accessible Dwarf Fortress. So what you're saying is Dwarf Fortress is even worse in that regard? Where you have to manage so many things? Oh, boy. Sudoku and chess? That's what I needed to know. I, I had a chess phase as well. I had a chess phase. I have a chess.com account. You can see how bad I am. Dwarf Fortress is pretty rough. Yeah, no, no, and like Dwarf Fortress spawns so many games. Like so many games take inspiration from Dwarf Fortress. Is it hard for you to think of stuff to talk about after so many hours? No, because if I run out of things to talk about, I'll look at chat and then chat will usually say something. I'll reply to that. And then sometimes I'll even like make a conversation out of like a comment that someone says, kind of like what I'm doing right now. I read your comment, I answered your comment, and now I'm, like, making a whole ass, like, thing about your comment. And repeat that for three hours, and then you're good. You're, you're now a streamer. Yeah, you guys got enough collective bullshit, and I, I, I promise you I can make up enough things to talk about. It's That's why it's hard, though, like, as a new streamer, when you don't have a chat to, like, lean back on, <clears throat> when you run out of things to talk about, it's tough. It's tough when you gotta sit there and come up with something to talk about. That's usually when you would talk about, like, the game. You know, talk about the game. Say literally anything about what you're doing right now. I don't talk about the game as much because I kind of got that chat interaction to back me up. If I run out of things to talk about. Thanks for the hydrate. <clears throat> the graphics are done in ASCII. So yes, it's very hard to get into. It's literally ASCII art. Interesting. All right, so it's made up of of at symbols and pound signs. Interesting. All right. I love your chat community so much. I love you besties, yo. I'm glad that you enjoy it here. I think I've cultivated a decent chat. 
decent. You know who you are. Want to hear a story? I'm 27, but me and my mother often go grocery shopping together. I got stuck in a shopping cart and my mom had to steal soap to get me out. You got stuck in a shopping cart? How'd you get stuck in a shopping cart? Like, as a kid? Like, did you put your, like, legs through that little, like, front section where you can, like, sit? Interesting. And your mom had to steal soap to get you out. How very interesting. I was so invested in the convo that the ad made me jump. Yeah, sorry about that. No, as in two weeks ago. You were in... I don't think I've been inside of a shopping cart since... Probably, like, the age of eight? <laughs> I don't know. But I guess, like, at the same time, like, it kind of sounds fun. Having someone just push you around the grocery store. I don't know. Hell of a lot better than walking. Holy guacamole, new challenge. Indeed. How are you doing? Oh, your, like, hand got stuck. Where did your hand get stuck in a shopping cart? That's very interesting, though. My cat's breath is so nasty, little kibble, kibble goblin. Hey, your breath be nasty, too. If all you ate was kibble and you brushed your teeth once a month. Found your YouTube channel before I found your Twitch. No, that's pretty common, man. I feel like a lot of people have done that. Freshwater goby. That wasn't something that I needed, but again, something that's nice to have. 22. I found it the same way. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to see, like, how many people found Twitch and then my YouTube, or vice versa. Found my YouTube and then my Twitch. I don't really know. But I feel like it's pretty typical both ways. I get stuck in the pillow bin in Ikea. The pillow bin. Interesting. Like, your hand? Your hand just be getting stuck in all these things, man. You gotta keep, like, oil on you at all times, I guess. For me, YouTube and then Twitch? Yeah, I imagine that's a lot of people. A lot of people YouTube and then Twitch, but some of you found me on Twitch first. Let's drop my phone on my nose, and I think my nose is broken now. With all due respect, what kind of, like, paper bones you got that dropping your nose from... I mean, I assume, like... I'm assuming you were holding your phone up here, and then you dropped it. That couldn't have been that much of a distance. What kind of paper bones you got that that broke your nose? But also, that sucks. Hopefully, you can get that fixed up. On Twitch and then YouTube. Yeah, some of you did. The bridge video from YouTube. Yep, yep. The, the museum video. Uh, the bridge video. Those are probably, like, the two biggest uh, drivers of traffic to my channel. So, I imagine that's the case for a lot of you. I feel like this is good. Nah. I made a Twitch account for Strimmer. Interesting. Your name is unique enough to where I would think that, like... I don't know. I feel like somebody would have that username, but if you made it for my stream, then it must be a pretty recent account. I don't know. Feels like you got lucky to get that username. If you have a sturdy case, can do some damage to the cartilage? Maybe. But, like, cartilage, though. It's supposed to be, like, rubbery, man. <laughs> this stuff's rubbery. I, I, maybe I introduced some of you guys to Twitch. I'm curious if I did, like, did you guys, do you guys watch other streamers now, or do you just watch me? Not that I have a problem with it either way, but, <clears throat> mostly just curious. I mean, sure, cartilage got limits, but, like, I don't know. Like, anything. Very rubbery, though, isn't it? I made an account last year. Okay, so you've been around for a while. They got sick of ads, and I didn't want to watch it. I didn't watch them enough to sub. Yeah, isn't it sad that Twitch is, like, single-handedly shooting themselves in the foot by making their already pretty bad discoverability even worse by making it so that you get uh, 30 seconds to a minute of unskippable ads as soon as you want to check out someone else's stream? Isn't that, isn't, isn't that just a wise... Isn't that just a wise move? I love that for Twitch. I love that they're making it so much easier to find other streamers that you may enjoy. Just instantly, like, makes you want to click off. Yeah. If I can watch anyone else play Animal Crossing if it's not you. Ah, what can you say? I do put a little bit of a shirt and je ne sais quoi on it. What can I say? <laughs> Nothing feels like Dagnall. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people don't... I, I, 
a lot of people ain't gonna feel like my streams, right? I mean, they do their own thing. Angry Coconut and CEOMG. I don't know who Angry Coconut is, but I know uh, CEO is another Animal Crossing streamer. No ads, because you got that Prime. There you go. Streaming on YouTube. I can't stream on YouTube due to my... Okay, got to Yes, let's go. I can't stream on YouTube um, because of the fact that I have an exclusivity agreement when I signed on to be a Twitch partner. So I can't stream on YouTube, but if Twitch ever goes into the shitter, it's nice to know that I've built a following on YouTube to where I could switch over to streaming over there and kind of pick up where I left off. And also, you know, following on YouTube has kind of made it so that, I mean, I've been able to make money doing this for as long as I have. So I don't know, I'm pretty thankful for many reasons, but yeah, also for that reason as well. Still need a giant snake head and a guppy. Still need a giant snake head and a guppy. Yeah. And it says that you catch the goldfish later on, but I got it now, so no big deal there. I would follow to another platform if this falls apart. I mean, I don't want to say, like, everyone always speculates that, ooh, is this, like, where Twitch is... Is this, like, I've heard it so many times with, like, YouTube specifically, like, YouTube is... They're, they're gonna fail because they made so many stupid decisions, and I'm like, I don't know. I feel like YouTube... Twitch... I feel like these websites are too big to fail. Then again, I heard that around 2008 a lot of times. Um, <clears throat> I think, but I do genuinely think that Twitch would have to, like, be utterly brain dead in some of their decisions. And they are, sometimes, but even, like, more than they already are, to ever even have a slight chance of ever failing as a website. I don't think it's... I think they're just too big to fail. They wouldn't fail anytime soon. It would be another competitor comes out, competes against Twitch, and does better than them, which, you know, doing... even coming out with, like, a viable streaming service platform is hard enough in its own. So, yeah. I feel like a, a, a competitor would have to come out, do better than Twitch, have enough funding to stay online, which is, that's a big thing. Like, I don't think people realize how much money it is to run a streaming platform like this. And it would have to generate a user base that competes and rivals Twitch. And then they would have to keep growing while, while they keep pulling audiences from Twitch. All those things would have to happen for Twitch to fail. <clears throat> So unless all those things happen, Twitch ain't going anywhere, man. They can make a lot of bad moves before anything starts to happen. Many, many decisions made by YouTube, they still continue to be shit-ass. Same with YouTube. Nobody's competing with YouTube. There are other video-sharing platforms out there, but be honest with me. How many, how many of you use those? YouTube is the only one that can compete with Twitch. But YouTube's main focus isn't to compete with Twitch. Their live streaming service is really just kind of like... That's their, that's secondary, man. Them being a video sharing platform is their main goal. So they're not really... They're not worried about Twitch. Like, they, they can compete with them, but that's not really their goal. Just as it's not really Twitch's goal to compete with YouTube, because their main focus is two completely different things. So, I don't know. I don't think either of those sites are going anywhere, despite the amount of times that I've heard, Oh, that's it for YouTube. And how many, like, competitors that I have seen for both of those platforms completely falter. Like, y'all remember Mixer? That was Microsoft's attempt to try to do what Twitch does. I remember there's been plenty of, like, times when I was trying to grow my YouTube channel, where I was looking for, like, other platforms like YouTube to diversify my content. None of them worked. None of them. They're they're all they're all completely defunct now. Yeah, I don't know. I, I've seen these websites try to try and fail to compete with Twitch and YouTube to where I don't feel like either of those are going down anytime soon. Daily Motion for stuff yanked on YouTube. I gotta be honest. I I've never watched Daily Motion, and if I have, it's been a long ass time. Am I a pen or a pencil writer? I'm pens a hundred percent. My pens are just superior in every way. My photo bucket account? Oh my god, photo bucket. Jesus Christ, I haven't heard that in five years at least. 
daily motion. Interesting. Like, what is the second biggest, at least in America? I'm assuming other countries have their own streaming platforms. Like, isn't YouTube banned in some countries? So, they probably have their own respective platforms as well. Vimeo? Yeah, maybe. I had a Hotmail account before they became Outlook. I still... Outlook... I think Outlook's been a thing forever, though, right? I don't know. Maybe they merged, but I, don't, I think Outlook was a thing even before Hotmail. Nico Nico? I don't know what that is. DeviantArt? I'm sure. I think that a lot of us have grown out of the DeviantArt phase. I was never artistically inclined, so I never got into that phase, but... Yeah. It was Japanese... And, uh, yeah, that might be why I never heard of it, but... It was a Japanese video site? Oh! I see. Well, I don't know about that, but what I do know is I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. When I come back, we're gonna try to get a giant snake head and a guppy. That's what we need before we can move on to the next time frame, so... Uh, let's keep chugging away. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to run some ads while I'm gone. Don't hate me too much for that. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Don't go anywhere. How many times have y'all pissed today? I've pissed three times. That's fucking rookie shit, dude. Three times? At least, like, five. At least. Like, y'all dehy- y'all dry as hell. Y'all only pissed- I mean, I don't know, I guess it depends on the time. For me, it's 4.08 p.m. If it's almost evening for you, and you've only pissed, like, twice, then you- you just dry. You just dry. Like, you just got- you, you gotta drink more damn water. Like, you probably- probably addicted to like drinking maple syrup or something that shit don't go through you too fast <laughs> need to build up that bladder tolerance interesting man i hope you don't get an infection stay healthy man chat better stay hydrated i'm always hydrated man twice and i'm about to go to sleep like that's just i don't know man i don't know i'm not that fucking stupid i didn't say you were but you know, there are people out there that <laughs> don't make don't make me tell the story of hold your Wii for a Wii, okay? That competition that that radio show back in 2006 hosted for someone to hold their urine for the longest amount of time in order to win a Nintendo Wii, and then somebody fucking died due to basically water poisoning from it. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that was uh. Yeah. So, you know, like, you may not be stupid, but yeah, someone died. Yeah, some some person died because, I think, I mean, just water poisoning, basically. They they drank too much water. I think they almost... No, no, no. I, they definitely died. I'm pretty sure they are dead. Wii's were so hard to get at launch that someone died for one. Yeah. Crazy. For a Wii! I have to go... I go when I... Okay. I don't need to read, like, their personal pissing anecdotes. But, you know, I'm glad. I'm glad that we all piss. Everyone poops. Everyone pisses. Glad to see it. I wouldn't say it's stupid. It's more, like, ignorance in that case. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yo. Planet of Venus. Thanks for the six months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. That was very lucky. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. Is Pikmin 3 worth buying? I have no idea. Never played a Pikmin game. All talking about pissing. Blame Bandit Yoshi, dude. He's the one who started it all. That's my good friend Bandit Yoshi. Shoutouts to Bandit Yoshi. Kingdom Hearts streamer. Can I have an extra kidney, please? No, man. I don't have any to spare, I'm afraid. How are you keeping track of the fish that you caught? Good question. I have a uh, Adobe Flash Player 11 program currently running over here. 
where if I click a fish, it'll fade it out. And the route that I'm using to get all the fish is the official golden rod route. I don't know who made it, don't ask, but why didn't y'all tell me my webcam is all fucked up? Yeah, I'm following this route here. So right now I'm at June at two o'clock. I'm trying to get a guppy, which is a 1%. I'm trying to get a giant snakehead at the lake, which is a 5%. And then I can move on in May at five o'clock. You would be an Adobe boy. I don't know what that means, man. Like I downloaded the thing that that this is the checklist and it's an Adobe program, okay? I, I'm not an Adobe boy. I don't even know what that means. I don't, I don't even know what that means. Maybe it's like a pop culture reference. I would have no idea. Finally made it to a stream. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. 15% off coupon this week from Nintendo, but I'm not sure what to buy. I don't know. I, I, I think the latest thing that I bought was Switch Sports, and I think you already got that, so... I don't know. MLB The Show? I've been playing a lot of MLB The Show on the Switch lately. What an abode... Y'all are saying... No, no, you're saying Adobe. What an Adobe boy thing to say. I'm going to fucking decapitate myself on stream, okay? Don't test me. I'll do it. Defends Adobe products. If you want me to defend Adobe products, I'm not doing that. Oh, thank you. 23. Fuck my... Never mind. 23. I'm not gonna defend Adobe products, because aren't, like, Adobe products, like, kind of shit? Or at least, like, the... The accessibility to them is shit. Like, they're so expensive. I know that you can do, like, monthly payments on them now. Which I guess is better than having to pay $300 up front for a copy of Photoshop, but I don't know. I would I would gladly encourage you to pirate all your Adobe software, which I feel like is not something an Adobe kid would say, you know? They are expensive, but, but they're like the industry standard, right? I don't know. Just torrent them, man. Just torrent them, okay? I promise Adobe doesn't need your money. Same reason why I'm currently emulating a Nintendo game, because Nintendo don't need my money. They already got enough of it, then. Not to mention, and I don't want to, it sounds very self-centered, I've also probably made Nintendo a lot, not a lot, a lot, but a little bit of money. I have probably convinced a decent amount of people to buy Animal Crossing, maybe buy Nintendo Switches. Which is why I don't really understand when companies want to, like, take down footage of their games. That's a pawn skater. In the DLC, yeah. Which is why I don't really get it when companies, like, take down footage of, like, their games. Because they're like, oh, that's our intellectual property. And I'm like, yeah, but it's also just free promotion? Don't really understand. Maybe I haven't made Nintendo a lot of money, but imagine how much, like, one big Nintendo creator has made for them. And then add all the creators up total, and YouTube, Twitch, and all the other media sharing platforms has probably made Nintendo a lot of money. Based on how much they advertise the game. And Nintendo, they used to be really bad with it. They're a lot better now, but they used to not let you, like, upload footage of their games. And it, it didn't make any sense now. It certainly doesn't make any sense back then. But over the course of time, they definitely figured that out. That why wouldn't you just let them upload the game? Rockstar was really bad with it as well. I remember around the release of GTA 5, all these GTA 5 Let's Plays were getting taken down. And I'm like, this is fucked up. Because now I don't know whether I want to get the game or not. Now we have fair use laws. I mean, we've had fair use laws, but fair use is one of the most, like, and I don't know the full details of it. Fair use and the law for it is, like, one of the most, like, misquoted, misinterpreted laws out there, I feel. A lot of people claim fair use when they do, like, steal, like, steal footage from something with the attempt to monetize it. Focus. And they're like, oh, fair use. Yes. They're like, oh, fair use. What happened to fair use? And it's like, fair use doesn't apply if you're like stealing footage from the NFL, monetizing that content after they specifically tell you at the beginning of every broadcast that all the property is property of the NA NFL and you can't use it without written consent of the NFL. This is just an example, but they definitely like 
yeah, they they definitely don't let you just steal content and then monetize it. If it's like the intellectual property of something where you have no input to it whatsoever, like you're literally just like recording a football game and then re-uploading it and then monetizing it for yourself. That's not fair use. Fair use could be like me playing Animal Crossing, putting my own creative twist on it, and then monetizing it because to an extent it's my own work as well. And maybe that doesn't even qualify as fair use either, but Nintendo allows me to do it, so I'm going to do it basically. All right, so that was a guppy. We got a guppy now. Now we just need a giant snake head from the lake. So let's just keep like refreshing the lake here. And I don't even know fair use to the extent that I probably should. Ooh, baby. Do you want to do you want to do you want to get out from under the lily pads, please? Do my friend, I really need you, man. I really need you to like look at me. Look at me. Look at me dear giant snake head eyes yes 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 all right giant snake head that's now 25 out of 40 fish which is crazy to think about and now we can move on to may at five o'clock we'll now move on to may at five o'clock that was awesome got that pretty quickly monetize is definitely the correct pronunciation what do you are you saying that i'm wrong if you're saying that I'm wrong, then I direct you to the nearest... Never mind. No, the way that I say it is pretty correct, I'm pretty sure. Everyone dunk on Dag's pronunciation? Why, why are you dunking on my pronunciation of monetize? 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 It's just weird, man. It's weird, okay? When people, like nitpick the way I say things when like they I mean obviously like people have never heard of the concept of like accents and dialect like I don't know it, it blows me away that people like don't understand that sometimes who is that still waiting for you to repay their mortgage uh hey dude I misclicked all right defo western PA that's pretty true can I can I just please sell my things please like, I don't know, the, the fact that, like, accents and dialect are still, like, things that people don't understand exist, it does kind of, like, blow my mind a little bit. Kind of crazy. There you go, 5,300. He's talking to me about, like, the damn... Now, that wasn't, like, a good representation of how long selling takes. It does take a while, but, like, that dialogue is quite abnormal, okay? I promise you that dialogue is not how long it should take. He was trying to introduce me to the HHA there. Okay. Now, May at 5 o'clock, and we're going to want to get a large char. It's char, not char, Dagnal. A crawfish, a frog, a killifish, which we already have, a loach, a cherry salmon, a rainbow trout, and that's it. Everything else that it has listed, we've already caught. Let's do it. British, British, oh, you call it paprika instead of paprika? Oh, you idiot. The inventor of paprika said that it's paprika, not paprika. Shut up. Man, I goof on people, but I'm not, like, actually mad. Imagine saying y'all could never be me, but it is. I like that y'all is becoming more mainstream, that people actually say y'all. I know, he's disgusting, chow. This horrible. I like how it's becoming more mainstream that people say y'all. It, it's just the superior way of referencing a group of people. It simply is just the best. You all. Like, that's how people where I come from would say it. But look, I'm not from the South, but y'all is simply just superior. All right, May at 5 o'clock. Which is 17. Sorry, I have to do math there. I hate military time. It just makes me think too much. He looks so creepy. He's horrible. He is truly horrible. Wretched. I'm saying y'all a lot lately, and I'm from Massachusetts. It's becoming more and more popular, and I like that. It's the one good thing to come from the South. And fried chicken. But, I mean, come on now. Hey, it's raining again. Nice. All right. The shar is the waterfall. How am I going to fish at the waterfall, I'm wondering? 
So a crawfish is at the pond, a frog is at the pond, and a killifish is as well, but we don't need a killifish. So a frog and a crawfish should come pretty quickly here. I gotta use military time every day? That's miserable, man. I couldn't do that. I mean, I suppose you'd get used to it, but... I don't know. Where do you work? The military? I'm in Texas, so I grew up saying I'm happy to see it being used more. It is superior. It's simply superior. Southern cooking is... Oh, yeah, southern cooking. I mean, come on now. That's comfort food for a reason. I like military time. I mean, I guess it is a way of eliminating the AM-PM confusion. Ooh, a loach. Wait. Yeah, I needed a loach. Wait, never mind. I'm stupid. I was like, wait. Did it not list that? But it did. I guess it does eliminate AM, PM confusion if you were to, like, be... Oh, it's 1700. Okay, 5 o'clock. Easy. Not, like, AM, PM. Like, oh, what is it, 5 o'clock? Then again, I feel like AM and PM is... It should be known within the context of the conversation that's being had, whether it's AM or PM, but uh, I don't know. And maybe it's not always so obvious, right? It's what I set my 3DS to by default, and I didn't know how to change it, so I learned it. I mean, it's not much to learn. It's You got 24 hours in a day. It, military time is very easy. It's not really something you learn. It's just something that you may not be used to. Makes it easier for my brain. I see. My stomach hurts so much, your stream is helping me out. Hey, happy to help. Happy to help. Frog or crawfish, please. Frog or crawfish. Mm, not quite. Not quite. Just add... Tw yeah, like, just add 12 to the AM time. Exactly. I'm eating simplified logoed prin Pringles. Simplified lo... Oh, right. They changed the logo on Mr. Pringle, right? Is that his name? Is he Mr. Pringle? I, I, I would hate to misclassify Mr. Pringle. He d Just because he's simplified now does not mean that he doesn't deserve to be called by his respective name. He is still Mr. Mr. Pringle, right? At least I think that's him. Was he Mr. Prongle? I don't know, man. Maybe. It's much easier, but it doesn't help me read analog clocks. I, I actually had to teach my chat how to read an analog clock. Like, is this actually a thing that... It, I was kind of blown away the first time I realized that people don't know how to read analog clocks, considering it was, like, literally grade one stuff from when I was a kid, but... I mean, I guess if they don't teach how to read analog clocks anymore, then I guess I shouldn't be surprised that people don't know how to read them. But I actually had to teach my class... Not my class, my, my chat... how to read an analog clock, because a lot of people didn't know. And... I don't know. Really? That's kind of what I was like, but then I was like, you know, if people never learned, then I guess, can you really be surprised that they didn't, that they don't know how to read it? If they didn't teach it to you in school. Ooh, rainbow trout, nice. 27. Hi, Mr. Dag. No homework, please. Oh, don't worry. I'd be the cool teacher, okay? I'd be the cool teacher. Y'all would like having me as a teacher, I promise. They didn't teach it. Do they not teach it? I don't know. I mean, I guess, like, digital clocks are becoming more popular. I mean, they've already been popular for many years, but, like, I still see analog clocks around enough to where I would be inconvenienced by not knowing them. So I, fig I figure they do still teach them. They do teach them in school. Yeah, so, like, I don't know, but I guess not every school is a little bit different, right? Yeah, like, I learned that shit in first grade. And, look, I'm just gonna say it. If you didn't learn it in school, how have you not, like, picked up on it? Over the course of your life, how have you not picked up on how to read an analog clock, even if you didn't learn it in school? Do they still teach cursive writing? Probably not, because that actually is something that you, you can live without doing. Like, I don't ever use cursive in my adult life. It was basically an entire year that they made us learn cursive in, like, sixth grade, because they're like, oh, once you get to college, once you get to high school, they're gonna make you write cursive, and it's like, no, they didn't. And in my adulthood, the only cursive I ever use is in my signature, which isn't even cursive, so much as it is just scribbles that vaguely resemble my initials. So, I don't know. It ain't even, like, that one makes sense they don't teach anymore. Ew! Interesting. It's my first piece of trash. 
sign language instead of cursive. Yeah, that would have been that would have been better. Although they did teach languages in school, I just don't really remember many of them. Is my problem. A big boy, little boy, but big boy. Crawfish frog, crawfish frog, cry. Pushing cart. I need signature advice. Mine looks like shit, dude. Don't feel like. Don't feel like you need to have a nice signature, man. It, it, it doesn't define you as a person, I promise. School doesn't need to teach you clocks. They should be more concerned about important things. Maybe. Depends on what your definition of important things are. I would say that learning how to read a clock is a pretty important thing, because that would be a pretty inconvenient life if you went your entire life without knowing how to read an analog clock. So I would argue that while it shouldn't take up a large portion of time, in your curriculum, it should definitely also be something that they teach you in class. Just my... I don't know, I'd rather have learned that than, like, Euler's theorem myself. My forensic teacher being amazed at my ability to forge my classmate's signature. Yeah, there you go. That's a good reason to learn cursive. We didn't have the option to do sign language until high school. I never had the option. It was only when I became a camp counselor for the deaf and hard of hearing that they made us, like, learn basic sign language, and I've forgotten it all at this point, so... Yeah, again, like, languages are only, like, good if you actually put them to good use, you know? Loves one to thing to, like, take some Spanish classes LMFAO in high school, it's another face. thing to actually, like, learn it because you put it to use on a regular basis. Hey! Look, I make fun of Kristen's signature because it's funny, but my mom does the same thing where she'll literally like when you need to like sign something at like a point of sale kiosk or something like that they usually call that the cash register or the uh you know what i you know what i mean um when you need to like sign something on the pad there she'll literally just brrr, like a like a straight line with like maybe one loop-de-loop -loop in there and my mom does the same thing it, it's hilarious like it's it's funny that just uh, i don't know it, it, it's funny. I enjoy it. It's not like, it's not a bad thing. I just think it's funny when they just like, you know, I don't do much better. I I, I don't even like, you know, I'm not putting my full, my full fucking like effort into it either. You're learning trig in grade one. No, I was just making an example, man, of like, there's been plenty of useless things that I've learned in school that I would have rather learned something practical, like sign language or something. Taxes. Yeah, there you go. There's another one. And the important people can learn trig. I don't need it. Like, if you're going into math, then sure, learn trig, man. I don't give a fuck. I'm not going into math. Shit. I don't give a about fucking Euler. There's nothing life changes that requires... There is nothing life changing that requires you to use an analog clock. I highly disagree, Bestie. If you go out enough you will find plenty of analog clocks like in your classrooms do they not use analog clocks how are you going to be able to tell the time if you never learned i don't know i guess we're just not seeing eye to eye on that one but uh i feel like you'd be very much inconvenienced to not ever learn how to read an analog clock awesome all that time for a large bass yeah they're everywhere man I don't know what a mortgage is, and at this point, I'm too scared to ask. So true. So true. My bus driver in elementary school and middle school taught us the alphabet and sign language. That's pretty sweet. I still vaguely remember the alphabet in Spanish. It goes A, B, C, D, A, F, A. H, E, J, A. L, A, N, A. L, A, M, A, N, A. O P Q R A S A oh, Jesus <laughs> uh, Any Spanish speakers want to tell me how I did? No? Okay, that's fair enough. Ah, I just guessed. I just fucking guessed. Oh, cherry salmon. I guessed. I guessed, and it was a fish that I needed. Not bad. It was good. Great. I mean, I definitely skipped some letters, but there you go. That was good, a Spanish... Okay, all right, all right. There we go. I remember they had us, make, like, sing a song about it. It was like, A, B, C, C, D, A, F, A. And then you go from there. But, yeah, that was just me, like, rattling off that 
information that I haven't learned since high school. Please, I'm going to need you to look at the bobber. I really need you to look at the bobber, man. It's kind of critical, critical, mission critical that you look at the bobber. Mission critical that you look at my bobber here. Like, really, really need you to pull through for me here, man. Because if I go over there to go catch you, you're going to despawn. So I really need to get you while I'm over here. Okay, but how about I, like, get a little bit closer? Maybe we could get, like, a little bit closer here. Like, just, you know, you don't have to fish off the dock, man. It's it's fine. What is that? Oh, it's a killifish again. Oh, shit, I already got that. Here. <laughs> I do... I still very much enjoy the here. It like it's not small enough to you where you wouldn't see it, but it still feels the need to like tell you where exactly it is. I, I very much enjoy that. I very much enjoy it. In all this time, despite being a 53% and a 39% respectively, I still have not managed to see or catch a crawfish and a frog. I caught a killifish though, which is an 8%. And I haven't gotten a char either. Like, I've literally made no progress during this split here. Like, are you... Are you a crawfish or a frog? Like, I don't know what size they are. Oh, that was just fucking bad. I don't know what size they are. I assume they're, like, one bigger than the smallest. Like, they are in regular games. Fish off the waterfall here to see if I can't get a char. Oh, there's a little guy down there. I don't know if that's a char. Also, oh, no, he's still there. I feel like that's too small. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, frogs are in pawns. Um, in this game, they are. Actually, no, in every game, they are. Holy sh... Uh, this is the lake. This isn't a pond. This is a lake. I... I was like, yeah, it's in the pond. That's what I'm fishing at. No, you're fishing in the lake, dummy. You're fishing in the lake. You're fishing in the lake. Oh, bestie. Got a frog. Got a frog, boys. 29. Alright, thank you uh, for pointing that out. Which, it's weird, though. I still caught a killifish in the lake. I guess a killifish is pond and lake. Very interesting. Well, either way, thank you. I'm taking credit for that frog. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I, I don't know why. I just, like, I forgot that ponds are, like, different from lakes. I thought that they were the same thing for some reason. <laughs> I thought that they were, like, the same thing. All right, well... Uh, I mean, luckily, they spawn like crazy, so... So a crawfish is that size. A frog is one smaller, it looks like. All right, well, good to know. I also have 360 vision. There you go. Crawfish. That's 30. Dude, we only have 10 more fish to go in this whole-ass game. Bitterling, pond smelt, large char, stringfish. Oh, God, there's a stringfish in this game. Oh, fuck. Also, the coelacanth as well, which I could go try to get now. I mean, it is telling me I need to get a sea bass from the ocean, but in like while it's raining, maybe I should go try and get the coelacanth as well. I mean, why not? Why not at least try? Yeah, why not at least try? It's um all year, but it has to be raining. Actually, wait. Oh, no, actually, in... No. It's after 4 o'clock in this game, right? It's after 4 o'clock. Oh, I missed the hydrate. Sorry about that. Isn't it 4 to... 4 to 9 a.m.? So, actually, yeah, we're fine. We can totally get a coelacanth right now. Somebody double-check that, though, before I go and waste, like, an hour trying to get it, only to realize I can't catch it right now. Good boy, you're now hydrated. If you say good boy to me ever again, I'm going to ban you. Alright, I don't know if this is close enough to count as waterfall, but let's try it. Let's try it. Nope. Well, might be, but it wasn't a large char. Imagine a large char is pretty rare. Like, I w you think I'm joking about the good boy thing? You think I'm fucking joking? You can try me. 
You can try me. Yeah, 4 p.m. to 9 a.m.? Okay, good. That's what old Goggle says? All right, good. And... Wait, it's all day? Oh, that is right! It's all day in this game! Okay, well, that works all the same then. That might be a large char. I don't know their size, but it's waterfall. 50-50 joking, TBH? Yeah, well, I'll flip a coin and it'll be a 50-50 chance whether I ban you. How's that sound? I mean, the vision does say blind, so I probably... Yeah, there you go. Like, knock it around a little bit, then knock it around to the other side. Now I really can't reach it? Oh, good lord. Come on, man. You gotta work with me here. There you go. There you go. There you go. Turn around. Turn around. There you go, bestie. There you go, bestie. Let's go. I think that's it, right? Yeah. Large char. 31 out of 40. All right, so now we go to the ocean. Actually, it's kind of weird. There's only five ocean fish in this entire game. There's jellyfish, sea bass, red snapper, barred knife jaws, and coelacanths. That's it. There's only five ocean fish. That's so weird. Considering, I mean, they make up 40, 40 out of the 80 fish. Oh, we have peanut now. They make up 40 of the 80 fish in New Horizons. Yeah, like, the ocean doesn't matter in this game, apparently. They just were like, oh, yeah, I guess there is other bodies of water, huh? Well, a sea bass should come pretty easily. Take it. Saves me having to get it later. Probably because it's so hard to get to the ocean. Not really. I mean, my, my town is three layers, which is unusual, I think. So, I feel like it's harder in my town than it is in normal ones. I don't feel like that's the standard, though. One third in 2.5 hours? What, two thirds you mean? Two thirds in two? Like, I didn't think I was gonna get it done today, and I still might, because we got the stringfish and the coelacanth to go still, so. <laughs> Don't you be thinking that we're gonna get this done today, unless I wanted to make it perhaps a little bit of a longer stream today, which I might. Um, we'll see. I, I have been building up a little bit of stamina ever since I streamed like five hours twice last week, so I don't know. Maybe my stamina is good enough to go and try and finish GameCube today. But we'll see. Gotta get a sea bass first. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that is technically split done for right now. We should be at 33, and we are. So that's technically this split done. So... We could move on, but I'm like, we shouldn't re we shouldn't waste a rainy day while we have one. Let's at least do like a cursory look for a coelacanth. If you recall, they are they're one size bigger than that basically. So let's just keep looking for any fish that's one size bigger than that. And if we can knock the coelacanth out today, dude, then really the only pain in the ass fish that we'll have left is a string fish. Which, to be honest with you, I know it's a pain in the ass in New Horizons. I don't really remember how much of a pain in the ass it is in this game. Maybe they're actually quite easy in this game, but that's also wishful thinking more than likely. The insane amount of work it takes me to get to the ocean in New Leaf is too much. I mean, yeah, in New Leaf, it's not really part of your island. You have to, like, go down a hill and then, you know... And then there's, like, multiple beaches. You may not be able to access all of them before getting the wetsuit. So it's like, yeah, I don't know. It is a little bit tougher, I suppose. Maybe. Mm, I don't know if that... It, it, it's one bigger than that. I'll know the size of a coelacanth when I see it. It's still fresh in the mind of catching a coelacanth. The bass! Yeah, so it's one bigger than that. Also, well, I should get a barred knife jaw as well, actually. So maybe, just maybe, we should be catching these. Somebody check for me if you can catch a barred knife jaw in May of 5 o'clock in May in Animal Crossing GameCube. Barred knife jaw. Because again, there's no point in doing it if I... There's no point in doing it, of course, if they can't spawn. But I don't really see why they wouldn't. Then again, I don't really know their spawning hours to... I don't know. I, I have most of the spawning times memorized in, like, New Horizons, but of course they could have, like, changed from game to game. So the spawning hours in New Horizons probably aren't going to be the same as GameCube. March to November. Okay, so that... March to November all day? 
or at certain times of the day because it's may so that works if that's the case then dude we should go for it we should go for all the ocean fish except for the jellyfish which i think is in august only if it's anything like it was in city folk i think all day all right cool let's do it let's get let's try to get every ocean fish now then other than the jellyfish all praise to the coelacanth dude if we can if we can do it let's do it I'm convinced the golden trout doesn't exist. I don't know why. The golden trout never gave me as big of balls as the stringfish did. I feel like the the enemy to the common Animal Crossing New Horizons player is the golden trout in the stringfish, but I don't know. Golden trout, for one reason or another, never gave me much hassle when I needed it, which was, I guess, not very often. I don't know. Stringfish for me is probably the hardest, but... Maybe I also just got lucky. I mean, that's probably river, right? It's probably river. Tuna was the hardest for me to find. Yeah, the ones that are like dock exclusive in New Horizons are always really tough. The one, I mean, the golden trout and the stringfish are like cliff top only. The ones that have like really specific spawning locations are always a lot harder than the ones that just kind of spawn randomly. Because the ones that spawn anywhere in, like, the river, for example, just you're just more likely to stumble upon them, right? And the barrel eye. At least the barrel eye spawns everywhere in the ocean. It's not like it's peer exclusive. But the problem with the barrel eye is that it shares the same size as a horse mackerel. So you have to catch basically, like, 100 horse mackerels before you get a barrel eye. And that's quite annoying. But the barrel, I, I don't know, for one reason or another, I never struggled with it much either. Struggling for the mahi, yeah, the mahi mahi, pure exclusive, rare as hell. Yep. Yep, that one will give you big balls as well. The pike? I don't know, the pike never gave me too much trouble. Just me, though. I'm missing, like, all the damn beetles. I mean, if your island hasn't been played in summertime, then that's understandable. Once you get to summertime, though, just make an island, a uh, Nook Miles Island, cut down everything but the palm trees, and then bada bing, bada boom. You're in the frickin' money. Okay, lucky me. <laughs> he definitely, uh... Ooh. Sometimes I get lucky where I hit the button too early, but they bite so fast that I get them anyway through pure luck. So, lucky me. I'm getting pretty good at... I'm gonna flex here. I'm getting pretty good at fishing, man. I'm getting pretty good at fishing. Like, look how fast they bite down. It's like rapid fire. The definition of clifftop in New Horizons is a river that is on the level 2 or 3 of your island. So it can't be like a sea level elevation river. It has to be one higher or two higher for that matter. Have you covered from your Switch Sports soreness? The so Ooh, that, I mean, it wasn't a coelacanth, but that... Oof. I'm really good at fishing, by the way. <laughs> I can definitely still feel the soreness, but it definitely it isn't like as noticeable. It definitely isn't as notice noticeable. What's up, Charmwork? How are you doing? Giant Trevally. The giant Trevally and the Mahi Mahi are basically the same thing, where they're pure exclusive fish that are rare as hell. Yeah, they're, they're both kind of the same thing, without literally being the same thing. Every fish across the entire game series? Yeah, but, for example, there's 40 fish in GameCube, which means that we have... So, we don't need to catch these 40 fish that I'm catching in GameCube in the future games. If a fish debuted in a game, then that's the game that you have to catch the fish. But since we got 40 in this game, that's 40 that we don't have to catch in Wild World. If Wild World introduced 10 more fish, then we only need to catch those 10 more fish. And then every game from there on, we follow that rule. Which really is going to be tough still, because I remember Wild World introduced a lot of rare ocean fish, like the sharks, both sharks, the ocean sunfish, um... I think the Dorado is in Wild World as well. So, I don't know. Wild World will definitely be big balls. Uh, that's a coelacanth, I think. Wild World will be big balls, but let's just worry about GameCube for right now. Jesus Christ, that was fast. Oh, my God. Jeez, Louise. All right. 
Like, I was expecting maybe a few bites before he pulled it all down. I'm surprised I was fast enough to catch that. I, I felt like I was way too slow. <laughs> I felt like that was way too slow, but I'll take it. See you. Oh, painful. Painful to release that. All right, apparently I've caught a coelacanth before I've caught a barred knife jaw, so now we got to work on that. All right, good job, Ben. Good job. My first 3DS game was New Leaf, also my first Animal Crossing game ever. What a great game to start with. It's a great game to start with. All right, barred knife jaw. We got a coelacanth before we got the damn barred knife jaw. Fantastic news. There might be a time where it's more better. Actually, I think that is true. In early September in this game, there no sea bass spawn. I think it's from like the 1st to the 15th. No sea bass spawn. So that might be that might want to be the time that I wait to get a sea bass. That might be the time or to get a barred knife jaw. That might that should probably be the time that I get the barred knife jaw. So if I don't get it within like maybe 5 more minutes, we'll wait until then cuz I'm assuming there will be a <clears throat> time that they want me to go to that's probably around then. No, oh, never mind. I'm gonna shut my big fat mouth. 35. So now we only need the bitterling, the pond smelt, the salmon, the stringfish, and the jellyfish. Why do you do this to yourself? It's fun, man. Like, people just, people hate to hear that I actually, like, enjoy doing these challenges. They want me to suffer. They want me to, like, go through great pain and lengths with which to, like, hurt myself for content. When in reality, like, no, these challenges are fun, man. I think people, like, enjoy the fact that I suffer for their entertainment to where they're like, oh, why would you do this to yourself? Why would you do this to yourself? Oh, as if it's, like, so painful that I get to play Animal Crossing for a living. I don't know. It's really weird, though. It's really weird. But what's up, Ribs? How you doing? Have we dubbed Dagnall the King of Animal Crossing yet? I don't know, man. Wish we got a break from sea bass and New Horizons. They suck. I did enjoy the idea of sea bass being so annoying that they gave you like a 15-day reprieve from them in this game. I very much enjoy that they did that. I like that they did that. 65-10, let's go. Alright, next up. August 31st at 1158... Really? Why did they... Oh, I see what they want you to do. Oh! I see what they want you to do. So the next time that we have to go to is August 31st at 11.58pm. The idea is that you have two minutes before the clock rolls over to September 1st. And in that two minutes, you gotta catch a jellyfish. Jellyfish being only available in August. And then after it rolls up over to September, then... You have to get a salmon. It also says you need a coelacanth, a red snapper, a barred knife jaw, a goldfish, piranha, and arapaima, all of which I've already gotten. So the only thing I would actually need is a salmon. Okay. Well, if that's the case, then let's do it. I'm going to give myself maybe more than two minutes, though, considering how long it takes for me to get to the ocean um, and also loading times. I'm going to give myself like four minutes, probably. Just to be safe. Yeah, I, th I think two minutes is a little bit... Like, if you're really good and, you know, you're... If you're a good speedrunner at this game, you can do it in two minutes. But I'm going to give myself an extra minute or two. I release sea bass in the river. <laughs> oh boy, wait till you hear that they can... That they can live in both fresh and salt water, man. I know, I know. Tragic. All those sea bass that you release lived a great life in the habitat that you release them. If really, if you want to torture fish, I feel like selling them to Tom Nook is the best way of doing it. I mean, God knows what he does with them. God knows what he does with them, man. Alright, we're going to do other things. We want to do set clock. And we want to go back. want to do 23. 23, let's do like 55. Give myself five minutes here. I want to go August 31st of the previous year. All right. Daisy. Yeah, she's cute. She's cute. It's tight in terms of time, but jellyfish are an 85.56% chance to spawn, according to this doc that I'm using. So 
really, if you just get to the ocean, you'll probably find a jellyfish. So that's their logic into only giving you two minutes, all right? I gave myself a little extra time here, though, just to be safe. And also because I don't really know my town layout very well to remember how to get to the ocean. Hell no, nah, Stinky Tom Nook eats the sea basses, and you deem that as a better fate than releasing them into a freshwater body? Give him the- yeah, there you go, give him the chip! There you go, he'll fucking happy tree friends those things. Feed him to the rats! Tom Nook is a saint compared to Lone Sharks IRL. So true, a lot of people are like, Oh, Tom Nook is a greedy capitalist, when in reality my man gives you like, no time limit to repay a mortgage for a house that he didn't even need to give to you. I don't know. It's always a weird energy. I feel like it's always, like, kids who really haven't dealt with real landlords that are like, Oh, Tom Nook is such an unethical landlord. Capitalist Scrooge. I'm like, bro, you would kill for a landlord like Tom Nook, man. You would kill for him. My man is probably, like, running, operating in the red. He pays all this fucking money for your stupid ass fish. Yeah. Oh, he's such an unethical landlord. Please. Uh, that is not a jellyfish. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should, like, focus on smaller things? That's why I gave myself more than two minutes, though. He seems very huggable. I mean, you could just say that he's fat, and that'd be pretty true. He is, like, pretty obese. Yeah, pretty huggable, I suppose. Uh, jellyfish, please? Jellyfish were a catchable fish for a while until they introduced deep sea diving. There you go. Alright, we have four more fish to go. Really, the only one that's going to be big balls, I feel like, is going to be the string fish. So now we need to hang out next to the body of water where the river and ocean meet so that we can get salmon. River Ocean Acre is specifically the area that they tell you. Luckily, no king salmon in this game. So, this will be easy. Alright, now we just hang out until the time rolls over to September. How you guys doing? Y'all y'all enjoying the challenge so far? I saw in the comparison videos that Nook gained weight over the games. I feel like he's just as fat. I don't know. I feel like he's just as fat. I'm enjoying the challenge, yeah? Hell yeah, dude. Happy to hear. Also, considering I made so much progress in GameCube today, I feel like maybe this challenge isn't gonna take too, too long, honestly. But again, I'll restate that I'm catching one of every single fish that has been in Animal Crossing, but I only need to catch every fish once. And yeah, I just started today. I only need to catch every fish once, okay? So if a fish debuted in that game, that's the game that you have to catch it in. So I have to catch 40 in this game, and then I think probably 10. Actually, I need to catch one in Animal Forest E+, which is the Harabuna. And I don't worry, I have a copy of Animal Forest E+. I know that it was a Japan exclusive, um, but, you know, emulator saves lives, I suppose. And then probably 10 more in Wild World, 10 more in City Folk, 10 more in New Leaf, and then 10 more in New Horizons. Probably more than 10 in some of those games. I don't know how many new fish each game added off the top of my head. Keep up the awesome work. Thank you, Tumblr Jesus. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. This music, man, like this is... It put me to damn sleep. It put me to damn sleep. I think the money, I think he makes money off your other villagers, hence why he can't afford to buy crap off of you. I mean, what I, th my speculation has always been, he buys your fish, but then he sells them to someone else who pays him even more money. That's always what I thought was the case, but maybe you're right. No, not every fish in every game. Although, people have asked me to do full museum runs in every game. Like, do a full museum in GameCube, or Wild World, or City Folk, or New Leaf. And I'm like, the only one that I can think to do that in would be New Leaf, because at least in New Leaf, there was a way of differentiating how a real painting would be different from a fake painting. That's really the one thing that makes me never want to do it in this game, for example, full museum, because there's no tell... 
from a real painting versus a fake painting. So you would just keep having to buy fake ones until you get the real ones. River Ocean Acre. I mean, I assume that it's like right where the bridge would be. Is where the salmon would spawn? It's gotta be it, right? Hello, Cricket. New Leaf has speed? Has speed? Like the drug? Maybe. Not that I remember. Half of the time in GameCube be spent going through Blather's dialogue? Honestly, dude, I wouldn't even be mad. I love my mans. I love my mans. River? Okay, so probably that then, if I had to guess. It says that there's like a 50% chance to spawn, so... It's pretty good. Pretty good. It's gotta be it, right? Slamming salmon? Yeah, there you go. 37. Three more fish to go in Animal Crossing GameCube. Bitterling, Pond Smell, and Stringfish. Three... All three of those are in the winter, so next time they want me to go to is January at 5 o'clock. All right, and then that's the last split, man. That's the last split. A stringfish is a 1.1% chance, according to this, which is sounds bad, but, I mean, a lot of the fish that I've caught thus far have been 1.1%, so, or have been 1%, so I don't know, man. Maybe not that bad. New leaf, no, no, new lean. What, man? <laughs> What's up with that? Lean? Is that still in? I thought we moved on to mug root beer, but maybe I'm stupid. Oh yeah, I can't sell my fish, huh? Oh well. I can save at least. You can just mash B through all the text and screens twice as fast for the dialogue boxes? Yeah, I mean, that's what I do. Still. When ACNL first came out, I had massive insomnia. It was nice to have something. Yeah, the music in that game, that'll cure any insomnia. That'll cure any insomnia. I always ask Blathers to tell me about the things I donate. Me too, man. Me too. Because back in the day that I played Animal Crossing as a kid, you didn't have an option to... You didn't have an option to have him shut his trap for a second. He just, he, he went off and explained it anyway, and I kind of miss that, you know? Although, if I'm in, like, a rush, I'll have him not do it, but, you know. I like when he explains it. I hate how in New Leaf, they made it so that the, the, like, f like, them telling you about the fish would only be, would only be on, like, the exhibit itself. Alright, then we want January 1st, 2029. Yep. Like, you'd have to go to where the fish is in the exhibit to, like, learn a fun fact about him instead of him telling you when you donated it. Was that one 37? Yes. It should be 37. Sorry, my counter was off. Alright, cool. Thank you for letting me know. Bill, my boy. That is, he's kind of the man, dude. Oh yeah, we get the new leaf, or we get the New Year's music, too. Oh hell yeah. All right, oh, we get the new New Year's music and snow, yeah. Let's not do the, we don't need any lake fish. We don't need any lake fish. So let's go to like the river, like down a layer maybe. Let's do that. Oh yeah, dude. I should have did this during Christmas time. The Christmas music in this game. Oh my God, it's so good. I use it in my videos a lot because of how much I enjoy it. See you. <laughs> oh, I miss the balls in this game as well, man. It's so much fun. Yeah, Chow? I don't know. You shouldn't be too pogged about Chow. Or if you are, then maybe don't listen to my thoughts on him. But yeah, he's not my favorite. So we need a Bitterling, a Pond Smelt, and a Stringfish. I feel like a Stringfish will be, like, the biggest size. The other two... Bitterling's probably small, but not the smallest, and then a pond smelt's probably the same. I mean, that's pretty small, though, so I mean, I'll catch it if I can reach it. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to reach that. You wanna, you wanna just, could you just, you got any more line on that thing, man? Come on, just, just send it, dude, you got it. Ugh. Chow is not a good thing, so true. Oh, well, luckily we get another one. Maybe that is the smallest. I don't know. What's up, kind of, sort of, feral? How are you doing? Hey, relax, dude. I just want to 
just want to catch you and then send you off to questionable places when I sell you to the raccoon. Relax, man. Beautiful. All right, pawn smelt. 38 out of 40. Bitterling and Stringfish. Bitterling and Stringfish. Yo, what's up, Fading Sunset? How's it going? It's going well. Hope it's going well for you as well. Too, way too big to be a Bitterling, right? Fish trafficking? Yeah, like, God knows what they do with these. What after they send them off to Tom Nook, man? I don't know. What are these poor fish doing? All things considered, be the most ethical thing to just let them go again. I just wrecked someone in Switch Sports Tennis. Yo, I should hop back on that at some point. Maybe after I'm done with this challenge. Which hopefully it doesn't take too long. Oh, there we go. Nice. I don't think this challenge should take too, too long. It's mostly just like... So really what I should do is I should just keep doing this until the... Until a... Uh, stringfish spawns. Like it... Ooh! I think that's it. Assuming this... Please. Let's go! I think that's everything! Dude! Took two hours and 51 minutes! That's nothing! That's nothing, dude! That's pretty good! Two hours and 51 minutes to catch every fish in this game? That's... Dude! That's really good! That's really, really good! That's, oh my gosh, that's, that was simple. I mean, it's only 40 fish, which is, in comparison, half of what New Horizons has. I was not expecting to get them all today, though, in Animal Crossing GameCube. And so tomorrow, we'll move on to Wild World, and maybe somebody can pull up what all the new fish are in Wild World. But, um, yeah, that was really good. I mean, like, I don't, I, I, I did say earlier that the world record for this category is like an hour. And I was like, so there's no way I do it in an hour. And I didn't, but doing it in like almost three makes it seem like really feasible for me if I really wanted to practice this to do it in an hour. I really feel like that's actually pretty practical. I don't know. Would still take a lot of work, but I feel like it's decent for sure. I feel like it's pretty good. All right, well, I mean, it's going to be, like, kind of a shorter stream, but I guess blame how lucky I got on some of those fish, especially the string fish, bro. That was easy as hell. That was easy as hell. All right, there you go. It's also dependent on our... Oh, it's all RNG. That's, that's, that's all it really is. All right, check this out. I'm going to stop it at 253.10 exactly. Nine... Mm. <clears throat> Y'all ever try to like do that with like a stopwatch where you like do it right at the top of the second? All right, I'm furious, but that's that's okay. It my my furiousness does not outweigh the happiness that I feel in having done this challenge as quickly as I did. Yeah, just quit without saving. Who cares? Um, thanks everyone for watching today. I very much appreciate it. Let's keep note of that time and the counter tomorrow. Um, I'm going to make note of it actually. All right, let's get the timer started for day two of the challenge. Yesterday's stream didn't happen in case anyone has any sly comments about this not being day two. Fuck yourself. All right, let's do it. All right, so we're going to reset this town. We have an existing town on this save file. We do not want this. We want... Wait, I think I had to do it in the menu, though. I think I had to do it in the menu. Hang on. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I forgot I had to do that in the menu. TBH, though, I don't know how much further people can push graphics. I don't know. I feel like we were saying that back in, like, 2012, man. I mean, I get what you mean, though. Like, rebuild town. I... I don't know. We were saying that back in, like, 2012, though, so I feel like it's just gonna be the same as... the, the same trajectory that we followed back then. Oh, yeah, the fish counter. So we should be at 40. We should be at 40 still 
after catching every fish in Animal Crossing GameCube? Ideally, at the end of today, let me count how many fish we need. So that's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22 fish were introduced in Wild World. So, ideally, at the end of the day, we should be at 62. That might be a stretch, though, considering how difficult it is to fish in this game. But we'll see. We'll see. So, I don't know. Best of luck to myself. This might, this one might take a couple of streams, though. Like, I also thought that about GameCube, though. But I feel like this one is going to be even harder. I can't see them going much further. Sure, they can go a bit further, but is Hardway really ready for any more? Well, that's been the problem for a while, I feel like, is that our... Our technology has been a, has been ahead of our hardware for so long now. Like, I feel like you can't even run, like, the newest games in the best of graphics without, like, the latest equipment, right? And that's so unrealistic to have, like, the latest graphics card, the latest generation CPU. This is purely from a PC standpoint as well. Like, consoles can't run... Like, a PS5 is great and all, but it can't run, like, everything that it wants to at the highest frame rate, you know? And the best graphics. Alright, so we want to go to 2030 as well. Um, well... Damn, this game goes up to 2099?! Holy shit, the Switch doesn't even go that high, I think. Christ! Alright, well, I guess let's go to the latest year then, and then... 4 p.m. is the time frame that we want to do this at. Holy shit, I didn't realize this game went up so high. Christ. All right, well, I'm going to play this game in a year that most of us won't even be alive. All right, let's do it. It's a Tuesday, apparently. Yeah, that's right, man. It's best to run graphics today. It will cost around 3K. And, like, that's just unrealistic, you know? Yeah, the Switch only goes to 2060, man. Like, that's crazy. That's crazy. All right, I am Dag Null. No codes in this game, so we don't need to make sure that we call our character a certain thing. So we can just call it whatever. Yeah, it's bold of me. It's bold of Nintendo to say that this console will last until 2099. I mean, shit. Most of the things in this world are not gonna last until 2029, or 2099, and also 2029 for that matter. I mean, shit. We're just going to fish, man. I just want to fish for God's sakes. Imagine, like, this guy told Captain that he's going to fish, and then they, he actually brought him to a town called Fish, and he's just like, No, no, I just wanted to go fish, man. Butt out! Dickhead. Kappa King for not assuming gender? I mean, it is kind of assuming gender, because he says that my name is Burly, and if you say that your name is Burly, then that assigns your gender as... I mean, I guess the beach, because it'll be close to the water. And then you have to be like, I'm not a girl, if... If it's not burly. I don't know. He kind of does assume your gender. But it's also 2005 where, like, we weren't as, you know, aware back then. All right? For lack of a better word. Mmm. Character's kind of mid. Kind of mid-face. Yo, Mr. Yure, thanks for the 10 bits. Appreciate that. The rules say use your noggin, but Captain hit me over the head with the bilge pump when I interrupted his song yesterday. Sorry to hear that, man. Thanks for the 10 bits. Back when things were simple. Back when there was only two ge- I'm kidding. This brings me back. I used to reset my wild world all the time. Bro, same. I, I regret having done it as many times as I did. How are you, Dag? I'm doing good. How are you doing? 2005, when we spoke to people, went outside, and we didn't use our phones. So true. So true. Then again, I feel like kids... Poncho, Tipper, and Joey. Pretty good. I feel like kids... They, look, it's definitely, like, pretty bad. But, like, I feel like kids definitely still do go outside. That's an exaggeration from the older generation that they never leave the house and they're always on their phone. And look, there's some truth to that. It's not... I don't know. I still see kids outside playing. Maybe not as much as we did back in 2005, but I still see them. My bestie Poncho, hell yeah, dude. To be honest, after playing New Leaf, New Horizons is extremely different. Well, of course, but... I mean, you'd want, like, games that follow others to be different, right? 
iPad kids. Yeah, like, there's definitely iPad kids out there, but... I don't know, man. I still see kids playing outside occasionally. Maybe it's not as bad as we think. It's okay. Is this Wild World? This do be kind of Wild World, though, yeah. When girls knew other things other than charge their phone, eat hot chip, and lie? Well, only if they were born before 1993. Are you serious? This is where I started. Same, bestie. Same. Blame the parents, not the kids. Oh, no, absolutely, I blame the parents. Like, bad parenting is what leads to iPad kids. It's not the kids themselves. It's not their fault that the stuff that they get pushed in their face on their technology pads is so, like, addictive and horrible for their brains that they just can't get enough of it, you know? Like, I get it. If I had that same sort of stimulation as a kid, I could have very well been an iPad kid myself. And then I would have been hated and discriminated against. I have so many memories. Dude, it's a great game. How are you, Hector? Welcome. Eh, uh, yep. I'm a bit confused about what the challenge is. Can you explain it a bit? Oh, I got a fishing rod. Nice. Um, I have to catch one of every fish across the entire Animal Crossing series. Um, so over the course of Animal Crossing, there's been 93 different species of fish, and I have to catch one of each. Starting with Animal Crossing GameCube, which introduced 40 new fish. I caught all 40 of them. That's why it's 40 out of 93. Wild World introduced, what was it, 22 more fish. So I'm going to catch 22 of those in this game. And then City Folk introduced a certain amount. New Leaf introduced a certain amount. And the New Horizons introduced a certain amount. So I'm going to play every subsequent game, catching all the fish that were first released in that version of the game. That's what I'm going to try to do. Which fish are you looking for in this game? I mean, I could list them all here, but let me actually get to the... Let me let me get finished with the chores here, and we'll actually get fishing, and then we'll, uh... Then we'll, we'll get explaining. No, Sunday is my day off. I thought I was catching every fish available in every game. No, that would be, like, a little torture, but that's okay. Maybe someday, when I absolutely run out of things to do in this game. I saw the VOD of yesterday, the crash in Animal Forest was funny but tragic. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back to that at some point as well. Um, Animal Forest has a fish that is only available in that game. And I tried getting it yesterday, but the game crashed, and I cried. And I cry, and I pray for you to love me, love me. Please drop that flower if you don't mind, man. Just don't just just don't need that flower don't need that the the sprint button is the same as the pickup button which is honestly the greatest change that they made is when they got rid of that man that is a horrible horrible thing i thought it was wednesday and saturday no wednesday and sunday wednesday and sunday you're close though because i was eating cheese by a lake well that's pretty awesome hell yeah dude that's a good reason to miss stream don't introduce yourself to the mayor as well. Yeah, I got him, man. I remember my sister, whenever I reset my Wild World town for, like, the hundredth time in a week, <laughs> she would always be like, okay, but you have to do the chores for my character. And I'm like, you got it. I mean, in this game, it's actually the easiest because there's only, like, three villagers that you have to introduce yourself to and then the mayor. The mayor being... Wait, wait, wait. The mayor, the mayor, the mayor, oh no, he's like literally right below me. I thought it was the museum. What was your birthday, twin? Agent S. Agent S. Was also in the Japanese GameCube version, according to Nookopedia, at least. The Japanese GameCube version? Is that not Animal Forest? Or no, that's Animal Crossing. The, the Japanese version of Animal Crossing. Which maybe I can get a copy of that and it'll be a little bit more stable. But we'll see. Uh, who do I respect the most? Uh, the chief? That'll get me cancelled. The mayor? That'll get me cancelled. The CEO? That'll absolutely get me cancelled. So you know what, sir? I respect the mail clerk. I duly serve my mail clerk. Yes, sir. I support the UPS, the USPS, the DHL, the... the... the <laughs> that's all of them, right? Anyway. Based in USPS pill? There you go. There you go. That's the only one I ain't gonna get me canceled on 2020 Twitter. Alright, what's up? Who's home? Joey? Joseph? Young Joseph? Where's he at? Where you at, Joey? Fed? Oh yeah, there's FedEx in there. Do y'all know that there's an arrow in the FedEx logo in between where the E and the X is? 
If you didn't know that, I just blew your mind. If you already knew that, you're like, shut up, Boomer. Everyone knows that already. Hey, what's up, Joseph? How you doing? Who's that? Is that Poncho as well? Everyone calls you Joey? Love to hear it, dude. The USPS is pretty sick, though. No cap. I enjoy when my package is delivered with the USPS rather than the UPS. UPS is the one that always fucks me up. USPS, I'm always like, hell yeah, dude. They're always on time. Joey is so cute. Yeah, he do be having a diaper, though. I can never unsee the the arrow now. There you go, dude. You'll never unsee it. Give me a uh, little, little July. Little July, little second here. There you go. You had anyone redeem custom command? Yes. The UPS is pretty terrible. Bro, I don't know what my fucking blood type is. The diaper guy. Yeah, this diaper man. You can kind of see, like, the very low pixel diaper. Alright, and that's Poncho's house, so this must be Tipper over here. How she even get them da goddamn britches on, dude? Don't judge his bladder issues. Look, I get it. We're all gonna be at that point in our life. Have you ever seen- yeah, I've seen it before. Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. My birthday twin is Sydney. That's pretty pog. Do you really ask you your blood type? Yeah, it has significance in Japan. Like, it's, uh... I don't know what the significance is, so don't ask for specifics, because I have no idea. But in Japan, apparently your blood type has some sort of significance, and so, of course, being a Japanese game, um, they ask you that. But rest assured, back in 2005, I didn't know my blood type, and uh, in 2022, I don't know my blood type, so. It's like a horoscope over there, yeah, and like, I don't know. I don't know. It, I mean, it's just, it, it's good fun. No matter what it is, it's good fun. That's a cool item. Or that's cool then? Yeah, I don't know. I guess it's pretty cool. Uh, sir. I, I don't want you to get mad at me pushing you out of the way here, but you are in the way. What's up, Gloombold? Or Gloombold, how are you doing? Blood horoscopes sounds sus. That is, it is pretty sus, but, you know, that's culture over there. My family has ducks as all of our birthday twins. So something like where all the ducks have like... I don't know. Are you a duck? What's up, Evangelines? How are you doing? Blood types to make supreme babies? Is that... I mean, aren't they having a problem over there in Japan with like having babies just in the first place? Potatoes or tomatoes? Potatoes and it's not even close, man. Oh god, Tipper, ugh. What's your problem with Tipper, man? Tipper's alright. Ain't no- ain't nothing wrong with Tipper. Yeah, they're having a problem with, like, even just doing the, like, baby-making part, let alone good luck babies. I feel like they could- they- they would take either good luck or bad luck babies at this point. Tipper is one ugly MF. That's so mean, dude. That's so mean. Who's your favorite villager? I'll insult them. My birthday twin is Drake. He's pretty cool. Good villager. She haunts all my villager hunts. That's a good reason to hate her, honestly. She is the most cowy cow, though. Like, you gotta admit, like, she do be looking like a cow more than most of the cows in this game do. Like, fucking okay, Norma. Ain't no pink cows out there. Was that where strawberry milk comes from? Hi, Dag. How's your day doing? It's going good. Thank you, Annette, for the 110 bits. Very generous of you. My day's pretty good. Um, I woke up way too late, and since I woke up early, uh, b the, the day previous to this one, ooh, Emperor Butterfly, um, I had my caffeine supplement very early yesterday, which means I woke up today with a pounding fucking headache, which was pretty epic, so I took some ibuprofen. I had, um, wait, who is this going to? Oh, wait, I gotta send it to Poncho. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. So I woke up with a pounding fucking headache, um, took some ibuprofen, had some ice cream for breakfast because it's that kind of day, and yeah, now I'm streaming on twitch.tv slash dangle. You know me. You know me. Is this for a video? Yes, this will be made into a video at some point. Hi, YouTube. Naomi is the worst cow. Yeah, like, ain't no cows out there looking like Naomi. Crazy. My birthday twin is Wade. Wade's pretty cool. Is 
Does anyone remember these straws that flavored your milk? Are you talking about the cereal straws? Best thing about AC when I started was that making Tom Nook chase me around the shop. There you go. Look, Mom, I'm famous. I saw this really good animation today. Um, look, it, it only got uploaded like, hang on, let me check. History. It's called Time Traveling Designer. Y'all should go look it up. It's this amazing animation done by Densley, who has probably done some animations that you've seen previous. But um, let me let me show it on the screen here. It's like this animation about how time traveling affects your island. It's really good. Speaking of high YouTube, I just wanted to show you all this. Look at this. I mean, okay, well, like, there's credits, but still. It's really good. Y'all should go check it out. Movie time? I mean, it's only like five minutes, but you know. It's really good to go check it out. It looks like if they made like an official Nintendo movie, that's like what it would look like. That's like what it would look like right there. It's so good. Anyway, so I should show that. Speaking of YouTube, and now my counter's all messed up. But it was worth it. The animation is very... It is very good. The whole thing is very good. They have made an AC movie? Yeah, I know, but, like, if they were to do it again, that would be, like... Well, that's what it should look like right there. Molly straight up shook. All them villagers shook. My birthday twin is Axel, and I'm more than okay with that. When there's just two days before, it would have been Elise. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't want that, huh? Yeah, it took a little... That's my bad, man. I thought you had to do a delivery. Deliver a carpet to... Oh, Joseph. There was beads in them, so when you sucker them into milk, into chocolate, or it would turn it into chocolate or strawberry milk. I don't know what that is. The only thing I remember that would, like, change the flavor of the milk would be, like, cereal straws. I remember as a kid they had cereal straws, which were, like, I mean, straws made of, like, a respective cereal that you would drink the milk after you were done with the cereal with. That's what I, that's what I thought you were talking about. But you must be on a whole different page to me. Isn't there gonna be another AC movie, like, soonish, or did I imagine it? I haven't heard anything about it, so maybe you did imagine it, but maybe you are right. I know, maybe you're, I mean, there is the Mario movie, but I don't know. I, I really don't think, oh, that was going to be a big fish. Too bad I don't have a fishing rod. Yeah, I don't know. Aren't those like Pocky? Because I don't drink. I just ate those like Pocky. Oh, yeah. I mean, you're they're fine to eat straight up. They're essentially just long form cereals, right? Don't Nesquik make them straws? Maybe? I don't know. My birthday twin is Daisy? Oh, hell yeah. Hazel, ooh. They had the chocolate ones with the little chocolate pieces in the straw, and we were never allowed to have them. Honestly, <laughs> I'm kind of cool with that. I'm very thankful that my mom, as a kid, would not let me buy cereal that had too much sugar in it. My mom was kind of woke. Just gonna say it, my mom is pretty woke. I mean, she might be watching right now, which, if that's not a sign of wokeness, then I don't know what is. But my mom, like, put a restriction on the cereals that we were allowed to eat as a kid, because, I mean, some of them just had, like, too many, too much sugar, dude. And I'm like, thank you for not letting- And also, I don't think she banned me from drinking pop, but she definitely turned me off to it from a young age, and therefore, in my adulthood, I have no- I, I hate pop slash soda. So thank you for not getting me addicted to sugar. It's probably saved me a lot of dental work. And probably just like... General health issues in my life. Mad as a child, but happy as an adult? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I still ate some good cereals, man. Look, I'm just gonna be honest with you. She let me eat like Fruit Loops, which I'm like... There's a lot of sugar in that, man. But Captain Crunch? Mm-mm. No way. Absolutely not. Where is Stanley? Uh, he's probably snoozing right now. At. There we go. Now, if that ain't- if that ain't gonna bring the customers in, I don't know what will. 
My mother let me drink coffee from age three. Okay, that's just bad. Like, caffeine addiction sucks, but like, letting your three-year-old drink coffee, that's just... Whew. I mean, I don't want a backseat parent, but that's pretty bad. To catch back on your videos, they were all so much fun, so thank you for that. Oh, you're very welcome, and thank you for uh, coming back. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed the videos, and I hope you enjoyed the stream. What cereals did you love eating as a kid? I don't know, I think the same ones that I enjoy as an adult, like Frosted Mini Wheats. I really like Wheaties. I had Wheaties. I was a- I was a bit of a sports kid. And so if a- if a Wheaties box came out with a particular athlete or franchise on it that I was a fan of, I would buy them Wheaties and I would enjoy eating the Wheaties. Like, a lot of people buy the Wheaties because it's got, you know, it's- it's- it's got like, you know, a Mario Lemieux on there. Ooh. Gotta drag them. I, I actually like eating the Wheaties, which I feel like is kind of a rarity. Alright, so now we can get a fishing rod. Luckily, in this game, you just get it from day one. Or at least you can get it from day one, which is nice. Alright, so in September... So in September, we need to get a black bass, a char, a king salmon, a zebra turkey fish, a horse mackerel, a puffer fish, a seahorse, and a blue marlin. So, five of the eight fish that we need are in the ocean, so let's start there. And also, the king salmon is, like, where the river and the ocean meet, so I think let's start... Let's start at the ocean, and then once we get everything in the ocean, or at least most things in the ocean, then we'll move on to the river, specifically the waterfall for the char, and then anywhere in the river for the black bass. See, we got a horse mackerel yesterday in Animal Forest E+, but I've changed the rules to where... All the fish that debuted in E+. Since some of them you need the island for, which is an insane, like, barrier of entry, I've made it so that you can just go and get them in Wild World instead, so. I'm basically skipping Animal Forest E+, entirely. So that's what I'm doing. Alright. There we go. Yeah, so that's that the uh, yeah. Basically treat it like yesterday never happened, alright? How's that sound? How's that sound? So fishing in this game is really difficult. Not because like I, I don't know. If I was fishing on a DS where there was no input lag, it would be okay. But I'm doing this on the Wii U virtual console. There is so much input lag. And in an activity that is, in an activity that's timing based, like fishing, that's really bad. That's really inconvenient. So we're gonna do the best that we can, but expect me to miss a lot of fish. That's just a regular salmon. Okay, that's just a regular salmon. I never knew what they meant when they said welcome back, but now that I understand the salmon life cycle, I'm like, that's a good one, Nintendo. You did a good job on that one. The soundtrack's a bop. Oh, I mean, you can complain about the graphics. You can't complain about the music now. Which, hopefully, it's loud enough for you guys. Is there anything that I need to catch that might be this big? I mean, a blue marlin might be that big, but I feel like it's bigger than that. Yeah, that's just a sea bass. All right. And the fishing might be difficult as well. That's true. But at least we get to listen to some bops along the way. Could be a horse- is a horse mackerel that size, or is it one smaller? Or it could be a zebra turkey fish as well, though. Let's see. I really- I- I- I'm- I- I'm so bad that I'm trying to predict when I need to pull up the bobber. Because if I try to react purely on timing, I will probably miss the fish, and so I'm like super jumpy. But I kinda almost have to be, right? What's the best month to catch a flea? Bro, I wish I knew the answer to that question. June, July, and August were the times that I was told. But they're available from, I think, May to November. But I think June, July, August are the best times for them. That's what I heard. Best of luck to you, man. They're, they're real sons of bitches, they are. Okay. Okay. That's an olive flounder, right? Yeah. Okay, that's an olive flounder. That's, that's 41. Yeah, that ain't so bad. Hello, it's my day of birth? Oh, happy birthday. <laughs> it's impressive. At the ripe old age of zero days old, you've already become a moderator on Twitch. That's kind of poggers, dude. That's awesome. I'm happy for you, Sapphire, and happy birthday. 
Hey, are you... I feel like this is, again, just another salmon, but it could be a black bass, which I also need. All right, well, I'll fuck myself. I've caught two fleas this week. What the fuck, man? How? <laughs> How you do that? Ooh, wait, that's big. Ooh, wait, that's big. Why he so goddamn big? That's a king salmon. Yeah! Wait! That wasn't so bad! Oh! Wait, that wasn't bad at all! The... I... I'm a gamer? I'm a gamer? Alright, King Salmon. That was gonna be one of, the, like, the big balls fish that I had to get. Um, cool. I didn't know that was close enough to the... The salmon can only be caught where the river and the ocean meet. I didn't know that that was going to be close enough for that to spawn salmon, but I was kind of expecting it to be something else. Or maybe a king salmon isn't, like, all that valuable or all that hard to catch, and maybe I'm highly overestimating the difficulty of that fish, but I don't know. I've, I've been instilled with a new level of confidence in how I managed to catch that. All right, sweet. Sorry I'm late, I was watching post-qualifying interviews. Don't spoil it for me, please. I want to watch that later. Oh, nice. Nice for the hydrate. The true dedication to being born, Twitch moderating, and getting straight to work. That's, that's, you gotta respect that. I salute you, Sapphire. I salute you. It's probably a red snapper. Or, could be an olive flounder again, but we don't need that. Yeah, rare fish, man. That ain't bad. I think a king salmon is, like, decently rare as well. So we got lucky to have seen one and also to have caught it as well. Eh, yeah, red snapper. When we think about it, when we travel to other towns and islands, we go to an alternate universe. There is two Tom Nooks, two Isabels, and we also sometimes Isabel about being done with work, but she literally works 24-7. Yeah, it's pretty fucked up, man. Pretty fucked up. You have to wonder if they're aware that there's... 100,000 clones of them out there, you know? Considering how many islands there are. 100,000 may even be a lowball estimate. I don't know. Are you... You, you want to, like, not look at the cliff, man. The cliff is not... It... it, it you want to... Oh, yeah. I just need you to face, like... There you go. Face some, like, open water here, man. Face some, like... There you go. Oh, good. I fucking bonked him. I think that's how she works 24-7. She replaces herself with an exact clone of herself. I mean, shit, that's what I would have to do. Okay. All confidence has been lost. All confidence has been lost. Tom Nook is a species, and Isabella is just... They're just dedicated to that grind. They live for the grind, dude. I guess they just live for the grind. Fish banging its head against the wall. I mean, I feel that fish sometimes. I feel like doing that. All right, could be horse mackerel or zebra turkey fish. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, horse mackerel, 43. I'm surprised I got a king salmon before I got a horse mackerel, but whatever works. You know, it's my challenge, and I'll cry if I want to, cry if I want to. No, is my challenge, so I suppose I could, like, make up the rules as I go, but how would we feel about the rule of... If I know, if I know that there is a rare fish, I could make a save state and then restore that save state if I miss the fish so that I have another chance at it. Ooh, but that's, I don't know. Like, it is my challenge. I could do that and ain't no one stopping me. Yo, Bounty Manus, thanks for the 21 months in a row. As well, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thank you. Full museum using only Nookazon. Bestie, you can't drop creatures, man. You can't drop creatures. Can this be anything? No, that can't be nothing. Get that out of here. Skat! Vamoose! Skidaddle! Get out of here. Can you sing the Malcolm in the Middle theme? You know, that song actually has a name, man. I know it's like... The Malcolm in the Middle theme to most people, but I think it's Life is Unfair by We Might Be Giants. And no, I cannot. Save states is not at all cheating. Look! 
even if it was, is my challenge. I could do it if I really wanted to. I mean, that dude, that might be a blue marlin. Don't be sad, though, if you don't get it, because it's probably a sea bass. Yeah, okay. That was They Might Be Giants. Yes, I believe that was They Might Be Giants. Yeah, and Wild World Music, man, it's so good. You're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now. Yeah, dude, it's so good. Hi. Hello. What's up, Bounty Manus? Thank you again for the 21 months in a row. I hope you're doing well, man. I hope you're doing well. How about them penguins? I got my... I got my shirt for good luck. You do you. Okay, if this is taking... If it takes too long to get some of the rarer fish in this, I might consider it, okay? But consider it is the length that I'll go, okay? That's as far as I'll go. I'll simply consider it. And maybe do it, but we'll just consider it for right now. We'll let it simmer. How's that sound? Again, I don't think that... I don't think that I need a fish this size, so you know what? Forget it. Yeah, that triple OT and then that ass kicking we got after that. But, you know, that's fine. Are you an only child, Miss Nintendo? Are you talking to me? They also have a song in Shrek? Wait, what song do they have in Shrek? I thought I knew the entire Shrek discography, like, from front to back. Then again, if you, okay, if you're talking about, like, Shrek 3, Shrek 1 and Shrek 2, I got it down pat. Shrek 3, probably not so much. And I never seen Shrek 4. They also did themes like the... Mi You're telling me They Might Be Giants made the theme song to Mickey Mouse Clubhouse? Are you... You're pulling my ass cheeks right now, right? Surely you're pulling my ass cheeks. You're, you're having a goof and a gaff at my expense. I should have caught that. I might have been a seahorse. You're, ha you're having a goof. You're having a goof at my expense. No, it is true. That's fucked up. Where's the, uh, oh, bird wing. Uh, the waterfall is all the way at the top in this game. That's so annoying. Because there's no layers to the town. Oh, jeez. That's so annoying. But also, like, I just wanted to check. I mean, that could be a char. That could be a char. I don't know the size of a char in this game, but we'll give it a try. We'll give it a try. They've done entire kids' albums. Holy shit, you're telling me they're like... What a versatile... What a versatile... What a versatile, like, band that they did Mickey Mouse Clubhouse theme song. The theme song to Malcolm in the Middle. And they were, like, their own... What are they, like, rock? I don't know. They're And they're, like, their own rock band. It's very similar to City Folk music. It's the same as City Folk music. I think City Folk, mu City Folk like remastered the songs, but yeah, they're basically the same thing. That's why they seem familiar. Don't you fucking turn around on me again, son of a bitch, please. I don't wanna, no, stop. This always fucking happens where you go to the other side to go catch them. And then by the time you get over there, they already swam back to the other side. It's like you might as well stayed on the other side the whole freaking time. And now he's probably, like, perfectly in the middle to where I can't even get him now. Oh, no. He's right there. Please? Stop swimming! Stop it! I'm going to get mad, man. I'm going to get... Stop! Just stop! Thank you. Christ, and I'm gonna miss him, probably. And I'm probably gonna fucking miss it. Please? Please? Ooh! Cherry salmon or char? It is a char. Wait, it's called a large char? Isn't a large char in GameCube? But this is technically a different kind of char. According to the... According to Nookopedia, it's a different char. So, as opposed to the large char... I don't know. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Char... Animal. I just fucked up my timer. Urgh. Can somebody check what the timer was there? I just fucked up my timer. It should have been like three. Oh, I always do this. I gotta change the the buttons to reset the timer. Somebody like go back and stream to right before I accidentally hit R. 
and check what the timer was at. Telling a fish to stop swimming, forgetting that's what fishes do, swim. I know, man. I know. I was just trying to be funny. I was just trying to be funny. 328, thank you. 328, and I guess we'll do 00. zero. And then... Whoop. Char Animal Crossing. Char An Animal Crossing. Okay, so let me show you something here. He... Okay. According to Nookopedia, the char is... Okay. So the char... Not to be confused with the large char. And yet, in this game, is called the char... So, it is technically two different fish, as opposed to what the large char was in Animal Crossing GameCube. I don't know why they're two different fish, but regardless, we got them both, so... I guess... I guess? I guess it's cool. <laughs> we covered our bases, I guess. Alright, cool. We got it, though. So now we don't need to worry about any other rear fish other than the black bass, which should be so common. So, no big deal. Yo, just freak. Ooh. Thank you, just freak, for the prime. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we should be at... Hang on a minute. What have we caught so far? We caught an olive flounder, a char, a king salmon. So we should be at 44, right? Should be at 44. Alright, we're good. Yeah, the counter's at zero. Every time I change scenes, it resets back to zero, which is always so fun and not annoying at all. But, you know, I'm ba this whole stream is basically, like... This whole stream is basically... Is that an eel? He looks really thin. No, I guess he's a full-ass fish. I don't know why. He looks so thin, though. Yeah, every time I change scenes, it goes back to zero. Eh. I mean, all I need is a black bass from the river, so if this is anything but a black bass, it's kind of a waste of time. But, let's see. It's definitely 100% professional on all accounts. Absolutely, I got zero-year-olds moderating it. Well, it's just a regular salmon. I got a broken timer, broken counter. That's okay. Just don't press any of the buttons on your keyboard. Don't ever change scenes, and it's all like it's it's all working flawlessly. Poncho, my man. I don't know what size a uh, black bass is in this game. Could be one smaller than the salmon, though. Let's see. But thank you again, Just Freak. I appreciate that. You, My man, you want to get out of my face, please? A little, little thing called personal space? A little thing called personal space? Y'all ever... It, Poncho's kind of reminding me of this right now. Y'all ever, like, at... I mean, I was going to say the grocery store, because this is where it happens the most. But, I mean, really, just anywhere out in public. And there's, like, a child. Oh, nice. Okay, sweet. There's, like, a child, and for some reason, they just keep staring at you, because they have no social awareness to know that staring isn't very appropriate or polite, and it just makes people uncomfortable. You just get, like, this three-year-old child that's just, like, staring at you, and you're like... You can't yell at it. It's not your child. And it's like, do you want to fight? What's going on? I feel like I could take on any three-year-old in a fight, but it would probably lead to my arrest. I feel like that wouldn't be very cool of me. So, I don't know. I'm going to leave at 46? Awesome, man. Thanks for letting me know. I think it's because they like your face. I mean, that's cool, but like... I don't know, man. Stop staring at me. Give them a death stare. Yeah, you gotta, like, give them a death stare back. Like, and then, like, their mom, like, they, they start crying. Their mom's like, what are you crying about? And you just go about your business acting like you weren't just death staring them. What are they gonna do? Believe the three-year-old? Believe the three-year-old that I was giving them a stare, giving them a, a stink eye? Oh, hi, are you doing a new series? Yep. Those three-year-olds always asking why? I don't know, man. That's why... I... Oh, God. Why was this so quick? Oh, jeez. 
That's why I, I don't want kids. Too much of a hassle. Too much of a little, too much of a little unempathetic little bastard, in my opinion. Sir, now is that a really good idea to say that you'll fight a- th I, I specifically said I will not fight a three-year-old on- on stream, but sure, man. Whatever you say. What's the new challenge? Uh, it's the title of the stream, man. It's the title of the stream. If it's a baby, they can't verbalize a thing, who's gonna believe them? Exactly! What are you gonna do? Oh, the man over there was giving me a death stare. Yeah, prove it, dickhead. You can't. Sea bass. Sea bass. I guess they're in the ocean as well? I guess salmon are in the- I mean, look, that makes sense, because I understand, like, the salmon reproductive life cycle. Don't try to fucking ninth grade biology me, please. I guess that makes sense. Ooh, a clownfish. That is something as well that I need. I have the clownfish, actually, as something that I just have to catch in June, but hey, we'll get it done in September, I guess. We're, we're, we're looking for, right now, a zebra turkey fish, a puffer fish, a seahorse, and a blue marlin. None of which I think this fish could be, but unless a blue marlin is smaller than I think. Hmm. Do this with bugs. No. I mean, maybe, but no, not right now. I'm doing it with fish. Like, yeah, like, I don't know who's gonna believe him exactly. There's a four-year-old that started following me around for maybe five minutes around a grocery store. I got yelled at by your parents for not noticing. That was pretty epic, the parents not knowing where their kid is, and then you being the- you- you blame- you being blamed for it. Yeah. But kids are little angels, they don't know any better! Shut up. I remember staring really hard at everyone when I was a kid, I was like seven. You would be a personal enemy of mine, if you did that. Like, I don't know, dude. Kids are not above, like... Fuck! <laughs> I don't think that was anything I needed, but I'm just mad at myself. I don't know. You, a seven-year-old can be a personal, like, rival of yours, okay? I don't care. Call it childish. Call it whatever you want, man. Kids, they ain't, they ain't the little angels that they're made out to be, okay? They aren't the little angels they're made out to be. Rainbow Trout. I've caught one of those in GameCube, right? Yeah. A child got lost, I kept her safe, and then got yelled at by the parents. That's so epic. That's so awesome that you got yelled at for that. Sorry, man. Seemed kind of heroic to you? Yeah, 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 absolutely. That's so epic that, like, you did everything right and you still get yelled at, but I suppose that's just the life of a retail employee. I guess maybe you're used to it by this point. I guess maybe you're used to it at this point. I think that's that one's on the parents for not paying attention. Maybe that's why so many parents give their kids iPads so that they can't wander off and get lost because they're too, they're too uh, into their cocoa melon. Kids are sugar-eating gremlins smeared in boogies. I mean, as a former sugar-eating gremlin who was probably smeared in boogies, that's pretty true. That is pretty true. Patience, patience, and zen. Patience and Zen. Thanks for the hydrate. Oh! Yeah, y'all ever seen that before where parents have their kids on leashes or otherwise have them like. I don't know about a leash specifically, but like they got them like. I, I don't know. Like on some sort of harness? I don't know. I've seen that before, and I'm like, man, you really can't, like, keep your kids still enough to where you ca you can't, like, y you can't go out anywhere without having them, like, attached to you in some way. It's fucking weird. Backpack tethers? You were a harness, kid? Bro, like, I look at that, like, I see parents doing that occasionally, I'm like, that's fucked up, man. Like, it's so fucked up. Yo, today, thanks so much for the prime. The alert isn't showing up right now, but... It will eventually. I appreciate that, though. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Some kids are crazy. Parents gotta di Look, I'm not saying, like, it's a bad idea. I'm just like... I don't know. 
four-year-olds are fucking fast? I, I'm pretty sure I could beat any four-year-old in a race. With all due respect to you and your ability to run, I'm pretty sure I could- I'm faster than any four-year-old out there. Maybe not as, like, able to fit into small places, but I- I can definitely beat any four-year-old in a race, okay? Diagonal ver like, give me and give me the fastest four-year-old out there, I will beat him in a race, okay? I promise you, I will. It's really easy, actually. Damn it. The grown-ups are weirder? Imagine someone stealing your kid or something? I guess. Like, I'm not saying it's objectively a bad thing, I'm just like, that's crazy. That's just, I don't know, that's just crazy. Mm, probably a sea bass, but we'll give it a try. I ran off at the zoo? Well, jeez, no wonder y'all had- No, you wonder what y'all were harness kids, man. Jeez, Louise. Yeah. My nephew is a runner, so it's a good- It's good to know he won't be able to get further- Get any further before we can react and catch up. When they have a head start, it's an unfair race. Like, once they're, like, 11? Okay, then they might be faster than you. But a four-year-old- I can catch a four-year-old, okay? Even with a head start. I almost got kidnapped because I walked off with their dogs at age three. Wait, okay. You saw another family's dogs and you started walking along with them? Look, man. <laughs> That's just kind of natural selection at that point, man. I don't know if, I don't know if like, a, a harness or a tether or a leash is going to fix that. I don't know if that's going to fix that. Oh... I thought that was a blue marlin, because it was taking so long to reel in, it was like doing so many circles. It's another king salmon. Oh. Can you- can you catch a four-year-old before he does something you should- Isn't the life of a four-year-old just perpetually doing shit that you shouldn't be doing? Nah, man. Like, there's no way you're gonna prevent all of it, but I can do the best I can by not having kids, basically. Kids plus sugar equals leashes. I suppose so, but, you know. Please keep telling these stories, they're so funny. What- what stories? I was a leash kid, I'm not a furry. Oh, is that the correlation some are coming to? All I'm saying is a child leash harness would have saved Harambe. That's pretty true, and then a lot of people are like, Harambe is what started the entire fucked up chain of events that have led to the world in the current state that it is. And all I'm saying is I haven't seen a peer-reviewed scientific article that has claimed otherwise, okay? That's all I'm saying. Harambe, that was like 2016. And let me ask y'all something, has life ever felt normal since 2016? Is all I'm saying. Ah, he scared me. The stories that people are telling in chat? Oh, okay. Well, that's on them. Mm, I mean, I think a Dorado is available in September, which is something that we're going to need to get at some point. Just give it a try, even though it's probably a King Salmon again. Stop making good points! I know, I know. Yeah. I can't really remember what I did as a four-year-old. Yeah, like, I think I became, like, sentient. Like, I was, of course, I existed for a few years, but, like, that's just kind of it. I wasn't really sentient, you know? I think I became sentient around, like, five. And even then, it was only, like, sporadically, right? Like, only, like, here and there memories. I remember my first day of kindergarten, kind of vaguely. But that's, like, that's amongst, like, the earliest memories I have. I have one weird memory... And I've told this story before, but I'll tell it again. I have one weird memory where I was staying in a hotel in Columbus, Ohio. And I was, pr it was, I think, 1999, so I would have been, like, three. And I'm pretty sure I, like, downed a whole fucking bag of nacho cheese Doritos. And I'm talking about, like, a pretty big bag as well. Like, not a bag that a three-year-old should be getting their hands on, uh, you know, with unlimited access. I'm pretty sure I downed the entire bag of nacho cheese Doritos at a hotel in Columbus, Ohio at the, a at the age of three years old. Diagonal old? Or is the average age in my chat just, like, 14? I don't know. Questions to ask. 
I don't know. I don't know why, like, I'm sure we all have those memories that I just don't know why it stuck with us, but that's just one of mine. It might have been, like, a family size bag. I don't know. I did that once. Yo, like, in a hotel in Columbus, Ohio, at the age of three years old in 1999 with an entire family size bag of nacho cheese Doritos? That's pretty crazy, dude. What a, what a coincidence. Nah, I'm almost 28. Okay. That is such a specific memory. I feel like we all have, like, those memories where, like, we remember doing something really specific. Like, we don't remember much of our childhood, but we might remember, like, one specific moment, you know? That's coming from an 18-year-old? Yeah, 18 is still a kid, man. Is being in my crib and putting a big st uh, uh, Putting a stink bug in my mouth. Oh, God. <laughs> you know, those things don't stink until you piss them off. And I feel like being put in your mouth would maybe be enough to do that. But, you know, I hope you're okay. I hope you're alright. I hope you're doing alright. I took a bo- What the fuck? Hang on. <clears throat> I took a bottle of ibuprofen at three. Because they were pink and my dad left them in his mess bag and I thought they were sweets. I got my stomach pumped. Jesus fucking Christ. <clears throat> I thought it was bad when I, like, swallowed a marble at three years old. Jeez, Louise. No. My birthday is tomorrow. I'm about to be legal age to drink. Well, depending on your country, that could be, like, 13. I remember once, maybe five or six years old, I drank from a Coke bottle thinking it was Coca-Cola, but it was freaking wine. The taste was so bad, it made me cry. Well, there you go, dude. Spit, spitting in the face of alcohol addiction since the age of five or six. There you go. Then again, you know, still probably not good. What's up, Pomely? How are you doing? Welcome. A big man. Nope. Now, I don't need any river fish, but if they're big to where they could be like a Dorado, a, well, no, a gar would only be in the pond, then I should probably catch it. That's why I keep catching, like, salmon by the riverbed. Picked up a ute in the, at the fine age of seven? <laughs> I can't say I've ever done that specifically. Pretty poggers, though. All of you should be dead? Like, I don't know, man. E eating an entire bottle of ibuprofen? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like that's just kind of natural selection working its way through. What the hell? Am I the only kid who never put random stuff in my mouth? I mean... Maybe? I feel like you did, you just don't remember, man. Why is Dag afraid to say the word tampon? Oh, I'm not, man. It's just the concept of telling a story about how someone once pulled a bloody tampon off the ground. Maybe I'm a little bit hesitant with context to say all those things, but I assure you, feminine products are, do not make me uncomfortable, man. I, I promise you I'm like an adult and I can handle it. It's more just like the whole premise of the story that's kind of gross. But, you know, just... Yeah. Kids' purpose in life is just to fuck around and find out. Yeah, it's more like... I feel like every kid, whether you remember it or not, was definitely putting shit in your mouth. Only the strong survived. The few, the proud, the marines. We're the only ones that actually made it through to the other side. Damn it. It's easier for them to feel things rather than with their hands. I mean, I feel like that's just not true. I feel like it's just curiosity. I feel like it's just curiosity that causes them to put stupid shit in their mouths most of the time, but... Sure, maybe it is... May maybe it is that. I have no idea, man. I'm not a child psychologist. Most kids put stuff in their mouths, it's easier for them to feel things. Like, how is it easier to feel things with your mouth than it is with your hands? That's specifically what our hands do, man. That's, like, taste things, okay, maybe. Hey, you ignore my rod, why? You ignore my rod, why, being the premise to every incel ever? Hey, please look at my thing. Please look at my thing. My thing? My thing. My thing? Can you, can you look at my thing, please? Thank you. The primal urge just to know what things taste like? Yeah, like, I get it. That's why berries have developed to be, like, as tasty-looking as possible, but then some of them are, like, deathly poisonous. Yeah. I, ch I showed you my thing, please respond, and then I fucking missed it, which is just epic and poggers. 
Yeah, like most kids put stuff in their mouth. Whether you re whether you remember doing it or not, you probably were a little drooling ass, slobbering ass, little stinky ass kid that was putting shit in your mouth. Hello. <laughs> so, someone who lives upstairs um, is having a birthday party in the backyard today. Kristen uh, just came back in from the the, the gathering to tell me that there's three old guys all standing around a grill with a beer in their hand. Not all dissimilar from half the scenes in King of the Hill. And that makes me very happy to see. Sorry, man, I don't really care what you have to say. Poncho's cute? Yeah, he's cute, but I don't really give a shit about what he has to say. Just, you know, just being brutally honest. Maybe I should try to catch... I mean, I don't need to catch the Dorado now. I have a time later on to catch that. What I'm trying to get now is the blue marlin, but I'm not having much luck. And also the zebra turkey fish, which I am shocked I have not caught yet. I am, like, completely befuddled. But this could be that. This could be it. If I don't fuck it up. My good lord above, why have you decided to put cans in this game? Why, why did you decide that this was a wise idea to put cans in the game? Like, honestly, they could have done, maybe until New Horizons, where you could actually use the trash for useful purposes. Why did they put garbage in this game? It's just the universal sign of disappointment whenever somebody reels in a fucking can. Go join the King of the Hill scene on stream. I'm, I, I'm, I'm not gonna do that, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I don't think I can stream people without their permission. Which is why I don't know how IRL streamers get away with it, but that's a whole different thing. Is holding the secret knowledge to these fish? No, I got it, man. I got the Wikipedia page. I got all the secret knowledge I can need. The grass deterioration around the water is so bad. Oh yeah, it's not even as bad as it is in later games, where... In this game, the grass does not deteriorate by, like, walking around on it. But in City Folk, if you walked around on patches of grass enough, it would eventually turn into, like, that ugly dirt that you see. And then in, D in New Leaf, they did it as well. Luckily, in New Horizons, they got rid of that. Although I do miss, like, some of the island being, like, dirt patches instead of grass. I don't know, just kind of, like... It made the island look more, or made the town look more, I don't know, nice, for lack of a better word. Hi. Oh, he, Stanley got his special Saturday breakfast? What was that? Cat food and kibble. Wet food. Wet food and kibble. Yeah, he do be liking wet food. Oh, yeah, um... So HelloFresh wanted me to make a fruit salad for dinner last night. So they wanted me to like the it was it was cut up grapes and what they called um mixed greens. I don't know what greens exactly it was, but it was called mixed greens and they wanted me to use uh vinegar in the salad and they told me to use half the bottle and I used maybe like a quarter of the bottle. It was disgusting. It was it was absolutely disgusting. Like I I threw that in the meat. Like I'm all for eating your greens, but legitimately it was the nastiest fucking thing ever. I don't know whoever let that one slide from HelloFresh, and I used less vinegar than they asked me to, and it was still fucking disgusting. I don't know, man. It was nasty. Something about the vinegar they give you, I never I never like when they give it to you, because it always like ruins whatever you use it in. Yeah, grapes and vinegar and mixed greens. There was walnuts in there as well. And I'm like, everything sounds pretty pog, except for the... I should have just not used the, the vinegar, and that would have been fine. Grapes on lettuce, drowned in vinegar. What kind of salad? That's what I'm saying. I guess it's supposed to be like a fruit salad, but like the vinegar just completely ruined it. It just completely ruined it. Anyway, that was my HelloFresh experience last night. Solid, like, 0 out of 10 salad, but everything else was pretty good. It was like a... It was like a chicken in a pan sauce. It was pretty good. I enjoyed it. The worst fruit salad? Yeah, it was pretty bad. I haven't eaten a whole lot of fruit salads in my life, but I'm confident to say... What's up with the cans? 
What's going on with the damn cans, man? That's my fourth can! Stop! It was disgusting. My cousin and brother and I were homeschooled and would play Wild World together every morning. I'm sure it was a source of many great memories for you guys. Fruit salad with vinegar. Yeah, pretty horrible. Pretty horrible. Pretty nasty. Oh, that looks... I mean, it's probably a king salmon. But this... Oh, that's huge! Hold on, dude. That's absolutely massive. That's massive, dude. What the fuck? Probably a king salmon? Yeah, okay. Alright, alright, alright. You gotta get excited, because it could be a Dorado. Dorados are technically possible right now. I have them set for a later time, though. But... Yeah, and then, like, that can't be a Dorado. I'll know if it was a Dorado-sized fish. That one's too small. It's just a regular salmon. Just a regular salmon. Why does Wild World look worse than GameCube? Pretty simple explanation. One is on a handheld system, and then one is on, like, a standalone home console. I don't know. Hey! Hey! This is a funny message. Please laugh. Not funny didn't laugh. Thanks for the seven months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you, Ricking Angel. Oh. Puffer? Yeah! So cute. So painful. Let's go. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing for another month. I appreciate that. Yeah, the reason why it looks uglier is because, while it is a game that came out, like, two years later, it's also a game that's on a handheld system versus a, a GameCube, which was at least, like, a system that, I mean, it wasn't handheld, but therefore, at the, at the, uh, expense of graphical performance, you, you got a handheld system in the DS versus a standalone console in the GameCube. That's why it looks worse, man. No, no complicated... Nintendo didn't deliberately make the game look worse, okay? No? Huh? My, I get my first buffer fish, and then ten seconds later I get my second one. Yo, you got Panda Express? Let's go, dude. Hell yeah. Please share. As Honk City, probably another King Salmon, but worth checking. Worth checking. Yeah, people thought DS playing N64 games was crazy shit. Wait, the DS played N64 games? How? Like, even the N64, which was, like, a lot older than the DS, how the hell did that manage to run 64 games? That's crazy. Oh, it's 5 p.m. It do be kind of 5 p.m., though. Mario... Oh, Big Mario 64 DS, that's a, that's a remaster. Like, that's a completely different game. That's not, like, a port. That's not an N64 game. That's a remaster. That was a remaster that was specifically made for the DS. It's not like they ported that over from the N64. That's a completely different game. Focus. Focus. Maybe? Arr. I gotta get out of King Salmon season, dude. I gotta get out of here. These things are baiting me way too much. Although there is some, like confidence that I'm instilling in myself at the fact that I'm able to catch most of the king salmon that I see. So I don't know. I don't know. I always keep thinking that they're either blue marlin if they're in the ocean or dorados if they're in the river. DS couldn't? No, I didn't think it could. If you're talking about, if you're using Super Mario 64 DS, that was a whole different game. That was a game that was specifically made for the DS and optimized for it as well. I have your stream in the background while I text my crush to calm me down. Hey, best of luck, demon. Thinking the DS could play N64 games? Nah, man, it's all good. I didn't think it could. But, yeah, I guess they did remaster a couple N64 games on the DS. But, you know, optimize them for that system as well. Good background sound while writing a final paper? Yeah, it's almost the end of the semester for a lot of y'all. Who up, uh, who up taking they finals today? Or, well, I guess it's Saturday. I don't really know how many people will be taking finals on a Saturday, but... It, it, was it finals week for a lot of you guys, I imagine? Because I think college kids, at least in America, are probably, like, out this week. Out at the end of this week. 
or you're like going into finals week and then high school it's like prom season for you guys right i remember i passed the high school yesterday and it was like prom five six and i'm like wait that's today i finished the last week of april that's really early <laughs> that's re i mean even for college that's really early uh no too small as soon as i click into streams about to procrastinate do you bring up exams oh, i'm sorry man I'm sorry. Maybe I'm subconsciously trying to shame you for not doing your exams. Who knows? What's up, that daydreamer? How are you doing as well? I'm happy to be done with school. Yeah, same. All th These times of years do not bring me as much anxiety anymore. Although I still get dreams about being back in school. Like, does anyone get these dreams? Like, I get so many of these. Damn it. I get so many of these that I'm, like, super specific about it. I want to check something real quick. I want to check something real quick. Um, you're back in school? Like, everyone gets the back in school dreams. That's nothing, like, that's nothing that unique. But all of my dreams where I'm back to school is, like, it's the start of a new semester. So you have a bunch of classes that you need to go to, but you have no idea what those classes are. So I always have to go to, like, the main office of the school to, like, have them check what classes I have and what classrooms they're at. And inevitably, I'm always late to my first class. And then over the course, it's kind of weird that, like, over the course of the dream, multiple days pass through. And yet it always feels like it's mashed into one dream, but, like, multiple days pass through. And I'm, like, failing the semester as, like, cla as it keeps going on and on. I don't know, man. It's always, like, that format of back-to-school dreams followed exactly in my head. And the only reason I know it so well is because I've had so many dreams that have followed that exact path. So, it's, it, it, I mean, it's, like, freaky, but, like, at the same time, I don't really consider them nightmares because, I don't know. I don't really get nightmares. I get, like, unpleasant dreams where I'm, like, back to a job that I hate or back to school or something like that. But I don't really get nightmares, really. Which is nice, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, school is, like, traumatic enough to where we have dreams about it, like, even into our adulthood, man. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. I get that one, too? Yeah, it's like, I don't know, maybe it's a more common thing than people might think. Dreams, dreams of being in your childhood house? Yeah, that's... I get that as well. But those aren't bad. What's up, Hero? How are you doing? Welcome. I don't... I get the ones where I'm, like, in my childhood house, but those are nice. I don't know. I... I don't mind those ones. I guess, depending on how, you know, particularly traumatic your childhood might have been, they might be bad. But, for, I don't know. For me, they're kind of nice. That I'm actually one credit short of graduating. I have to go back to take one class a day for half a year. Oof. I don't know, but at least you're close to graduating. You're not just starting your semester and you're fucking failing everything already. It's weird, I never failed a class either. Why do I have so many dreams about failing classes, man? I didn't even fail any classes. I was a good noodle. I'm doing alright yourself? Yeah, other than bringing back the repressed trauma of school, I'm doing alright. I'm doing alright. And also not being able to catch the fish that I need. But that's okay. Am I really at 49? I guess so, right? Let's see. Black bass, char, king salmon, horse mackerel, pufferfish, seahorse, clownfish, olive flounder. Have I caught a dab? I think I should be at 48, actually. I think I should be at 48. Let's put it there for right now. Maybe I accidentally, uh... Yeah, you know what I think I did? I think I accidentally changed the, the thing without actually catching a fish. Absolutely love... Hang on, I'll read that in a second here. Love watching YouTube videos at lunch. Thanks for making them. Oh, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. I'm glad. Glad that you enjoy them. My tongue is stinging because I've eaten like three packs of snack -a jacks What the heck is a snack -a jacks Are they like a sour candy? I used to get that where I eat Warheads Extreme Sours. Those who know, know that them, them Johns were... Whew, them John, Like, I, I can tolerate sour candy. Really, no candy is ever too sour for me. But... Warheads Extreme Sours... 
are literally like tear layers off of your tongue levels of sour if you eat too many they're really bad they're puffed corn chips salt and vinegar flavor okay yeah salt and vinegar will do that to you i don't know what those are specifically but also kind of like goaded goaded potato chip pl flavor honestly salt and vinegar like they're so addictive like i don't even know if they taste good but, like, they're addictive, man. Someone's boiling a pot of chicken in Pepto-Bismol? Pretty interesting. Pretty normal dream, honestly. Like, by dream standards, that kind of checks out. The best at burning your tongue off. It's like, they're just so objectively bad. They don't really taste that great. They, like, fuck up your tongue. And yet, you can't stop eating them, dude. <laughs> you can't stop eating them. It's crazy. Well, I'm currently suffering an allergy attack. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, it also hurts. Like, if you eat too many of them, you're going to be feeling it, man. Sour candies just taste like pain? Nah, like, most sour candies I can handle, like, without problem. Like, I don't even, like, I don't even do, like, the thing where you, like, pucker your little mouth up. But Warheads Extreme Sours. I don't know what the fuck, like, chemical mutations they did with those. Those things... The, they fuck you up. Like, they, they have to be, like, more acidic than, I don't know, with something that's super acidic. Wait, have I caught a seahorse yet? I think I did, right? I think I did. I... I... I have not. Dagnal L-U-L. I have not. What the fuck? Nan, aka OxyClean. Thanks for the two months. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Hi. Yeah, he's not doing anything. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Like, they're gonna be more acidic than, like, a lemon, man. Yeah. What's up with them things? I don't know. I don't know how many people have had those Warhead Extreme Sours. I used to, like... I don't know how much I want to admit to this... Um, but I used to, like, in the ninth grade, we got, like, a giant-ass bag of them, and what I would do is I would go to school, and I would, like, distribute them for, like, a, a quarter apiece. I'm not saying I was akin to a drug dealer at the age of nine years old, because I assure you that while the Warhead Extreme Sour- Extreme Sours were in tune with drugs as far as how much they ruined your body- they weren't drugs, okay? I wasn't a drug dealer, alright? This is not, like, the gateway drug to becoming a drug dealer, alright? I promise you. It's just normal ninth grade behavior. Also, I'm gonna hope that that fish that I missed was a king salmon so that I don't cry myself to sleep tonight. Lemon warheads are atomic for the size. It's not even fun. No, like, I like them, but, like, you can't eat too many of them. If you value, like, the skin on your tongue. Nice. That'll be an awkward one to explain in the video about how I'm talking about the skin of your tongue catching a zebra turkey fish, but, um, yeah, that'll be a tough one to explain. I had those gumballs that were just filled with sour powder. That sounds delicious, to be quite honest with you. That sounds like, that sounds like chef's kiss, dude. Sounds like something a wannabe drug dealer would say. I assure you I don't want to be a drug dealer, alright? I'm pretty cool with being a Twitch streamer, okay? Which is about, like, akin to the level of goodness that a drug dealer does to society. So, you know. But at least I pay my taxes. I got major deja vu. Yeah, maybe we've talked about this before. What's up? N yeah, no. <laughs> Kristen wanted to let the cat outside. The cat realizes a giant group of people that he's never seen before outside, and then he's like, yeah, you know what? I'm good. I'm good. Who the hell wants to be a drug dealer? Uh, boy, have I got a show for you. It's called Breaking Bad. Oh, he's actually a kingpin. He's not a drug dealer. Good show. Highly recommend it. Pretty good show. My cat also has social anxiety. I don't know if it's social anxiety, it's more just like, who the fuck is this group of people out here? I don't know. Are center shocks a thing where you live? Those are my favorite. No, I've never heard of those before. I've never heard of those before. 
I know that there's like, as far as sour candies go, there's like, uh, there's warheads, there's like toxic shock as well, which is like, or toxic waste, I think is, is what it's called. Toxic waste. And what it is, is like this, it comes in like this barrel. I don't know. It's pretty genius marketing to like put it. Yeah, toxic waste. It comes in like this barrel of radioactive fluid. And apparently, I've never had it before, but apparently they're like very, very sour. Crucian cart? Yeah, I don't need that. Toxic shock is a damn Isaac item. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. I was thinking of the damn Isaac item. Is there more sour than warheads? Bro, I think I gotta try some toxic waste then. It's a German or maybe European thing. I see, okay. The only thing we need now during this time frame is a seahorse and a blue marlin. Blue marlins are available all year and at all times of the day in this game, I think. So we don't need it right now, but I would very much like to try to get it. Yeah, that's what happens when... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. That is what happens, isn't it? But it's also an Isaac item, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. We, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, though. Center shocks are great. Never had them before. I'll have to try them, though. I'm always down. Like, if somebody wants to send me, I'll open up a P.O. box for just for you to send me sour candy. Like, if you want to do that for me, you can do that. I'll be the connoisseur of the sourness. I'll let you know how sour they really are. Cool beans. I agree. So true. Just a salmon. What are you doing, man? In before Diagonal has to explain toxic shock to YouTube? Nah, that's okay. I don't think I'll include this part. Ever try Zots? No, what is a Zot? It's also what makes superheroes, usually. Yeah, I don't really like... Apparently, there's a new Marvel out there that's supposed to be really good. Which, I'm... I can't... I literally cannot care less about, like, a new superhero property that's coming out. Because... I just don't... I, there's just too many of them, man. They're oversaturating the market. I have a friend. You might know him. His name is Axnew. He always is going ape shit about like the new Marvel pr property that is coming out. But I'm just like, man, isn't there like a bunch of them like every year that come out? I don't really know how they're like any different from each other. But you know, I'm also just not too excited about superhero properties just in general. God fucking damn it, my ass, my ass, my fucking ass. Marvel needs to calm their tits? Well, I mean, like, dude, they're making money. Like, you know, make hay while the sun's up, I guess. But at the same time, I'm like, you know, if I wasn't really interested in one, I'm not going to be interested in, like, the 15 others that you release per year, right? Blockbuster fatigue? So many of them. Wait, blockbuster fatigue, and it sounds about right? So I'm back watching old samurai movies? It feels so good? Yeah, like, I feel like... I don't know. It, it's just, like, oversaturating at this point, right? There's so many of them, it's very hard to keep up with the storyline. Yeah, not to mention, like, the Marvel Cinematic Universe at this point is, like, so many different plot lines. Like, I don't know. How do you keep up with all that? How do you keep up with all that? I don't need any more fish this size, actually. Yeah, just scare that away. I'm still going to see Doctor Strange tomorrow. I'm, I hope you enjoy it, genuinely. Don't let my Marvel bitterness turn you off to the idea of superhero movies. I'm just saying, they ain't for me. They just ain't for me, man. Poor bear? Nah, he'll be fine. He'll continue on about his day. Nice. 50. Marvel's owned by Disney? Yeah, and also, like, look. The, last time I, I said this, I... I made a few people mad when I said this, okay? I want to be clear. Like, I don't despise these kinds of people. But I know a lot of people that are, like, very anti-corporation. Very, like, you know, unionized, eat the rich type of folk. I'm sure that you all know them if you spend enough time on the internet. And they're the same kind of kids that will, like, go to Disney World every year. Like, wear Mickey Mouse ears everywhere they go, get internships at, like, Disney, revolve their entire life around, like, being a Disney kid and carrying that, 
mindset over to your adulthood as well. And I'm like, man, your socioeconomic logic doesn't seem to apply when it comes to, like, when it comes to Disney, you know? I don't know. Like, what's up, man? What happened to Eat the Rich? I don't know. I knew, like, a lot of Disney kids as a kid. People who, like, revolved their entire life around Disney. Like, Disney was their personality. They would go to Disney World, like, five times a year. And we lived in Pennsylvania, not, like, in Kissimmee, Florida. I'm talking about, like, it would be a long-ass trip. And I'm like, dude. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's just a weird energy. Yeah, Disney adults, man. Kind of weird. But that's just me. Um, Honker? Kind of a honker. Probably a king salmon, though. Hang on, I'll do that hydrate in a second here. Damn it! <laughs> I gotta get out of king salmon. I gotta get out of king salmon season, dude. These things are fucking me up too much. Okay, so the only thing I need during this time frame is a blue marlin. If I look up a blue marlin, though, right now, what are... What's the peak times for them? Peak times is July to September. Which, I'm not going to be in those months at any other point during this run. So it would be best to catch it now. It would be best to catch it now. They're available all day. From June to September, but peak months are July to September. And the next time that I go to is in June... So I don't know. I guess we could change that to July, though, because it seems as though to me, a lot of the fish that I need to catch in the June split are also available in July. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save and quit, and we're going to move on to the next time frame here, which is going to be July at 4 p.m. I'm a Disney adult. That's okay, man. Gotta go to dinner. Glad I could catch some of the stream. Yo, glad that you were here. Enjoy your dinner. They're a whole different breed, man. They're fully insane to me. Something about worshipping a corporate entity doesn't sit right. I mean, I don't know if I'd, like, call it, like, mentally insane, but it's definitely kind of weird. It's definitely a little bit weird. Like, just revolving your life around, like, any corporation, always a little bit strange. Especially when you're also the type to be, like, eat the rich, you know? And I'm like, hmm. Kind of makes that argument fall on deaf ears a little bit. Which, to be clear, I'm fully in support of that. Alright, so we want to go July, 4 p.m. Don't feel personally called out from just my opinions, though, you know? I'm ignorant. Seem like they're adult babies who had a bad childhood and they're trying to relive it by watching the only things they found joy in? Alright, that's like a little bit too personal, man. Like, that's a little bit too... That you're looking into it a little bit too much at that point. You're 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 like, yeah. I don't know. At that point, you you need to chill, man. Like you're going too far. Mm. It's raining. I should only be at fifty, right? Yeah. Let's knock that down. Let's see here. Let's check this again. So I didn't need either of those. Black bass. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, only nine? Hang on. I just really like Disney. My kitchen is Ratatouille. I collect canvas art pieces. My son's room is Star Wars. I wear a lot of Disney shirts. It's not my whole personality, but also Disney World is the only place I vacation at the same time. Yeah, that's not that bad. At least I don't think. Black bass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, okay, so we should only be at 49 then. Interesting, okay. Whatever works for me. Yeah, ratatouille kitchen, like, that's just a nice kitchen. Like, how is it a ratatouille kitchen? I guess I'm wondering. How is that a ratatouille kitchen? So, in this split, we need a Dorado, a Gar, a Ocean Sunfish, a Hammerhead Shark, a Great White Shark, and a Squid. So, primarily fish that are in the ocean. However, the Dorado and the Gar, 
The Dorado's in the river, the Gar is in the lake specifically, so we're gonna have to be checking up on the lake here occasionally. Yeah, like a kid's Star Wars room? That's not even that weird, man. Like, I wasn't a Star Wars kid, but if I was, that'd have been sick. How come you time skipped 77 years? I don't know, man. I just wanted to see, like, how old, how, like, high the years went on the DS. And apparently they go to 2099, which is weird to me, considering that's higher than even, like, the Switch goes. And yet, I feel like the Switch is more likely to be the console that lasts until 2029, or 2099. But, I don't know. I guess you do you, Nintendo. I had a Barbie princess room when I was, like, six. Yeah. It's not bad. There's nothing weird about that. Okay. Well, good start. So we're looking for fin fish. Actually, really just fin fish in the ocean and also a squid, which I think will be the same size as, like, a horse mackerel. A French kimmon with kitchen with a lemon chiffon color, and then Remy figures and art, framed pins and stuff all over the kitchen. I have the Remy kitchen towels and rolling pin. I have engraved Ratatouille wooden spoons and such. It's kind of cute. I mean, Ratatouille is, like, one of my favorite Disney movies, so excellent taste, if nothing else. Help. Squid? Damn it. Groovy chick bedding as a kid in wallpaper because I was a girl boss kid. My room was... I don't know. I didn't really have, like, a theme to my room. I didn't really have a theme. Well, first of all, I shared a room with my sister until, like, I was 11, I think. I shared a room with my sister, so it's not even, like... Ooh, there we go. It's not even, like, I had my own room, you know? I had to share my damn room. Damn, it's so fast! Oh, good lord. This is gonna be rough. Um... All right, this is gonna be this is gonna be rough. This is gonna be rough. Um, <laughs> that was fast, dude. Like I don't know. Even without input delay, I don't know if I was catching that thing. I don't know if I was gonna catch that thing. Whew. It's all right though. At least confirmation that sharks exist. Copium. Is this a squid? Could be a squid, I think. Yeah, give it a try. Have you heard of the sound trick for catching fish? Yeah, but that doesn't work in this game with the with input delay. It's really not relevant to this game. That's relevant in every game. It's relevant to New Leaf, New Horizons, City Folk, GameCube not so much cuz I don't think they had sound when you when they bit down the bobber. And then in this game you have to react on visuals because of the fact that you have input delay when you play it on the Wii U Virtual Console, as I'm doing right now. So, you really just kind of have to almost guess, like, when the fish is going to bite. And you have to look at it. The sound trick, if you do it by sound, you literally will not react quick enough if the fish gets away quickly. Like a rare fish in this game. It's pretty much impossible. It's really annoying, yeah. Uh... Yeah, so that's why Wild World is always, like, the roughest game for fishing. It's been a while since I played this one. I mean, even on the DS... Nice. Even on the DS, fishing was really hard. Add the fact that this one, playing on the Wii U Virtual Console, has input delay. It makes what was already pretty difficult even more difficult. Okay, so now everything in the ocean has a fin, so... Only really bother catching things that have a fin. We should walk up the river occasionally as well. Look for a Dorado and a Gar. So we'll do that as well. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a cicada. Rossetti made me cry, though. Yeah, you're the reason why he's so dull in New Horizons. It is probably even the reason why he doesn't even exist in New Horizons. Unless you find him in the cafe. And he's not even that mean. Because kids got kids were sad that they yelled at him for the consequences of their own actions. Fucking bullshit. Been a while since I played this one. Yeah, yeah, it's been a while for a lot of people as well. Hey, hey, I'm trying to scare you away, man. You, you really not scared? Jesus, guy got balls of steel. Holy shit, he don't get scared by nothing. 
All right. Well, little, little. what the fuck is this fish? This fish is Superman. You can't scare him. There we go. God. So Dorado and Agar. So really only like big fish in the river as well. I hate how they watered down the personalities. Yeah, I don't know if like it was because kids were complaining about having their looks insulted so much in these older games. But they definitely like, I don't know, you can definitely make villagers have better personality without making them like insulting, you know? And New Horizons didn't do that, unfortunately. They just made them like dull. I don't know, though. Parents complaining about their kids crying was amazing. And it's like, the kids are the ones who didn't follow what Rossetti was doing, okay? It was the kids that were resetting their games without saving. And then, Rossetti is just there as a vessel to remind them to do so, who gets increasingly upset if you continue to disobey his rule. And it's like... He is perfectly justified in that. He's just acting like what any other parent would do. Focus. Oh? I got lucky. Okay, ocean sunfish. Alright. Hell yeah. Seeing him in New Leaf was awesome. Yeah, but only after you built the reset center. Which was okay. I like that they at least included him. All right, so that's an ocean sunfish done. We got a we got a squid and ocean sunfish knocked out pretty quickly. Happy to see it. Nice. What's going to be the hardest to fish? A dorado is very rare. A gray white shark will probably be pretty rare as well, and a gar. Those are like the three big ones, and then a hammerhead shark as well. I mean, I I got a lot of tough fish to catch during this time frame. We also still got to get the blue marlin during this time as well so yeah this one's gonna be really tough this one's gonna be really really tough to get all the fish for unfortunately wild world introduced a lot of rare fish so i don't know it's gonna be tough it's gonna be tough i mean let's go dorado can spawn anywhere in the river so just yeah walk up the whole thing i guess Parents complaining that their kids were crying was the problem? Nah, man. I, I I disagree, but whatever. Gordon Ramsay and Animal Crossing? Why'd that make me laugh? What about villager personalities? It was good, though. It was good. What's up, pinkish pansies? How are you doing? I reset the game because I slingshot the UFO out of the sky and I thought I killed him? Oh, no! No, that's actually so rare to do in this game. Like, the UFO, Gulliver's UFO is so rare. Oh, man. I, I don't think in all my my childhood of playing Wild World, I ever shot his UFO out of the sky. Oh, and you reset when you did? That's so tragic. But also kind of understandable, because that's kid logic, you know? That's kid logic. The UFO? Yeah, so Gulliver in this game and in City Folk has a UFO that he flies around your town occasionally. Very rarely, I will. Not even occasionally. It's very rare that you see it. And you can shoot it out of the sky with a slingshot, and he gets you, um... You get, like, exclusive space furniture for it. Imagine if they actually killed him. Mm -hmm. He's pretty fucking dead until you wake him up, at least. Rossetti's tone and music made you feel like your game was corrupt, and I think that's what was offsetting about it. I don't know, man. Like, I get why a kid would be scared of Rossetti, but I I personally, I loved Rossetti as a kid. You know what did scare me as a kid as far as video game characters go? And it's very specific, but bear with me here. Ooh. Okay, good stretch, good stretch. Um... A, a video game character that did scare me as a kid was the robot in Andy's Attic in the Toy Story 2 video game. Okay? Now, I know that that's so specific, but, like, legitimately, that enemy freaked me the fuck out. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know if anyone ever played that game, but I had it for the PC. 
and legitimately that enemy, I think it was like a boss, it scared the shit out of me. I just cried because I felt the disappointment in him and that hurt. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Shoot Gulliver down and fucking laugh so hard. Same with Pete. Yeah, shooting Pete out is, is hilarious, man. It is hilarious. The enemy in the alley? Are you talking about that slime enemy? Are you talking about the slime enemy? Yeah, that guy scared me too. That guy gets your shit in your pants, dude. That game was scary. The Toy Story games were- they were great, dude. Those were good games. Those were good games. Who's Pete again? He's the pelican that delivers your mail. He's the pelican that delivers your mail. Mmm, too small to be a Dorado. I get it, his name is Rossetti, because if you reset your game- yep. Exactly. Maybe in other languages it isn't so obvious, but yeah. Yeah, that's why he's called Rossetti. Uh, get out, please. How did he not get scared away? The only game that scared me as a kid was Abe's Odyssey, but then my stepdad showed me how to make him fart, and it was all cool. What is Abe's Odyssey? But also, that's an adorable story. Thank you for sharing. I was an arachnophobe when I was little, and the Monkey Quest Tarantula boss scared the shit out of me. What game is that from? I don't remember that. If we're talking about the Toy Story 2 game, I don't remember that at all. I was scared of the thank you for watching screen that CBS would show at like 7 p.m. It was so eerily quiet. Yeah, like didn't they used to do that where like if the programming was done for the night, they would like play the national anthem or something like that. It's, it's kind of scary to just like be, you know, half asleep in the middle of the night and then they hit you with like the loud blaring national anthem. Jeez, it probably feels like, I don't know. The dude was trying to run at you? He was trying to have a run at me, dude. You gotta keep that motherfucking thing on you. I had to give my sim- I had this at my sims as a kid. There was an area that was marked with a skull on the map. I never went there, so that my character was gonna be killed? Wait, what sims was that? I don't ever remember that. I only ever played The Sims 3 and 4, though. So. People say The Sims 2, all in all, was the best sims game, though, and I'd believe it. Nothing really can be worse than The Sims 4. Test pattern or static when stations went off the air in the middle of the night? Didn't they play the National Anthem before they sent them off, though? I don't know. What's up, Chris Robin? How are you doing? Welcome. I was terrified of death in The Sims when I was little. Yeah, and now we're terrified of death as an adult. Or maybe we embrace it, I don't know. I feel like you're one or the other. No, you ain't, you ain't nothing. Sims 2 was so buggy. I don't know. At least it was a good game, though, from what I understand. You could customize- Yeah, Sims 3 was good. I- I don't know. Everyone's always like... Or, well, okay. Literally one time I had somebody in chat say that, like, Sims 3 was the worst of all the Sims games. So now I'm like, oh, that's a popular sentiment amongst the Sims community. In reality, I think most people did like the Sims 3. I don't know. I enjoyed it so much more than 4, though, because the base game actually gave you, like, content to play without having to spend $500 on all the additions. The expansions or whatever. To actually make it a game that's worth playing. The weather warning scared me as a kid. Oh, are you talking about the ones that are like... Oh my god. Literally pants-shitting material right there. Like, when you get in, like, a... a yeah, the, the... I don't know if they were, like, tornado warnings. They could be, like, just severe weather warnings in general. Or they could... You know what's fucked up is sometimes they'll do tests. They'll do, like, emergency warning system tests. Where they'll just be like... And it's just like, this is a test issued by the National Weather Service to test our emergency broadcasting system. And I'm like, bro, you're just over here making me... You're over here making me shit myself, and you're just doing a test? You son of a bitch. You think this is a fucking joke? You think this is a prank? I understand that there's very, there's very meaningful uh, use of those tests, but all I'm saying is that they gotta make that noise less scary, man. Like, there's plenty of attention-grabbing noises out there that aren't as terrifying as that fucking sound. 
Yeah, the weekly and monthly tests. I don't have cable anymore, so I don't hear them. But Jesus Christ, when you heard that as a kid, I would literally get so scared. I would get so scared, dude. I'm like, Jesus, the world is ending. I live a few miles away from an oil refinery. Four times a year they test their alarms and that shit is so loud. Yeah. I've never heard a real tornado siren before. Luckily, I think that would also make me shit myself, but yeah, I don't think, I don't want to be around for the day that I actually have a tornado that I can see. They've been around me before. I don't know what the fuck to do on my day off. You want to inject some code into my game that gets like all these fish to start spawning? I don't know. Tornado Alley gang, rise up. I wasn't in Tornado Alley, but we would get them occasionally through our county. I never actually saw one, though. It's got to be quite a experience. I don't know. Is that a big fish, or is that just a sea bass? I do need a blue marlin. Yeah, that's just a sea bass. I need a blue marlin, which is going to be, like, the size of a shark, but without the fin. So that's just, like, that's just going to be a sea bass. Yummy code injection. I can only do that for New Horizons. I know, I know. I'm still looking for a flea. It's, it's a grind, man. I wish you the best of luck on your grind. It's, yeah, it's tough out there. It's tough. I live in the part of the country where they do monthly tornado siren tests. First Wednesday of the month. So when you hear them, are you like, oh shit, and then you like look at the clock and you're like, oh wait, it's just the test. <laughs> Is it, What if it happens, what if like a tornado rolls through on testing day though? Everyone's going to think it's a test. Everyone's going to think it's a joke. I suppose, though, then you can look out your window and see a tornado and be like, oh, yeah, maybe it's not a joke, huh? Everyone asks that every month? Hmm. Monthly siren test because we're so close to a nuclear power station? Ooh. I mean, I, I, I think they're a lot safer now than from the days of Chernobyl, but, yeah, still kind of scary. And since tornadoes happen to come around evening and night, it's pretty obvious it's a test. I don't know if tornadoes are really on a schedule, but maybe. They have a message that pl that plays that says this is not a drill. That reminds me of, um, wasn't it like several years back that Hawaii got like a, a false, uh, a false alert? Like on all their devices that said like a bomb was coming or something or a missile attack was coming? Like, holy shit. I, I don't know, like, I just remembered that that was a thing that happened. Yeah, hey, I was just thinking about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a thing that happened recently. Where the entire, like, state of Hawaii got, like, an alert that said a missile was coming. But it was just, a, it was an accident. Like, it wasn't real. And yet, like, dude, <laughs> I mean, people must have been, like, absolutely freaking out. I don't know. If it said, like, this is not a test, this is a real thing, or like, holy shit. Divine Beast Von Naboris on the first try, let's go. Hell yeah, dude, that's the hardest one, generally, people consider. That sounds freaky. Like, god, dude, people must have been, like, saying their goodbyes, man. And you couldn't do anything, like, yeah. There's nothing you could do. You can't, you can't, it's Hawaii, man, what are you gonna do? Beginning of the year, we had our first tornado siren test, and all of the students from the Midwest are like, what's going on? Or out from out of the Midwest is like, what's going on? They're like, ah, yeah, it's a Saturday. Oops, just hit the big red button. Whoopsie. Yeah, that was kind of scary, even if you weren't in Hawaii. You have to, like, feel for the people out there that actually must have been, like, completely freaked out. M.O. got an Amber Alert test where the vehicle description was that of the Jokers in the 70s. Bro, like, I'm stupid enough to where I would actually, like, start looking for, like... Like, if it said, like... <laughs> I don't know. It, unless it was obvious satire, I'd have been like, oh, I'll keep an eye out for it. I'm not really a Batman fanatic over here, man. I feel like they should make it obvious that it's a test, you know? But, I don't know. Maybe it was. I had a friend who lives in Hawaii. Yeah, like, that must have been scary for anyone out there. Cuban Missile Crisis looking ass ass. Yeah, kind of scary. I mean, that must have been a scary time to go through as well. 
I'm pretty sure I've read the story one time about, like, there was one Russian guy in a submarine who pretty much single-handedly... Oh, okay. Already caught one of those. Um, who pretty much, like, single-handedly stopped the entire world from World War Three because he was the only one to say no to attacking an American ship, thus, thus essentially, like, you know, causing mass casualty and being, like, the effective beginning of World War Three. Apparently, there was a, uh, I don't know, there was, like, three people that needed to give the order, and all three needed to approve of it, and he was, like, the one that said no. It's a kind of cool story. Found you on YouTube, and I decided to pop into a stream. Well, welcome. I hope you enjoy your time here. The city was Gotham City, and it was a green and purple vehicle. Like, I'm still fucking stupid enough to where I might be like, oh, interesting. Well, you never know. There could be a Gotham City out there. You never know. You never know, man. You gotta be sure. <laughs> you gotta be sure. Gotta love how these fishing poles don't break. Gotta hope it stays that way in future games. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Um, I mean, at the very least, making it so that the gold tools didn't break would be nice, but, you know. Almost 1 a.m., I'm gonna go to sleep. Alright, Pietro, have yourself a good night, thank you. Yeah, I got some bad news for you, man. Oof. Ooh. Hmm. It's BS that the gold tools also- Yeah, like, they have more durability, but they still break, and it's like, what's the fucking point? What's the point of working to get the gold fishing rod only for having that to break as well? Only having more durability. That ain't worth it, man. No! 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 I already got an Arapaima, man. Oh. If that was a Dorado or a Gar, I'd have been happy. But... Mm. Mm. It's such a rare and hard to catch fish as well, and it's like I did a good job to have even caught it. And I, I didn't even need it. I didn't even need it. Mm. And it was close enough to the lake to where it could have theoretically been a gar, I think. But it could have been a Dorado. I already got an Arapaima in GameCube, though, is the thing. How many fish do you need? During this current time slot, I need a Dorado, a gar, a hammerhead shark, a great white shark. So, pretty tough fish, and I'm a struggling to even see any of those fish, let alone, of course, catch them once I do see them. Over a decade later and you still recognize it? Really? That's kind of cool. Makes you wonder how many different islands there are that you could have in this game. What about it is notable, though? Like, is it like the river pattern? Where the bridges are or something like that? It's interesting, though. I know in New Horizons there's only 96 different islands that you can get, which is a lot, kind of, but they're not randomly generated, much like a lot of people might think that they are. I guess, how many do I- I wonder how many Wild World has as well. I kind of imagine, like, every game has only had, like, a certain amount. I don't know if any game truly, like, randomly generated the town slash island that you live on. It's the hardest fish to catch in this version of Animal Crossing. I mean, there's 15,000 bell fish, which is the most expensive. And those are, you know, the Great White Shark, the Dorado, two of two fish of which I need to catch. So, uh, yeah, a lot of fish are pretty hard to catch. I don't know what is objectively the hardest, but I don't know. I feel like there's a lot that could be considered the hardest. I remember the river shape and the beach layout. Okay. Interesting. All those years later. I have no idea what half of my town layouts were as a kid. Because I reset so many times, so... I would never be able to remember them all. I remember- I only realized this is a challenge, touching the total sum of every fish in the game. Not how you're going to get every fish in every single game. Yes, correct. So, if a game introduced a new fish to the series, that must be the game that I catch it in. 
And so over the course of every game, we'll catch 93 different fish that have appeared in the Animal Crossing series. So yeah. Yeah, I'm not trying to catch every fish in this game. Only the ones that debuted in this game that weren't in Animal Crossing GameCube. Yeah, exactly. New Leaf has got to be close to random, seeing as villagers can place their house anywhere. Yeah, but I don't think that that's like... I don't really think that that's like... Uh, part of the town generation, though. Like, I think... When you think randomly generated islands, it randomly generates where the rivers are, where the beaches are, but not where the houses, like, where the villager houses go, because every game before New Leaf did that, so I don't know. I, I don't, I, I guess, why is it, why is my, like, world shaking here? I have an earthquake in game? My first and currently only AC game? Yo, I mean, it's, it's, it's a good one. It's, it's my childhood Animal Crossing game, so... I have a lot of nostalgia for this game. I can barely remember the name or villagers from previous towns that I played. Yeah, like, I can't, let alone the layout, man. My, my god. Yeah, like, I don't know. I don't know. This game... I played a lot as a kid, but I reset my island. Well, actually, it's your town back in this game. I only recently started calling my New Horizons Island my island after getting over the habit of calling it my town for so many years. But I reset so many times, I and I regret greatly doing so because I was never able to stick with, like, one town for more than, like, a month before I got bored of the game and I just reset. I was called a pizza face on WW on Wild World by a villager as a kid, and I was like, LOL, I have pizza on my face, but then I googled it later in life, and it's what you call an acne riddle person, which also made me sad. I have to wonder if that's actually what they meant by calling you pizza face. I don't know, it sounds like a childish enough insult, or a benevolent enough insult to where I'm, maybe some writer at Nintendo was just like, ha, pizza face, that sounds pretty funny. Without actually knowing that it meant someone who has to deal with very severe acne. I don't know. I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt to Nintendo. To where, like, even if they made the villagers rude in this game, I don't know if they would go that far. Yo, Soap. Thanks for the four months in a row. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hang on. There it is. Four months already, damn. Fucked up, man. Thanks for the four months. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you, Dagnal, for the rad content. Oh, no, tr trust me. Is <laughs> I'm not to thank. I am just a mere whipping boy for the Animal Crossing community. I cried when Stitches moved out. Ah, Stitches, man. I cried when Cube and Kid Cat moved out, but Stitches? Psh, good riddance. I got my KK song today with three minutes to spare. Sheesh. My man was already about to make his way out the door. And you're over here like... It's like when a store's about to close down. And you y'all be walking in there being like... Oh, are you guys closing? And we're like... No, how can we help you, sir? Stitches is adorable. No stitches. Slander allowed. Hey, it's my stream, man. I say slander away. In the brief time that I worked retail, I had a fair few amount of customers that would walk in we would close at <clears throat> i think we'd close at nine and then of course they'd be walking in 8 58 p.m to buy 15 fucking two by four boards and we're like bro seriously you had all day to buy two by four and you're gonna choose 8 58 p.m it's not like you can even do anything with them today it's 8 58 p.m what are you gonna do start constructing a house in your backyard waking up your entire fucking family they might. I mean, they might, but it's not cool. It ain't cool. I assure you, it's a dickhead move. It could be more productive at night. Yeah, I get it. But like, you're not you're not building nothing with two by fours at night because that's just rude. Like that's just mean. Why would you do that? You're waking up the entire neighborhood with your power tools. To build, uh, what are you doing? Building a shed at 2 o'clock in the morning? Yeah, you gotta shoo them out with a broom. But of course, we had to be 
the customer is always right. So, of course, we would never... We always had to help them, even if it was, like, a minute past closing. Of course. You had to give, like, the warning on the microphone that's like, Oh, attention customers, it's ten minutes until closing. Please make your final purchases now and make your way to the... Make your way to the cash register. People are still there, 45 minutes. Oh, yeah. No, it's always the case. Biggest dickhead moves when people order food five minutes before close. It's like everyone's already, like, checked out, man. It may be, like, five minutes until you officially close, but everyone checked out, like, 30 minutes ago. Mentally, at least. Don't nobody want to be doing any work in the last 30 minutes, man? It's just mean. <laughs> it's just mean. Like, you should legally be able to, like, push customers out the door once it's closing time. I, that's what I think, at least. People hiding in stores way past closing? Yeah, just nothing about, like, trespassing and then recording it for everyone to see. That quite gets those YouTube views. Get out of here, man. Creepy ass. You can is just seen as rude. Yeah, and the customer's always right, so, you know, we wouldn't want to hold them accountable for their dickheadery. Yeah, no, but, you know. <laughs> I got home from my job in retail tonight, and we closed at 10 p.m. A woman arrived at 9.59 to buy her month's worth of groceries. That's awesome, dude. I'm sure that she spent, like, 45 minutes there as well. I'm sure that she spent 45 minutes there, inconveniencing the entire staff. Just because she couldn't get there, like, you know, even an hour earlier. I mean, I don't think it's a cigar, but it is in the lake, so I have to, like, at least check. Could be a giant snake head, I suppose, but I already got a giant snake head. I don't know. 24 hours in Walmart, but it was a 24-hour Walmart? I mean, I guess that's fine. I don't know why you'd want to spend 24 hours in a Walmart, personally. It's kind of like, you know... <laughs> There's plenty of places I'd spend 24 hours in. I don't think a Walmart's up there, though. I remember there was this guy... There's this group of dudes on Twitter who do... If you don't know anything about, like, fantasy sports, it's basically a competition where you draft athletes, and depending on their performance, your team could do... You know, your, your team of drafted athletes will compete and score points against each other. Anyway, in the league, the loser, the worst overall of all the group of dudes, has to spend 24 hours in a Waffle House. But for every waffle that they eat, it eliminates an hour that they have to spend there. Which I think is kind of bri- oh, I think that's kind of brilliant, but at the same time... <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I would want to spend 24 hours pretty much at any retail establishment, let alone a Waffle House. 24 hours in a hotel spa resort? Okay, now we're talking. But in a Waffle House? Hmm, I don't know about that. They wouldn't have to stay in a Chuck E. Cheese overnight as a kid? No. What are you doing that you're spending 24 hours in a Chuck E. Cheese, man? You're acting like this is a... You're acting like this is a normal thing that, like, people did. No, man, I don't think anyone ever did that. <laughs> I don't think anyone ever did that. Now I want waffles, damn it. There you go. I mean, you probably get sick of waffles after, like, the fourth or fifth one. Is That's just the plot of Five Nights at Freddy's? Yeah, but, like, nobody actually did that, right? That's Five Nights at Freddy's? I'm like, I'm so sick of Five Nights at Freddy's, man. <laughs> Want? Not have to. I mean, if you had to, like... I mean, okay, if you want... You wanted to spend 24 hours at Chuck E. Cheese as a kid. Okay, I get I get that. That's just the childhood... That's just the, the childhood dream. But... I don't know. Like, what would you do? I feel like you get bored after a while. I mean, it is Chuck E. Cheese. But still. Hammerhead? Shark? Yes! Boom. Let's go. Alright, so now we just need the Great White Shark from the ocean. The Blue Marlin from the ocean. The Dorado from the river. And the Gar from the lake. <laughs> Which is still a lot, but... We're knocking it out, kind of. We may not get it all done today, and that's okay if we don't. That's okay. If we don't, we'll worry about it again on Monday, I suppose. 
I wanted to do that, but at the amusement park at my mall? The- wait, 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 wait. You had an amusement park at your mall? Huh? Or are you talking about, like, a little kitty ride that they had or something like that? You had an amusement park at your mall. Interesting. But today is already better than yesterday, so it's all good? It is all good. We already made more progress than we did yesterday. Oh, is that like the Mall of America? Like the biggest fucking mall in the United States? Okay, yeah, maybe they got an amusement park at the Mall of America. Yeah, I've never heard of the concept of an amusement park in a mall, though, but that might do it. That might do it. Is the Mall of America, like, dying? Like, I know that the trend of malls dying has been a thing for a while now, but I feel like that's such, like, a tourist attraction, that mall. There's no way that, like, the Mall of America can be dying, right? Also, isn't that in, like, Minnesota or something like that? Like, Minneapolis, maybe? Canadian malls do that a lot? I mean, I guess that's one way of getting people to come back. There's a skating rink, and I think the Oilers practice there? Interesting. The Oilers practice at a mall skating rink. Late stage capitalism, killing the malls. It's the damn millennials and all their Amazon.com shopping that's ki Millennials are killing shopping malls. Just like they killed... Well. I don't want to say which mall is... Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. You don't have to say it. We're, we're just speculating. It's a tourist attraction for Americans only? Is it though? Like, Americans only? Like, Canadians? I, I feel like Canadians are not immune to, like, coming across the border to see, Ooh, what's the deal with that a mole of America, eh? What's going on over there? I mean, let's think about it. If it's in Minnesota, what are the closest Canadian provinces to Minnesota? Saskatchewan and Manitoba. Uh, you, you, it's like the two most boring provinces, okay? It's like the two most boring provinces. They don't got shit going on over there. I reckon the Mall of America is a hell of a lot more interesting than whatever they got going on over there in Saskatchewan, Manitoba, okay? I'm sure Canadians over there would kill to go to the Mall of America. It's probably more interesting than anything they've seen their entire lives. Not to insult. I don't know who would want to go to a big-ass mall. Then again, I'm allergic to big buildings and large crowds. I suppose so. Don't talk to me, please. Mall of America is just a big mall. It's not that different from other malls besides the amusement park. I mean, yeah, but like, I don't know. It's kind of notable. Just in being a big mall. Kind of notable. It's poppin', but pretty pricey. Makes sense for a tourist attraction, though. I suppose so. I mean, yeah, like, how is it pricey, though? Because, like, there's not, like, an entry fee to it, right? But I imagine the stores are maybe marked up. Ooh! Well, hello there, big man. Should I... No. Let's, let's, let's do it on merit here. Let's do it on merit. I was gonna make a save state. Yes! Let's go! Alright. Cool. So that means I don't have to keep going all the way up to the lake. I can just stay close to where the river meets the ocean. Alright, cool. I was gonna cheese it where I make a save state. And I was like, oh, if I miss it, I can just reload the save state. It's a little cheap. It's a little cheap, but theoretically, could have done that. But, you know, problem solved. Just don't miss it in the first place. Just don't miss it in the first place. Alright, cool. What's up, Taquito? How are you doing? Are you using Homebrew? No, this is a Wii U. This is, a, this is just the Wii U Virtual Console. This is a homebrewed Wii U, but it, it has no involvement in anything that I'm doing here. It's actually pretty big. It's obviously small compared to outdoor ones. There's like three or four big roller coaster and a bunch of rides. I mean, fitting three or four big roller coasters in a mall? Like, that's crazy. At like, big roller coasters, they go up, 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 up. So do they like go through the ceiling or something like that? Like, how are they getting like a big ass roller coaster in a mall? That's crazy. Yo, spring and a storm. <laughs> Thank you, Woo. Well, thank you very much for the subscription. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The mall is four stories. I mean, still, like, don't most roller coasters go higher than four stories? They go up there, man. 
They go up there. Those malls are like an entire city block big? I feel like most malls are like that big. Not most malls, but like a big mall will be. Like, that's not that unusual. Maybe. I don't know. I also come from a place that had a pretty big mall. Or at least like the mall complex was pretty big. I don't know. The middle of a very tall, very, very tall glass ceiling. I see. I guess I'll have to go there at some point to really get the experience. It's probably a lame-ass roller coaster. Like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. If you want a, if you want a coaster experience, you might be better off maybe not going to the Mall of America. But, you know, if you're there, you might as well. The Steamtown Mall isn't that big, though, Dagnall. But what is the Steamtown Mall? I don't know what the hell that is. Compared to actual roller coasters, yeah. If you, if you're a coaster buff, I don't think you're gonna be going to the Mall of America. You know. But, I don't know. It's in PA? No, I've never heard of the Steamtown Mall, man. Never heard of it before. The mall near me is one of those VR roller coaster rides. V I've never been on a VR roller coaster ride, I'm afraid. The West Edmonton Mall in Canada? Yeah, we were just talking about that. Apparently, the Oilers practice there. Kind of cool. I have to wonder how long this would take if it wasn't raining, man. Like, the rain helps. Not by much, but it does help a little bit. I'm so, so glad they got rid of grass deterioration. There actually is no grass deterioration in this game, but the grass patches that you see here, like, that's just natural. The Monroeville Mall, where they filmed Return of the Living Dead. I don't know if I've ever been to the Monroeville one. I've been to the Robinson Mall in Pittsburgh, and I've been to the... Uh... I forget what the name of the other one is. It's kind of like... It, it's kind of a rich mall. I felt really out of place there. Like, did y'all ever go to, like, a... It doesn't have to be a mall specifically, but, like, a place that's, like, clearly in a class above your financial income? And you're over there, like... You know, everyone's, like, dressed super nicely, and you're just kind of over there, like, Oh, <laughs> where's the Abercrombie and Fitch, please? Y'all ever go in there? Yeah, I kind of felt out of place in that. Kind of felt a little bit out of place there. What? Is that Blue Marlin big, or is that... It's sea bass big, but I don't know, I'll give it a try. Fancy mall in Berlin. It made me feel so poor when I was there. Well, if it's any consolation, I'm sure you're not the only one that felt out of place. I had a work meeting at a fancy golf course. It felt very uncomfy. Yeah, golf is kind of... I don't know. Gotta dress for the part, right? I've been golfing once. It was pretty fun, honestly. Gets a bad rap. Gets a bad rap, honestly. I got security called on you? You got security called on you because you looked poor in a mall or a retail establishment that is upper class? Alright, that's just horrible, man. That's just horrible. What's up, hibernating bear? How are you doing? Yeah, I'm in Waitrose, old middle class people everywhere. I don't even know where that is. Thanks for the hydrate. Is it 53? Hang on, I gotta double check this. My, my, my counter just keeps getting out of whack here for one reason or another. So, the Black Bass was one. The Char was one. The King Salmon was one. So that's three, four with the Gar. Five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 11, 12, 13. Wait, no, that's right then. 13? Okay, never mind then. Golf courses are so bad for the environment, though. Is it like the upkeep of keeping them nice and... Nice and trimmed? That's bad for the environment? I don't know. I mean, like, I feel like you can be a fan of golf while also acknowledging that they're bad for the environment. I feel like those two things can exist. What's up, Arrow Girl? How are you doing? Kind of like how you can buy something off of Amazon and yet not support Jeff Bezos in his ludicrous uh, hoarding of wealth. I feel like those two things can exist. They take so much water. Okay, I mean, I can imagine so. I'm not doubting that they're bad for the environment. I'm just mostly kind of wondering how. Miles of grass that needs water that provide nothing for bugs or animals? Hmm. I mean, I feel like a lot of things can do that, though. 
I'm not, not defending it, but you know what I'm saying. You can have a car and know that they're bad for the environment? Yeah, but it's kind of like a necessary evil, right? In the car-built society that is America, at least, it's like you're kind of just SOL if you don't have a car. Especially if you don't have good public transport, either. Probably a success. Yeah, buy Chick-fil-A sauce from Walmart and yet not support Chick-fil-A. Exactly. Worse ozone would be if rich people got their own, if rich people had their own golf courses or got rid of golf courses. Mm. She made so much money from old guys. Yeah, it's it's like I don't want to think about like why those old guys were so nice to her, but I guess if she got that bread, she got that bread. Mm. I don't know. Merca. Car-based society. I mean, I don't know. On one hand, so many of our cities were founded, like, past the invention of the car. So it's kind of, like, hard to be... I don't know. It's hard to be upset at, like, how America has, like, evolved itself around car-based society when, over the course of the past 120 years, like, we have just done so much, like, rapid expansion and growth that's been centered around the car industry. It's kind of not a... It's not a shocker that our entire world is now based around cars. Who made 1,000 in tips from working at a golf course? I mean, I guess that's a, I guess that's a quick way to do it. A get rich, uh, an IRL money glitch. Since cars are so dangerous to drive, they are dangerous to drive as well. Mostly from like a environmental hazard standpoint, they're bad. But also, yeah, like fucking one-ton death machines as well. Skedaddle. Yo, you finally got a flea? You beat the museum challenge at 87 hours? Hell yeah, dude. Congrats. That's awesome. Sucks to see that a flea was the last thing holding you up and you didn't find it along the way, but glad that you got it. Glad that you got it. Nothing except grass is allowed to grow, which makes it impossible for insects and other small animals to thrive there. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I'm not doubting that for sure. Who's your favorite villager? Kid Cat and Cube. Kid Cat and Cube. Still looking for a Dorado. I don't know why I'm going all the way up here. Just look for a Dorado. But I guess it does maximize your chance of seeing one if you go up the whole river. I like bones. Bones pretty cool as well. They make tater tots simply to eat them with Chick-fil-A sauce. Mm. That was always an obsession that I never really understood is tater tots like i like them don't get me wrong but like people like went ape shit over tater tots at least as a kid like when it was tater tots day at school not like the main course but like as a side course i'd be able to like deal off my tater tots in exchange for like chicken nuggets and i'm like wait this is the deal of a damn century dude i wasn't that ape shit about tater tots but maybe i'm just maybe because it's deep fried i mean i guess Fries over tater tots. That's what I'm kind of saying, man. Fries over tater tots. Fries over tater tots. I guess depending on the kind of fry. Are you talking about, like... Uh, here's another, like, maybe a little bit of a spicy take here. Do you know those fries that are, like, uh... Thick? And they got, like, the ridges in them? That's the worst kind of fry. That's the worst kind of fry. Those are the worst fries. Honestly, th just in general, the thinner the fries, the better. Crinkle cut. Yeah, I think that's what they call them. The thinner the fries, the better, man. Zucchini? Zucchini fries? Never had them. But Runza fries are OP and they're crinkle cut? I'd never even heard of them. Steak fries? Steak fries. Ooh. Okay, so I need this to be a great white shark. I need this to be a great white shark. Cross your fingers, not an ocean sunfish. Cross your fingers, not a hammerhead. Cross your fingers. <laughs> Look, I if, if I miss this fish, I, I'll probably just accept it. But if I feel really bad about it, if, if, I, if I'm like completely, <laughs> if I'm inconsolable after it, then we'll talk about it, okay? We'll talk about it. But let's just hope that I don't miss it. Simple solution would be just don't miss the fish. 
but it's not always so easy. Is not always so easy. Of course, it also could be something that I don't even need, in which case all this is a moot point, but that's okay. Ooh. Nah. Good try, though. The button delay is ass. It, it's really bad. Like, I can't emphasize how bad the input delay is. I gotta be like... Formula One driver level reactions in order to catch fish in this game that are really rare. And even then, like, I don't know, man. Like, I can't, you gonna look at me like, yeah, sure, Buster, whatever you say, pal. It's, you, you go spend 10 bucks on this game, the Wii U Virtual Console, and go get this game. And you tell me for yourself how easy it is to fish, okay? You go do it for yourself. It's fucking hard. It's really difficult. Would it be different fish if you reset? No, I think it's a fixed fish. It, it, the fish itself is set in stone once it spawns. Like, pretty sure. I could go back and check, but I'm like 99.9% .9 sure. Best fast food fries are five guys, hands down. Not even close, man. Not even close. With all due respect. Maybe I would like them more if they didn't give me so fucking many. Like... At Five Guys, they give you, like, a whole-ass paper bag full of them. And I'm like, bro, I can't eat this many fries. And they're like, sorry, man, we already made that many fries, so just take them. And by the time I'm even, like, halfway through the fucking grease-soaked bag that they give you full of them damn fries, I'm like, I can't eat anymore. I don't want to eat the rest of these fries. I, I just don't want to. I just don't want to. So, they might be good, but the fact that they give you so many... Nah. You gotta share them? No, I ain't sharing my damn fries! They're my fries! Only Kristen. Only Kristen can have my fries. And Stanley can have the occasional fry. As a treat. Bruh, but the Cajun fries, though? They have Cajun fries there? Hmm. Never, never had them. I always thought the rock texture on the side of the rivers were fences. Oh, no, they're... I, I mean, now that you say it, it does very much... I can see why you would think that. But yeah, I don't know, I think they're just cliffs. That's why it's called Five Guys, because they give you enough for five guys to share. Tell me that's a joke. That's not actually why they call it Five Guys, right? It just seems like what five drunk dudes would, like, come up with as a name for the restaurant chain that they started. It just sounds like... That's always what I've assumed in my head. Just, you know, we didn't use the last one, so who's to say we're going to use this one? Just... You know. I accidentally hit? I accidentally hit the button? I'm back. <laughs> Alright, look. If you got a problem... Dare I direct you to the fact that I'm the one who made this challenge? And therefore, I can follow- I can make the rules that- I can make the rules! I'm the one who made the challenge, okay? Oh, my integrity! The integrity of the entire challenge! Who cares? Touch grass! It's my challenge. I do what I want, okay? Get it out of here. See you. All right, now the only thing we need is a Dorado. We only need a Dorado. Five Guys was named after the found the founder's five sons. My man have five kids? This sounds like Malcolm in the Middle, man. Did Hal from Malcolm in the Middle canonically invent Five Guys? What if he had another kid after the invention of the restaurant? Would he have to change the name? 
Like, was it formerly four guys, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then he had another kid, and he's like, oh, fuck, man, the entire, like, integrity of my restaurant business is now in shambles because I have a whole nother son. My grandma had ten kids. That's crazy, man. I don't even want one. PS1-style horror games, but DS-style horror games would also slap? What do you mean? PS1-style horror games? Then my aunt had 12? That's... That's just too many. Like, at what point are you, like, at 11 kids, and then you're like, yeah, one more. Like, even when you're at, like, five, you're legitimately at, like, five kids, and you're like, yeah, I could do, like, over double the current amount of kids that I have. Yeah, that seems good. It's not a uterus. It's a uterus, not a clown car. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I guess if you had, like, sex tablets in the middle of that, it's a little bit more understandable. But, like, if you had 12 individually born children, you are, like, I don't know, man. You must, like, get your rocks off from, like, raising children. And that's cool. Like, somebody's got to do it. I'm glad that you at least are taking good care of them, but still. They lived on a farm and it was in the 40s? I don't understand, like, what's the farm do? Like, I guess they need more help? Like, the kids can grow up and help on the farm? I guess, but I don't know, man. My dad was the youngest of five? My dad is the youngest of three. And I mean, even three. That's about the upper limit of the amount that I would be willing to take care of. Some people have breeder kinks. Like, or they just don't know how to wrap it up, if you know what I mean, you know? I don't know. Also during World War II. Yeah, that's pretty true, isn't it? Working on a farm can be chores and unpaid labor. Yeah, that's pretty true. That's pretty true. I have two siblings, and that's the most. I, I have one sister, and that's cool with me. I think two kids is... That's, that's the perfect number, honestly. Like, they don't... I don't think there's anything wrong with being an only child, but they, they grow up with another sibling. Pretty cool. And, but you you know, it's only two. Like, I feel like that's fine. I'm one of six kids. Like, how do you keep up with five siblings, man? I barely keep up with my one sibling. That's too many, man. I can't relate to any of this. 87 sibling talk? I don't know, man. Only child might be, like, a sweet life, but did you ever wish for, like... Did you ever wish for, like, a brother or sister? As a kid, I was like, oh, man, I'd kill to be an only child. Get my rat bastard sister out of here. Of course, I didn't mean that, but, like, you know, that's what... That's what, that's what the boys be like, you know? Girls got cooties. You don't want no... Get out of here. I'm one of eight girls, and only I only like three of them. I mean, inevitably, with enough siblings, you ain't gonna like all of them, right? I think that's only inevitable. It's only inevitable. Uh, hang on. What time is a Dorado spawn? I'm just, I, I just, it just occurred to me as the hour ticks over here. Can someone check what hours in the day a Dorado spawns? I'm pretty sure I'm okay, but I just want to make sure. Like, I could have made a mistake in my routing for this. I always wanted siblings. All my cousins and both my parents had siblings. It's crazy that, like, I had a co-worker who was in his 40s, and he had his first kid when he was in his 20s, which is to say my co-worker had a kid that was essentially the age of me when I was working with him. And then over the course of the tenure with which that I worked with him, he had another kid. Which is to say that he raised a kid from age zero to adulthood. And then he was like, yeah, let me do that again. So he basically had to go through childhood twice. 4 a.m. to 9 p.m. Okay, so we're good things. It only hit five, right? Yeah, we're good. Four to nine. Very good. Thank you. At 40? Yeah, he had another kid at like 40. Which is fine, my mom had me at 40, so it's not that weird. That's not the part I find weird, it's the part that he already went through the hardest part of having a child, where he raised them from 0 to 18, and then he is doing it again. Like, right now, he's doing it again, with his, like, 
two infant sons. Well, not infant sons. One's like five at this point, but still. Ew, imagine having a child. So true. So true, bestie. Exactly. Same wife? No. My sister is 20 years older than me, so I feel that. Like, yeah, like, that just don't make no sense. You did, like, the hard part once, and then you're like, yeah, one more time. Let's just... And, and look, he worked with me, okay? He worked with me. He wasn't in an insanely good financial position, okay? I know how much you got paid at that job. I can tell you right now, it's a financial burden to raise a child. Let alone on the income that was the job that me and him used to do, okay? And I knew what his, his wife, unless she came into fortune, I, I don't know. Basically, it's going to be a financial obligation that they have to deal with as well. Not to mention, like, the, the, of course, like, parental obligation, the financial one as well. What's up, Kato Poke Nerd? How are you doing? My older si sisters are both having kids, and I'm like, no thanks. Yeah, I don't know. I'm glad that, like, having a kid is not so much of an expectation now as it was so many years ago. Oh, you know what I do still need? Fuck, is a blue marlin. Ah, shit, you know what? I should go back to the ocean then. So annoying. Blue marlin holding me up. Had my friend. She mostly grew up and then had a third kid. Jesus Christ, man. Three times? That's a burden. Like, a financial, parental... Burden. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want kids. The expectations are still very much different there, I suppose. From the male perspective, I don't know. I guess I do get asked about it, but I'm like, yeah, nah. Sorry, man. A handful of my peers are having kids, 20 to 21. I mean, I knew, like, multiple people in high school who had kids. Like, I remember there was one girl who was, like, pregnant half and had to, like... Stop going to school halfway through the 10th grade because she was going to give birth to her baby. And I'm like, that's crazy, man. Like, where's my grand... And when am I going to get grandbabies? And then I'm like, why do you... When do, when you offer to pay for everything? Yeah, there you go. That'll do it. Even then, I'm like, mm, I don't know. The money is only hardly one factor of it, you know? I've noticed kids being shamed on. It should just be someone's choice. No one should be shamed for it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't consider, like, just being asked, like, are you ever going to have kids? Being shamed for it? But, like, if there's an expectation for you, then it's like, yeah, that's shitty. That's shitty. Sophomore year, the kid's already in kindergarten? Like, that's crazy, dude. I don't know. Having to do, like, one thing is hard enough. Like, go to school, for example, and then having to raise a kid as well. And it's just a sea bass, dude. What are you doing? It's not shaming, but it's nosy. It is nosy, but, you know. Some people don't interpret it that way, I suppose. Four kids, and I'm like, no thanks. Not at this time. Mm-mm. nope -ery. The girl I graduated with, like, and that's probably college, but even still, man. Even still. As someone who does want to have a kid, but no time soon. Yeah, and it's like, if you ever express that desire, then I'm sure that you'll probably get questions from relatives. Like, oh, when when am I getting grandbaby? <laughs> Shut up, please. Pets as... Yeah, like Stanley and... Uh, Stanley and Mona, those are enough for me, man. Like, they're... I, I don't know. <laughs> a dog grows up quicker than a, than a child does. At least from, like, at least from being, like, child to adulthood, a dog is, like, one year. A cat is, like, one year as well. A child is 18. And not to mention, like, they're not really self-sufficient even at the age of 18, at least not most of the time. Dogs and cats, I mean, they're not self-sufficient either, but they're also not as high maintenance as a child is, you know. Something about complex thinking suddenly meaning that they need to have money for everything. My cat is two years old. She's already 24 in cat years. Yeah, it's like they're already grown up. They, they, they know how to handle themselves. They don't need my guidance. I'd like to have kids. They weren't so stinky, nasty, and gross. 
See, it's weird because both of my pets are stinky, nasty, and gross, but it's endearing to me. When a kid is stinky, nasty, and gross, I'm like, you're a disgusting, germ-infested human being. I could cast you off into the dumpster and nobody would know the difference between you and the common piece of trash. But as a pet, I'm like, they do something stinky and gross. I'm like, oh, you little stinker. Oh, who's a little stinker? You are. You're a little stinker. I have a couple of nieces. That's enough for me. Yeah, I could be like an uncle. If my, if my sister had a kid, I'd be like the cool uncle, you know? I'll give him like... I'll give them, I'll give them a, a, a $20 bill at their birthday party. I'll like, I'll, I'll, tr I'll treat them to a day at Chuck E. Cheese or something like that. I'll be the cool uncle, but I ain't going like, I'll be the part-time caretaker. I ain't going to be full-time, man. Forget that. I've worked in childcare for 10 years. Kids are nasty. Yeah, they're nasty. I was a nasty kid. You were all were nasty kids. Whether you tried to make an effort to be nasty or not, you nasty kid. You little gross little son of a bitch. I call my cat Icky. I don't even know why. She's just gross. Cats are gross, man. Like, oh, they're they're cleaner than dogs. They clean themselves. Yeah, with their own disgusting fucking mouths. Still gross. I'm gonna just gonna hope that that wasn't a Dorado that I missed there. And move on with my life. Just be happier living in ignorance. Just be happier living in ignorance. I can't wait to be the goofy queer auntie to my sister's kids. There you go. It's fun being the cool uncle. Yeah, I'm excited for that. If my sister ever has kids, which, you know, I don't, I don't, I, it don't matter to me, man. My cat bought a live bird into my room. Oh, my cat will do that. Except usually it won't be alive. But he'll, like... What you're supposed to do when cats do that, like, they catch a mouse or they catch something like that, you're supposed to, like... You're supposed to, like... Appreciate it. You're supposed to, like, appreciate when they do that because they, like... They're showing you the efforts of their hard work. And then if you're like, ew, gross, get it out of here, they're like, what the fuck? They have, like, this whole existential crisis about their entire life, about, like, the purpose of what they exist for, you know? Like, cats exist in their brains to hunt and protect, and then if you, like, don't show that that's what you want them to do, they're having, like, this internal crisis about their purpose in life. So what you're supposed to do... Whenever they bring you, like, an animal that they just killed, you're supposed to be like, Oh, pet it on the head. Oh, good boy, good boy. And then you just you, you throw it out or something. They would always bring live birds and bunnies into the house. Maybe they're... Maybe that's their friend. Maybe that's their friend. I don't know. Maybe they just want to bring their, they bring their friend over to their house. I don't know. They think I'm a hairless, starving kitten who can't hunt, even though I'm their primary source of food? Yeah, like, they- they pity us, in a way. They pity us, and so they, they're, like, bringing us shit to eat, quote-unquote. And I'm like, no thanks, man. That's- that's okay. But the- but you gotta- you, you gotta- you gotta appreciate them for what they do, because that's, like, their entire purpose in this world. It's a cat's way of saying, you suck at hunting, so I caught this for you so that you learn how to hunt, you strange cat. And I'm like, oh, you little bastard, you don't even know. Hunting? I don't go to the grocery store. Some baby bunnies and our cat killed one on Easter, no less. Oh, on the Lord's Day? Oh, that's just fucked up. That's just bad, that's just bad mojo. Still, when you're a six-year-old and you wake up with a dead rat in your bed, you don't start praising the culprit? That's fair. I'm not saying, like, you have to, but that is the cat's logic, at least. That's the cat's logic. This is gonna be a YouTube video. Yeah, eventually. Once I, you know, finish it. Take a while, though. I do still need a blue marlin and a dorado in Wild World. And then after that... I mean, dude, even after that, we still got some ass-kicker fish. Yellow perch, sea butterfly, football fish, tuna, dab, olive flounder, octopus. Already got a dab and an olive flounder, so I don't need to worry about those. But specifically the tuna is going to be a big pain in the ass. Hi, YouTube. Yeah, I don't include, like, the entire video on YouTube, so, yeah. 
you, you won't make it into the video. Unless you happen to say hi, YouTube, during a very critical moment of the challenge. My old dog trapped a baby bunny and tortured it before killing it. I was mortified. You, you were mortified about that? Uh, terrified, maybe. But I guess, you know, <laughs> I don't know, there's like a little empathy factor that might be missing there. That's fair. Is AC and H the only game with sea creatures? No, New Leaf introduced them. Hi, YouTube. I I'm a big Sniffa enjoyer. I, I do like Sniffa very much. I was also like eight. I mean, that's pretty traumatic as like a 25 year old as well. I mean, I wouldn't very much like that either. My mom's dog will knock over turtles so that they can't get back up. That's pretty, I don't know, that's pretty, that's pretty, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't think it is, but, I don't know, man, I don't know, I'm curious, I'm curious about this one, curious about this one, probably just the sea bass, right, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I guess we do have invisible stripes on our skin. We have invisible stripes on our skin. Makes me want to go finish my museum in New Horizons. Yo, dude, go for it. Hell yeah. It's wild to think about. Yeah, no, sadly... I mean, we at least got it on the first try, so I didn't need to use the save state. Ooh. I guess it's reassuring to know that now that I've set the precedent of save scumming... I can just do it again if I ever see, like, what I know will be a Dorado or maybe a Blue Marlin in the future. You know, we got that save scumming precedent now. They're called Blashko's Lines? Interesting. I've never heard of that before. No more stories of pets hurting other animals. It breaks my heart. Yeah, we can move on. I can hear the 2 a.m. music now. Oh, dude. It'll take over your whole life. It's like... One of those jams that you can't get out of your head, whether you like it or you hate it. I am also a save scummer. No shame. I mean, what, in Wild World? Just stopping by to say this game is ugly ass shit? It's pretty bad. I mean, graphically, compared to newer Animal Crossings, but, you know, you gotta remember, man. You gotta remember, this was... The Nintendo DS, dude. It's Nintendo DS. How you doing, Axton? You still down for Terraria tomorrow? Alright. I think this is also a sea bass. Fuck the DS. I agree. I don't have to be alone with my thoughts anymore. Yeah. Welcome, Prater. How are you doing? Every time I see Wild World, I can't remember if it was this shitty or this is or if it was better than this. No, it was this bad, man. Like, trust me when I say this game. It ain't so nice on the eyes, but when you shrunk it down... Okay, admittedly, like, I'm blowing, like, this very pixelated game up so that it fits the screen. Okay, when you shrink it down to the size of the DS's screen that we used to play it on as a kid, it doesn't look as bad, but I'm blowing it up so that it fills the entire screen. So, yeah, it's gonna look a little bit worse when you can notice each and every single pixel. Driving home, like... At like 9, and it's a 5 hour drive, stopping plus traffic, probably gonna be home by 4. Let me know, man. Let me know. I already got it all set up. Wild was my first AC game. I didn't play it a whole lot. I was very confused what to do. Revisited it after New Horizons, and I liked it much better. I honestly think it's the worst of all the Animal Crossing games as far as how well it held up. But, I don't know. Not that it was bad, it just kind of lacks features that GameCube had. And then every game from there on kind of built upon it, as far as those features. Like, City Folk, in many people's eyes, is just better Wild World, and I would agree with that. And then New Horizons, I think, is or New Leaf is better than City Folk, and then New Horizons and New Leaf are debatable as far as which one's better. It really depends on who you ask. Yeah, it's just nostalgic. Like, I think that if I never played Wild World, I would probably not like this game very much. Probably not like it very much. Ooh! Woody. It's not an uncommon take for people to love Wild World. Wonder how much of it is nostalgia. Probably a decent amount. Probably a decent amount. Oops. 
It's my first one, too. It introduced me into a great franchise that I literally play daily now. Yeah, there's a lot of people's introduction into the series. I don't know. I feel like the amount of people that found Animal Crossing... I don't know. Being at the DS... Like, the GameCube actually didn't really sell very well as far as Nintendo consoles go. go. Like, we remember it very fondly, but I actually think that it didn't sell very well. Kind of like the Wii U. A lot of people are seeing the Wii U for being, like... A bad selling console that was generally, I don't know, at least in the modern day, pretty well liked now. The GameCube didn't sell well either. And I'm kind of wondering if, like, the DS, like, I don't know. It, it, I, I don't know how, like, y'all's childhoods were, but everybody and their fucking mom had a DS as a kid. So I kind of have to wonder. I mean, it's probably a Gar, again. But... We'll try. Could be a Dorado. They can spawn in the lake. Being how the fact that everybody had a DS as a kid, everybody, like, I don't know. I feel like Wild War was a lot of people's start to the series. Yeah. Unfortunate. I haven't heard anyone compliment the Wii U. I mean, it's allowed me to play this game, so I'll give it props for that. If you hack a Wii U, which is not Nintendo's, you know, that's not what Nintendo wants you to do with it. But if you hack a Wii U, then it becomes a very... It becomes a very versatile system where you can do a lot of things on it. So, I don't know. I give the Wii U props for that. I also think that it was a fine console that had a lot of great exclusives on it. That if they, if a lot of those exclusives didn't get remade for the Switch then a lot of people would remember it more fondly than they do. Like, for example, if, if it was the only place that you could play Breath of the Wild or Mario Kart 8, people would probably, like, remember the Wii U more fondly because it was only it was the only console with where you can play those games. But now that those, those are all on the much, much more successful Switch, then, I don't know. Now they're kind of like, oh, well, Wii U kind of sucks. I want to pick up seashells so bad. I mean, I uh, yeah, inventory issues is why I'm not picking them up here. It felt really gimmicky with the tablet controller, but then the tablet controller became the hybrid switch system, which can be played in either handheld mode or docked mode. So in a way, the Wii U kind of set the footprint. That gimmick kind of set the footprint for what the switch became, so I don't know. I guess it could be seen as gimmicky, but then, like, they made an entire console around it being, like, a hybrid handheld, hybrid at-home console, right? I don't know. I think that it's good that the Switch got Wii U games, because it's easy. Oh, I agree as well. I agree. Like, because if I had to get a Wii U just to play Breath of the Wild or Mario Kart 8, not enough people would have been able to play those masterpieces. The Switch made it accessible for a lot of people to discover why those games were so good. I don't need any more sharks, man. I don't need any more. I'm done with the sharks, but I don't know. I guess I'll I'll keep myself sharp and try to try to try to you know you know like you sharpen a knife. You're just trying to keep it sharp. Like it's already sharp. It could already like cut whatever you need it to cut more than likely. But you just gotta keep the gotta keep the edges sharp. Gotta keep them on point here. Gotta keep my skills sharp. Wii U is a Switch demo? Kind of. Wii U's kind of based, never used one before, just a stupid ass name. Like, what's the U about? What does the U stand for? Actually, what does Wii stand for? What's a Wii? I get what you mean. When it when you call it a Wii U after the release of a Wii, it kind of makes it seem like it's the successor to the Wii. And in many ways, like, the Wii U is kind of its own thing. Like, in many ways, it is like a, a, a Wii 2, but in many ways, I feel like the fact that it's basically a Wii... Well, I don't need it. I, I don't know. I get what you mean. I, I think that it was, bad, it was a bad idea to call it a Wii U, because then people were probably like, well, what do I need like a... Wii, what do I need a Wii U for? I already got a Wii. But if they called it something else entirely without changing anything else, I feel like it might have sold better. I think that calling it the Wii U might have been a bad idea. Because, I don't know, whenever I see, like, a... a better version of a console I already have, 
I'm like, why would I buy that? For example, if I have a, I don't know, Xbox One, and then they brought out the Xbox Series One S, I'm like, wait, but why would I get that? I don't know. Your arm hurts really bad? I'm sorry. Kristen got blood drawn yesterday for reference. The Switch kind of becomes like the DS where they release different kinds. Like the O... Yeah, the, the, the OLED is kind of another thing. Like, you know, the, why would I get... I had no incentive to get a Switch OLED because I'm like, wait, it does like nothing though? I don't know. Because I got a tattoo yesterday? Oh, that'll be a reason why it hurts. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I never had a, a, a DSi or a, um, I guess I had a DS Lite, which was after the original DS. I don't know. But I never had a DSi, so I never really felt the incentive to get, like, a DSi, mostly because it didn't have, like, exclusive games. Then again, I guess the 3DS sold very well, despite, you know, essentially just being a DS. So I don't know, maybe my logic of people not liking the Wii U, because it was just seen as a better version of a Wii that a lot of people didn't really feel like they needed because of the fact that they had a Wii already. Maybe you can just say, well, why did the 3DS sell really well then as a rebuttal? And I'd be like, yeah, fair enough. I don't know. I had a C CT scan yesterday. My arms are black and blue from them failing to get the IV in so many times. Jesus Christ. You go like the, the back alley doctor? My God. We go because it's mobile, but it's still doing the same thing where it's called the Wii something, right? I don't know. And I feel like if you call a console based on an older console, people are going to be like, well, I already have the older console. Why do I need the newer one? Anyway, I don't know. There's no difference or evolution. Bring back Flipnote. That's the only reason I wanted a DSi. There you go. I mean, I guess one way to get people to buy the system is to release games that are exclusive to it. Yay, more needle slash vein talk. I mean, you could just, like, mute the stream for, like, five minutes, man. You don't have to, like, let everyone know that they should stop talking about what they want to talk about. Flipnote was the shit. I never used it. I never had a DS. I, my friend did, and I was very jealous of him. Like, I kind of wanted one, man, but I never really felt any need to, like, ask for one, though. I don't know. The key with the 3DS was how many games couldn't be played on the OG DS. How many games couldn't be played on the OG DS? Yeah, that's, like, how many 3DS exclusive games there were, right? Also, backwards compatibility is a big selling point as well. So, I don't know. But that doesn't explain why the Wii U flopped, because the Wii U actually did a good job at that, and then the Switch didn't, so I don't know. I don't know. I can only speculate why the Wii U failed. I want a Wii because I already play a lot of GameCube games, and some of the Wii games look cool. Yeah, I kind of hate, though, that... Like, there are... Is there not, like, GameCube games on the Wii U Virtual Console? But if you have a physical copy of the Wii, or if you have a physical copy of a GameCube game, you can't put it in the Wii U and play it like you could with a Wii, which kind of sucks. We're fighting over my DS. My dad took it from us and snapped it in half in front of us. Oh, that's, that's awesome parenting right there. That's awesome parenting right there. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> It seemed like it came out at a bad time, too. Yeah, I don't know. What came first, actually? Genuine question? What came first? The Wii U or the 3DS? Because I... I don't know. Because they both, they, they both came out, like, at the same time, basically. Did they not? Focus. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Only a Dorado. Only a Dorado. Yeah, like 2011 3DS, 2012 Wii U. So how can you really say that it came out at a bad time when they had a whole nother console come out at like a similar time? And I didn't use the save states. No one can, no one can say I'm a save scummer. No one can say I'm a save scummer. I didn't even use it. Oh, I feel so good about myself. 
I feel so good about myself that I was this close to cheating, and then I didn't actually end up needing to cheat at all. <sighs> Isn't that off? It's a, it's a liberating feeling. Yeah, I gotta tell you, it's a liberating feeling. 3DS was before the Wii U. Yeah, it wasn't by much, though. It wasn't by much. Something the PS4 can do without straining the console, dropping frames plus 60 FPS. As a, the, the PS5? Yeah, I don't know. I also feel no incentive to get a PS5. The main thing that would ever incentivize me to get a PS5 would be, like, an insane amount of PlayStation 5 exclusive games that I can't get on any other console. That's the one thing that motivates me to get a console most of the time, is make games for it that I can only play on that console. Which, luckily, console-exclusive games don't happen too, too often. Enough for me to, like, ever drop $500 on a new console every time one comes out. I'm glad I got a PS5, but I also go to school when I can't bring my gamer PC. Yeah, if you don't have anything else, then yeah, it's a good solution. Not to mention, building a PC that can perform on par graphically with a console will end up costing you more than the console. So, yeah. But I don't know, there's plenty of other benefits to PC that one may argue is worth the money, and I would agree with you. I got a whole ass PC down here as well. But still... Still have a DS, and I got a replacement, which is a silver-colored one. Ooh. A 3DS or a DS? Find a way to fix my DS XL so I can play games on there again. I miss it. I don't know, like, how many tech repair places would do that? Like, who out there is still fixing, claiming that they'll fix DSs, you know? I suppose someone who's good enough with technology could figure out a way, right? I'd say I'd wait a year to get a PS5. Little did I know it'd take two years to even try to find one. Yeah, there you go. Force your hand. That'll make you wait. A year is a pretty long time for the economy to change. Thanks, man. I also took Econ 101. I recently saw a boxed copy of Pokemon Emerald selling for 175 at a Game Shop. Game Shop or Game Stop? A boxed copy of Pokemon Emerald for 175 pounds. Is it bad that I'm like, yeah, that's that's fair? Like, I'm not like, that's fair, like, that's an ethical price to sell that for, but I'm not surprised, is what I'll say. I'm not surprised that it would cost that much. Boxed versions, like, unboxed... No, sorry, boxed, like, unopened, okay, that's the word I'm looking for. Unopened versions of classic games that are over 10 years old? Yeah, that's like the three formulas for paying a shit ton of money for something. Because it's a collector's item at that point. You're not going to buy it and then open it. You're going to buy it just to say that you have an unopened copy of Pokemon Emerald from 2000 and what, 5? Yeah, you're buying it for the status at that point. You're buying it for the status. Too small. I got Bella twice in a row. Unfortunate. Oh, it was open. Oh, fuck that, then. Fuck that. Dagno bought me a PS4 so that I could play Persona and Red Dead 2. That's so true. Luckily, it was, like, near the end of the PS4's lifespan, and I was able to get a really good deal on it, and... Yeah, there wasn't a huge demand for a PS4, so I figured it was prime time. Skull. School fuck. Thanks so much for the tier one. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Yeah, that's a that's a PlayStation exclusive that a lot of people might be willing to buy a PlayStation 4 is Persona. <clears throat> At least Persona 5 is a... Uh, is that not a PlayStation exclusive game? Because it's Atlas and something about like exclusivity between them and Sony? I don't know. Either way... Yeah, I don't like it when they do that, but I don't like it when games do come out exclusively for one console, but that usually is the incentive that I need to buy a console, is exclusivity in only being available on that one console. That'll usually do it for me. Sweet potatoes grows? It's not my favorite form of potato. Oh, shit. Um, I just realized something. Uh... Ignore the, 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 ignore the layer of dust on it. Instead, focus on the fact that the battery is flashing. 
Uh, ooh. I had this thing fully charged before stream. Like, I literally had it on the charger for, like, a month, because that was the last time I actually used this console. Um... Oops. I guess I... I plug it in? Where? With what? <laughs> like, where? Where, where do you... Like, what, you, do you have one of those... Do you have one of these cables just sitting around somewhere? I, uh, I don't. Yeah, like, do we have a cable that can charge it without putting it on the dock? I don't think we do. You didn't... What, what cable? You didn't keep it? Bro, I think this Wii U is like... Ten, no, 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 this is what you're looking for. Yeah, it's, 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 it is fucking ass, I agree. Um... Can I? And then use like a... I don't know. Yeah. Can I play it? So she's gonna give me the dock, and then see if I can play it while it's sitting on my desk, docked. It looks like I can. Yeah. It looks like I can. I can... I, I literally... I will try to show you. I have it on the dock while I play. So, okay, I guess. I guess this is this this works, I guess. I guess this works. Isn't there a cable on the dock? I mean, it it, it it's not something you... No, the DS charger doesn't work. Like, look at this thing. That's like that's like an HDMI sort of thing, but it's not. Like, that's not HDMI, but it's like as big as an HDMI port. You have to get a specific cable. Or maybe it came with the Wii U, but, like, dude, I got this thing, or Kristen got this thing, like, probably ten years ago. We definitely don't still have it, okay? It's in the top? Wait a minute. No, no, not you, not you. <laughs> Apparently there's a plug at the top? Hang on. Don't say that, please. <laughs> Kristen was like, there's a plug in my ass. Oh, no, that doesn't work. This is my 3DS charger right here. And... I'm trying to put it into where it says AC adapter. No, that don't work, man. It, it, it's, it's close. It's so, so very, very close to working, but it's not. It's so very close to working, but it's not. Hmm. Okay, well, look. I can... I, I don't mind playing it while it's on the dock. You can take the cable out of the dock. This is fucked. This is complete. What do you even need this for? Why would you ever use this? I hope that didn't break. Okay. Good to know. Thank you. Good to know. Yeah, good to know. Thank you, chat. I it looked like from the perspective of looking down on the dock, like you couldn't like you, 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 you shut up, okay? That was not obvious. As much as chat might make me feel stupid for not knowing that, that was not obvious, okay? Don't try to don't try to schmeckeldorf me into thinking that that was obvious, okay? Don't you try to goof on me, all right? That wasn't obvious at all. Yeah, everyone's a big brain. Everyone knew that. Everyone knows how to use Google.com, huh? 
Yeah, ch chat be like, duh, bro. And then, like, after they had to Google it themselves. I do enjoy that. Didn't you ever play it plugged in? No, man. I really, like, I've only got, like, maybe 20 hours total ever played on the Wii U. Okay? This is not exactly a... This isn't exactly, like, a, a, a console that I'm familiar with, you know? This ain't exactly a console I'm familiar with, so I'm sorry. Was never much of a Wii U kind of guy. But I'm glad that I'm playing with people who obviously know what they're doing. I loved my Wii U before the Switch came out. I'm glad. It's a good console. I'm glad to see someone out there loving it. But yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't exactly a favorite of mine until I actually came around to playing it myself. How dare you make a mistake? I don't feel bad about it. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. If I can just get a Dorado... I'm probably... I don't want to say, like, I'll only end the stream after I catch a Dorado, because, God, it could still take, like, another hour. And I don't really want to stream for another hour. But, uh, let's give it... I don't know. Let's give it some time here, man. I'm losing my patience a little bit, having walked up and down this river for now maybe three hours. So I don't know. Thanks for the hike, right? You've made good progress, so I can't be too, too upset about it, but I would like to be done before too long here. I'd like to be done. This is gonna be this video is gonna be so mid, I'm kidding, I love you. Platonically, my friend. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Four minutes, 43 seconds. What do you mean? That big brain moment deserves a hydrate? Yeah, I need my brain been drying out over the course of this challenge, so I appreciate it. Sorry, man. I'm going through it right now. It's all right, man. It's a big time in your life. You're moving out after your first uh, year of college completed. I get it. It's a tumultuous time for a growing boy like you. I'm gonna watch One Piece, have fun. Have fun, man. Ugh, pardon me. But, I mean, we've made good progress today, so even if we don't end up getting Dorado, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. My dearest, humblest, amazingest, bravest Dagnall. Mmm, yeah, I guess. Bro, congrats. Ugh, oh, big claps for Axnu. But, yeah, we'll see. I always worry about a video and, like, how it will turn out before I actually even get around to editing it. I don't know. I feel like this video will be okay. I'm just kind of, like, still lamenting the fact that one of the videos that I thought was going to do really well in the video where I do every HHA score in the game kind of didn't do very well, <laughs> at least relative to videos on my channel normally do. So, I don't know. I'm just kind of hoping that I don't know. I just kind of hope that uh, this video does turn out good. But it's not always the case where I think it'll turn out good. And have it perform well as well. Yeah, like, I like that video too, man. I, I like that video too. I think it's one of my best. I truly think that that's one of my best videos, if not my best. Just due to the sheer amount of, like, work that went into it, I think the actual video editing-wise turned out very good as well. But it is just the sad reality that not everyone who deserves success on YouTube always gets, like... Well, okay, I have received a fair amount of success on YouTube, uh, probably more than I ever expected to, so don't take this one little video that didn't do well as a, you know, as a mark of failure. But, you know, it's not always appropriately rewarded, is effort on YouTube, man. Yeah, no one cares. There was no pictures, I guess, so bad video, I guess. Wasn't a fan of the streams of it? Yeah, but like, I mean, it was kind of the opposite, where it seemed like the streams were popping, and then the video itself kind of fucking nuked. I don't know. But I get it, the streams were just doing the same thing over and over again, which is why I, like, was so excited to get the video out, because there was so much monotonous research that went into it. There was so much monotonous research that went into it, but the product of it all was going to be very good. And it was. I thought it was, at least. Whether people all agreed. You know, that's up to them, I suppose. I mean, I think this is too small. It's too small. Surely. Surely too small. Yeah. 
Okay. I mean, maybe it is the size of a cart, but I don't know. It wasn't a Dorado. I liked all of it. I thought it was good. I thought it was good. I enjoyed the streams and the video, but I'm Axnew. Yeah, you enjoy all that diagonal content. It goes without saying that you enjoy all the things that I do. Are you playing on the Wii U? I am indeed playing on the Wii U Virtual Console. Indeed. It's like the only way that I can officially play this game, like on an official Nintendo console without emulating it. So I feel like it's the way to do it. Like, I could emulate it, and it could probably look a hell of a lot better, but I don't know. I like playing... If a game is available, like, through an official console, that's usually the way that I want to play it. The only reason I emulated uh, GameCube is because I don't have a GameCube, and I don't have any consoles that could emulate it. I don't even know if Animal Crossing GameCube was ever made so that you can play it on, like, a virtual console of a future Nintendo system. Like, has the GameCube ever received... I guess the Wii, you could play it on the Wii, but not the Wii U, which is the console that I have. So if I had a Wii and a copy of the game, I could do it, but I don't have a GameCube, and I don't have a copy of the game, so... If I did, though, that would be the way that I would do GameCube as well. Hey, what's up, Sad Jess? This is your favorite game ever? Hell yeah, dude. It was my childhood Animal Crossing. Wait, wait, literally has the best songs? That's pretty true, although City Folk really just remastered all the Wild World songs, so I don't know, I guess both those games then did. Yeah, catching every fish in the Animal Crossing series. There's been 93 unique fish over the course of the whole series, and we're gonna try to catch all of them. We're gonna try to catch all of them. Let's have a Minecraft community server stream. Um, yeah, I was talking about this to Kristen yesterday. I actually do have a Minecraft community server, but I haven't been active on it, nor has anyone been active on it for a while, because, uh, everyone played it for a month, and then we all got bored of Minecraft, and so it's just been kind of sitting there, I've been making payments on the server for, like, the last six months with nobody playing on it, um, I actually canceled the payment for it two days ago, and now Kristen has been asking, like, oh, you should do a Minecraft movie, so I'm like, girl, I already got one, and I literally just canceled the payment on it, so it's gonna get shut down once the, uh, once the month rolls over, so, oopsie daisies, I already have one, though. I already have a Minecraft community server. But yeah, no one's been playing on it for like a couple of months, so I was like, ah, well, it's probably about time to pull the plug. I haven't played Minecraft in years. Minecraft's a great game, even though I don't honestly play it very much anymore. It's still definitely my favorite game of all time. Just over the course of time has been the game that I've put the most time into. It's really just not a thing where I like, will keep playing the same games for like over the course of 10 years but minecraft terraria games like that it's like i i just always keep coming back to need for speed underground too just always come back i i feel like i'll be like 80 years old still playing like minecraft and terraria dude i really do if there's systems that can run that those games that far into the future i'll probably be playing them i'll probably be playing them I don't understand how people get motion sickness from first-person games. Oh, I do. I get a little bit from Portal 2 and just kind of Valve games in general, but it's not that bad. It's mostly like when they start spinning and rotating and it's like if I'm watching somebody play on YouTube and they're like with the camera, I'm like, okay, can you settle down over here, man? I'm like, can you just relax? I get it, but I'm not as bad as some people can be with it. Yeah, Gmod. Yeah, Gmod, I suppose, could do it as well, then. Hollow Terraria on my Apple 3D computer in 2070? Hell yeah, dude. You die to a zombie in-game, you die in real life. Yeah, Valve causes motion sickness. You heard it here first. Gabe Newell single-handedly wants to make you sick. Almost 3k hours in Minecraft on my Switch after two years? Yeah, I don't play it on the Switch, because... Uh, I don't hate myself, but, like, over the course of all the time that I've put into it on the PC, which is most of the time that I've put into it, it's probably been, like, a few thousand hours for me as well. Is Katamari Reroll for the Nintendo Switch Psychic Damage Dealing Relic? Interesting. I never played a Katamari game. 
I have really bad motion sickness with games. It started with Mario 64. Yeah, Mario 64 is a little rough. I mean, the camera in that game just kind of sucks, objectively. Yeah. Yeah, that could be a rough one. I could see that. The day we live in VR as an anime girl is the day I dip out of here. Nobody tell my brother in Christ about VR chat. Is that not all what VR chat is? Is that not all what VR chat is? Just people going around as anime girls and fucking meme characters? Just I think that's all that VR chat is, man. I think that's all it is. Not to, you know, I don't I don't want to perpetuate your exit from this mortal coil by releasing this fact to you in the public, but yeah, pretty sure that already exists. Is VR chat truly living? To some people who play it like 10 hours a day, perhaps that is their entire life. Who knows? That's way too small. Is way too small, and yet tell me why I'm about to start casting. Just to check. You know, just gotta check. Just gotta make sure. Just gotta make sure. You never know. You never know. Been wrong before. I'll be wrong again. VR chat is funny. Yeah, I don't really understand the appeal. Myself? To, like, just hang out in a virtual world looking like a bumbling idiot with your VR headset around? But, you know. Like, I feel like... <laughs> I remember in GTA 5 lobbies when the game was first released, you could hear kids that were in the strip club. There's a... There's a... There's a feature in GTA 5 where if you make moaning noises into the um, microphone while playing GTA 5 in the strip club, it would, like, do something at the strip club if you had a stripper there. So sometimes you'd join GTA 5 lobbies and just be presented with a bunch of kids moaning into the microphone. I kind of imagine that's, like, what VR chat is like, where in-game... You're all, like, you know, hanging out at, like, a strip club with big titty anime girls all over you. But, like, in real life, you're, like, this bumbling doofus with this, like, headset on you, like, grabbing virtual titties, looking like a complete dumbass. I kind of feel like it's the same thing, you know? I feel like in many ways it's the same thing. Strip club? Bro, yeah, there's there's strip clubs in, in Grand Theft Auto, yeah. At least in GTA 5. Pretty sure there was in 4 as well. Oh! <laughs> thank you, Sad Jess, for the 500 bits. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. What a good thing to join to. Welcome to the stream, man. How you doing? Wasn't there a video of some dude doing that with a headset and a mannequin? Yeah, maybe, man. Probably. The SM64 title screen Mario, but it's anime tibbies? What, where you can, like, distort them into ungodly, unearthly beings? Maybe. Hello, Sire Dagnall. What are your thoughts on our Lord and Savior, Wario? He's alright, man. I remember playing as him. I always loved playing as him in Super Mario 64 DS, because he would be the only character that can punch those big black brick walls. But then looking... I don't know, like, growing up is realizing that Luigi and his sort of, like, pseudo-Yoshi hover dash that he can do... Combined with the fact that he's faster and more nimble than the likes of Mario and Wario and Yoshi, kind of makes you realize that Luigi was the superior character in Super Mario 64 DS. So while I am a fan of Wario, I also I, I'm also the I am also a Luigi enjoyer as well. I'm also a Luigi enjoyer as well. Are you gonna get Mario Strikers? I don't know, man. I I <laughs> I just got Switch Sports with soccer. I have got a soccer gamed out for a while, man. Kind of soccer gamed out. When is that coming out, though? I actually have no idea. I mean, of course, like, a game entirely dedicated to soccer will be better than the game mode that is just, you know, one of the few in Switch Sports. There you go. Thank you, Sad Jess. Manifesting some good fish. Yeah, June 10th. Basically, will I be bored of Switch Sports by June 10th? Maybe. And in which case, maybe I'll get Mario Strikers, but I don't know. At the same time, I was pogged about Mario Golf, and then I think I put five hours into it total. And I was like, oh, okay, well, you know, might as well just fuck myself. GTA San Andreas is coming to VR? Is it really? Hmm. 
I never had a VR headset. I've just never had any desire with which to have one because there's never been a game that's been VR exclusive that I have ever wanted to play. And GTA San Andreas being in VR isn't going to change that, but I don't know. I will admit it's piqued my curiosity at times to see, I don't know, to do VR I don't know, but there's just no games that I've ever wanted that are VR exclusive that I've been like, ooh, I need to get a VR headset for this. I have one, but it's not for gaming. It's an Oculus Go. What do you use that for? Just opened up my Wild World for the first time in ages, and it's the same town layout as you? Really? I had someone else say that as well earlier. So I wonder how many town layouts there are in Wild World. Are there, are there like, not that many? I don't know. Maybe there's only, like, 16 to choose from. I don't know. Now you can follow the train in VR. All you had to do was follow the damn train, CJ. Respect minus. Strikers is made by Next Level, so I feel like they'll put a lot of support to it than Camelot with tennis and golf. Maybe. I'm just waiting on Mario Super Sluggers to come back myself. It has some games, but not big mainstream ones. I see. It's probably full of weeds and corpse flowers, the yeah, Averflesias, yep, yep, probably, man. Alright, I'm giving the Dorado 10 more minutes, and then I'm leaving. There's mortal plane forever. You got 10 minutes to spawn, okay? I'm losing my patience. Pissing off kids on Roblox is so much fun. It's more fun now that they have voice chat. <laughs> I will hear Kristen occasionally from my room, like, playing Roblox with the blokes. And she's just, like, laughing her ass off. And I'm just like, you know what? In this case, perhaps ignorance is bliss. I could go over there and ask what's so funny, but maybe I don't want to know. Maybe I don't want to know. I'm waiting on Hoops to make its glorious comeback. Alright, I gotta be honest with you, man. I didn't even know there was a Mario Hoops. I didn't even know there was a Mario Hoops. It's as a Google Map thing where you can look around anywhere that Google Maps has been. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Oh, that's kind of cool. Although, I feel like you could just get one of those headsets that you stick your phone into, load up Google Maps on your phone, and then essentially do the same thing? But, maybe, maybe not? I don't know. I don't know. Is there, yeah, I didn't even know there's Mario. Unless you're talking about, like, NBA Jam from back in the mid-2000s, but I don't know. That would be a lot cheaper. Yeah, I feel like if you wanted to do that, you could just do that. And have it be a lot cheaper. I don't know. Like, maybe in quality, but also in price. Beat Saber was pretty cool. Yeah, I'm really bad at rhythm games, so I would be embarrassed to play Beat Saber on the stream. You should post a picture of your RDR online character in the Discord. I imagine it's worth it. I don't think Kristen plays Red Dead Redemption online. When's the VR GeoGuessr stream? Okay, right, if GeoGuessr got VR, I would probably heavily consider getting it. I would consider maybe heavily consider, 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 consider getting a VR headset to play GeoGuessr VR. And then, like, look around and be like, yeah, ask Boswana, man. I looked it up, and some people say the wild world towns are randomly generated, but one person said that there's 256. I mean, either one of those options... I mean, I feel like it's rather probably the latter, where it pulls one of 256 different layouts. I mean, that's a lot, though. New Horizons only has 96. This game has 256 possible different island layouts. New Horizons got damn 296. Tell me the game from 2005's got more fucking variety in their town layouts than a game from 2020? That's fucked up. That's fucked up, man. And two people said that they had this exact same town layout? That's pretty crazy. Unless, you know, there could be, like, small differences between them. 256, that's pretty much random? Not really. Like, two, 1 in 256 is far from randomly generated. Like, I don't know. I feel like it's very feasible to find somebody else that has that layout. Uh, uh. 
the true experience of being dropped in the middle of nowhere and having to find out where you are, I legitimately would love to do that. Assuming I'm not going to put my life at risk, if I could get dropped in like a random civilized location in the world and had to figure out like where I am, that would be actually so sick. I think people have done that before. Like, I think GeoGuessr players have done that before. It's pretty sick, honestly. Yo, Sammy, I guess. Or Sam, I guess. Thanks so much for the raid. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you very much. How was your stream? Tell me all about yourself. I'm not saved scumming. Don't accuse me of doing such a thing. Uh, not that I think this is a Dorado. I think it's just a carp again, but... Mm, I don't know, man. Welcome in, though. Hope your stream was good. Thank you so much for the raid. Focus? I, I, I think it's a, it's, it's a carp. It's a carp. It's a carp. It is just a freaking carp. A 1 in 100,000 chance, 1 million chance that anything happens ever? That's pretty true, bestie. That's pretty true. Jack sucks at life has done GeoGuessr IRL. Like, it's kind of hard, though, to be mysteriously dropped in a location. Because, let's say, like... Let's say that, like, I get dropped in a random location anywhere in the world. I can, use, I can probably make an estimation before the blindfold were to even come off. Like, I could be like, oh, that was like an eight-hour plane trip, so I'm probably in, like, a different country, or on the other half of the United States from where I come from, okay? However, eight-hour flight, that probably means that I'm not in, like, Asia, which would be, like, a whole day's worth of flying, okay? So I feel like you could already, like, triangulate your location just by, like, yeah, you'd have to, like, knock me unconscious. Like, truly make me incapacitated before you drop me off wherever the hell I was going. Put me in a van? Well, then I would be like, well, I'm in a van, which means I couldn't have traveled across the water, which means that I must be in North America or South America. I feel like it would be easy to figure it out before you even had the blindfold taken off. I'm looking for a Dorado right now, and I'm going to give it like five more minutes before I'm done for the day. Because um, it's being a little, it's being a big B with a little P right now, if you know what I mean. It's being a big B with a little P. Help. Be like an old Mission Impossible show where they fake the airport trains and trip. Yeah, you'd have to like, I don't know. I don't know what they would have to do to get me to be like truly confused as to where I am. Like have no idea. I don't know though. Do you know any more streamers for Animal Crossing? Nope, I'm the only one, man. I think I'm the only one who ever streams Animal Crossing on Twitch. So you're stuck with me, I'm afraid. You're stuck with me. That's called human trafficking. Yeah, but it's like consensual human trafficking. Like, yeah, I want you to do this. I want you to drop me off somewhere in the world, okay? I want you to knock me out for a week, okay? And during that week, drop me in some random location in the world, throw me in, like, the side of the road right as the anesthesia is wearing off, and then send me to my devices. Let me figure out where the hell I am. Survival of the Daggest. Exactly. I feel like I could do a good job. I mean, the, the beauty of, like, doing that in real life... The thing is, is that when you do this in real life, you always have the luxury that you don't have in GeoGuessr of being able to ask people where the hell you are. Now, if they understand you, that is. And if you understand them. But... The thing on GeoGuessr is you see a bloke on the street, you can't just ask him, Oi, mate, where are we? Oh, he says, oh, you're in Sheffield, bruv. And, you know, you get 5,000 points. It's real easy. Yeah, get sent to China? Yeah, it's, it's fucked up, dude. Duh. I, I couldn't tell it was China because I couldn't tell... They, they don't have the Google car in China. They don't have the Google car in China. I didn't know this was China. I didn't even know it existed. How could I know this was Ghana? I look down and there's no tape on the roof rack, dude. How am I supposed to know this is Ghana? You can make a meme out of this that's like GeoGuessr players when they're in Ghana but they can't see the tape on the roof rack and it's that gif of Walter White falling over after that thing in Breaking Bad happens. I feel like somebody could make a meme on that. Be pretty funny. You'd never see- yeah, yeah, dude, this can't be Germany. Half the houses aren't blurred out. Crazy. Anyway, well, that bell ringing signaling that it is now 6 o'clock 
is probably a good sign that maybe I should get this wrapped up. Because, obviously, if a Dorado don't want to spawn, I ain't gonna make it spawn. It's funny, though. I always caught Dorados as a kid. I didn't think they were gonna be that rare. I remember as a kid, like, I would always be catching them. But, obviously not. Obviously not. Jif? Yeah, Jif, man. That's, that's what it's called. It's almost like language has context and nuance to it, to where, like, one thing may be pronounced differently across different people. So, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm the weird one, though. Maybe I'm the weird one. That's, it's like the peanut butter, idiot! Yeah, the peanut butter, man. You got it. Nuance in a language? No way. Certainly not English, either. Absolutely not. Mm-mm. Hey, thanks everyone for watching today. I very much appreciate it. I'm going to be live again tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. GMT. Sorry, not tomorrow, Monday. What's up, chat? Whoa, I'm very low down there. Low down, dirty, stinking ass. Eh. Like, the cord behind my webcam is so tight, so it's like yanking the actual webcam down. Could you not do that, please? There we go. That should be good. What's up, y'all? Keep the doggo on screen, whole stream, or else? Uh, no, man, I'm not gonna do that. What's up, Hero? How are you doing? Lotus Stardew Valley, so I finally downloaded it. It's a great game. You, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad that you can finally get around to playing it. Let's start the timer, by the way. Just, just jump right into it. We should be at 55 out of 93. 55 out of 93. I also, while I was... Uh off yesterday i th i found a different copy of the animal forest game that crashed on us because in case you don't know the challenge that we're trying to do today is catching every fish across the entire animal crossing series there is one fish that only appeared in animal forest which is a japanese only version of animal crossing that released on the n64 so, basically, it's really fucking hard to get my hands, my grubby little mitts, on a copy of that. I can change that? Yeah, you want to fix that challenge command? People have been bitching about it for a couple of days now. The challenge is catching every fish across the entire Animal Crossing series. So, there's been 93 unique fish across the entire series. However, there's only 80 in New Horizons, which means that... 13 only appeared in older games, or, well, in games older than New Horizons. So we have to go back and play those older games to try to catch those fish that we don't have in New Horizons. And I also have a tentative rule in place, and by that I mean it is a rule that I'm following, where if a fish debuted in a game, that must be the game that you catch that fish in. So, for example, New Wild World... GameCube, the first Animal Crossing game, it wasn't technically the first, but I'm, I'm counting it as the first. GameCube introduced 40 fish, aka that game has 40 fish in it. So that's what we must catch those Nine first 40 fish row. in. Yo, Kirby Bean. Nine whole ass months. That's crazy, dude. Thank you so much for the nine months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm literally explaining the challenge as we're going, man. Like, I, I'm literally explaining it right now. Like, what is the challenge exactly? Like, exactly as I'm saying. If a game debuted, if a fish debuted in that game, that must be the game that you catch that fish in. So GameCube introduced 40, so we caught all 40 fish in Animal Crossing GameCube. Wild World introduced 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Wild World introduced 21 more fish, so that we have to catch those 21 fish in this game. And then City Folk added 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 more fish. So if we do manage to get done with Wild World today, then we'll go, bless you, to City Folk. But that'll be quite the ass, because we need to get the Dorado and the Tuna in in Wild World still. And those are pretty... Ooh, yeah. Those are going to be kind of tough. Everything else that we need in Wild World isn't so bad. I guess the football fish, like I said earlier, is going to be kind of bad as well. But honestly, like, fishing in this game is so difficult that if I happen to 
uh, find what I know is for sure a Dorado, or what I highly suspect is a Dorado. I'm just gonna make a save state, and then we're probably just gonna go back to that save state, and then probably, um, probably go from there. Oh yeah, one more thing. Um, I should not be using this, I should be using this. There we go, there we go. Get a little bit more HD here. There we go. See my tweet about the global? Yeah, about some level they made, like, a change to the global. I don't really do the global anymore, though. I've kind of fallen out of, uh, the routine of doing the global, the worldle, the wordle. Shit, I haven't done, like, a wordle. Actually, no, that's not true. I did the semantle. I try to do the semantle most every days. That's, like, the only wordle-esque challenge that I do anymore. I really only ever do that one. Sorry, Joseph, I really don't care what you have to say, my man. I don't really care what you have to say either. Gotta be honest with you, I'm just- I'm in ignore mode right now. Crunchy Wild World graphics are so nostalgic. Crunchy's a good way of putting it. You can see each and every single pixel, which is kind of fucked up, dude. I mostly just do Wordle, Quartle, and Squirtle. I don't know what those are, man. There's too many damn knockoffs now. Yo. Court the Libra. Thanks for the seven months in a row. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thank you, thank you. By the way, in case you're wondering what I'm looking for, it's a Dorado. It's about the size of a sea bass, except it's in the river. So, yeah. I'm looking for a big boy, for lack of a better term. I do too many of the dull game. I mean, a lot of them are really good. It's just that, you know, I did them for like... A month, and then now I'm just kind of like, I'm done with them. I'm done with them. But thank you, Court the Libra. I appreciate that. What's up, Anya? How are you doing? A golden fish. Yeah, it's the golden boy. I'll BRB, besties. My room is a mess, and I need to clean it. Go clean your room. An Aiden Rad. Thank you so much for the subscription. I appreciate that. Thank you, Aiden Rad, and thank you, Trombonist. Thank you. Hey, fam. Thank you very much for the seven months in a row, and I hope you're doing well, both you and Ayn, Ayn Aidenrad. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thank you, thank you. Aish, I'ma get it next time. You gonna get it next time? What are you gonna get next time? What's up, Pun Master? How are you doing? <clears throat> you're keeping me company while I do an exam? That's crazy, like... <laughs> I mean... Online exams were a thing when I was in college, but, like, I don't know. I, I feel like even before, as recently as, like, just before COVID, all exams, like, college exams were, like, in person. It's kind of crazy to me that, like, I don't know. Y'all out here taking exams while watching Twitch streams. Like, I don't know. We weren't even allowed to use a damn calculator, man. Let alone have our whole ass computer or phone or whatever the fuck you're watching me on. That's crazy. Making a new Spotify playlist? Let's go, dude. Man, me, I'm just, like, using the same damn playlist that I've been using since, like, 2016. But that's okay. What's up, Sad Jazz? How are you doing? So it's gotta be bigger than that. It's, I don't know, I've just been finding weenie fish the entire time here. Olive? That wasn't Olive, that was Poncho. I don't think Olive was in this game. Olive got cut after GameCube and only reappeared in New Leaf, I think. I love The Road to El Dorado, never seen it. It's a forgotten classic for me. Massive shift to online exams is wild. I mean, was is, is it the case where, like, exams pre-COVID were pretty much all in person, and then, like, COVID kind of shifted most, if not... Well, not all of them, but, like, a lot of them to, like, online? Because, like, my boy, Axnu... We were playing Terraria yesterday. He just got home after his last uh, semester of uh, his first year of college. And he's like, oh, yeah, I still got, like, two exams. And I'm like, brother, you came home from school and you still got two exams? So they must be online. And that's crazy to me because, like, after exam season, for me, is when you went home. You didn't go home before exam season because it's not like you could do the exams while you were at home. Today I had grammar and spelling. Awesome, man. And yet you didn't capitalize your T, you didn't put a period at the end of it, and then you didn't capitalize the I, so obviously you didn't do too well. 
Imagine playing Terraria. I don't have to imagine, brother. I was doing it yesterday. It's a great game. I noticed my turnip is looking flaming hot. Yeah, you got the flaming hot turnip. It's very rare. Only, uh, only the select few can earn it. Hey, Dagnall, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you doing today? His this is. <laughs> Thoughts on the Miami GP? It was all right. I'm glad that it was at, like, 12.30 so that I could actually watch it without being basically dead. They never said they passed. That's pretty true. That's pretty true. Rarest item in Terraria? Uh, it's that item where you can, like, teleport to wherever your mouse is pointed. The Rod of Discord. That's what it's called. Rarest item. I've never even acquired it myself. I was looking into the Binding of Isaac. But there's like eight different names for the game. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up. So there's really only two games. There's the Binding of Isaac and then there's the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. And then Rebirth has like a few expansions to it all called different things. But the base game is Binding of Isaac Rebirth. And then if you buy Rebirth, then you can buy the expansions to Rebirth, which is Afterbirth, Afterbirth Plus, Repentance. Yeah, it's fucked. It, it, it's really confusing. I can understand why it would be so confusing. Yeah, Isaac's very fun. Great game. And then the original Isaac, often called Flash Isaac, is just called The Binding of Isaac, and then that has a DLC called The Wrath of the Lamb. Um, I wouldn't recommend that version. I would recommend getting Rebirth and then getting the expansions for Rebirth. But maybe don't listen to me, you know. There's always other people with different opinions. After the Welcome Amigo update? Yeah, in New Leaf. You should do a Terraria MMFTW Summoner playthrough since you like masochism. I don't know what MMFTW is. Something something for the win? I don't know what that is. But Summoner in itself is already pretty brutal. Alright, this is our first potential Dorado. More than likely it's a Gar though. But that's not gonna stop me from save scumming, okay? That's not hey, gonna Dad, stop me from save scumming. I made it this hey. Time. Also, my depression is starting to get better. Laughing face. Durr! It's actually a snakehead. Interesting. It wasn't even a gar as I thought it was going to be. Yo, random person. My depression's starting to get better. Well, hell yeah, dude. That was awesome. I'm very happy for you. Hell yeah, dude. Thanks for the four months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that very much, and I hope you're doing well today. What's up, Lonely Cam? How are you doing? So, like, I had Wild World when I was little, and I can't remember anything to do in this game except try to fill up the museum, and I did feel slightly empty to me. Yeah, and I agree that Wild World is probably, like, the worst game in the series. But, like, you know, it's like saying that you were the worst gold medalist in the Olympics. It's like, you were still a gold medalist. You were pretty good, right? Wild World is a good game that I think... ...had to be... had to have corners cut in order to fit everything onto the little puny DS system. And then City Folk came out, and it basically was like Wild World, but better. So, honestly, if you really want to play Wild World with better graphics and more features, you Thanks should probably play City Folk. Vibes, Although, there is things that Wild World does do better than City Folk, but in most cases, City Folk is just kind of better. I don't know. Either way, Demon.Work. Thanks for the four months of good vibes. Oh, you're very welcome. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And neither of those are the original. You want to buy Repentance, Owls? You want to buy Repentance? Because if I... How much is Repentance? If you tell me how much it is, I could probably tell you whether that's going to be the full game or just the DLC. I, it's so confusing. So, like, I understand your confusion. Thank you, Demon.Work. I appreciate that. Thank you. That's CAD? That sounds like it's just the expansion, man. That sounds like it's just the expansion. I mean, $26.99 CAD, that sounds like it's not going to be the base game and then all the expansions. I feel like you need to buy the base game and then also buy the expansions, man. I don't know, honestly. I don't buy it. I don't have it on the Switch, so I really don't know. What's up, Carolyn? How are you doing? And thank you so much again, Demon.Work. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Why are food delivery apps tracking systems so fucking janky? Isn't it reliant on, like, the driver who's delivering the food to, like, update it whenever they're, like, nearby? 
and if don't if I'm like an underpaid delivery driver, I ain't gonna like fucking give my hundred and ten percent to making sure that they're perfectly tracking my exact location at all times. Like I don't know, that's probably why. I'm listening to Axe New and not buying by Binding of Isaac. It's a good game, but you know Axe New, Axe New knows what he's talking about, man. He's a one year college completionist. DoorDash has drivers teleporting for me. Yeah, because it's like. If they say that they're at a location, give it another try, I suppose. If they say that they're at a location, then they say that they're at another location. I don't think it's going to, like, track perfectly them going from one location to another. I think it'll, like, teleport them from that one location to another. Like, I think that that's why it's kind of janky, because it's relying on the driver to keep updating it. And I'm like, I don't know, man. If I was a driver, I probably wouldn't be very good at that. Hey, 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 no, 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 please, please, I need you to, thank you. Ooh, that was bad. I'm probably not a Dorado. What, that's just a carp? Oh, shit, my ass. Jesus. Yo, cast bucket, thanks so much for the three months in a row. Hopefully the alert shows up. In a minute. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy your remotes and your ad-free viewing as well. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, that's... I think that's it. That's gotta be it. Now, because <laughs> it's not in the lake, so it can't be a gar. I suppose it could be an arapaima. And if it's an arapaima, I will cry, I will shit, I will be very upset. I also hate how he just went under the bridge, because now... Now... Oh. I'm being fucked with. I'm being fucked with. You're fucking with me. I'm not a person to be fucked with. Don't ping me. There is the cast bucket. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. That's big, dude. I mean, I don't know why I'm even gonna bother catching this. I did not want... Yeah, what's my nickname? Don't call me Lil... No, don't call me Lil... I'm not a person to be fucked with, dude. I'm telling you. I'm not a person to be fucked with. I'm very upset in this moment. How you guys doing today? Little D? Look. Nobody wants- it's, it's okay, Dag. Nobody clearly wants to fuck you. Okay, man. Strange comment. You ever shiny hunt in Pokemon? Yeah, I only ever shiny hunted in- Pokemon X and Y for the Nintendo 3DS. I remember my first shiny was a Corsola. They used to be, and there might still be, I don't know. I still remember, but Big D is streaming comment. I don't even know what you're talking about, man. But I remember they used to be like chain fishing or something like that. I remember I was like super into Pokemon X and Y and I would do like chain fishing. I remember getting my first shiny, a shiny Corsola. I guess unless you want to count the shiny, like, this is, like, the most illegitimate shiny ever, but the red Gyarados in Gen 2 Pokemon, um, I guess that's technically the first shiny, but I don't know. But yeah, I've done shiny hunting, but not since, like, Pokemon X and Y in, like, I don't know, probably, like, 10 years, honestly. Or is it a Zigzagoon? No, it was not a, or your first shiny was a Bidoof or a Zigzagoon? I don't know. Yeah, this is Wild World. This is Wild World. They're both not meta Pokemon, so who really cares? I was never into Pokemon battling because... I mean, I'm not sweaty. I'm not too sweaty, at least. I didn't realize you had played some Pokemon games. That's cool. I don't know. I feel like, how can somebody be 25 years old and having never played a Pokemon game? That's pretty tough. Like, to have avoided entirely Pokemon for the entire 25 years of your existence. When I was in school, Pokemon was all the rage. I mean, it still kind of is, but, like, the craze was crazy. Even back when I was in school, like, you know, 100 years ago, according to some of you. It was still pretty wild. Like, Pokemon 
card dueling, Pokemon like trading. You brought your Game Boy into class one day and you trade your Pokemon. Like it was kind of crazy, man. Now you're a goober if you do. I don't think you're any more of a goober than you were back then, right? My husband has never played a Pokemon game and I've only f I found that odd too. Yeah, that's pr that is pretty odd, honestly. If you're like around my age and you never like, I don't know, I feel like you've had to, like, physically avoid Pokemon. Because that's how, like, popular it is. You look like you're 20 SMH. Uh, thanks, I think. It's pretty wild how long Pokemon has lasted being super popular. Yeah, I don't know. I think that it's a pretty easy-to-follow formula for Nintendo to make it its cash cow for as many years as it has. Pokemon go to the polls, yeah, yeah. It's also reached mainstream culture, for better or for worse. Um, I don't know. Like, release a mediocre game. At least recently, they've been mediocre. Release, like, a mediocre game every five years with cute little animals. Make them extremely marketable. And then, like, plaster it fucking everywhere. And then, bada bing, bada boom. You got, like, a billion dollar franchise. It's the easiest. It's honestly, like... Stupid how nobody thought to do all this before Nintendo, really. Or the Pokemon company. I miss the days when people got Pokemon cards banned in school by stealing them from each other. I think they were banned, like, maybe that was the reason why they were banned in my school, but they were banned because, like, it was treated as gambling. And I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. There's nobody, like, I guess people would gamble, like, their fruit cups at lunchtime, but that's pretty much it. I named my first island after my ex. It was bad, like getting a tattoo of your partner's name. I mean, I guess you can also get a tattoo removed, but I reckon it's a lot easier to remove your Animal Crossing town. Less painful as well. Eh, I thought that was maybe a big honker. Is just Chin Pokemon South Park episode? I don't watch South Park, man. Yeah, cheaper too, not to mention. I was one of two people who had Pokemon, never knew it was super popular until I found the internet mainstream culture. I mean, I have to wonder, like, how old that you were for you to be only one of two kids in school, I assume you're talking about, to have played Pokemon. Like, that's, that's kind of wild when you consider how popular it was at, like, my school. Or, like, most kids' schools. Basically, the entire Mafia operates in the in my school back when they were popular. The Pokemon Mafia? Interesting. I have a Charizard that would have been worth $100 if I had kept it in better condition. I mean... I don't know, man. I, I hate... I hate, like, the... What am I trying to say? Collectibles. Because I also, like, collected, like, I don't know, baseball cards. But they're very similar to, like, Pokemon cards. Like, oh, this one, this is a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. And it's like, this is worth, oh, this bad boy's worth, like, $500. Is only worth $500 if you sell it. And, like, do you really want to sell something like that? Or do you want to keep it in your damn attic collecting dust until you're 82 years old? and you get moved to the nursing home and your kid discovers it in the attic, they can sell it because I don't know how much value that would have to them. But like, I, I don't know. Like it's only the worth that much if you actually sell it, right? I don't know. If you just keep it until you're like a geriatric, it's not valuable at all unless you actually like do something with it, like display it proudly or something like that. I don't know. Like, there is inherent value in a card or something like that, but you actually have to sell it for real value. If it means something to you, though, then that's inherent value, and that's good. That you can find the value and stuff like that. I would eat it? That's pretty awesome, dude. It might taste good. I gave all my Pokemon cards to my brother, and when he put them in a binder, which he promptly lost when we moved... I mean, that's gotta hurt a little bit, man. That's gotta hurt a little bit. You, you left it upon him to, like, take care of that stuff. I wanted a Shohei Otani rookie card, and that was a slap in the face? Yeah, that, that, I don't know. Maybe you can get, like, a Japanese one, because he played in Japan before he came to America? I don't know. All those Beanie Baby collect- Yeah, all the Beanie Babies. Everyone said they're gonna be the next hotness. Yeah, now they're a meme. 
What's up, Vampire Vix? How are you doing? How's it going today? It's going all right. It'd be going even better if I can get a damn Dorado, but that's fine. I, I'm not mad or anything. Hi. Apparently, you have to get Pokemon cards minted for them to have value. I don't know. That's what Kristen told me. She's never wrong. My nephew found my Pokemon cards that were drawn out and bent and shit, and Bull was, like, mad. Bull, like, I use my shit like a normal child, ain't buying cards to put them in a binder. Yeah, you, like, battled with them, right? You battled with them. You, you, you use them, right? That's, that's what they make them for, is for battling, and then just collecting is just something that people do. I don't really think that that's what Nintendo has in mind when they, like, make the cards, but they know that people do it, so that's why they'll be, like, you know, cool release editions. I didn't mean to catch that, honestly. And it was a boot. To boot. It's in fifth grade, and I actively avoided Pokemon at first, but then I succumbed. When I saw how pretty the anime was compared to U.S. cartoons at the time, soon after came the cards and the games, and I've been a gamer ever since. Interesting. The Pokemon cartoon has looked better than American cartoons? I don't know. I'm a collective kind of person. Eh, I get it. I get it. I mean, I got a whole, like, thing full of baseball cards. They're just sitting there. They're not, like, worth anything unless I were to sell them, and I don't think I want to, you know? Collecting things gives my brain the good juices? I'm happy for you. If you find good chemicals in collecting things, then I'm happy for you. It's a lot better than most people can say, as far as things that give them good chemicals. Ooh! Okay. <clears throat> this is bigger than a carp. You can't fuck with me. You should auction off your play button. Yeah, but then, like, somebody's gonna get the play button, and it's gonna say my name on it. How much value is that gonna really have to them? People are going to be like, oh, that's clearly not you, right? Those ones that you found in the trash will be worth a million bucks one day? Maybe. Let's go. All right. 56. Whew. All right. That it didn't take a while on the next day, but the overall time of chasing this thing took a while. All right. Let's go. I don't know why I insist on swapping it. It's not like I need it. I mean, maybe I'll actually, like, sell all my shit here just to get it out of my inventory. Alright, cool. And now we need to move on to... December at 4pm for a yellow perch, sea butterfly, football fish, tuna. It's gonna be another pain in the ass. Dab and octopus. Octopus in this game was a fish, not a deep sea creature like they are now. So, let's work on getting that. Let's work on getting that. What fantastic timing on my part. Oh, well, you know. Dude, I just got an ad, though. K, my sub ran out. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yo, Megan. Thanks for the raid. Yo, a raid. Thank you. Hi, Danigal. How you doing? Welcome. Animal Crossing Wild Just got, a pizza, hut ad and just got a pizza Hut ad ended. and realized my sub ended and noticed. I hadn't noticed. Are you going to get Pizza Hut now? Because now I earn a commission-based profit from any order of Pizza Hut that you get. Lili, thank you so much for the 11 months in a row. Congrats to the Dorado, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And Mwise, thanks for the gift sub to Megan. I appreciate that, thank you. And Megan, enjoy your emotes and your ad-free viewing. Thank you. Mimi Bun. Thank you for the three months in a row. I appreciate that. Sorry, the alerts take a while to go through. If you can just deal with my ass for a little bit here, count me in! Currently at work on a break, then you'll, but saw the hopefully you'll be alright. Uh, anyway, yeah, the challenge to all the people, gotta run, get, shoot, sk, vamos, get out of here. Hope you enjoyed your stream and thank you for the raid. Um, the challenge is to catch every unique fish across the Animal Crossing series. So, there's been 93 unique fish across the series, and you have to catch the fish in the order that they were introduced, okay? So, GameCube introduced 40 fish, Wild World introduced 21 fish, so you had to catch the 40, those 40 in GameCube. We gotta catch these 21 in Wild World. City Folk introduced 8, so we have to catch 8 in City Folk. New Leaf, I don't know how many New Leaf introduced, it'll be a while till we get to that. And then, uh, again, same thing with New Horizons. Totaling 93 unique fish across the series. We just caught the Dorado. 
which was introduced in Wild World. So now we're going to move on to catching all the winter fish in Wild World, which I will explain what those are here in a second. So now that you're all caught up. Hi, Axnu. What's up, Philo Joe? How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. This is also Animal Crossing Wild World. If you're wondering why it looks like shit, that's because it came out for the DS, okay? I'm playing it on the Wii U because I'm a gamer. But, yeah, that's why it looks so crunchy, is because it's a DS game. Mm. We also have Tipper in our town. Yeah, you can see, like, each and every individual pixel, so if you're wondering why it does that, just know this is a game from 2005. I miss Wild World. It's a good game. I don't know how well it holds up, but it's a good game, man. If you have a Wii U, which you're one of like the five people that has a Wii U in the world, you should go consider getting it. It's, uh, I think it's 10 bucks on the Wii U virtual, s on the Wii U store. So get it before it gets shut down in like a year. So December at 4 p.m. is what I need to do this at. There we go. Needs more JPEG. This game is ugly. God damn! The grittiness has kind of grown on me. Gritty! That's a way of putting it. Yeah. Yeah. This music unlocked a core memory. Oh, yeah, the nice attic music. Oh, it's very nice. Oh, thanks for the hydrate. Mm. All right. I have mail. I don't really care. So in December, we need to get a yellow perch, sea butterfly, football fish, tuna, dab, octopus. That's everything that we need in December. Most of those being... I mean, yeah, all but one being a ocean fish, so I guess let's spend most of our time at the ocean. I'm getting surgery this week. That could really help me. Yo, I hope it does help you, and good luck. If you're anything like me, I have never been to the hospital outside of being birthed, so any surgical procedure... Oh, yeah, I love reading these. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What are the, the- these notes in a bottle, they don't just give you shitty DIYs like in New Horizons. These actually just give you fun things to read. Valued patron, some stranger. This is a special offer just for you. Sign up now before it's too late. Don't be fooled by imitations. Your insurance- <laughs> Right. Lyle was an insurance agent in this game. Mmm, scumbag. Yeah, they don't give you DIYs though. Um, wait. Sea butterfly, football fish, tuna, dab, olive fly. That could be a dab. Let's try it then. <clears throat> Fuck you, lie. I'm still mad about the HHA challenge. The HHA challenge? Oh, yeah. I guess he doesn't canonically run the HHA in New Horizons. That's just everyone's assumed role that he does. But I don't know. At least in this game, he was worse. Like, in City Folk, New Leaf, New Horizons, he is the HHA representative. In this game, he was some sleazy insurance salesman that, like, would come by your house every Saturday, try to sell you some fucking bullshit insurance. So, he's gotten kind of a glow-up. <clears throat> What's up, Henrietta? How are you doing? The stupid, yeah, 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 you get stung by bees? Oh, did you get stung by bees? Oh, I'm very sorry, but here's a hundred fucking bells. Yeah, thanks, man. Not to mention, like, ooh. I mean, is, is that Honk City, dude? Look, I'm just... You may hate me for it. You may call me a bitch. A son of a bitch. A bastard. A fuckhead for it. But I'm gonna save scum. I think this is just a sea bass, but it could be a tuna. Okay, it's just a sea bass. You know. It's just a sea bass. Just relax. Nobody's safe scumming over here. Certainly not me. Who are your villagers? One second. Let me, let me catch this... I don't know, what, what could this be, actually? Probably nothing that I need. And that, and that's why I missed it, not just because I'm, like, neurotic. Poncho, did we get Chow again? Did we get Chow again? We got Chow in GameCube, we got Chow in Wild World. This son of a bitch. I hate him. I hate him so much. I hate him so much. You nasty motherfucker. Chow is busted. I thought you said based. I was about to ban you. Wait, that could be... That's, that's too small to be a yellow perch. That's way too small to be a yellow perch. 
He's stalking me. He's He gives me stalker vibes. I could believe it. How many times have you had Chow? I made one GameCube town and I had Chow. I made one Wild World town and I have Chow. Again. He's your sleep paralysis demon? Oh, I didn't even mean to fish this, but sure. Sure. Yeah, he's pretty freaky. He's pretty freaky. Would not recommend Chow. Dab? Squid. I don't need that. No, we already got a squid. Yeah. Odds of getting the same villager in all five games? Uh, you want me to do that, like, top of the top of the dome piece, man? I don't know. I'm gonna at least need a calculator here. And also, you know, knowing how many villagers are, e are in each and every single game. I can tell you the odds are probably pretty, like, you know, in you know, two billion to one. But, you know, pretty crazy. I guess if you already did GameCube and Wild World, though, you already got a lot of the odds out of the way. Fuck, I'm so bad. Kind of miss owl sounds from GameCube when you catch something. Oh, dude, it's so good. I do miss that as well. And then every time I go back and play GameCube, people are like, what the fuck is that sound? I'm like, you don't even know, man. You don't even know. I thought I was Axe News' biggest fan. Nah, man. Me and him were playing Terraria yesterday. If that ain't true friends, then I don't know what is. That wasn't a percentage in your YouTube video? No, that wasn't a percentage. I only did New Horizons in those videos. I forgot to join the stream right away because I was watching Dagnall's videos over and over again. That's okay, man. Nobody needs to, like, watch the stream at a certain time. Good lord, did DS games really look this bad? This one did. This one definitely did. I don't think that, like... I'm going to... Twist my neck. Um, yeah, this game definitely did. I think that a lot of, uh, I think that a lot of DS games held up a lot better than Wild World did. I don't know. I don't know why this game looks so bad. But, like, I'll, I'll like, boot up Nintendogs, and I'll be like, hmm, yes, Mamma Mia, this game looks so good. I'll boot up, like, I don't know, what's another old, Super Mario 64 DS? That looks pretty bad. I don't know. I... I'm stupid, but I also still caught it. All right, we got a dab. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so that's 57. I'm trying to get a 3DS to play New Leaf. Good luck, man. Those are probably pretty expensive. They stopped making them, like, a few years ago now. So, of course, with only limited supply now, and they're not making any new ones, it's probably going to cost you a pretty petty, unfortunately. Hopefully, in the future, they make a console, or God forbid, they actually do this for the Switch where it has a virtual console for old 3DS games, because there's a lot of good ones that I'd love to go back to at some point. Pardon me. They definitely look worse when you blown up. That's that's also pretty true. You blow it up to, like, a giant-ass screen, and it looks a lot worse than it did on our, like, than compared to our, like, little piddly shit little DS lights that we had as a kid. Yeah, it definitely looks a lot different when you do that as well. I don't know. Oh, that's what it could be. I was going to say, I don't know what else it could be other than a dab, but never mind. That answered my question. An octopus, which was not a deep sea creature in this game. That's why I own 13 3DS systems. I bought them early COVID-19 pandemic. You're a scalper? There's no... Okay, if you have like three... I'd say like there's a max three 3DSs that you would own that I would just call you, like, an, an, a 3DS fan. If you own more than three 3DSs, man, you're a scalper. <laughs> no, I keep them for yourself. That's what scalpers do, man! They keep them for themselves! They wait until it's the perfect time to sell them! You don't need 13 3DSs, man! That's not normal behavior. That's scalper behavior. You play them all? How do you play 13? Why do you need 13? Why do you need- you don't need 13? What are you doing? Like, I don't know. Why, why- what do you mean you play them all? Why? Why would you? Why would you play 13 3DSs? That's not right, you don't- <laughs> There's a lot of people out there that would like a 3DS. Like, that- I don't know, that's weird. Like, maybe not a scalper, but it's weird, man. Play 13 games at once, man? What is this, like that little shitty game that my grandma would get me for my uh, plug-and-play console that's called like 1001 Games in One? 
I don't know. It's a bit of a it, it's a bit of a shoehorn, but you get what I'm saying. Too small to be a tuna. Too small. What are you even doing? Don't shame me. I just wanted all the models. I don't even know if there's 13 different models of 3DS, man, but maybe I'm silly. You know, we need a 3DS to match every outfit. That's pretty true, man. You know what else? You know what is a benefit of that, though? That actually I could see wanting 13 3DSs for? Street passing your yourself. Like, Animal Crossing New Leaf, I remember you'd be able to street pass people, and it was so cool. You could street pass yourself like 12 times per 3DS. That's pretty cool, actually. That's an under... Uh, you know... I didn't, now that I see that as, like, a potential reason to have 13 3DSs, I'm like, okay. Alright. Sea Butterfly. 59. Uh, sea Butterfly, Dab, Olive Flounder, Octopus. So now we just need a Tuna, a Football Fish, and a Yellow Perch. Tuna, Football Fish, Yellow Perch. Okay, it's justified now. That's fair. That's pretty fair. End of 2020, right when they discontinued and managed to find one for half the regular price? Yeah, I reckon you can't do that. It's not so easily anymore, at least. What's up, Joseph? How you doing, man? Got your diaper on? Nice and tight? Nice and buckled? I'm gonna need you to, like... I'm just gonna need you to, like, squeak. Can you spare a charger? I reckon finding a 3DS charger is a hell of a lot easier than finding a 3DS. His single pixel eyes? Don't fucking bully him, man. Don't fucking bully him. Okay, maybe you know why I bought them in the first place. Street Pass was first Street Pass was the first addiction, but I wanted to collect them for the future. I wanted my nephew to have one when he gets older. Street Pass the same three people every day, and we didn't even talk to E A C H O T H E R I R L. Same, same bestie. If you weren't, like... A Bitterling is in Game... I don't know why, I'm, like, so confused. A Bitterling is in GameCube, right? Bitterling. A-C-N-H. A Bitterling's in GameCube, right? I caught one of those already. Yeah. Okay, good. I was like, that's the first one of those that I caught, right? We're up to 59. Interesting. Yeah, there you go. You get a little... Get some good jams there while I was looking it up. Yeah, I used to I used to do the same. I would like take my 3DS to school, and I would street pass. I remember one of them was Tony, and I like legit looked through the yearbook to try to find who the hell this Tony was or Anthony. Like I looked for Tony, I looked for Anthony. I was trying to find out who the fuck this random person that I was street passing every day at school was, and I for the love of, for the love of God, I could not find who my man's Tony was. I couldn't find him. I, I street passed this random dude, Tony, every day I took my 3DS to school, and I, to this day, I had no idea who he was. It might be one of you, for all I know. Okay, I'm not saying that's a tuna. It's probably not a tuna. I looked for Tony, I looked for Anthony. He must have, that must not have been his real name, or some concoction of his real name, for whatever reason he called himself Tony. I don't understand. A silent hero, yeah. Yeah, Tony Baloney over there. Oh god. Hey Stamen! What's what's wrong, man? You shit your diaper? I'm usually pretty mellow, but my fuse has been lit. This isn't gonna be pretty, so you should just leave me alone. Lil D. Alright, now I'm furious. I shuffled through the yellow pages. I couldn't find him, man. One day though, me and Tony will reunite. And I'll give him a big old kiss. Lil D? Yeah, we had the Lil D endeavor about 15 minutes ago where Poncho came up to me. He's like, hey man, I got a great nickname for you. And I'm like, what's up, dude? And he, he started calling me Lil D, man. Mortifying. His little music is so goofy and fun. This game is just goofy and fun. This game is just goofy and fun. Joey just said you had a Lil D. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty true. But, you know, God gives his little of D's to his greatest warriors. Ooh! Well, that's gonna sound very bad out of context as I show me catching the football fish on the YouTube video. Talking about little D's, but that's okay. Alright, so football fish is done. Now we just need a yellow perch and a tuna. 
Yeah, that's pretty epic. Talking about little D's as I feature the... <laughs> as I feature catching the football fish in the video. Hmm. Oh, well. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Uh, I think a yellow perch would probably be bigger than this, but whatever. I'll give it a try. I wish New Horizons was to add the old soundtracks from the past games. Yeah, like having an option to play or remixing them, like, so you don't just straight up have the songs from Wild World in the game. Not that I would have a problem with that, but, like, remixing them and then making it as, like, a toggleable option in the game to, like, play older... What is that? A dace? Interesting. Yeah, play, like, older... I feel like that's my first dace as well. What the fuck, man? Why am I so... Dace, A, C, and H. Like, were there dace in... It was in Animal Crossing. Alright, I mean, fuck, sure, alright. I feel like they had a toggleable option where they can make it so that you could play, like, city folk music, hourly music. That would be pretty awesome. And I don't really see what would the what would be the issue, because it's all, like, Nintendo made all the music, so it's like, they, they don't have to, like, you know, get the usage rights to use them in New Horizons. It's like, my brother in Christ has your songs, so I don't know. It got three gigas giant clams in one day. I wouldn't have known about it without watching the museum video. Uh, you're now my enemy for life. How moist is Tom Nook's arse on a scale of six to nine? Alright. Like, I feel like you have to be between the ages of like five to twelve to ask a question like that. Ah ha ha ha, he saw IG. You alright, man? Like... <laughs> you alright? Like, you got Roblox in the name, you made a 69 joke, and then you, you use the word moist in a humorous context. I feel like those are like the three... <laughs> you do it alright. No, I'm on drugs. Alright, well. Well, unfortunately, it's a... Uh... Hang on. Ooh. Not a tuna? No, it's just a sea bass. That, that's a base chat. I think that is a base chatter, honestly. That's a pretty base chatter. Moist is a mature special word? I, I don't understand the people who hate the word moist. They're like, ew, moist, don't say that around me. I don't understand that, like, logic. I think it's a fine word. Like, not a fine word, but, like, I'm not, like, freaked out by the word like a lot of people are. I don't know, though. The, the combination of using uh, making a 69 joke, using the word moist, and having Roblox in your username is like a sure sign that you are under the age of 13 and therefore not allowed to be on Twitch. Same thing with having MCYT in your name, okay? I'm, I'm sorry, but if you have any of Roblox or MCYT or DSMP in your username, I'm sorry, but you are probably not old enough to use this website. MLP in your name? Look, I don't know, man, because there was bronies when I was, like, in high school who are, like, I mean, it, you know, it, it's, like, there's definitely old enough bronies. In fact, I feel like a lot of bronies are, like, old enough, like, older people. I don't know. I feel like they can definitely be old enough to be on the internet, but I, I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. I don't know. MLP. Yeah, it means like you're like 45, if anything, right? Yeah, they're most of them are adults. I don't know. What is Roblox anyway? I don't know, man. It's like Zoomer Minecraft, I think. I don't really know. It's an adult show? No, I don't think it's an adult show, man. But that don't stop people from watching it. And that's fine, because, you know, Spongebob's not an adult show, and plenty of adults enjoy watching it because they either grew up with it or something. That's fine. It doesn't have to be an adult show to like for an adult to watch it. That's fine. It's like a kitty game? Isn't it like Gmod, where it's basically like not a game? Nice. It's basically not a game in itself, but rather a collective group of, like, fan-made games that you can play within the game. Isn't that what... It's like Zoomer Gmod, basically, right? It's Gmod for kids. Yeah. Shayla. 
Thanks so much for the four months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I don't know. The alert will show up in a little bit. You gotta be patient. You gotta be patient. I gotta get a tuna now. I don't know why I'm looking for piddly shit, little fish here. I make Roblox games as my genuine career. That, like, that's actually fucking awesome. Like, that may get you... Dagnall froggy, Dagnall froggy, Dagnall froggy. That may get you some raised eyebrows and some snarls from the general populace. I think that that's actually kind of cool, man. Like, that's that's kind of girl boss shit. That's kind of girl boss shit. I hope you enjoy it, genuinely. Hey, dick head, the head of the dick. There's a word for that. I forget what it is. No, don't ignore me. I, I showed you my little D, please respond. Hey, stop. The glands? Is it called the glands? Okay, good to know. Good to know. I showed you my glands, please respond. Alright, well that's why we make... That might be why we make save states. It's save scumming. No, like, I understand. It's save scumming as hell. Like, you don't have to tell me I'm a bitch. I'm a bastard. Yeah, I know, okay? I know. But, like, okay, if you want to eliminate... If you want to eliminate the input delay on this game and make it so that fishing is actually, like, plausible, then please, like, do so. Poggers. 62. That's everything. That's everything. I think... I think that's everything. That's everything that Wild World introduced. Let's see here. Let me go over the list here. Good job, bud. Thanks, man. First try as well. Okay. So, Black Bass Char. We got Black Bass. We got Char. King Salmon Zebra Turkey Fish. King Salmon... <laughs> zebra Turkey Fish. Okay. Horse Mackerel Puffer Fish. Okay. Seahorse Blue Marlin. Seahorse, mm, blue marlin. Okay, that was everything in September. Now June, Dorado. Three months. Let's go. I did get the Dorado. You can't fuck with me like that. You can't fuck with me like that. There it is. Dorado Gar. Definitely got a Gar. Definitely got a Gar. Chat, pull up the video evidence of me catching a gar. There we go. Clownfish, ocean sunfish. Okay. Clownfish, ocean sunfish. Hammerhead shark, great white shark. Okay, very good. And then yellow perch, sea butterfly, football fish, tuna, dab, olive flounder, octopus. All right, and we just saw... You just saw me do that, okay? Nilla wafer and Gary the no trash cougar. Thank you both so much for the subscriptions. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. Thank you both very much. And thank you again to Shayla for the four months. I think sharks are overrated, you know? Mm, no, not really. Oh, all right. Um, now. Now. <laughs> now. Y'all are going to love this. We're gonna close this shit out, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go like this, and we're gonna close software, okay? Now, can we close the software now? Now? Okay, I pull up. Animal Crossing City Folk. How do you do this, though? Like, I can go like this, Wii menu, and then... Please? I wanna... I want to, I'm, I'm pressing the, yes, oh, all right, Animal Crossing City Folk, let's go, boys, what's up, Spark, thanks for the bit, Shitty Folk, why would you say that, man, why would you say that, don't call it Shitty Folk, dude, it's a great game, thanks for the hydrate, by the way.
don't call it shitty folk dude that's i don't know man i thought it was funny it's not funny dude that's not funny at all that's fucked up all right now in city folk <clears throat> City Folk introduced the pike, the neon tetra, the surgeon fish, the butterfly fish, the moray eel, the ray, the napoleon fish, and the lobster. So those are eight fish that City Folk introduced. I don't think that those will be nearly as bad as City F or as Wild World. I didn't know City Folk in existed until I picked up New Leaf. City Folk was great, man. City Folk's great. Okay, Dag inspired me to do a DSi marathon and play all my old games. When did I inspire you to do that? I don't think I ever inspired you to do that. But, you know, maybe like, without trying, I inspired you to do that. Alright, sorry, see you later, Coelacan. Yep, that's, that's... Dirty bitch. You made it the second option. Thanks for reconsidering, we were right on the brink there. Don't be so dramatic. Jesus fucking Christ. He's he's saying all this and like I literally just misclicked. He's being all like, oh thank god you reconsidered. I didn't reconsider, man. I literally just hit the wrong button. Yeah, that's really what I want to do, man. I'm totally serious about it, dude. I'm totally serious. I'm dead ass, as the kids say, dude. I'm fucking dead ass. Sheesh, man, I gotta get this fucking green screen shit sorted out. What a mess. What a mess. What if you erase, you just shot Rover with a gun? That would be so epic. That would be pretty epic, man. You're right. That would be pretty fucking epic. Getting city folk and getting hide and seek with my villagers and being all excited. I think, could you play hide and seek in this game? I think that was, uh... New Leaf, you could do that. I don't, I don't suppose, maybe... I, I don't know. Yeah, 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 we're starting fresh, boys. We're starting fresh. Could I theoretically... I'm not going to do it, but can you theoretically move in your... your Wild World save from the Wii U into this? Or you'd probably need, like, a three... You'd probably need, like, an original DS, right? You'd probably need an original DS. Can you in City Folk 2? Interesting. I don't remember that feature. Is it May 9th? No! It is not, idiot. Alright, we want... We're gonna start this in September. Is it bad that I never, like... A lot of the time... I forget, like, what months are... I'm gonna do it at noon. I forget, like, what numbers months are associated to, but that never happens with September because of 9-11, okay? That's the only reason I remember that September is 9, pretty much every time. N-E. No, not Dagneel. Dagnull. Yes, yeah, stupid rover. True, pretty true. They get shocked as if it's a personal affront that they didn't get the time right. It's and They're like, what the fuck? I'm never wrong. Oh, I just chose that I'm a girl? <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Um, what's my town name? It's just gonna be Fish. It's just gonna be Fish. Not f f f f Why is it, like, triple-pressing it, dude? I'm definitely not triple-pressing it. Oh, now you get the girl voice when you type in. Yeah, that's- that's where I'm going, man. Not really. Oh, come on! You can just- Then I'm fibbing? Yeah, yeah, okay, man. You're right, you're right. <laughs> he just wanted to hear seven. I remember the stupid vine, and I almost laughed out loud. Look, that's it. it sometimes vines just are just the stupidest shit pops up into your head at the worst moment, man. It happens. It happens. Um, it's fem dag stream. Yeah, this is gonna be fem dag here. It's gonna be fem dag. It's my B-Day, and that's why I'm late. Brother, I would not have known that you were late unless you told me that you were late. And it doesn't matter. It's okay that you're not here. Like, it's perfectly alright. Okay, look. I'm cool with being femdag in this save file, but girl, what are you doing? This is tragic. This hair is tragic, dude. Why you got Pythagoras theorem, like, working through your hair? Why is Pythagoras your hairstyler here? What is this, man? 
got damn a a squared plus b squared equals c squared hair. A ye that's literally the definition of a yee -ye ass haircut. Jesus Christ. Mamma mia. Alright. Boys can't have that hair? That's pretty true. That is a girl's only hairstyle. That is pretty true. You are right. That is pretty true. She cut it herself in quarantine? That's alright. I guess you could always wear the the cap in the Zoom calls, right? At the beginning of COVID, I put my husband's hair in ponytails like this because it was just long enough. Am I the only one that, like, still got haircuts in quarantine? Like, I know that, like, it probably wasn't the most responsible thing for you, but my hair did not grow to, like, absurd lengths. <clears throat> of course. During quarantine. Everyone, like, I know, like, hair was, like, super long by the time it was over. I let me my dad let his hair grow out very long. Like I feel like I'm the only dude who like just kept it kept it hunted. Kept it hunted emoji, you know? Um <clears throat> I mean I guess go to the one by the ocean. Like a few weeks ago. That's wild, man. I can't imagine like I don't like it when my hair grows out. I I can't. <clears throat> I can't. I just bleached my hair in quarantine. Well, I don't know. You used up all your good villager luck? Oh yeah, I didn't even see who's in this town. I saw someone- uh, Bree? Wait, Bree is good though. Wait, are you, are you saying that Bree ain't good? Hold on here. I grew my hair down like halfway my back? I can't do that, man. I can't do that like at all. So what are we doing here? In City Folk now, we need to catch eight new fish that were introduced in this game. Eight new fish. Bree isn't the word. She's literally like a great uh, snooty villager. What are you talking about? Bree is great. I'm curious to see what the rest of my villagers are that, that people insist are so bad. She's just running around in circles. I love Bree. She's just being a girl boss, dude. Catching all fish ever? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Can't leave the shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I get it, man. I get it. I want to see the rest of my villagers are. Can you please, with your damn tanuki nipples hanging out and everything, I would just like to pull open my map here. See who I get. Bree, Static, Igly, Pudge, Rhonda, Patty. Okay, three of those villagers are good. Bree, Static, and Patty. Rhonda, Pudge, and Igly, yeah, they ain't my favorite. But they're not bad. Like, I've seen worse villager lineups, man. Wait, what do I gotta do? What do I- do I have to talk to everybody? Okay. Alright. Introduce yourself. Alright, 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 alright. I thought you just go straight to the shop. Yo, that's kind of a bopping tune there. No chow? That's pretty true. No chow? This is a win? That is pretty cool. Alright, random person. Thanks so much for being here. Have yourself a good rest of the day. Alright, who are you? My other next door neighbor. <clears throat> I dislike the, the mouse villagers. Eh, you're lost, man. There are some good mouse villagers. Ew! Okay, well, rhino villagers, maybe not so much. But there you go. I just got hit by a power surge. PC shut off. Lights flickered. A power surge or, like, a power outage? Because there is a difference. Oh, a little walking leaf. Tom Nook got his tanuki titties hanging out. He got his whole goddamn nipples just hanging out, man. It's fucked up. Uh, okay, there's two by the museum. There's one... Okay, 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 I got it. Triangulated. The route has been triangulated here. Damn goth rhino bitch. Yeah, it's like, she ain't my favorite. Igly ain't my favorite either, man. I don't really like the Igster over here. No sad jazz. I love the older AC Thanks so much for the 500 you bits. For Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, it's my pleasure to play them. Thank you very much. I'm glad that you enjoy them. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, occasionally my nunchuck. This ain't exactly the premier world-class Joy-Con and Wii Remote. Um, they're pretty old by this point. But, you know, I have to un unplug it occasionally and 
Replug him in. Hey, it's Patty, dude. She's great. Yo, new bit badge. Let's go. Hell yeah, dude. Thank you. That's a lot of bits. Joy-Con and Wii Remote. It's, it's the, the nunchuck. That's what they call it. Yeah. Okay. Look, I, I'm, I'm a millennial. I had a Wii growing up, okay? I've had challenges. Yes, I saw someone say like seven hours. That's commitment. I've done challenges. My, my my longest challenge has taken me 63. I think 63 is the longest challenge, Twitch challenge, that I have done. So, in the wise words of that one guy who sang that one song, you ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen nothing yet. Oh, nice. He has an art wing. Do I have to talk to one of them? I have to talk to the mayor as well, right? New challenge, 69? No. Because, like, it's one thing to do a challenge for 69 hours. It's another thing to edit it all down. Editing, doing a challenge that's 69 hours long, I sleep. Doing a challenge that I have to edit through 69 hours of footage, Shaq with the laser beam eyes, real shit. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the real son of a bitch there. Would you ever get an editor? See, I use an editor for some for I've done I used an editor for a couple of videos. But my challenge videos are kind of like that's me. That's my like bread and butter, man. I feel like I'm the only one who can edit those, you know? Not out of like not that I don't think other people could do it. Yeah, turtle. I like the cut of your jib, young lady. Thank you. It's not that I don't think other people could do a good job. But I feel as though only I can, like, really emphasize those challenges, you know? It needs to be my vibes, right? But if it's just something that, like, you know, is just kind of, like, maybe not, like, one of my headline videos, but is rather just kind of like a, oh, just something that I'm uploading as, like, a hold-me-over video until, like, I get another, like, good challenge out of the way. Yeah, okay, maybe. Yes, I've said hello to everybody. And also, he has a fishing rod day one, which is Pogger's champion. Love to see it. Yeah, I gotta get your pizzazz. My pizzazz, exactly. My pizzazz. Yeah, exactly. But that's not to say other people aren't good at editing. It's just I feel like it's my duty to do my own videos. Do you have a script editor? No, I write my own scripts. I... I, I do everything, basically. The only thing I ever ask of other people is, if they if I have them edit for me, is to just cut it down and make it like an entertaining, like, I don't know, 10 minute video. I don't know, that's all I ever ask of people. Can I drag them in this game? Oh, you can, okay. Works for me. I don't know if that's faster, but oh well. As long as the editor includes the 2 a.m. music? Yeah, exactly, right? That's the only thing. That's the only thing. There we go. Yep, looks beautiful. I love the shop music. It's so dopey and fun. It is dopey and fun. You're right. Would you get a script editor ever? Probably not, no. I feel like if anyone else were to write my scripts, some people would be able to tell. People would be able to tell that it ain't me, you know? Not that my scripture and my writing is top of the line, but it's my, it's my, you can clearly tell that I wrote it. You're like, oh, that's a, that's a diagonal script right there. You know, you can tell. Where was Pudge at, by the way? Oh, he was that son of a bitch up there. Your style. Yeah, my style. That's probably the right word to use. Yeah, there you go. Y'all so much smarter than me. You know that? The vibes. Yeah. The graphics are considerably considerably better than Wild World. That's pretty true. But I suppose that's fair enough when, you know, one is for the Wii and one is for the DS. Kind of fair. After we finish um, the chores here, I'm going to take a break. Because I am kind of thirsty. The moment that there's no piss talk, we know it's fake. I have never talked about piss in a video of mine. That's a purely Twitch diagonal, Twitch diagonal thing. I have never done that before. My birthday? Any seven twos out there? Shit. Any 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 seven twoers out there? 
I'm making- I'm helping a ferret that has a- that has red eye? Red eye? How do ferret get red eye, man? Oh, this is city folk? It do be kind of city folk. And actually, I should change the title of my stream to... All caps, city folk. The reason why I still put the category under New Horizons is because... I mean, let's just be honest with ourselves. Ain't nobody looking through city folks category on Twitch. So, if you make it New Horizons, Twitch doesn't have a problem with it, usually. A lot of people will do that, where if they're playing an older game in a series, they'll use the, um... The latest game in the series as their game title, because... Nobody's going through the city folk category on Twitch, okay? And if you do, I would be curious to know if there's any, like, people actually streaming it out there. Who do we have to write a note to? Who, who is this? Patty. Okay, thank you, thank you. I looked through the New Leaf category. But you have to admit, though, that you're, like, one of few people that still does that, right? Like, did, 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 nobody does that, right? At least not many people anymore. I cured the ferret. Let's go, dude. I'm happy for you. What's up, Lila Legacy? How are you doing? I did it first on Twitch, not anymore. I feel like discovering people through... I don't know. I... I... Personally, I have not, like, found a new streamer. Wait, where am I going? I have not found a new streamer on Twitch in, like a year like all the streamers that i watch are either people that i primarily watched on youtube that i also watch on twitch or that i found referred to through another twitch streamer right i don't know at least that's been my experience where like i don't really discover people on twitch you know i don't know there's a few people I follow that stream it regularly. That's cool. I mean, it's still a good game. It's still a good game. What am I doing? There's one person that's doing a category for all Golden Tools runs in City Folk? Well, that sounds kind of fun. Dean watches Moist Critical. I don't know if he referred you to him or not. I like Moist Critical, but guess where I first found him was through YouTube. Like, that's how I found him. I didn't find him through Twitch. I found him through YouTube and was curious enough to follow him on Twitch as well. Like a lot of the streamers that I watch, like Northern Lion, YouTube, and then I found him on Twitch. Rarely do I find somebody and enjoy watching them on Twitch. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll raid somebody, and it's like, like, I'll be in a stream, and they'll raid somebody, and they're like, I'll watch them for a little bit. A lot of you found me through YouTube as well. I found you through YouTube, I bet I'm the only one. I bet that you are probably, like, one of probably over half the people that are here. I guess maybe we still have some residue. That's not a nice word to use. I guess we still have a little bit of uh, sewage runoff from Megan Crossing stream that are still here, but other than that, man, probably most of you found me on YouTube. But thank you to those who stuck around. I'm sewage, that's me! I found Dag through YouTube. I, I reckon most of you did. I, I reckon most of you did. Sewage runoff is better than residue? No, man, that was the joke. That was the, that was the joke. You slutty goth twat. Oh, you're talking about Rhonda. I thought you were talking about me. This is the first stream I've watched, but I've watched the YouTube videos a hundred times. Well, I appreciate that. A lot of people are like, Oh, not me watching your full museum speedrun video for the 100th time. And I'm like, do you want me to feel like... Like, is this a bad thing? That's a great thing for me. <laughs> That's ad revenue, baby. What are you talking about? Not me, binging all of Dagnall's YouTube videos for, you know, the 100,000th time, and I'm like, Paul Gruce, dude, hell yeah. Happy for you. A watering can to Patty. Your YouTube videos hit so different than other YouTubers doing Animal Crossing challenges? I don't know of any other Animal Crossing channels that do challenges. I'm not saying I'm the only one, I'm sure that they're out there, but I don't know of any other ones myself. If there are other ones out there, then I'm curious to see, like, the format of how they do it and what they do, basically. That's Pudge. Wait, what am I doing? P Patty was down here. 
help me fall asleep when I have insomnia. I'd love to hear it. Love to hear it. I appreciate that. The others are basic. Well, I don't want to call them out. Like, don't insult them. I'm just curious. Koromora is doing all villager photos challenge. She's getting a photo from every villager without online play. All right, I've, I've, so, I've people have talked about this before, and, but it was like a couple of weeks ago before when we last talked about it. All respect to Koromora for that one. That's insane. Like that is like actual you. <laughs> You are, you're, you're a nutcase sort of level challenge. Like, trust me when I say I've, I've done some pretty egregious challenges before. I'm never touching that. Like, I'm, I would not even consider touching that. She enjoys, if she enjoys it, then that's all that matters, man. But I hope she also recognizes that that's a little bit crazy. Like, that's, whew. my goodness. I mean, I do some pretty stupid shit. Not that it's stupid, but I do some pretty wild shit, man. Rotating every... Vi yeah, you'll need to, like... Oh, say, if you're doing without online, then you're doing it by naturally moving in every villager onto your island, which that is a fucking pain in the ass enough. You're befriending them to a level to where you can get their picture, and then you're actually getting their picture, and any of those one of those three things is a total fucking crapshoot. She knows. Oh, no, I know she knows, but to the people that don't really understand what that's asking for, like, that is absolutely, like, ridiculous. Like, that is insane. It sounds like hell. It doesn't sound like I would enjoy it, but if she enjoys it, that's on her. Girl boss has got a girl boss out there, you know? It's meant to be a calculation thingy of how to best get the photo. Even with, like, the most optimal way of doing it, it's still, like, all luck. It's not like you can, like, really... I don't know, I really don't feel like you can do that in an efficient way and still guarantee that you're gonna get it. But all of their photos? Yeah. Posters is one thing, because all you have to do is move them in. And even that's a pain in the ass enough. But photos where you have to befriend them? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Tom Nook gives Boomer energy? Nah, he's actually a pretty nice guy. Actually a pretty nice guy. Alright, I said after I'm doing the chores, I'm gonna use the bathroom, take a quick break here. So, I'm gonna do just that. Oh! Enjoy therapy, Lily. Enjoy therapy. Ah! Alright. Let's... Get through this music so you don't have to listen to this while I'm gone. There we go. Get the good, get the good, uh, noon music here. I'm gonna run some ads while I'm gone here. Don't go anywhere. I'm gonna be back in a couple of minutes for some city folk, and we're gonna start knocking out some of the fish that we're getting an Uber Eats ad at 11. Ain't it? I'm hungry now. That's actually like the worst time to get an Uber Eats ad because there's no better time with which to be ordering some Uber Eats than like 11 p.m., overpaying for some shit quality Chinese food that you could go and down the street and get. But you don't wanna leave your house at 11 p.m. Get out of here. Crazy. Anyway, not to be too specific or anything like that. I'd like to select confirm if you don't mind. Thank you. Whenever I play Stardew, I use the wiki. If you are playing Stardew and you don't have, like, seven wiki tabs open at the very least while you play, then are you really even playing Stardew? I got the Cuphead Geico ad this time. What is the Cuphead Geico ad? What? I'm craving yellow cake with chocolate frosting. Cannot DoorDash that. Well, that's probably a blessing in disguise then. That's probably a blessing in disguise, I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's, uh, I don't know, maybe they're looking out for you. Because maybe your brain, your brain knows that it's probably not best for you to go and, you know, get a yellow cake with some chocolate frosting right now. You know, or at least your wallet knows it's not a good idea. Your brain, your body wants it. What is this? I'm not clicking on this link, owls. What is this? What the fuck? Cuphead, I must say, this boss battle, it doesn't inspire fear. I mean, look at it, it's cute. Oh my, 
It's not cute. Nah, it's not cute at all. I much prefer my bosses. We get to tell people how easy it is to switch and save with Geico. <laughs> In performance. Say, do you want to teach me that dance? Uh, what do you think of this? Hey, eh? I'm getting the hang of this, aren't I? Geico. Switch today and see all the ways you could save. What the fuck, man? The corporation is hip? That's so fucked up, dude. I've never seen that in my life. That's so fucked up. Corporate integrity is gone, man. I love meaningless collabs. It's just not something I would have expected to see today, man. Just not something I would have expected to see. It was a Geico Cuphead collab YouTube video. That's, yeah, that wasn't exactly on the list of things that I thought I was going to see today. Hmm. All right, well, yeah, I guess corporate integrity never existed. That's pretty true, um, et cetera. We need a pike, which I think is going to be bigger than a black bass. Also, my thing is messed up. Fuck. My ass and my hole. Shit! My ass and my hole. I think we were at 62, right? It was 62. Does God exist is what I think after that. A good, a good god above would not put that on the earth. A good god above would not want that to be seen. Like, if it's God's will to put a Geico co collab cuphead advertisement out there, then I don't know. I don't know what divine being above would want that. What if she did it for the laughs? What if she did it for the laughs? You're welcome, Dagnall. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. I don't want to fuck or shit your asshole. Alright. I mean, that's probably a good thing. What are you doing? Exclamation point challenge. I should probably put it in the title of the stream, but I'm trying to catch every fish across the entire series. So 93 unique fish. I mean, I actually don't think this could be anything. We need something to be like a size 2, which is a surgeon fish, a butterfly fish... We also need something that's sea bass size, which could be a moray eel or a ray. So, size 2 and sea bass size fish. Mans be fishing. We do be kind of fishing, though. That is true. But yeah, so there's 93 unique fish across the entire Animal Crossing series. If a fish debuted in a certain game... For example, this is the first game that uh, the pike, neon tetra, surgeon fish, butterfly fish, moray eel, and ray... We're introduced to the series, so this has got to be the game that we catch those at. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to catch all those fish. City Folk? It's a great game. I'm always happy to come back to City Folk. It, like, holds up graphically pretty well. It's just nice to play. There's no input delay. I get to use the... Oh. Well, she goes, like, cross-eyed when she can't catch cast her fish. I get to use the Wii mode, dude. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I like this game, dude. If I could, like, go back and play... An Animal Crossing game? This would be up there, man. Like, not name New Horizons, of course. I think about K-pop groups debuting. Huh? Interesting. I don't- I'm not a K-pop kind of guy myself, though. God, this music is so good, man. It's so good. How you doing, Bounty Manus? I'm about to deliver a litter of puppies in this game. Wish me luck, y'all. Good luck. Thank you for clarifying that you're doing that in-game. I was very confused for a good, like, five seconds there. You could probably see, like, a loading symbol above my, like, forehead pop up there as I was trying to process what the fuck you were talking about. This pregnant-ass dog just laying on the table. Hey, best of luck, man. Best of luck. Good luck with the- yeah, good luck with your dogs, man. I hope it goes well. I hope it goes well. Please go to the city. That's not the challenge. Challenge ain't called go to the city. The game's called let's go to the city, but that ain't the challenge. Yeah, I gotta catch fish, man. There ain't no fishing in the city. This dog is weirdly realistic and then has anime eyes. <laughs> Love to hear it, man. Thank you. Love to hear it. Pike? Nope. Yeah, I mean, like, seen a fish that I can catch. 
What challenge is this? Exclamation point challenge. But the city, Mr. Dagnall? Like, I understand. The city's, like, kind of popping. The city's pretty awesome. But maybe after I catch all the fish I need. Maybe after I catch all the fish I need. You know what? I'm only, like, exploring half the ocean, man. Maybe I should go to, like, the other half of the ocean. But I don't really think that there's a good way to, like, get to the other half. I mean, I am getting, like, most of it covered. And there is a bridge, so never mind. I hope the next AC game goes back to looking a small town outside the city vibes. Yeah, I'm not, like... I don't know. I think the uh, the concept of, like, an uh, abandoned island is kind of cool, but... I do kind of miss... I, I wish that you could, like, get a choice, you know? In that you could do, like, an abandoned island sort of vibe. Nice, moray eel. Cool. You could do, like, a small city sort of thing like you have in City Folk and Wild World and, well, every game before New Horizons, I suppose. Or something else. I don't know what else they would do, but, you know, something like that would be kind of cool. I mean, sure, this could be a butterfly fish or a surgeon fish, so maybe. Imagine fishing in the sewers in Stardew. That's how you get uh, the one of the legendary fish, man. That's how you get one of the legendary fish, I think. Hmm. Not what I'm looking for. Now that's a moray. The more I think about it, the more I want AC and L on the Switch. I really hope that. I talked about this before. I hope that there's like a virtual console for the 3DS in the future. Ideally, one without an insane amount of input lag. Like, you know, every virtual console has on the Switch so far. But, you know, kind of cool. Hey, Sarah. Five months. Thank you for making my You're days better with these streams. You're very welcome. Thank you so much for the five months in a row. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Always happy to help. Thank you very much. And enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. I suggested this challenge. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Well, thank you. I think a few people have suggested this challenge, but it was a good idea. It was a good idea. So, good thinking. I think the Switch is perfect for a VC. I mean, that's honestly, like, the weakest part of the Switch is the fact that it really doesn't have virtual consoles for a lot of older Nintendo consoles. Like, it has the NES and the SNES. It has a select few amount of N64 games if you have, like, the premium online service that I forget the name of. And then, that's it? Like, of course, some games were remastered from like, you know, for the Switch, but I don't really consider that to be a virtual console. I don't know. What's your opinion on, opinions on hyenas? Uh, they're fine, man. I've never found one in real life, though. I reckon I wouldn't like it very much if I did. Stream Deck is a king, is king emulation console? Yeah, that's what I've heard, and, or Steam Deck, of course, but that's what I've heard, and it's, con it's made me consider getting one, but... Nah, that's too small. I don't know what I'm catching this for. It's made me consider getting one, but nothing has truly convinced me to get a Steam Deck yet. Alright, salmon season. I'm surprised I haven't seen a salmon then. Have you ever played Overcooked? No, that game looks way too stressful for me, man. That's one of those games where, like, if you're not, like, at the tip-top of managing everything at every given time, everything's gonna fall apart and you're gonna die. Kind of like RimWorld. Kind of like... I don't know, like a lot of simulation-y games. Overcooked is, like, stressful. I've watched people play Overcooked, and I'm, like, stressed out watching it. Because, oh, your 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 oh, your beef is burning, man. You gotta get over there. Oh, no, your veggies! You just dropped your veggies on the ground! The customer's about to walk out, man! I, it's so stressful, dude. It's so stressful. I can't, like, I can't, I can't even look at that game without, like, stressing myself out, let alone playing it myself play Elden Ring. Elden Ring, funnily enough, would be more casual for me than something like Overcooked. Because at least in Elden Ring, there's no, like, rush to do things, right? It's super fun to play, though. Good kind of stress? I don't know, man. I don't know if there's good kind of stress out there. Overcooked looks really fun with friends. Yeah, like, maybe with friends. And even then, like, you're gonna ruin friendships doing it. The stream deck looks insanely huge. I'm pretty sure it is a mighty big box. Yo, what's up, your local Dracula? How are you doing? Sorry, I had to parse that one for a second. 
It's the kind of stress that helps you bond with people. <laughs> I've never found stress to be a bonding practice, but maybe. Maybe. Me and my brother may play Overcooked together. That's like a way of, like, sibling rivalry developing. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I could do that myself. They're all about rhythm, and it's so easy to play them casually. Like, honestly, they're pretty casual games. College is about bonding through stress. That's pretty true. That's pretty true. That could be a king salmon, maybe. But not that I need a king salmon. Could be a ray, which is really why I want it. That's pretty true. I suppose there is stress bonding out there. Please look at my... Thank you. Sports can be bonding through stress. Yeah, especially during playoff season. What's your opinion on, like, Tim Burton films? I'm not a big, like, Tim Burton kind of guy. Like, I'm, like, maybe the only person in the world who's in the mid- who, who's in their mid-twenties who never had, I like, a subscribe. Nightmare Before a Christmas phase. Love your content, Dagnall. So, they're really Greets not from Argentina, my thing. Love. Yo. Thank you, Nico. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Nope. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Enjoy your emotes, enjoy your ad-free viewing, and hope, uh, hope all is well over there in Argentina. Like, I'm probably, like, the only dude in the middle of my 20s who, like, never had a Nightmare Before Christmas phase where my entire, you know, wardrobe was built at the Hot Topic. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really a big Tim Burton kind of guy. I hate Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm not gonna say I hate it, because hate's a strong word. I don't like that movie, though. I don't like that movie. And I feel as though, like, I'm angering the souls of a thousand Hot Topic employees every time I say that, but... I don't- I don't like that movie very much. I don't like that movie very much. What's up, Femket Jeeks? How are you doing? And thank you for the hydrate. We appreciate how this man can fish and hold conversations at the same time. It's not that hard, man. It's not that hard. You giving me too much credit. That movie scared me as a kid, and now I hate claymation because of it. I think the claymation is like really well done. That's one thing that you really can't knock that movie for. It's beautiful in the way that like its animation is so well done. I just don't like the movie, like, the actual movie itself. I just, just not really a fan. I don't know. The how this is Halloween, this is, yeah, like, that is the fucking official theme song of everybody when I was in sixth grade, man. It got a little bit annoying after a while. Playing City Folk for fun? No, we're trying to catch all the fish that were first introduced to the Animal Crossing Hi, series streamer. in Dagnall City Folk. Walks. Jesse! Thank you very much. For the three months in a row. How are you doing today? Thank you very much. Enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. That's, that's too small to be a ray. Uh, what's that behind there? It's too small. That's too small. Surely. Yeah, that's way too small. Thank you, Jesse. I appreciate that. I hope you're doing well. Corpse Bride animation? Yeah, like Corpse Bride. Like, it's the same thing, where it's like, I'm not a big fan of the movie, but you can't knock the visuals of it, man. It's so good. Ray, darling. Hello as well. How are you doing? I prefer Corpse Bride more. I, I don't I'm not a big fan of either, to be honest with you. I'm not really, like... I don't know. It's not a Tim Burton kind of guy. Coraline. I actually have never seen Coraline, so I really can't, like, knock Coraline. But... Nah. Nah. I'm not a big fan. Physical. Thanks for the raid. How was your stream? Thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. I hope you're doing well today. Thank you. Thank you. This is about to be... Oh, shit. That's way too big. That Wait, that's huge. I don't know what that could... Be that I need, but I guess it's a good test of my fishing skill to catch it. I, I do need a Napoleon fish, but there's no way that that's a Napoleon fish. Because I don't think that they're available in September. That's, that's a thicky boy, yeah. That's a thicky boy. 
Well, <laughs> I suck. All right, well, it's a good thing that I didn't need that. What could that... I guess that could have been a blue marlin or a... Just a blue marlin. In fact, I think it had to have been a blue marlin, which I don't need. So luckily for me, I fucked it up, but no harm, no foul, I suppose. Ray? Ray Romano? Okay, not quite. It's all right, though. I guess we'll never know. No, I'm like, it has to be a blue marlin. I don't think anything else could be that size fish. Like, during this time in the year. September, noon, can't be a tuna. I think it's too early in the year to be a tuna. Can't be Napoleon fish. I think that's gotta be a blue marlin. Ray? Shit. It's a, yeah, it's a more Ray eel. Sorry, I must... I guess the confusion was fair enough then, huh? Alright, third chance. Third, third tries the charm. Didn't Henry Selleck direct both? Direct both? Both what? Coraline is good, but I like Corpse Bride better. That's fair. Isn't... Nah. Help. Ep. 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 Ray? Dirt! Why are we still in the capitalist uniform? Because I sold my original shirt to pay for the dang fishing rod. I'm a corporate shill, man. I'm a corporate shill. Oh, I wear my, my corporation proudly on my chest, and I do serve my boss. Yes, sir. I serve my boss. I am a proud bootlicker. Sea bass are so rare. So true. That's so true. Hang on, is this another big, thick boy? That is another big, thick boy. Holy shit! Damn! Well, fuck my ass. At that, that time, I didn't even jump too fast. I, I was too slow, if anything. Jesus Christmas. God damn. All right. Man, we played this game as kids? Like, we completed the entire fish critterpedia in this game? Like, as kids? As, like, little infants? And me and my adult ass can't even, like, catch a damn... <laughs> can't even catch a damn fucking blue marlin? Christ. What were we doing, man? We were cracked. We must have been eating our damn Wheaties, man. Now, this could be a pike, so let's be careful. Let's, let's do focus here a minute. Can't save state in this game, so... Yeah. It's, it's, it's one shot, one opportunity. Sees everything you ever wanted. He, he's, like, squirming around, dude. Like, every second, he's, like, moving. Like, what's up, man? Why are you, like... What, what's up with you? Just relax. Okay. I'm gonna focus. I'm so... <sighs> yeah, I have Igly in my town. Yeah, I'm kind of angry. Um, fishing in this game is actually pretty easy, and like I'm just doing bad. Like I'm just, I'm just really bad. It got away. No, no, it didn't even get away. Like I'm just so jumpy with pressing the damn A button that I like, I'm, I'm, I miss. I just suck. I, I just suck. I'm bad. Okay, that could be sea butterfly, not sea butterfly, but butterfly fish or surgeon fish. Butterfly fish, surgeon fish. Willow branch, thank you. Thank you for the three months in a row. Appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, he's gonna bite. Right here. Boom. Urgh, you're not using nice the me streamer. face? That's so true. Well. I'm not using the me face. Oh, I bet if I was using the me face. Mm, that's pretty true. Your your fishing skills are enhanced when you use the me face. That's pretty true, actually. I think I gotta go to the city, get the me face. That's actually so true. Do I have enough fish to sell? In order to get the me face? I think I can, right? I think I can. The horse mackerel. Yeah, that this haircut's a little rough. Honestly, I think that it's what's holding me back here. I think I need to go to the city and get 
the makeover, which is to get the me face here. I think that's actually so true. All right, let me go do that. I think that's the secret. I think that's the secret to better fishing here. Let's go do that. I got damn three arms on my head. It's called style, sweetheart. Look it up. This game's from 2008. Most of y'all don't remember, okay? This is this was the hot look back in the day. This was the hot look back in the day. You just need to get rid of that yee ass haircut. I do need to get rid of this haircut, man. I gotta get the dang me face. All right, let's go to the city. Go to the city. I mean, that is the name of the game. All right, check it out. Wait, wait, wait. I need to sell my fish first. I need to sell my fish because this isn't like. How how much is it to how much is it to get a get the makeover? I, I remember getting a haircut. I think it was three thousand. Is it the same for a makeover as well? Because I gotta sell all these fish. Yeah, isn't it like three k? Your life savings? Well, that's basically that three k is basically my life savings here. So it's pretty accurate. All right. Yeah. That sh this should be enough. I mean, the two moray eels, if nothing else, that should be enough, right? Those are pretty pricey. Those are pretty pricey. Sixty-two ninety. Yeah, that'll be enough. All right, let's go, boys. We're going to the city. It reminds me of that dude from Spy Kids. This hairstyle reminds you of that dude from Spy Kids. All right, I am racking my brain trying to turn back the clock trying to remember whatever i can about spy kids to try to conceive in my brain who the hell you could be thinking of from spy kids that looks like this and i got nothing man i got nothing you're talking about the guy from spy kids one i uh, it's been so long man like it's been so long Ooh, just you know, I didn't catch a pike, psych. Oh shit, he got me, dude. He actually got me. I'm like, wait, is that not a pike? He had me doubting myself. All right, cool. Well, that's, now we don't even need to worry about the river anymore. The guy, nope, doesn't ring a bell. The guy is from Spy Kids 3, played by motherfucking, what's his name? Played by, um, Bilbo Baggins from The Hobbit? What the fuck? Elijah Wood. I can put it in the disc if you want. Yeah, please do, because I am dying to know what the hell my Animal Crossing character looks like as far as the guy from Spy Kids. Alexander Minion? Oh! Is that the guy who... Is that the guy who was, like, the leader of the Thumb Thumbs? Oh, that was that Frodo? My bad. What? Interesting. There's a- okay, like, first of all... He- okay, yeah, that's the leader of the Thumb Thumbs? No, that's Mr. Floop! Anyway, I'm blown away at the fact that there is a Spy Kids wiki. Like, you linked- you linked me a, to the Spy Kids wiki, which that's already crazy enough, man. That, you know, this guy existed. And the fact that there's a Spy Kids wiki with 249 pages of content. Good God. Like, we, we really out here. We, re we really out here. Motherfucking Jesus Christ. All right, well, get that out of here. I don't need that. It's in Rowdy. We have only appropriate channel. All right, well, thanks for letting me know that that existed. We should be at, what, 64, I think? How fast can I get it up to 64? There's a wiki for everything. That's pretty true. 64. I think that's right, at least. Yeah, I'm the last that moved to town. Yep. What doesn't have a 249-page wiki these days? Certainly not me. You missed a resub? Yo, no, I, I sent... I, I'm sorry. I, I missed it, kind of, Willow Branch. But, uh, thank you very much for the three months. I'm sorry, I did miss that resub, kind of. I... Oh, wait. And I think I missed Jesse as well, maybe? Am I bad? 
I'm sorry, if I miss Jesse Hamilton's resub, or Willow Branch's resub, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I may have been dis distracted, but thank you so much. Thank you, both of you. I don't mean to miss it. I might have just been distracted at the moment. All right, boys, it's the city. Let's go get our me mask. Let's go get our fishing enhancing me mask. Yo, we got some Paul villagers in the city. We got Pippi, Rod, Blair, Mitzi? You got me? Okay, okay. Well, I'm sorry to Willow Branch then. I'm sorry about that. Days of spamming B when Captain wouldn't shut up on the bus. Good times, man. Good times. He missed your resub. It's 100% personal. So true. So true. I actually hate my viewers exposed. I'm in the mood for a total makeover, please. Yes. Transform you to look just like a me. This is such a bad feature, man. This was such a bad feature. Why did this exist? This was such a bad feature. Can you pick out a makeover model from the album? Sure, um, let's see. We got, okay, well there's me. Like, this is me. And then I used to have a redemption for viewers to make themselves. So, a lot of these are like, y'all. I mean, there's Rossetti. There's Dwight from The Office. There's, I think this was a challenge to make the ugliest me possible. This is Isabel, which, you know, that's the best I could do, man. A lot of these are viewers or, like, viewer requests. I want die? Wait, is that what it was called? I want die? Wait, where is, is that, where do you see their names? That's the name of the ugly one, is it? Where do you see that? Interesting. It looks like a penis, kind of. Oh, that's from RT- oh, Right, right, that is! Yeah, that was somebody's request. That's not my work, then. Um... I don't know, man. Which... I guess just do me? <laughs> like... Let's do the Dagnal style, man. Yeah, that's Rooster Teeth's me. Yeah, I remember now. That's horrible, man. It's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> the size of these heads. <laughs> Why was this a feature? <laughs> it's so nasty. <laughs> it's just bad. You can even, like, have, like, a nice-looking me. And still just, like, they'll never look good, man. They'll never look good. None of them will ever look right. They're just, they're all bad. They're all bad. The male head on a female body. Well, I can make, like, a damn supermodel me, and it's still gonna look like shit. Like, how does Captain even recognize me? BRB, gonna go shid myself? Go enjoy that, man. Have a good time. This hurts? It's real. <laughs> How were the city? Your first visit to the glimmer glamour of the big lights. Did I, did I see anyone that made my heart go R? No, not really, man. Sorry. Not really. Literally 70% head. The head is like pretty fucking obese. Yeah, it's pretty huge. Oh, wait, remember when I said we don't need a river fish anymore? I lied. We still need a neon tetra. We still need a neon tetra. Although, I gotta say, that is pretty me. Like, that... This me is me. Like, that is just me. It looks like me. Everything about it. The sad face when he can't cast the fishing rod. It, that's pretty me. There's no denying that. I did do a pretty bang-up job on the actual me itself, but, you know, that don't mean that it looks good in-game. I can't wait to see you explain this one. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. It's, I mean, it's a simple explanation. You just fish better when you have a me mask. It's simply just, it, it's that easy of an explanation. I saw Pippi. Yeah, Pippi was in the city. She's not in my town, though. Yeah, so I need a neon tetra, which I think would be one smaller than this size fish, but... 
Just because I'm not 100% sure. I'll catch it. Just because. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. How you guys doing today? How you guys doing today? Hope you're all enjoying Animal Crossing City, folk. Imagine if Chow was in the city. If he moves in at some point, then I will give five gift subs. If at some point Chow moves into my city folk town, I'll give five gift subs. How's that sound? Thank you for being background noise while I do some late work for my class. Hell yeah, dude. A lot of you guys might still be in school. And more power to you. I think it's like a lot of college kids are being let out around now, but high school, you probably, I don't know. When I was in high school, we still had like another month by this point. We got out in like early June, early to mid June. But then in college, we were out like sometime in May. So I don't know. Really kind of depends on what stage of your education that you're at, that you might still be in school or not. Exam time is nothing but pain. Yeah. I don't miss that time of the year, but I don't know. Just in general, I don't really miss college, so... It all kind of blends into one very unhappy time in my life. We got out, like, May 20th in high school? That's so early for high school. That's so early. It's almost 7 p.m. Eastern. People on the West Coast, who's in school right now? Yeah, I mean, I'm not talking about, like, literally right this minute, but, like, just kind of... Your semester is still ongoing, is more what I meant. I just kind of meant, like, your semester is... You're still in school for the semester. Last day for high schoolers here is June 9th. Yeah, that sounds like what we would get out in high school. Before Memorial Day, and then you went back after Labor Day, generally. So, Labor Day is, like, very early September most of the time. You'd be... You'd be back in school, like, after Labor Day. That's too small. Not done until June 24th. That's so sad. That's so sad. My college semester finished today. There you go. It's about that time for a lot of y'all. It's always the end of June for me. That's miserable. Hi. Oh, yeah. So we take Stanley to the tennis courts at the local high school. And we have to do it after dark, though, because you're not technically allowed. First of all, we're kind of, like, breaking into school property, like, after hours. Not that I would ever admit to a crime. But all I'm saying is that, like, sometimes what we'll do is we'll take Stanley to the tennis courts, like, at night. And we'll, like, throw the ball around for him. He really likes going to the tennis courts. And all I'm saying is that while it is kind of like technically trespassing, they also leave the gate open for just random people to walk in and do exactly as we do. So I don't know, man. They don't exactly like lock things up tight to prevent these exact things from happening, you know? Yeah, I don't think that they're open to the public, but when they leave the gate open to the public, you're essentially leaving it open to the public, is all I'm saying. I'm not breaking and entering, okay? I'm not breaking anything. I'm simply just entering, okay? It's just entering. Did he say, hey, fatty, bo baddy to that olive flounder? Holy shit. He just fat shamed an olive flounder. You know what he said? Actually, he's probably, hey, flatty, bo baddy. <laughs> I thought he just... I, I thought he was fat shaming an olive flounder. <laughs> feel like shit for a couple of days because of COVID, so the only thing I'm doing is sitting here with my tea, your voice in the background, and try to get... Hey, I hope that... I hope that you start feeling better soon. Yeah, my me is fat phobic, dude. That's fucked up. I didn't make him like that. I was lurking, I just noticed diagonal me head. Look, all I'm saying is I haven't missed a fish ever since I put the damn me hat on. I haven't missed a fish ever since I put the damn me mask on. I've been sick for a few months? Jesus. I've never been sick for more than, like, a week. Not as, like, a flex, but I think that's just, like, kind of normal. Like, a week-long sickness is, like, a bad sickness. A month? Few months? You might need to, like... I mean, I'm sure that you've already taken the right actions, but, like... I don't know, man. It might be a... Not to cause any health anxiety, but, like, something might be wrong, man. About to miss one of these next few? Nah, check it out. I ain't gonna miss another one the whole stream. Guarantee it. Yeah, I'm too distracted by how ugly the meat is. I can't even fish right. 
Been to the doctor a few times? That's crazy, dude. That's wild. No germs, no cavities. That's pretty true. I'm pretty clean. Most that I've gotten sick was like five days. My worst illnesses have been like a week. Usually it's only for like a couple of days. Like if I'm just getting like a cold, it'll be for like a couple of days and I'll be all right. But if it's like a, I don't know, like a bad, I don't even know if like the flu, like a bad cold. I don't think I've ever had like the flu proper. Oh, the Hello Fresh is here. Thank you. Ooh. I don't think I've ever had like a bad flu, to be honest with you. I, people's descriptions of the flu are like, literally, I was bedridden, shitting out of both of my ends for like a week straight. I'm like, oh man, I really haven't ever had it that bad. I really ever haven't had it that bad. So, maybe I've never had the flu. Maybe my flus that I thought I had were just bad colds. I don't know. Hey, Dick, you want to like... Please. Please. Just look. Just, what? You're so far out, man. <laughs> like, you are just... Why are you, like, a mile offshore? Alright. We're good. I've had the stomach flu twice, and it was the worst I ever felt. Like, I can't say that I've ever had something that was, like, truly miserable. How can you change your character? It's the makeover option at the salon in the city, but I would highly recommend never doing it because it's terrifying. It's truly is horrible. Blue B and she was knocked straight off her ass for like a week and a half. Yeah, I've never had it to be like that bad. Stop drifting, please. There you go. I hope you never get the stomach flu. I hope so, no, I hope so too. I, I really, uh, I also really hope I never do. I'm also, like, emetophobic, so I'm, like, washing my hands a hundred times a day. Never, like, eating undercooked food. Never, I, I'm always, like, generally pretty careful with, like, what I expose myself to, so... I don't know. I, I do everything in my ability, and I guess it's, it's worked so far, because I've never been, like, truly, truly horribly sick. Wait, that's really tiny. Like, that's the size fish that I need in, like, the river for a Neon Tetra. What the hell could this be? Surely not anything I need, right? Not a butterfly fish. It's too small to be a butterfly fish. Yeah, I don't need that. What's on the menu for HelloFresh this week? I, I'd have to pull it up. I don't know off the top of my head. When I go on vacation last week, I had bad lower GI issues. Yeah, don't they say that that'll happen if you, like, go to a different place and, like, try drinking, like, the tap water? Because your body ain't used to it or something? I'm surprised I haven't gotten food poisoning with the stuff that I'll eat without a second thought. Like... I don't want to goof on you, but, like, why are you eating things that you know might get you, like, food poisoning, but you just do it without even thinking? That's a honker, dude. He's so big. Why don't you just be putting things in your mouth without second thought, without careful thought? Like, Jesus Christ, I can't imagine. Because I don't want to waste food. It's one thing to, like, waste food. It's another thing to, like, not eat something that might get you potentially sick. I feel like there is a difference. Yeah, Megalodon, potentially. Probably a Blue Marlin, but I would like to... I would like to have it, like, look at my bobber here so that we can really tell. The taste outweighs the sickness after. From people's descriptions of food poisoning, no. I don't think the tastiest thing in the world would ever make it... So that food poisoning is worth it. I've known people that are like that. I have an aunt who has claimed to try like raw like organs, like raw animal organs before. And she's like, oh my god, it's it tastes so good that the food poisoning that you might get from it is so worth it. I'm like, I don't think anything in this world tastes so good that having like horrible food sickness after is worth it like ever i'm starting to actually get like furious with these fish in this game like this is ridiculous dude come on like you don't like look you don't look 
Like, is this fish, like, actually blind? Like, what is going on? He's always moving around. This is insane. Like, every time I cast my line, he's in, like, a new fucked up position. The city full camera? It's not even the cam- and all that, and I just fucking bin it, because I'm really good at this game. And there's another one. There's another fucking big honker. What the fuck? Alright, maybe they're not so rare, then. Well, let's spend another five minutes trying to get this guy. How are you today? I'm alright, man. I'm alright. I'll eat food that's been on the floor for like 10 seconds or when something expired. It, I will not eat something expired. Like, that's just kind of like a personal rule of mine. Like, I don't know. I'm too freaked out by it. Damn! Like, dude, I wasn't even that slow! Look back on it. Look back on that footage and tell me. I wasn't even that slow. Like, I pulled that trigger pretty fucking quick. And there's another one! What the fuck? Why is there, like, now I'm just, now I'm overreacting because it's so fast. I wasn't even that slow. I was pulling up that damn rod, like, pretty much as soon as he pulled my line down. I need, like, a hundredth of a second reaction time. That's so fucked up. <laughs> New leaf? You gotta close your eyes? Bro, I, like, I wasn't looking at the screen. I was going completely by sound and also by the vibration of the Wii remote. Like, I was going by sound. He was still having none of it, dude. Like, my favorite Canadian province. But now I need to leave and help with dinner? I'll leave stream open? Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. I don't even know why I was trying to catch it. I don't need whatever the hell it is. Because it can't be a Napoleon fish, which is the only thing that th that is that size that I need. Zero of three? Bro, it's like zero of five at this point in this stream. <laughs> I've missed so many of those fish. Which, luckily, I don't need them, but I will need a Napoleon fish, which is that size at some point. And I'm like, well, fuck. If that's how it's gonna be, then I'm screwed. I'm eating month-expired pork? If you actually are, then you know what, man? Better you than me. You, you have fun. I wish you no food poisoning. Gotta go to sleep now? Enjoy your sleep. Enjoy your sleep. Like, month expired something? That's different from, like, a day expired, man. Like, that's... Hmm. I don't know. There's a difference there. Alright, surgeon fish, please. Surgeon fish. Surgeon fish? Nope. Not a surgeon fish, but luckily there was another fish the exact same size right next to it. Okay, and when I say right next to it, I mean, like, literally right there. Okay, need a surgeon fish, or a butterfly fish for that matter. Surgeon fish or butterfly fish, I'm cool with either. I'm cool with either. You haven't been building your expiration immunity. That's alright, man. Now, I'll just, like, eat my food before it expires. People be fishing for your reaction to nasty things that they may or may not have done? No. No. Not really. These tropical fish- those tropical fish? Yeah, they're tropical fish, but you can catch them in September. Don't have to be like- I think September is kind of like a summer season treated as like in this game, so. And there's no island or anything like that, so I don't really know what I would be doing wrong. I don't think I am doing anything wrong. Could be a ray. It's fun- yeah, that's like sea bass, ray, moray, eel size. Could be a ray. You should always freeze your meat for 48 to 72 hours minimum. Damn it. Because it helps kill bacteria and parasites. Doesn't kill them all, but it helps. It should be in the deep freeze and not in your standard fridge freezer. I don't have, like, a cryogenic freezer, if that's what you're asking me to get, man. I'm not gonna freeze my meat in a cryogenic freezer. Like, I, I, I don't know, man. Like, I'll just eat it before it goes bad. That's generally my, like, line of thinking. Please. Your intricate explanation of lick my asshole and what it means in, like, three different ways was beautiful. I don't know what you're talking about, man, but thanks. I appreciate- oh, what can I say? I have a way with words, man. 
Yo, welcome back, Lily. Welcome back. I wish Chad a good night, and you too. Yo, you have a good night. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. That was a very short session. I don't know. How long are y'all's therapy sessions? Usually, mine are 50 minutes. And assuming that you don't have to, like, drive there, and it's, like, completely online and virtual, it's, like, 50 minutes is pretty, pretty typical, really. Yeah, 45. I don't know, like, why are they, why can you only find therapy sessions that are in, like, one-hour blocks? Like, is there, like, a five-hour marathon therapy session out there that you could do? I don't know. The shrink where 50 minutes is an hour? I don't know, I guess it's probably for, like, efficiency's sake for the therapist to only make it, like, 50 minutes a pop. But, like, I don't know. What if, like, there was a therapist out there that instead of putting a time limit on there, the client can say, okay, I would like to be done now. Like, it could be 30 minutes if they want it to be 30 minutes. It could be five hours if they wanted it to be five hours. And then they would charge them depending on how long. That's not how therapy works. Do explain to me why that wouldn't work. I don't know, because I'm genuinely just spitballing here. Probably for self-care, the therapist to not have five-hour sessions with their clients. I suppose therapists are not immune to the emotional stress that might come from their job. I suppose that's pretty true. Insurance only covers 45 to an hour sessions. Well, joke's on them. My insurance don't cover shit. What's up, Static? I don't really, I don't, I don't really care what you have to say. Just don't really care. What is self-care? Dagmo spends way more than five hours doing things for IR Entertainment. Yeah, but, like, not a day. I'll do, like, a challenge that'll take quite a while, but I'll do it over the course of several days. I'm not, like, doing what I do at the compromise of my own mental health, I promise you. Mm-hmm. Sure you do, Dag? I don't know. Still psychoanalysts that see clients five days a week? Like, what would be the step from going from therapy to psychoanalyst? Like, at what point do you go to a psychoanalyst instead of just, like, a psychiatrist or a therapist? Like, that's gotta be like... Like, what do psychoanalysts do? Do they, like, hook you up to, like... <laughs> I don't know, they, 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 like, probe your brain with a bunch of shit and then hook you up to a machine? Monitor your brain waves? Analyze people to find out all your assumptions are wrong? It's a different way to approach therapy? That's kind of scary. It sounds like a fake- yeah, it sounds fake, but I assume it's probably real. To get around regulations? Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. It often has to do with childhood more than other perspectives, I see. But I still think that, like, a lot of that can be done in therapy as well. Of course, like, you know, different strokes of different folks, but still. It's a pseudoscience, I see. I wanna- like, pseudoscience is one of those words that I see occasionally, I'm just like, yeah, I know what that means, knowing full well I don't know what the fuck that means. Like, pseudo means, like, kind of. And then science, I mean, it's science, so it's, like, kind of science. I don't know, man, I don't know what the fuck pseudoscience is. I just see it occasionally, and I'm like, hmm, yeah, pseudoscience, hmm. Makes you seem smart. I have to do one of those things where they hook my brain waves up to a computer. I mean, is that not, like, what a lie detector test is? Like, they hook, like, your brain up to a computer, and they monitor your brain activity? And they're like, you know, then they're like, they ask you questions, and then you go on the Steve Wilco show, and they're like, You are not the wife. And they're like, oh, that's so fucked up. The entire crowd goes crazy. Everyone just starts fighting each other for some reason. Fake science, you know, like evolution. Winky face, winky face. What the fuck do you mean, man? Sharing this stream with my BF. Alright. This me is extremely accurate. Yeah, you right. You tend to be able to spend more time talking about the past. More often than you see your therapist, because less life happens between each session. Oh, that's a good way of looking at it, I suppose. Yeah, that's pretty true. 
If I had to do EEG test to monitor my brain because of my epilepsy, it sucked. That is kind of scary, man. They, like, be probing your brain out here. That's scary. It's a type of therapy. I mean, I don't know, man. I think I'll stick to, like, conventional going into a room, sitting on a nice, comfy couch, and then just, you know, talking about life for, like, an hour. I think I'll stick with that instead of having, like, my brain probed for its every wave. Oh, hang on. I need not you, but the other guy. There we go. I'm sorry for making therapy a topic on the stream. You didn't make therapy a topic. I did by talking about it. Hey, nice. 65. I was in a residential treatment facility where everything was therapy for basically months. Really? Hmm. Tend to talk to my therapist about how to navigate work, life, and child trauma triggers so much. It depends on the goals that you have. I suppose so. It's all about every every therapy session is different. I feel like therapy therapists and psychologists have to be like multi-talented kings and queens because, you know, people are going to be walking in there all walks of life with different... Oh, that could have been a neon treachery, you fucking idiot! All different problems in life, like be it their childhood, their adulthood, their work-life balance, their social abilities, their fucking lack of neon tetras. You know, they gotta be multi-talented kings and queens out there to be able to deal with all the different life experiences that people out there with. Yeah, like scaring away fish, for example. Some problems more severe than others, admittedly, but, you know. Still, everyone's problems are valid, no matter how serious they may be. Lots of people here play Animal Crossing, go through therapy or nurturance. Is that a sign? I think it's more like Animal Crossing is often seen as a comfort game for a lot of people. So people who may have a level of mental distress may turn to Animal Crossing more likely than they would turn to something like The Elder Scrolls IV Morrowind or something like that. I think that's the correlation there. I don't really think it's really any deeper than that. It's also just like a pretty popular game. So, people who have mental distress, or people who are just looking for a fun, casual game to play, might just turn to Animal Crossing, you know? I don't think that- I think that might be correlation, but I don't really think it's any higher than, like, any other game that's in the Animal Crossing category. I struggle with severe lack of Neon Tetras. It's rough. It's rough out here, dude. I think that's a big honker. Yeah, that's bighonkers.com. That's number three! Shit! Damn it! Urgh, my entire fucking joke is ruined! Because Morrowind is the th freaking third game. Urgh. Damn it. Array? Is that big? That's Array. I mean, shit, I'll take it, but I thought a ray was the same size as a sea bass. You're telling me all those big fish that I missed could have been rays? And I'm dumb? Oh, I didn't know rays were huge size in this game. Well, fuck. Now I just need a surgeon fish and a neon tetra. Well, shit. I thought they were the same size as sea bass. Unless that was? No, that was huge. Like, that had to be a huge... That was a huge shadow. That was not a sea bass size shadow. That was a huge one. That was giant. Then again, there's no way a ray pulls up that fast, right? Look, here's another one. There's no way a ray pulled up as fast as a lot of those fish did. I am convinced that not all those big fish that I scared or that I missed were rays, because some of them Johns pulled up so quick. You didn't tell me a ray was pulling up like instantly like that? That's insane, dude. There's no way. There's no way that all of those were rays. Some of them had to have been blue marlins or something like that. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah, okay, I'm validated because, I'm validated because now maybe I was right in not all of them being rays. Now, a couple of them probably were, but 
All right, all right, I'm validated, all right? Fuck you all, I'm valid. The ways that I feel are valid. Big fish. Imagine if there was a prediction with channel points for how many times it takes Dag to hit fish. To get fish? I mean, I could do that, but I don't know. I got my hands a little bit tied right now. I figured AC Nature's are folks who didn't play killing games or sports games. Ooh, Neon Tetra, maybe? Um, maybe. I mean, as someone who has played both killing games and sports games, I also like Animal Crossing, so... I feel like there's a lot of crossover there. That's just a guppy, man. Shit. I don't know. I've played killing games. I've played, like, GTA 5. I don't know. Like, define killing. I don't know. Like, the first thing I think is, like, GTA 5 or any of the Grand Theft Autos. I've played sports games. Like, I was playing MLB The Show 22 before stream. And now I'm playing Animal Crossing. So, I don't know. Captain... I mean, I guess, like, even Mario is a killing game. I mean, shit, you be stomping on them Goombas, man. I, fuck, I mean, like, you kill cockroaches in this game. Is Animal Crossing a killing game? Maybe we need to take a deep, dark look at ourselves, man. Realize that this cute, cuddly game that appears on the surface is maybe more than presents the eye. Breath of the Wild? Sure, I mean, I guess it is, like... that. I've killed a lot of things in Breath of the Wild. Mm, that's pretty true. Horror games? Yeah, I'm not a big horror games guy, but, you know, a lot of genres out there that I enjoy. Shooting balloons from the sky? What really is the difference between this and Call of Duty? So true. It's basically the same thing, man. Basically the same thing. Yeah, that's true. PETA did get mad at Animal Crossing for the unethical treatment of bugs and fish in this game. That's a Neon Tetra. If Iggy would move his obese fucking skull, we could see it, but there you go. 67. Nice. Cool. I feel like most games have violence in them in some way or another. Yeah, but like... Is it depicted in like a cute, cuddly way in the case of Animal Crossing? Or is it depicted in like a gory, bloody way in the way of like, Doom? What's that one game where like... Ooh. Eh, not that good. What's that one game... Where it's like, you can kill people in like, ways like shoving- Okay, I don't even know if I should talk about this. There's one game that's like, where you can like, take their like, head and you can like, put it in a- It's straight out of like, Happy Tree Friends, I swear to god. No, not Hitman, not Mortal Kombat, although Hitman can be pretty brutal sometimes. But, um... You can like, shove their head in like a damn- like, wood grinder or something like that. Or... Touchies. Oh, is straight out of, like, Happy Tree Friends. I don't think it's Yandere Simulator, man. I don't think it's that, but maybe. I don't know. I've never played it. Is it Mad World? It could be, man. Honestly, I don't remember. It might be Mad World. Yeah, Yandere Sim is banned on Twitch, but not for violence, I don't think. Yeah, I think Yandere got banned. I mean, they don't really allow, like, those kinds of games just at all, so... I'm not surprised. Not the... You, you, is it... Wait, it's, I think it's Manhunt! No, 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 I think it's Manhunt! I think you're right, I think it's actually Manhunt. Postal? No, it's kind of like that kind of esque game with his Postal, but I think it's actually Manhunt, which is a Rockstar game. So I guess it kind of makes sense. An RD2, you can feed someone to an alligator? That's kind of epic, though. That's kind of cool. And it makes me sound, like, really sadistic, doesn't it? It makes me sound really sadistic. <laughs> I don't know, that's kind of cool, though. People get mad that you can get drunk or fall off your horse and harvest moon, so in the next version, you would drink too much soda and get dizzy? Yeah, kind of like how, um... The, the coconut drink with the straw hanging out of it in New Horizons is called Vacation Juice. And, you know, not, like, clearly, like, an alcoholic beverage, but, you know, they're just trying to skirt the rules. Yeah, we love to see a gator boss winning, exactly. That's why it's cool. That's why it's cool. Not because of the sadistic enjoyment of throwing somebody into a gator's jaw. It's, the, the gator gets that bread. That's why it's cool. Nothing sadistic about it, really. 
Yeah, mama needs her vacation juice. Exactly. I love getting dizzy on vacation juice. Yep. So true. Oh god, why is the pickup button the same as the sprint? That's so annoying. My grandpa used to call whiskey pop pop juice. Oh, I need the pop pop juice. Yeah, I like that actually. I'm gonna use that. I don't even drink. Why does he look like that? This is the face of. This. Uh, please find this man. Have you seen this man in your dreams? If you do, call this number. Uh, could be. No, too big. Too big. Just need a butterfly. Or, sorry, a surgeon fish, in case you're wondering. You look like a tired accountant. Eh, you got the tired part down. You know, you're like half right. Carmageddon, where you ran out people in wacky ways. Isn't that like crazy taxi? I'm gonna call alcohol pop pop juice now. Yeah, I'm gonna call it pop pop juice, and I'm gonna be like... You know, I'm fuck it. I'm gonna start calling everything pop pop juice. Like everything. I'm gonna like open up a water bottle and be like, "Oh, daddy needs his pop pop juice," and then just like start like drinking it in the most dramatic way possible. When I swallow it, it's like I'm drinking 50% vodka or something like that. And then I'll go like, ah, goes down clean. I'll be like really dramatic about all of it, and it's just like tap water or something. Get out of here. I think that's what I'm going to start doing. Normalize not drinking? I'm not trying to normalize it, man. Although I do think that, like, alcoholism is so normalized. I'm not going to, like, you know, everyone's got their vices, man. So something like 20% alcohol, so just a really strong... I don't drink, man. I don't know what these percentages mean. I just threw a number out there. I don't, I don't know what these things are. I don't know what these things are, okay? I don't drink. For, I, like, I thought, like, the number was, like, the alcohol content. So, like, if something's 50%, then it's 50%, like, pure alcohol. Like, and I thought, like, okay, vodka's pretty, like, you know, strong. So that's maybe, like, a 50%. People legit look at you weird when you say you don't drink. Yeah, I mentioned this the other day, but, like, in some countries and cultures, if you don't drink, are you not, like, kind of, like... You're kind of, like, left out from a lot of gatherings with, like, co-workers or schoolmates or whatever like that. Because everybody's choice of, like, going out is to go drinking. And so if you're, like, the one that, like, doesn't drink, then I feel like you're kind of, like, odd one out. But I don't know. I just think that, like, everyone's, like, look- Everyone looks at, like, drug addiction, like, this horribly awful thing. Like, how could people- how could people, like, let their lives devolve in such a way as to be addicted to, like, hard drugs? And then they'll, like, drink eight beers every night. And I'm like, you know. I don't know, like, I definitely think it's better than, like, heroin, don't get me wrong, but... It's also not something that... It's something that's so normal for people to be, like, alcoholics that I'm like... I don't know. It's a big part of the Danish culture. Well, I'm never moving to Denmark, then. Immediately felt validated as a non-drinker. I mean, it's valid to be one or the other, man. Like, everyone enjoys what they enjoy. I just I just don't like how it's so normalized to be, like, an alcoholic, man. I'm avoiding the alcoholism gene in our family. Yeah, there you go. I was four years sober when I turned 21. Oh my god, like, t imagine turning 21 and, like, everyone's trying to get you some... Oh, yeah, I have a caffeine addiction. That's another one that I don't think should be normalized, but, like, I fall victim to that one. Oh, yeah, I need, like, caffeine to feel normal. So that one's got me. Which is to say I'm not shaming, like, people who are alcoholics, because, like I said, we all got our vices. Some are worse than others, but at the same time, like, we all do it for one reason or another. Enjoyment, to feel normal. <laughs> So, you know, it's not a bad thing. I'm just saying. It's so normal to be addicted to, like, caffeine, alcohol, weed. I don't drink either. It's good, man. It, it's alright, like, having a sip of water. Mmm. And soda. Oh my gosh, so many people, like, literally can only drink soda. Like, if you ever make them drink, like, a water, they're like, oh. And look, I used to be there as well, not with soda, but with, like, anything but water. 
I keep getting distracted by your ugly ass me. So gross. Holy shit. Bro, it's just me. Like, that just looks like me, though. If you're calling this me ugly, you're calling me ugly. And that's fine. But don't blame it on the me. Blame it on the genetics. What's up, Liffy? How are you doing? Is that way with soda? Yeah, like, I don't know. And that's like... It, it's usually the fault of parents who only gave their kids soda to drink as a kid. And, of course, that carries over to their adulthood. Blame it on the a a a a a alcohol. So true. So true. It's called a me because it's me. Just put it together. Holy shit. So why is it called the we? Plus two. Plus two. I hated water. I thought it tasted gross, but it was just my mouth. Yeah, like, it's it's all just, like, I mean, a sugar addiction, really. Hey, can I get a surgeon fish, please? I get a motherfucking surgeon fish. Mmm, not quite. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Welcome to 200, year we was released. 200? Close. I don't think it's quite that, though. I used to hate water, too. I drank LaCroix and juice instead. I mean, I'll be honest with you, like, LaCroix is better than soda, but still, like... If you can only drink water in the form of, like, sparkling water... I guess it's, like, a step towards actual water. Like, it's, it's definitely, like, the in-between between soda addiction and water addiction. I don't know if it's really addiction, but, you know... I guess it's, like, a good in-between, right? Blue Gatorade is just water. Alright, favorite color of Gatorade. Don't tell me the flavor, because I don't know the flavors. Favorite color of Gatorade, chat? Purple. Alright, your turn. Lemon Lime? That's a solid, like, number two or three, man. Solid, like, number two or three. Red? Red's probably below Lemon Lime, gonna be honest with you. Number two... Number two best Gatorade. Well, actually, I think Lemon Lime is number two, man. And then maybe Red's number three. A blue can be, like, number four. Oh, it's the light purple. The light purple is the superior one, yeah. Kind of, like, transparent a little bit. Not completely opaque. Ever have Cucumber Gatorade? It's abhorrent. It doesn't sound good. No, I've never had it before. Doesn't sound good. He said purple, I'm judging so hard. Why are you judging me? Purple's so good, man. Cucumber melon? That sounds gross. Like, the melon sounds good. I also have a bad... I, I've recently, and by recently, I mean literally yesterday, had a bad experience with cucumbers. Hello Fresh, And maybe this is normal. But I asked Kristen when I unpackaged the cucumbers that they gave us in our Hello Fresh. They were... Okay, when you think of a cucumber, what's, like, the firmness of it? Is it, like, like an apple-level firmness, or is it, like, a banana-level firmness? How firm do you... A very firm, yeah. Pretty hard, pretty firm, extremely firm. Okay, ours were, like, banana squishy. Ours were, like, even squishier, honestly. And they were slimy. Like, they were slimy and pretty soft. So, I went over to Kristen, and I was like, is this... They were, like, tiny. No, I didn't eat them. No. Um, they were, like, tiny. They were maybe, like... I don't really know if you can, like, conceive of how big this finger distance is. They were maybe, like, this big, when I expect cucumbers to be generally, like, maybe this big. They were pretty tiny, and so I thought maybe it was something to do with the tininess. Like, they weren't, like, completely ripe yet. And so maybe they were, like, a little soft. But then they were slimy as well. And I was like, I went over to Kristen and I'm like, is this normal? And she's like, oh, God, no. And then I threw them out and we didn't use them. What we were supposed to do is we were supposed to cut them up and cook them. And then put them in, like, this rice and chicken dish. But, you know, we just enjoyed the rice and chicken without the cucumber. Which was nice. It was pretty good. Hello Fresh on Strike 2. Like, legit, I am, like, getting tired of Hello Fresh with its bullshit. Like, it was... It bats, like, 950 with, like, 95% of the time we get, like, good stuff. Like, good ingredients. 
There's one time that I got Italian sausage that was bad because it had a hole in the sealed packaging. That, and then strike number two was soft, mushy, slimy cucumbers. That's strike two, man. They got one more. And then I think I'm going to start looking elsewhere. <laughs> Maybe just like buying my own ingredients. I don't know. Or another meal prep service. I don't know. I don't know, man. Hole in the package? It was a it was a package of meat, man. Like there was a hole there was a hole in a package of meat that's supposed to be sealed, okay? You're supposed to seal like seal packages of meat, but there was a hole in it. Like the ceiling failed or something. Or it opened in shipping, I don't know. And it was brown, like around where the hole was. It was disgusting. If you were gonna eat that, man, more power to you, but don't complain to me about how you get food poisoning five times a year. They were zucchini? No, 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 they weren't zucchini because the, the, the instructions said cucumber. So if they were zucchini, then they should have said zucchini. If, because I don't know, man. Like, isn't zucchini, like, long and thin? They were, like, thick and not that long. You just cut the brown stuff off? Hey, man, you could, you do you. I wasn't going to eat it, though. No way. Not my emetophobic ass. Yeah, they're still not slimy, though. Yeah, I don't know if they should be slimy. Buy your own ingredients, then you can pick the best ones at the store. The thing, the benefit of HelloFresh, though, is not the fact that they give you ingredients that you would have to buy otherwise. It's the fact that they give you recipes to make yourself. You don't have to do any of the thinking. All you do is you put it all together. And that's the thing that I enjoy about it, is it gives me like a... I was very early with that. Um, they give you like a balanced diet, kind of. They give you like a balanced, you know, variable weeks worth of meals. That's the value of HelloFresh to me. It's not the fact that they send you ingredients that I could just, yeah, go get from the store myself. It's the fact that they do it and they also are like, okay, here's how much you need. We portioned it out for you. And it should be like a decent... Uh, it should be like a decent daily meal for you so that we can make sure that you're, you know, feeding your stupid fucking ass and not just eating goldfish for dinner. That's the value of HelloFresh, man. It's not the ingredients. It's the stability, you know? Doctors will tell you not to cut off the bad part. They'll just say throw it away. Yeah, like, I don't know. I think I'd rather listen to a doctor than a Twitch chatter. Generally. Generally. Marley Spoon? I don't know what that is, but there's a lot of meal prep services out there. Like, Blue Apron's one that I saw a lot. HelloFresh is just the most popular one. Yeah, yeah, I got you, Grave GF. I got you. Thanks for the 300 bits. I don't know if you gave me 300 bits to alert me to the existence of Blue Apron. <laughs> Damn it. I need a surgeon to try Blue Apron. But, yeah, I already know of Blue Apron, but thanks for the 300 bits either way. I appreciate it. Hopefully those didn't go to waste. My first every plate tonight, actually? I don't know, like, I've never heard of every plate, but sure, man, I honestly, like, I, I'm cool with any of them, man. As long as it's something that, like, keeps my diet sort of consistent, that's cool with me. Like, literally, if they just gave you... How, is there, like, a service out there where they don't give you the ingredients? It's on you to buy the ingredients, but they provide, like, the recipes? I don't know. I guess it would be kind of inconvenient to have to go to the store, like, every week to pick up all the things that it requires for me. But I don't know. At least that I can pick out, like, my own things. You know? Like, I can make sure that the zucchini ain't gonna be pieces of shit. Make them available to me. She only made one available. I feel awk emailing her again, but like, you missed one. You said you would do both teach. Well, you gotta send it, man. You gotta swallow... You gotta swallow your pride and just do it. You gotta swallow your pride and just do it, man. Not worth failing it just because you were too awkward to send another email. Not worth failing. Maybe a cookbook? So true. I guess that is just a cookbook, huh? I guess that is just called a cookbook, ain't it? Yeah, that's pretty true. Like a year's... What if there's a cookbook written every year that has 365 different recipes for you to eat every day? That'd be kind of cool. 
A good idea. How you be polite when telling someone that they did something wrong? I don't know. When I do something wrong, I appreciate when people tell me that I fucked it up. So, there is a level of politeness in just telling them that they did something wrong. <laughs> yeah, what's well, like, what the fuck's a cookbook, man? There probably is. Yeah, there probably is something like that, honestly. You did this wrong. Here's how to do better. I don't really think a teacher would appreciate a student saying how to do their job better. There can be a way of doing... Of, of telling somebody that they fucked up while also being a dick. But, you know... I don't know. Just check Amazon or Google. Sorry, I'm not a corporate shill. I don't, I refuse to use Google. I only use Bing. I literally called out my professor for giving everyone a 55 on the assignment. Why would they give everybody a 55? Like, there's no way everybody in the class scored a 55. He did remove it, but it was like, come on, man. Was that like a placeholder grade until he actually got around to grading it? Still not a cool move either way. Yandex? I don't know what that is, man. That sounds like a... <laughs> that sounds like something on Wall Street, man. Like NASDAQ and S&P 500. Gotta, gotta check the Yandex. The Yandex is down 12 points. Y'all alive in, like, 2008 during the global recession? When, like, all you saw on the news is how the fucking Dow Jones was down, like, 50 more points? And you were like, oh, that's bad, but I don't really know why it's bad. I'm just kind of like, you know, my parents are, like, a little stressed out. Everyone's, like, everyone's worried. And then I'm just over here playing, like, Animal Crossing City Folk while I hear in the other room that the Dow Jones is down 30 more points. I'm like, oh, that sounds bad. Kristen sent me a street legal scooter car that we should get. Okay, this is pretty sick, actually. Street legal heated mobility scooter? Alright, chat. Genuine question. You pull up to somebody next... You pull up next to somebody at a red light. They're driving this, John. What do you think of this person? What is your immediate judgment of someone who... Of someone who be driving this? I hit them on purpose? Why would you do that? Why would you hit them on purpose? Look at that, dude. Look at that. Look at that. It's the, 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 look at that spacious back seat, man. You kidding me? Yeah, it could fit me, Stanley, everybody. What is that? What is this? What is this? That's a multimedia player? They managed to fit a multimedia player in this little ass thing? Holy smokes. Oh, it's got one of those wheel cranks? It couldn't fit an automated system to roll up and down your windies, but you know, at least you got the, the multimedia player in here. Look at that. Imagine the fuel mileage as well. Or is it just electric? Oh no, it's E it's scooter E runner, so it's just completely electric. Look at that, dude. No carbon footprint. $3,000 off? Christ. Yo. Alright. Catch me out on the town. Anyway. If you... Yeah, Kristen will paint it pink. There's an app called Plate Joy that builds you recipes every week based on your ingredient list. So you... Ooh. Ooh, I'll keep that in mind. If HelloFresh gets strike three, I'll keep that in mind. HelloFresh has got one more chance, though. One more slimy zucchini, and it's all over, dude. One more slimy zucchini, and it's all about plate joy. It's a scam? I don't think it's a scam, man. I don't know. Huh? What? Yeah. One of the ice packs in the HelloFresh exploded, and it got slime. What the fuck? 
<laughs> Apparently, one of the ice packs in our HelloFresh exploded, and it's got the slimy shit on the inside of the... I Did it, like, contaminate anything? I mean, everything's okay, so I guess it's fine. What were we at? 60-something, right? What was the counter at, chat? It was like 60... 60... 60 what? Yeah, as long as they didn't get the produce. If it was on, like, the meat, but the meat package is sealed, ideally, so it's probably okay. At least, you know, ideally it's sealed, being the big thing. Yeah, I think it was 66. I think you're right. Or is it 67? We'll see. Somebody will tell me for sure. I think it was 60... It was something... One of you two is right. 62? No, I don't think 62, man. Maybe after I was done with Wild World. Because there was 22 fish in Wild World, so yeah. And then I caught... Well, I mean, let's see here. It was 62 after Wild World. I've caught a pike, a neon tetra, a butterfly fish, a moray eel, and a ray. So it should be 67 then. Yeah, it should be 67. So yeah, we're right. We're good. We just need a surgeon fish from today. That's what I've been waiting on. Apparently a surgeon fish, very rare though. Actually, um, maybe even more worth getting it in August if it's more likely to spawn then. So you know what? Let's do it. Let's move to August where we have to get a Napoleon fish, which is going to be big balls in itself. So we might just end up finding a surgeon fish along the way as we, um, what? Release a fish, man. You're next to the water. All right, sure. I mean, fuck it. I might as well just sell everything. Let's go to August, where we get a Napoleon fish, and probably get the Surgeon fish then as well. What the fuck is that face? What face, man? Hi, besties. I'm back from therapy, and I just turned in a homework assignment. Let's go. You're our second person to have gone and returned to my stream. You're the, you're the second person who, who is having a little post-therapy stream time. So, you know... I don't know what that says of my stream, but, you know, I think it's a good thing. What's the goal of stream? We're trying to catch every unique fish in the Animal Crossing franchise. Ah, oh, shit my ass. We're trying to catch every unique fish in the Animal Crossing franchise. And every game, any fish that was introduced in a certain game must be caught in that game. So we're currently working through all the fish that were first introduced in City Folk. Currently, our, our our current goal as of this very moment is the Napoleon fish and the Surgeon fish. We know Dagnal viewers are mentally ill. So true. So true. Alright. We're gonna go to August at noon. So, 8-1 at... I mean, it doesn't have to be noon. It could be like... Be like, you know, maybe we've been listening to the noon jams a little bit too much, so you know what? Let's go like, eh, fuck it, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Let's listen to 10 a.m. Yeah. Did I miss Wild World? You did, unfortunately. We wrapped up Wild World earlier in the stream. Back off on the Japanese games? No, I still just gotta get a good copy of the game, which I think I might have found one. I think I might have found one yesterday but i'm gonna worry that about that after 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 we do new horizons probably i mean dude it might start raining which would help so uh oh i reset i didn't reset i saved fuck off hey i saved my game don't eat my ass about it Need to hop on the Wii soon? It's still a great game. It's still a great game. No, I think he does this every time, whether you save or not. After your first time... After your first time loading into the game, after making it. He always does this, I think. Video puts me at peace? Yo, I'm happy to do so. Multi-fandom lover, I'm happy to do so. So today... It's just Napoleon fish and surgeon fish, so we don't have to worry about anything in the river. Napoleon fish and surgeon fish. This music slaps. It's so much better than Wild World, where, look, I like Rossetti's theme, and I think that, like, it's honestly, like, the grittier, the better. 
But in Wild World, it was like, and then in this game, it's like, and I'm just like, it's so much more pleasant. Even if, like, it doesn't truly encapsulate the terror that Rossetti strikes into your heart in this game, it is a lot better to listen to. It is a lot better to listen to. And they had to change him because he was too mean. He was making the kids cry. Oh, boo-hoo. I just ate ice cream. Lots of things accomplished today. That's awesome, dude. Hell yeah. I, I had ice cream for breakfast the other day because I was too lazy to do anything else. That was pretty cool. I would highly recommend it. I would highly recommend it. Wild World Rossetti is metal. The I mean, Rossetti honestly just got nicer and nicer for every game. With him just, I mean, basically not even existing in New, in New Horizons, which is sad, but... Yeah, what am I doing? I don't need any of the fish. I've got ice cream. Let's go. Let's go. I remember literally crying after Rossetti yelling at me. So as a former crying kid, as a, as a kid who formerly Rossetti made cry... Tell me, do you regret him not being in New Horizons? Or did Nintendo do a good thing by not including him? Or toning him down in New Leaf? Did, did Nintendo do a good thing? I don't know. Because, like, everyone's always like... Oh, I hate how they made Rossetti such a pussy in this game. No, he taught me that life isn't fair. Exactly. Life isn't fair. You can't just reset life. He teaches you a valuable lesson, I think. He teaches you a very valuable lesson that in life, when you fuck up, you can't just hit the reset button. You gotta deal with the consequences of your actions. And I think Nintendo made a made a mistake in getting rid of like in getting rid of his abrasive side when he teaches that lesson because you know sometimes kids need to be taught a lesson and sometimes that lesson. You know, I'm not saying through fear is the best way, but, you know, it is just a video game. Ain't no one, like, actually threatening you, man. It is just a video game. It's, it's you know... It's fine. Please. Damn it! I just got my ESA letter from my therapist to potentially get me a big boy cat one day. Oh, emotional support animal. I was gonna ask what that means, but hell yeah. Yeah, tough love, man. Exactly. Tough love. Maybe he wasn't... Maybe it wasn't Rossetti that taught me that. But you rem you'll probably be like 80 years old, and you'll still be remembering when Rossetti was chewing you out for resetting your game. And if that ain't a lesson that sticks with you, man, then I don't know what is. I don't know what is. Ooh, could that be a Napoleon fish? Wouldn't it be, uh, Palger's champion? Nah, that can't be. Wouldn't it be Palger's champion to get a Napoleon fish before you get a damn surgeon fish? That'd be so Palg. He was way better than this autosave bullshit. Like, I understand that his job was made obsolete by the fact that the autosave is now a feature in New Horizons. That don't mean that he can't still be, like, one who teaches morals in that game, you know? He can still be, like... I don't know, not just the guy that you happen to walk into the coffee store occasionally and see him, you know? He can actually, like, exist beyond just being, like, a save monkey, you know? He can yell at us for other reasons, exactly! Exactly! And besides, what if Nintendo had, like, a Switch... Ooh. What if Nintendo had, like, a toggleable option at the beginning of the game that was, like... ...a dialogue mode? Dickhead? Or, or nice. Let's go! Dude. Okay, it, it exactly happened. It that, that exactly happened. It manifested exactly as I speculated. Will we catch the damn Napoleon fish before we catch the surgeon fish? God damn it! Why is this surgeon fish holding me up? Why is the damn surgeon fish holding me up? Of all things! It's not that rare, right? Like, I don't know. Is there like an actual rarity factor in this game? Can't be that fucking rare, jeez. Because it's in surgery? Good one! Nice! Alright, I would laugh at that if I wasn't in such great distress at the fact that I can't find a surgeon fish. Like, it's, it's not that fucking rare. It shouldn't be. 
Surely. That's a good joke, though, man. You got a real future in you and Twitch streaming. I just want Rosetti to complain about the youths taking his job away. Yeah, just give him something to complain about, man. But, you know. Nintendo would never. Nintendo would never. Yeah, is Dory. If you don't know what a surgeon fish is, is Dory from Finding Nemo. Which is weird, because in City Folk, they introduced a surgeon fish, a butterfly fish, and, and like, then this game came out only, like, not long after Finding Nemo. I'm like, hmm. I mean, I know that these fish existed before Finding Nemo, but it has to make you wonder if that's why they put them in the game. I was gonna say a clownfish, too, but... No, that was in Wild World. Is this another fucking Napoleon fish? Eh, it fucking looks like it. Could be a blue marlin. Okay. Well, Napoleon fish, blue marlin, before one surgeon fish. Awesome. Awesome. Napoleon Nussy? Don't say that, please. No, stop! Skull emoji, skull emoji, stop! Not the, not the Napoleon Nussy! Stop, stop, no! Stop, skull emoji. Shut the fuck up, please. What are we on on the marble scale? Dude, I'm cool, man. We're making good progress today. Honestly, I'm not losing my marbles that much. I'm not losing my marbles that much. Are you only allowed to decorate your home in this game? Like, not your island? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, even as recently as, like, New Leaf, you weren't really able to, like, decorate your island. Damn it! You could, like, do public works projects. But I don't really consider that, like, the same thing. I don't know. Nobody said that, Dagnall? Who are you telling to shut up? I'm telling Axne to shut up. I'm telling Axnu to shut up. If I tell anyone else to shut up, they'll probably cry. But Axnu's a big boy. He can handle it. Which game is this? This is City Folk for the Wii. No marbles lost. Just the normal chaotic energy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to be like one of those streamers that prides themselves in being like, chaotic comfy vibes, because that's what everyone does. Like, that's everyone's like MO on Twitch is like, oh, I'm so chaotic and quirky. I'm like, I'm just Dagnal, man. I'm just Dagnal. This is how I am. The insight that you get in like a three to four hour window every day on twitch.tv slash Dagnal is just me. And I ain't, I ain't chaotic. I'm just a dude, man. I'm just a dude. No, I still gotta get the Harabuna. I still gotta get like a copy of the game that doesn't fucking crash, basically. Can we time out Axnu? No, he's a mod, man. He's a mod. Like, I could time out Axnu, but then, like, he would get unmodded, and it's like, he doesn't deserve that, man. He doesn't deserve that. I told you I'd use my noggin. I say okay, realizes I don't have one. Oh, well. You might have to leave then. Because that's, like, the number one rule, really. Axnu's still mod. Yeah, he's, he's mod of the year, man. He's mod of the year. Oh, man. oh, I don't have that enabled. I'm sorry. I kind of miss Tortimer being booted from center stage. Now it's the Tom Nook supremacy. I don't know. I feel like he was booted for center stage in New Leaf, and it kind of became you who was the center stage, so to speak. Which I kind of like. I liked being the mayor in New Leaf. The resident representative is pretty cool in New Horizons, but I feel like you're even more privileged than, like, that's, like, a lower-class title, but, like, you, a higher-class privilege than being a mayor, you know? Like, despite being the mayor in New Leaf, you were still, like, kind of a, you know, you weren't that powerful. But in New Horizons, you'd be like, you can do anything. You're more than a mayor, man. you like, God. Yeah, because you can have outside furniture. Yeah, and you can kind of do that with public works projects, but... I don't know, in New Horizons, it's not... It's not really the same. Ooh! I mean, I don't need whatever this is, but... You know, just, just curious. Just curious what this could be. Probably just an ocean sunfish, since it's still the daytime. Thanks for the hydrate. I was about to say, brother. But Rod's right in front of you. Alright, my fishing's getting better, man. Yeah, okay. Shark? Nah, not really. 
Yeah, god villager, exactly. Give me a god complex. Oh, here, give me a complex. Tell Tom Nook to give me time on my debts, please. Mm, I mean, he does? Like, he's literally the most generous... I was going to say loan shark, but loan sharks are not very generous in regards to the time with which you have to pay them back. Nook, you could literally time travel to like 2099 and Nook will be like, yeah, that's okay. I don't need to, I don't need to be, like, he's literally like the most generous loner out there. Landlord, I suppose. He, he's literally like, no, no interest, no obligation to pay it back at a certain time. Like, my man's is so much nicer than your average fucking slumlord out there. Everyone's always like, if you're under the age of, like, 22, you probably hate Tom Nook and his capitalist ways. If you're over the age of 22, you're like, holy shit, this man is a god. This man is literally... I would kill to have... I would kill to have this man as my landlord in real life. He give, he literally... He gives you a house you don't even ask for. He don't ask for repayments but if you do then he'll take he'll literally overnight he'll expand it into double the size that it was and then once you do it all he'll give you like in this game he gives you a little flag on the outside of the house but then after that it's free it's 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 completely free uh modifications to your house new roof new siding new foundation everything and it's free it is goddamn free Y'all kill for it, but yeah, you keep going on uh, r slash anti-work telling us about how every landlord, yes, including Tom Nook, is a total s scumbag. Yeah, you keep doing that, okay? Who is the otter? That's Lyle. Yeah, he sucks. You can hate him. That's completely justified. I don't think I paid a single bell towards my home when I was younger. Literally best land- Exactly, dude. Exactly. I'm working on paying my debts with Pokey. Yo, it's a good- it's actually a good money-making method in New Horizons. If you actually, like, don't put any effort into the houses. YouTube video reference? I mean, yeah, I did do a video on that, but, you know, it doesn't mean you can't do it as well. A-L-A-B, except for Tom Nook, so true. A-C-A-B, except Copper and Booker. Who's Lyle and what did he do? Lyle was the son of a bitch that- uh, like, sell, sold you insurance back in Wild World, and it was, like, completely fraudulent. He would send you, like, a hundred bells if you got stung by bees or something like that. It's like, thanks, man. That really helps. God fucking bless America, man. I can't get a surgeon fish. Like, I want to, like, look it up almost just to see if I'm, like, even doing it right. Like, what are the months and times of day for a surgeon fish? Because I'm starting to doubt myself. When in reality, I'm like 99% sure I got it right. Like, I wrote it down correctly. But, I don't know. When you go this long without getting it, you start to doubt yourself a little bit. Yeah, in New Leaf and City Folk, he's the HHA guy, but that's not that bad. But in Wild World, son of a bitch sold you bullshit insurance. Fuck, it's stupid. I got the copper amiibo card. I bought some packs the other day. Yo, Paul, hell yeah, dude. Too bad he doesn't, doesn't put him in New Horizons, but still. Mailbox sounds of the worst. All right, all right, all right. I'll fucking open the mailbox, chat. All right, there you go. You happy? You happy? There you go. It's gone. All right, it's gone. It's gone. It's fine. All right? No new mail. You don't have to listen to the 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 the, 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 the tre treacherous noise anymore, okay? It's gone. Jesus, act like it's literally the worst thing you've ever heard in your life. Christ. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. I know, I'm so nice. So generous. Christ. Fucking babies. Um, hope you're all enjoying the stream today. I'm enjoying playing City Folk. In case you're curious, what we have to get after the Napoleon fish, or sorry, the Surgeon fish, is a lobster. That's in December. So, wish me luck on that. If I am having uh, trouble getting a surgeon fish, I'm reckon I'm probably not gonna get a lobster too quickly. Then again, I got like a Napoleon fish within five minutes of time traveling for one, so really, like, anything could happen. Anything could happen.
It just gets annoying, bro. I know, man. I know. Don't worry. In Japan, the copper and booker amiibo have different poses. I think it was changed because it looks a bit like a Nazi salute. Interesting. Thanks for sharing. You're only catching the new fish in each game? Correct. Yes. Correct. What's up, Patster? I mean, I don't really care what you have to say, but, you know, mostly just like, just, just mostly like, you know, curious. What are your thoughts on pugs? I think pugs are actually like pretty ugly as dogs. And the fact that we've genetically modified them to like make it so that their entire existence is like difficult because of the fact that they're, you know, a dog's like normal nose should be like long. And we basically took their nose and like squished it into their face for the sake of cute for the sake of cuteness, thus making it hard for them to breathe is pretty fucking horrible. Not really something I can fault pugs for, though. They're really just the product of human interference in breeding, really. So, you know, it's kind of like, I can't really feel bad for, I can't really hate pugs for that, but it's the fact that we fucked up pugs so much that just kind of makes me sad that we as humans are never satisfied in our excessive lack of cuteness in animals that we domesticated. It's just a bit cruel how we've managed to do that. How we've managed to make the life of a pug so hard to live just because we were like, oh, wouldn't it be cute if, like, if, 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 like, you took a frying pan and you, like, smashed their face in and, like, made their nose all, like, squished in? Like, wouldn't that be so cute? And we all, like, collectively as a species said, yes, do that. Kind of weird. But, you know, same thing with, like, a lot of dogs, really. Pugs are not the only ones that have managed to, uh, have that happen. Like, bull terriers as well. Would you ruin something perfect to make it beautiful philosophy question? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Like, I, I have never heard that before, but I, I think I kind of know what you mean. Yo, Margo! Thanks for the gift sub to Garden Pansy. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And Garden Pansy, enjoy your emotes and enjoy your ad-free viewing. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so somebody mentioned something that I wanted to bring up. Uh, yeah, in before all the people complain about how Pocket Camp has a bunch of exclusive fish. If people, and I've had this before where I claim to do something in all the Animal Crossing games, and then some goobers, whether they're being serious or not, are like, uh, well, you didn't do it in Pocket Camp, so... <laughs> and I'm like, bro, that's... First of all, it's not a mainline game. Second of all, in the case of fish, there's, like, a lot of fish, I'm pretty sure, in Pocket Camp that were, like, only something that had to do with, like, that particular fishing tourney that was happening. And also, I don't play mobile games, man. I'm sorry. I'm not going to play a mobile game and then, like, as part of a challenge. It's not a mainline game. It's not a mainline Animal Crossing game. It, it fuck pocket camp exactly i just don't like playing it but beyond any of these reasons i don't like playing pocket camp it's not fun i don't really like it okay that's the only reason i really need to give you the pocket camp fish are whack yeah like it's isn't it's not even like fishing in the same sense that this game is right at least i'm pretty sure it's not i don't know i haven't played it in a while but i didn't like it when i did it was actually my first Animal Crossing game. It was a lot of people's first Animal Crossing game because, I mean, it expanded over to the mobile market. So, of course, there's a lot of people that maybe never played Animal Crossing before that. Eh, I don't. I think this is too small to be a surgeon fish, but I don't know. Like, I haven't had any luck otherwise, so... Oh, yeah, yeah, just, like, not even look at it. Sure, man. There's no skill required. I mean, there's already very pretty minimal skill in this game, so... I don't know, it's all just about timing. I forgot why I hated that game, but I played it for maybe eight or so days. I played it, like, one day when it came out, and I never touched it again. Yeah, not even doing Amiibo Festival. Streamer! Yeah, I don't know. If anyone, like, legitimately has a comment about that, then I'm like, go, f like, literally just, I don't want to, 
just default to telling people to like do it themselves if I didn't do it right. But I don't know, man. If you insist that I could have done this YouTube channel video better, then why don't you? Like, you do it, man. You you can. It's not like my original intellectual property to do this. Like, I'm not going to get mad at you for doing what I do, but better. Go for it. Do it yourself. Do it with Pocket Camp and Amiibo Festival and all of them. Go. Go on. Have a good time. Genuinely. Because I wouldn't if I had to play Pocket Camp. I'm not going to get mad at them if they want to do it better than I did. Trying to save Leaf tickets? Yeah, aren't Leaf tickets like the, the pay-to-win currency? Like you can spend real money to earn play tickets and then... Bells are, like, something that you earn in that game naturally over time. Like, I think you can earn Leaf tickets naturally, but, like, the better way of getting them is to pay real-life money, and that's what Nintendo wants you to do. And that's probably why they still put more care and effort into updates for Pocket Camp, because it's so lucrative with people playing- with people paying exorbitant amounts for Leaf tickets. Yeah. That's probably, like... That's probably why Pocket Camp is still getting as many updates as it is, and New Horizons got dropped, basically. At least for now. 12 million bells and 50 leaf tickets? Yeah, because I think you can earn leaf tickets, like, naturally, but it's very, very, very few and far between. Which is why they, they, and they do that on purpose, of course, to get you to spend real money on it. Yeah, they're like the gacha currency. Or gacha currency. I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm talking about. Please. I've seen so many of these little fish here, and just none of them have been surgeon fish. Props for the idea if you do it yourself. Look, I don't even need credit for it, man. Like, if they really wanted to just do what I did, but make it better, they can do it. I don't need props. I don't need, like, credit in any way. But it, it also just... It makes your, like, complaint fall on deaf ears when somebody is like, Well, you didn't do pocket camp. So, really, it doesn't count. And I'm like, well, it does count because I made the challenge. I made the rules. If you want to make your own challenge with your own rules, then that's cool. But it doesn't, f you know, it doesn't make any sense when people are telling me how to do the challenge that I made up. Like, it, it just, it just, I don't know. I don't know. Like, uh, I just, I guess the rules are open to interpretation. But that's why I state the rules at the beginning of the challenge, usually. That's usually, like, why before actually getting into the, you know, the video, I'll do, like, a minute and a half or two minutes of, like, explaining the rules. So, if you skip to that portion just to get straight to the video content, then you can't really tell me that I didn't follow the rules, because I don't even know if you heard the rules. What's up, Don Angelito? How are you doing? I don't know. I don't know how many people, like, watch my videos and skip through. I mean, I, I have the data that I could see whether people do this or not, but, like, I can see, like, when people skip through parts of videos, like, by, like, telling viewer retention. Like, if it says, like oh, 60% of the people are still watching at this point in the video, then I can usually tell, like, whether or not people, like, skipped a certain portion of it. Like, okay, whenever I put, like, an ad in a video, like a sponsored segment, there's always, like, not, not nearly as many people watching at that point in the video as there is when it's, like, five minutes into the video. Because you know what people do whenever they get an ad. They go, skip, 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 skip. And then they go too far, and they're like, ah, shit, back, 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 back. You know what I mean. You sure you know how big a surgeon fish is? I'm pretty sure, man. But if you can tell me, like, what size it is, if I'm doing it wrong, then please do. Because I think it's the same size as a butterfly fish and a horse mackerel. But, dude, if I'm wrong, please tell me. Because I would hate to just be ramming my fucking head into the wall with, and have it only discover it's the wrong wall. It's three inches. I don't know what that is, man. I don't know what that is. Like, what shadow size is it? Don't tell me the length of it. I need to know what shadow size it is. Tell me, like, what's the same size as a surgeon fish? Shadow-wise. Like, is it the same as a horse mackerel? In, in which case, I'm doing exactly what I have to do. I'm just getting unlucky. If it's the... If it's, like, a, a dab, then... 
then I'm like, oh shit, well I should be catching dab-sized fish then, and I've been doing it wrong the entire time, and that might be explained why I've been doing it wrong. Well, you got one seemed hard. Thoughts on that vid? Your vid about the Nook Mile stamps where you got each one seemed hard? No, that one was okay, but a lot of people were like, do all the stamps. Like, don't just do the first stamp of every card. Do all the stamps of every Nook Miles card. And I'm like, you are... You know, I'm not doing that. You don't understand what you're asking for. Which is why I compromised. And did just the first stamp of every card. And yet, some people will still ask me to do all Nook Miles achievements. Like, when I do video idea suggestions... People will still be like, do all the Nook Miles achievements, do it, do it! And I'm like, you are a goober. For lack of a better term, you're a goober. See, this is what I think the surgeon fish is. But if somebody can pull up, okay, I pull up a source that says it's not this, then please do. Like, you're not going to make me mad. I will be happy that you've said that I've been doing it wrong. I will not be mad. I will be very happy. I will thank you. I'll be mad at myself for not, like, checking beforehand, and just assuming. Speedrun HHA thoughts. What, what does that even mean, man? Like, what does that mean to speedrun HHA? What's the end goal? I'm working on doing all the Nook Miles achievements, but on a two-year-old island? On a two-year-old island, exactly. Because that's how long it would take! Your character really looks like you? Thanks, man. Some of your video suggestions are so outlandish and masochistic for you to do them. Yeah, but I'm the Animal Crossing masochist, so you have to do it. And I'm like, mm, not really. Get all froggy chairs. I don't like collect-a-thon challenges. If there's a way, like, I think that uh, that's a good way of phrasing why I don't like a lot of challenges that people suggest. Because a lot of them are just collect-a-thons, you know? Like, get all this, get all that. Not that, the, not that any of them are particularly fun to acquire all of, but do it, because I said so! Like, for example... Damn. For example, get all DIY recipes, get all recipes, get all this. They're like, they're just collectathons. There's no skill or really, like, fun that's really had in doing that. It's just like a grind. It's just an RNG grind to hope that you get the right recipes that you don't have yet. Yeah, all KK songs. It's just like, okay, just skipping literally however many songs that there are. Like, let's say 70. Okay, you're just time traveling 70 times to a Saturday to get KK to perform. But you have to get a three-star island, so that makes it fun, huh? <laughs> right? No, not really, man. Small fish in between April to September. Okay, but what's a small fish? Is that the same size as a horse mackerel? In between April and September, and I'm in August, so that's fine. Is that small? Because that's tiny, I think. I think that's tiny. I think small is one bigger than that. Three inches? I'm gonna scream if you say three inches one more time. Horse Mac- Okay, so what I'm- So, I'm doing it exactly as I should. Okay, and I'm just getting unlucky. Okay, so... I mean, I would almost rather prefer to hear that I'm doing it wrong, because then I would be like, oh... Well, that would explain why I'm getting unlucky, because I'm doing it wrong. And then if I start doing it right, maybe it wouldn't take so long. But no, in fact, I'm just getting unlucky. In fact, I'm just getting unlucky. Which, that's not what you want to hear, really. You don't want to hear that you're getting unlucky. You know, just, just to keep myself sharp. Catch whatever the hell this is. I regret my joke. None of you are funny. It took you this long to figure it out. What fish are you looking for? The surgeon fish, aka the one that looks like Dory from Finding Nemo. Not a sea bass. City Folk Dana Mining was a progress, but it halted in favor of New Leaf for the Tradery website. You tell me that? I mean, this is a game from like 08, like 14 years old, and there isn't like a full Dana Mine to it. A rainy day? I mean, I could, but I don't really think it would help that much. Thanks for the these are sea bass, man. Thanks. Yeah, congrats. I know, I know. You should data mine it yourself. Yeah, if I knew, like, any inch of how to do that, man, sure, I'd get right on it. 
It would make a good stream? I, I, sure, yeah, it sure would. If I, if I even had the slightest perception of how to data mine a game. April and September on a rainy day. April or September? Or April and September? Because I also did this in September when I was trying to get the previous batch of fish. Like, Chad, I don't think there's a better way of doing it than the way that I'm doing it. Like, rain may help a little bit. I don't think it's going to be the be-all, end-all. I appreciate people trying to help me, but ultimately, at the end of the day, I, I think I'm just getting unlucky. I think I'm just getting unlucky. Like, will April help? The only thing I can see why April would help is because maybe it would make it so that less, like, maybe just less fish spawn in April, and therefore, by default... A surgeon fish would be more likely to spawn? I don't know. So maybe, but I don't know. In all the time that it would take to go to April, you may just get one. I don't know. Maybe that's just gambler's fallacy as well, though. Yo, Rhea Rooney, how are you doing? Thank you for uh, joining. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Finding Dory any percent. So true. If only there was a movie about that. I remember people got really mad when there's a lesbian couple shown for like two seconds in Finding Dory. I remember people were like super fucking upset about that. <laughs> the gays have made their way into Disney. I mean, they're actually still mad about that, but for different reasons, I'm pretty sure. Because Disney spoke out against the don't say gay law, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure people were mad. And it's literally, like, I watched Finding Dory... And I think I saw the scene. I'm pretty sure it was a total of, like, two seconds that there was a lesbian couple shown in the movie. It was pretty, like, hilarious that people were getting mad at that. Weren't they just alleged? Alleged? Like, alleged lesbians? I don't know, man. Maybe. I, I don't know. The octopus in that movie was hot as fuck. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, being mad at two seconds. Yeah, I don't know. Then they'll probably go home and search lesbian porn on Pornhub or something like that. And they'll be like, Mmm, that's the only place it belongs. Yes, sir. Not in my Disney movie, though. Mm -mm. Alright, one more, like, one more scour of the ocean. And then I'm going to try in April, I think. They're holding hands. I'm part of a data mining spreadsheet group for old AC games. That's why it's being used for Nookopedia. There's GameCube spawn rate sheet if you find that helpful for the future. I probably will. Actually, if you want to post that in the Discord, uh, then please do. Yeah, that would be very awesome. But it's for Nookopedia, so if it really was released to the public, then it would be on Nookopedia. And that's where I source pretty much all of my info. So I'm assuming if it's out there, it's on Nookopedia. So... Do they know who the voice of... Yeah, that's so true! That's true! That's literally the fucking voice of Dory is a lesbian! I... Yeah, that's so true! I didn't even remember that. Oh my god, I mean, she's a shithead, but... Oh, yeah, that's true, actually. Yeah. You can have a lesbian on Pornhub. You can have a lesbian playing Dory in the movie, but don't you dare, don't you dare show two seconds of a lesbian couple in the movie. Not my Disney. I will not be taking my kids to see this film. We will watch Lonesome Dove for the 15th time instead. Thank you. It will be on Nookopedia, but some stuff is still in progress. If you want to... I don't know, like, if it's just one website that you're talking about, or if it's, like, a collective group of people's efforts, but I'd like to see that, man. That stuff fascinates me. Like, data mines of old games, be they Animal Crossing or otherwise. Four gay guys walk into a bar, but there's only one stool left. What do they do? Flip it upside down. LMAO. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny, man. I don't know if it's LMAO. That's pretty funny, man. I, I, I think that's pretty funny. The joke is that if you, if you, if you, if you, if you take a chair, it's got 
four leg, and if you turn, <laughs> whoop, whoop. Let's try April. Let's see what April's got for us here. Let's see what April's got for us. Or yeah, April Fools. It won't matter. You get like a little tournament dialogue. It's actually pretty funny. Um, if you didn't see the video that I did on holidays, they do something pretty, pretty quirky and funny for um April Fool's Day. I'll show it to you if you care. That joke is older than Seth. I'm pretty sure that joke is older than a hundred percent of chat. Like they were probably telling that in like the 1900s. You're about to get fooled. All right, I'm gonna show you guys something funny. All right, check this out. It's so funny. First of all, cherry blossoms, poggers. Oh, what's up, big man? Give me something. Have you heard today is April Fool's Day? Yeah, 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 I heard, I heard. I was alive in the 1900s. Yeah, but like the 19... Oh, you know what I'm doing? Hang on, I gotta clear my inventory out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, just give me a fucking minute, pal, okay? Just give me a fucking minute. Let's just go over here. Uh, sure. There you go. Out you go. Cherry blossoms look like fall? I don't know. They look pretty pink. Pretty pink to me. I want to give you a special present. Yeah. Hell, <laughs> oh, oh, nothing. He gave me nothing. April Fools, dickhead. That was a lie. A lie. I got a whole bag of them. Orf. Thanks, man. The leaf. Yeah, in case you didn't see this in the holidays video that I did, um, he gives you a leaf, and you're like, oh, a leaf? Well, that's just a leaf. Like, look, it's, it's just, it's a leaf. It's like the, it's like the, it's like that one, the, the motherfucking uh, leaf. City Folk Animal I didn't love it at the time. I don't know. It's nostalgic, though, listening to it now. A leaf, a leaf, a leaf, a leaf, a leaf. And then you put it down. It, it's just a leaf. It literally looks like any other. It looks like you'd, like, drop a piece of furniture outside. Is just a leaf. Pranked. <laughs> nice place you got. Thanks, man. Males males be living like this and they don't see a problem. Top tier furniture? That's pretty funny. I thought it's pretty funny. I thought it was pretty funny. Alright, let's get a surgeon fish, please. Can I please get a surgeon fish? I will cry. Back from a food break, get ready to cry about a chemistry exam. You know what I was really good at in school that nobody in my class knew how to do in chemistry? Was to balance uh, chemical equations. Like, when you have to, like... And I don't know how it went, because it's been so long since I've done it. Like, I don't know how to do it anymore, but, like, you have to, like, simplify, like, a... You have to simplify, like, a chemical formula or something like that. What does that mean? Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm, like... Maybe I'm saying it wrong, like this isn't actually what it was. But it, they would give you like a d -d 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 chemical equation, you'd have to like... I either get it first time, or never. Please give me your talent. I don't know, I was really good at it for some reason, in school. And like, nobody understood how to do it. It was like the one thing that I was good at. But, in chemistry. Uh, otherwise, I'm fucking brain dead, but... I don't know. It was just, like, the one thing I was, like, super good at for some reason. Just aced that part of the class. Yeah, you have to make it... That's right. You have to make it equal on both sides or something like that. And it's, like, I don't remember, like, what it entailed or how to do it. Forget, like, knowing how to do it as an adult. I would never remember unless I went through, like, a refresher course. But, yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know what use it has in chemistry either, or for that matter, practical real life, but yeah. I had to dissect a heart in science this Friday, and I'm not looking forward to it. I, uh, we never dissected anything in bio- <clears throat> That was probably it. We never dissected anything in, like, biology, but they did in the class over, and they let us watch, and there was a- I don't even know if I want to talk about this, but- the there's a cat, and they were pregnant, so they, like, pulled out all the little kittens, and I'm like, Ugh, I don't know. Like, I'm not, like, super grossed out by that, but I don't know. It wasn't my favorite part of... It wasn't my favorite part of high school. Yeah, it was cats at my school. Like, I know usually they're frogs, 
I don't know. We did cats for some reason. That's disgusting. I mean, it's also just... I mean, that's life. Like, that's literally life. That's that, that, that is a living creature with organs, and, you know, there's scientific value to that. So, yeah, it's gross, but, like, that is just... That is science. I'm not gonna say that's not right, because, you know, it is a valuable part of... No, it wasn't alive! Jesus Christ, chat! No, it wasn't alive! God, you never dissected something? No, you don't dissect living things! What? No, it wasn't alive. Christ. Goodness. No. Good God. Why wasn't it alive? Because we were gonna dissect it, man! You don't wanna dissect the living thing! God! Christ, man, y'all... Y'all don't think. Y'all just, like, turn off the critical thinking part of your brains before you watch my stream, don't you? You just... You just... You just wanna sit here and just be a goober. Like, you just got your allocated goober time. Like, you don't think. Like, there's a very basic level of critical thinking that you need before you want to log on to Twitch.tv. Please, like, please just use, like, a little bit of... Please just use, like, a little bit of, like, thinking before you type out a comment in my stream, okay? No, we did not dissect living cats. They were definitely not alive. Good gracious. No, the cat was not giving live birth. Christ. Jeez. Louise. I'm back from the bathroom and Dag is yelling? Well, ever since you left to use the bathroom, all shit went wild, so... Maybe let that be a lesson. Chat's just turning off- Like, I get it, you wanna come on Twitch and you just wanna, like, chill out, have a good time. But, like, all I ask is to just allocate, like, a little and just the tiniest, like, put your brain on airplane mode, but at least enable Wi-Fi so that you can just at least use the slightest bit of critical thinking. Just please. I mean, it's literally the only rule of the stream. Use your noggin. Just a little bit, man. I'm not asking you to use 100% of it. When the stream goes long, we're only at three and a half hours. It's not even that long. I'm getting there, and the longer I go without this damn surgeon fish, the more angry and longer it gets. What's up, Ricking Angel? How are you doing? Good thing I don't think I can use 100% of my brain. Yeah, what was that meme? That was, like, from a movie where they're like, Imagine a world where you can use 100% of your brain. And I'm like, wait, we don't do that? I know that, like, the right part of our brain and the left part of our brain are, like, for different things, but I'm, like, I'm pretty sure we're always using, like, 100% of our brain, right? Pretty sure, like, is always, like, firing, whether you're using the critical knowledge that's stored there or otherwise. I get so tired at your place. Props to you for the length. Oh, trust me when I say I'm really not even, like... People go a lot longer than I do, man. Like, it's weird. I don't know how people do, like, six-hour streams every day. But people out there... I mean, I guess if, like, financial reasons, but I don't know. I, I don't understand how people do, like, consistent 12-hour-plus streams. Like, that's just torture, man. Like, how do you do that? You have to, like, preserve your energy to an extent that I don't really think I could do. Because, like... I could stream for 12 hours, but I would have to do, like, no talking, conserve my voice, just conserve my energy in general. <clears throat> to even, like, make it to 12 hours. Like, are you kidding me? That's just ridiculous. 26-day subathon? I mean, I can stream 26 days in a row. I wouldn't be doing much on each of them, but I could do it. I mean, I don't know. Subathons, though, they're kind of weird to me. I'm getting extremely fucking mad. I'm getting extremely mad. Like, I'm getting... I'm freaking steaming. I'm Stanley Steamer freaking making my ass much... I don't know. I don't have a good analogy. But, I don't know. No, like, subathons are weird because... What they are is, I will stream for X amount of hours, but for every sub, 
donation, bits, uh, etc, etc, I'll extend the time. And what people will do is they'll only be live for, like, half of it. And then the other half, they'll, like, play old videos or something of theirs or play old streams. Or sometimes people will do where they show themselves sleeping, which was always weird to me. I never really understood that. Um, they'll do, like, they'll show themselves sleeping because, of course, you can't, like, literally stay awake for 26 days straight, but they'll show themselves sleeping. And I'm like, this is weird. I don't know if I want to watch someone sleeping. How many people have never played City Folk? I don't know. Probably quite a bit. A lot of people only got into the series in New Leaf and New Horizons, so I don't know. I don't know, maybe the other side of the ocean. Give me some more luck. Sleep stream? I would never, ever, ever, and you can write this down, make a note of it. I will never stream myself sleeping, because I don't know why you would do that. Kind of weird. Please do not sleep stream. No problem, man. I don't plan on it. I don't plan on it. Just in general, you probably should never expect much IRL content from me. Which is to say that if I'm not, like, playing a game, I probably won't stream it. I've seen people do, like, cooking streams, and that's fine. Cooking streams can be fun. I also just don't want, like, chat or just people watching me while I cook. Or do anything, for that matter. Some things I just don't want other people witnessing. Because it's my time. That's my time. I'm not here to cook for you guys. I'm cooking for me. And Kristen. And Stanley. Not for you goobers. Let alone, like, being that I'm not great at cooking, I can only imagine the amount of backseating if I was, like, cooking and then I, I, like, did something wrong and they're like, Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! You dumbass! You just- You can't- No! No! You can't trust the the little markings on the on the stick of butter as one tablespoon. You gotta measure it out yourself. No, no. Shut up. Backseating my knife skills. You know, if you uh, cut the onion vertically and then you do it uh, side to side like this, like this one chef that I saw online do, and I've never actually done it myself, and so therefore can't understand the actual difficulty that goes into the cutting the onion like this. But once I saw Marco Pierre White cutting an onion like this, I think you should really try it, because he managed to cut the entire onion in like four seconds. Completely ignoring the fact that he's been like a world-class chef for the better part of 40 years now, and you're 25 years old and order HelloFresh as your entire life's cooking experience? I really think that you should try it like this. Thanks, man. I'll give that- I'll give that a whirl with my Ikea knife. I'll give that a whirl. Give it a try. Yeah, it's kind of- it's kind of crazy, though. I- I did see a video of somebody, like, cutting an onion, and what they would do is they would cut it, like, vertically, and then they would go size- like, they would start from, like, okay, here's the onion, they would go like this, and then they would do side, like, bam, 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 cut it all the way through. And then they did it once more, like, diagonally, and it was, like, diced in, like, ten- the entire onion was, like, diced in ten seconds. I was like, that's insane, dude. The weird- the- the worst part of HelloFresh is honestly the prep. How much time it takes to, like, prep all the ingredients, okay? Dicing an onion for me, that's like five minutes in itself. Peppers, you gotta decore them, you gotta de-seed them, you gotta fucking... Or like, uh, fucking, what's another one? Depending on how they want you to slice the, the vegetables is kind of the, it's kind of the hard part, really. Mince the garlic, and I'm like, jeez, oh, man, do I really gotta mince the garlic? Oh, you just ignored me, huh? Get the slap chop? Yeah, I should get, like, that thing that, like, minces it and, like, cuts it for you. That would help. Just, yeah, 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 I do the thing where you, like, where you smash the garlic with a knife, and then, like, you cut it, and then I'm like, okay, that helps, but, like, the garlic cloves that they give you, they're, like, super fucking tiny. So it's not, that's not even the part that would take that long. It's more like the onions, the peppers. What's another one? Potatoes. They give you a lot of potatoes. They always want you to cut up into wedges, and I'm like, Ugh. instant pot that garlic with the other shit. I got an air fryer, which is basically just an instant pot. 
as a food prepper, it gets easy. And it's, I've definitely noticed, like, even only doing it for, like, a couple of months now, I, that I'm so much better than I was when I first started. It still takes a while, though. It still takes a while. And, like, it, it's all dependent on, like, the quality of your knife. Like, if your knife is dull, then, of course, it's just gonna take longer. So... I don't know. Yeah, peeling stuff. Oh my god, when I gotta peel... Like, sometimes they'll tell you before you prep the carrots, like, peel the carrots first. Of course, you need to wash and dry it as well, and it's like, that's not bad, but, like, it's 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 all extra time. I don't have, like, a peeler, so every time I have to peel something, it's just with the knife that I use. Which, you know, maybe one could be like, oh, you should invest in a peeler. And I'm like, thanks, man, you're right, I should. Not that I would ever use it, like, outside of HelloFresh. The thing that I worry about is that if I buy something for HelloFresh, for preparing, like, HelloFresh meals, I'm gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna use this for as long as I use HelloFresh, and then I'm probably never going to use it again. For example, like, a peeler. I will probably use a peeler. I could probably find good use out of a peeler for HelloFresh. But as soon as I stop doing HelloFresh... I'm never gonna use a peeler again. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I probably will never use a peeler ever again. Or maybe I will. I don't know. But it's not really a risk I want to take. Dude, come on, please. Seriously, this is ridiculous, man. Come on. I'm just gonna... I think my lesson is... Don't... Yeah, there you go. Just let him come to you. Don't try to get him... Let him come to you. And of course, it wasn't even what you need, but let the fish come to you. Don't try to chase the fish by recasting. Let the fish come to your bobber is the lesson I'm learning. Save your fingers by doing the crank. The crank. Christmas at the cranks? I have no idea what you're talking about. You heard about this cool ACNH YouTuber, Dagnal? No, man. Starting to think Dory doesn't like you? Yeah, I'm starting to think that, like... Something's wrong? I don't know. I don't want to say, like, something's wrong, but this is, like, suspicious now. This is getting a little bit... If I may dare use this word. Suspicious. It's getting a little weird. Something's alive in the ocean. Yeah, something's getting a little weird. Like, I, we're getting into, like, flea territory. Yeah, like, I don't know. Something's, like, wrong. But, like, I know that this is just, like, how probability works. Where there is, like, a chance where you just do get this unlucky. It's not out of the question that I could, you know... By a matter of probability, it is theoretically possible that I could live for 80 years of playing this game and theoretically never catch an, or a surgeon fish. Like, that's just how probability works. But I also recognize that the longer this goes on, the more uncanny the odds of going this long without finding one are. But at the same time, like, this is getting close to 10 hours here. And we started today at, like, what, 6, 17, 02? So... Yeah. Hmm. It's not as bad as the flea, though, because... I don't have to keep resetting the game. So, that's pretty cool. Making Among Us references, and Dag was quoting Hotwig. Oh, I wasn't quoting anything, man. I wasn't trying to, at least. The AC Spreadsheets Project is a Discord server. Um, there is a Discord server that's like an a analytical Animal Crossing Discord server that I'm a part of. It's called um, ACNH Info. I don't suppose that's what it's called. Because it's called ACNH Info, not just Animal Crossing. So, yeah, if you want to post it in, like, self-promo something, go ahead and post it there, assuming it's not the same thing as one of them that I'm already part of. I got two fleas in the space of three days. Yeah, you're about to get two bands in the space of one... I don't know. Did you have an earlier prediction on how long this would take? No, because I didn't think it would need one. Like, it's not exactly like... Like, I guess a surgeon fish is kind of rare, but it's not that rare. I don't think that this would need a prediction. This wouldn't, like... This This didn't strike me as a fish that would take me a while, because, if anything, I thought that the big balls fish were going to be like the, the Napoleon fish for city folk, or the Dorado and the tuna for new... for new... or for wild world. Okay, yeah, send it, Chubby Bub. Send it. Send it in the self-promo channel if you want. I'd be very interested in that. Yeah, I don't know, though. If this gets to, like... 
I don't really want to end with only having like one or two fish left to catch, but I guess that's what I did with Wild World, kind of, so... I don't know. I kind of don't really want to stream that much longer, though, because I am getting sick of looking for this thing, so... Give it like... 10-15 more minutes. And then if we get it within 10-15 minutes, then I'll give like another 10-15 minutes for the lobster, which is the fish that I need after the surgeon fish. Yes, you heard that right. We're not even done with this game after we get the surgeon fish. We still got one more. And I would, I don't know, I feel like the lobster is even more rare than the surgeon fish is. But I don't know at this point, how much fucking rarer could it be? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I feel like also, like, I can't stop at 69, because that's just ripe for jokes. So if I do get the surgeon fish, then I probably gotta keep going until I get the lobster as well. Get the 70 at the very least. Like, this whole surgeon fish arc will definitely be something in the video, because this is a little ridiculous. Have a good rest of my stream. My break is over. Gotta go back to work. Bye, everyone. Have a good rest of your day, Wolfie. Have a good rest of your day. Hope you enjoy. There's only one beach you can fish on. Uh, yeah, it, like, expands across the entire southern border, does the beach. But it's... I'm only using... And this... Yeah, one could argue that, like, I shouldn't do this. But I'm only really using, like, three-fourths of it. Because to get to the other one-fourth, I have to cross the river... And I'm like, I don't know if it's worth the time that it takes to go up here, cross the river, go back down to check the other one quarter of a beach for a fish that really shouldn't even be that rare in the first place. But, I mean, shit, I do go over here occasionally just to see. There's not a whole lot of beach over here, though, for me to check. Booting up the Wii U to exploit, to exploit this boy? Mm hmm. Yeah, but, like, over here, there's, like, barely any beach, but I, I don't know, try to check it occasionally. I also fear that, like, with how small the screen is, that there's fish, like, beyond my view distance here that I might just not be seeing. Like, I barely caught wind of this guy, and that's not even what I need. If he was smaller, imagine how easy it would be to miss that. Three, four gigas giant clams in a row yesterday? I'm happy for you, man. It's like 60,000 bills. I'm modding my Wii U. Go for it, man. It's actually like a very useful console if you homebrew it. It's a lot of things you can do with it. You know, you're able to play DS games with it, old Wii games with it. I think if you do certain things with it, you can play gold GameCube games on it as well. Of course, you know, native Wii U games. But, you know, not that most of the... The Wii U's problem is that, like, a lot of the games that were exclusive to the console that might incentivize someone to buy a Wii U are now mostly on the Switch, so... I don't know why somebody would buy a Wii U if not to mod it. Like, Breath of the Wild, okay, that was cool, but now it's on the Switch. Mario Kart 8, okay, that's cool, but now it has an exclusive Switch version. Probably other games as well. Is that rare? Oh yeah, that's pretty rare, man. Wii U was underrated at the time. I, I agree, honestly. Like, I think we talked about this the other day, but, like, why did the Wii U fail so bad? I honestly think that, like, it being marketed as the Wii U, like, it's kind of like saying that it's a Wii, but better. And usually when, like, an upgraded version of a console that I already own comes out, I'm like, why would I get that? I already have, you know, the console. For example, the Switch OLED. Are you taping the pens game? No, I'm just gonna have to catch up on it after stream. I don't have, like, a... DVR or anything like that. Now, usually I'll just catch up with it because they start in the middle of my stream, usually. Or actually, I should keep, like, a Google tab open of the score. Unless it's bad. Yeah, like the penguins. Doing this to partially speedrun Zombie U? There you go, Zombie U. Yeah, people compare it to the Wii too much. And how could they not? It's called the Wii U. Like, I don't blame them for doing that. I don't blame them for doing that. How can somebody be like, Why would I not want a- Why would I want a Wii U? I already got a Wii. Like, when the Switch OLED came out, I'm like, I like the fucking penguins. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Crying in my 2-1 series lead over the higher seed rangers. Wah, wah. I'm so sad. Wah. Oh, no. Back-to-back -back Stanley Cups in 2015-2016. Wah. Three cups in the Crosby era. Wah. Having the second greatest Mario Lemieux hockey player of all time. Wah. 
Yeah, I'm so sad. Don't worry, man. I'll be okay. All right? I'll be fine. Um, anyway, what were I talking about? When, uh, the Switch OLED came out, I was like, why would I want that? I just got a Switch. There's nothing that the Switch offers that doesn't, that the Switch OLED offers that my Switch can't do. So, like, why would I want that? And maybe that's a lot of people's thoughts of the Wii U when I got them, right? Just get them to explain how their fandom isn't just as depressed as the Leafs fandom. How could any fandom be more depressed than the Leafs fandom? Flyer supremacy? I'm not I'm not here to argue, man. You can root forever you want. Should the 3DS not be compared to the DS? It had a rough launch, but it evened out. Yeah, and I think what fixed and yeah, like that's that's a good that's a good point. It's like, well, if that's the logic as to how the Wii U failed, then why didn't the 3DS fail when it's just a when it's just named after the DS, and it's like, I don't know, man. I don't know the fucking macroeconomics of how the hell this failed. I honestly don't know. That being said, it did have a rough start because it didn't really have a great games lineup at the start, and I think that's like the good, that's like the surefire way of fixing a bad console is to release games for it that are only available for that system that are really good. Which the Wii U did, and yet it still didn't salvage it. And it's only really after the fact that we realize that the Wii U is actually kind of baller. Hmm. I don't know. If you were there last night and witnessed being down 5 nothing, and everyone just being okay with it, expecting it? No, I I know, man. Like, I know. You, you can try to talk hockey to me, man. Like, I know. Like, I, 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 I know. I paid that massive price tag when the 3DS launched? Yeah, and it's just like, what did the 3DS have at launch, man? It was only in, like, the coming years that it actually made it worth it. It's a homebrew beast? Yeah, like, that's how I managed to capture footage on it without needing a capture card, which that in itself saves hundreds of bucks, having to send it over somewhere across the world to put a fucking capture card on it. Like, yeah, jeez. That's nice. So, that in itself made it worth homebrewing, so... And not to mention, it wasn't a very hard process, assuming you have the equipment for it. But yeah, I don't know. We can only speculate why the Wii U failed. It certainly didn't help its cause that the Switch then came out, and just did everything that the Wii U did, but better, including took a lot of the games that were exclusive to it. So yeah. I went from the wings being dirt worst to 20 years of greatness to dirt worst again. Look, they ain't dirt worst, okay? The coyotes exist. For now. It's about 10 to 15 minutes to put home dirt on- Okay, it didn't- It took me like a solid like two hours, but that's because I was like super careful as to not brick it. And also I'd never modded anything before that, so it took me a couple of hours, but it was pretty easy. At least Leafs fans aren't Habs fans. Bro, nobody knows what Habs fans are, is okay? Nobody in my ch You're on an Animal Crossing streamers chat. We don't know who that is. Well, I know what it is, but people don't know what it is. Okay? That's why I avoid talking about sports, because every time I talk about sports, people are like, Oh, sports! Ah! And then whenever somebody talks about, like, RuPaul, Dra RuPaul Drags Race, I'm like, I don't know what that is. I don't really watch it. People are like, What? What? Huh? So, yeah, like, ew, sports! Yeah, so I try to limit the sports talk. What do you need to homebrew a 3DS? I think all you need is an SD card reader. At least that was, like, the thing that I had to get to do it. I didn't- I don't have an SD card reader, like, in my computer. So I had to get a separate reader for it, or rather I had to use Kristen's. I imagine if you don't have that, you'd probably need it. But other than that, like... That's it? I, th I think that might be it. It's the only thing I remember needing. I couldn't- I can't remember the process exactly, though. <clears throat> I can't remember the process exactly. Yeah, RuPaul's- like, I was actually convinced for a long time that RuPaul's Drag Race was actually where they take, like, the fucking cars with the giant wheels and they run them down a drag strip. <laughs> I thought that's what it was! I didn't know that it was, like, walking the proverbial drag strip, okay? I'm stupid, okay? I'm just, I'm dumb. You gotta give me a break, man. You gotta give me a break. That would be kind of sick, though, you have to admit. Taking a bunch of people and then just, like, taking a bunch of amateur people, sticking them inside of a drag car, having them experience, like, 
20 G's of acceleration racing down a drag strip against some other random person. Yeah, that'd be actually kind of funny. Maybe even better than actual RuPaul's Drag Race. Yes! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Arr! Jesus! I've been doing it right the entire time, okay? Christ! Arr! 69. It's the funny number. That's awesome, dude. That's the sex number. I totally have sex, by the way. <laughs> That's why I laugh at jokes like 69. <laughs> Please help me. Alright, now we need to go to December at noon for the lobster. Which will be fun. You know, arguably an even more rare fish than the surgeon fish is. <laughs> uh, I am in severe emotional distress. Alright. Pretty good. Man, child me would have killed for 29,000 in this game. That's crazy. A lot of money, man. Whew. I'm came late. What's he doing? Now, I'm just trying to get the lobster in Animal Crossing City Folk. And then after that, um, I'm going to end stream, to be quite honest with you. That's what I'm going to do today. Which Mario game is the best on the Switch? Most worth it? Oh, Mario Odyssey, man. Like, I don't know if it's, like, worth it, because you'll probably buy it for full price, but, like, at full price, it's still a very worthwhile game. Mario Odyssey is fantastic. I would highly recommend it. Uh, so we want 12, 1, and then go back in time so our town isn't just weeds. And, yeah, 11 o'clock. Super Mario Party? Yeah, what, what's the most recent Mario Party? The one that they just remade a bunch of uh, Super Mario or Mario Party 1, 2, and 3 boards in minigames? That's, from what I heard, pretty good. Mario Party Superstars, I didn't hear was great. Or I think maybe I got it. That, that was Superstars. Okay, so Super Mario Party I heard was not that good, but Superstars was pretty good. I think Odyssey, though, is kind of like far and away the best Mario game on the Switch, though. That's the general consensus. I don't know, though. I, I've played Odyssey a couple of times. It's pretty great. Okay, now, I'm gonna ask chat a question, and I... A lobster is a sea bass-sized fish. It's not like the ray, where it was one bigger, like the blue marlin size shadow. It's a, it's a sea bass size shadow. Can somebody confirm this, please? I hate superstars. Interesting. I mean, I'm not strongly opinionated on it. It's a large shadow. Okay, but not a huge one. Okay. Got it. Because that's what I thought, and that's what I'm looking for, so... It better be. <laughs> it better be. It is? About the lobster? Bowser's Fury was fun? Oh, yeah, actually, people said that Mario 3D World Bowser's Fury is pretty good as well. Yeah, I never played it. Can't tell you, though. The only Mario game that I can actually say I bought on the Switch that was well worth the money was Odyssey. Very good game. Highly recommend it. Get ready for a bunch of sea bass. Yeah, it's gonna be Sea Bass City for a while here, but that's okay. That's fine. I need Bowser's Fury. I don't know. From what people say, it's good, but I can't give you any personal... I can't personally vouch for that. It's the best traditional Mario platformer. Like, when you say traditional, that means that Odyssey couldn't classify as the best Mario platformer. Because that's what I think is the best Mario platformer. Fun, but kind of short. So, fun, but maybe not worth 60 bucks. What I feel is the worst about spending full price on is Super Mario Party. And that's the one that... That's, like, the latest Mario Party that isn't Superstars, right? Odyssey is a 3D Mario. I mean, but Mario 3D World is as well. But traditional, I mean straightforward levels to get to the flag. I see, okay. Okay, I see. I mean, yeah, it's like, yeah, but, like, I don't know. <laughs> You're literally talking about 3D World, a game called 3D World. I don't know. Either way. Just get the lobster right away. Alright. <laughs> I also regret spending 60 bucks on Super Mario Party. Yeah, Truge. 
What's like the game that y'all spent money on that was just like not worth it at all? Not worth it at all. I mean, I've probably I've done it probably more times than I care to admit, but uh top of my head Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. And I, like, really wanted that game. I really wanted Let's Go Eevee because I thought it was going to be fun. It was, like, one of my first Switch games, so I was really excited to try it. Ooh, that game was rough. I didn't like it. Let's Go Eevee at all. Um, Epic Mickey? Oh, my God. I haven't thought about Epic Mickey in forever, man. Isn't that just Kingdom Hearts? I don't know. Five Nights at Freddy SB? I, I, I've never played a Five Nights at Freddy's game. A security Breach, right? Like, the most recent one. Majora's Mat? No, what? Majora's Mask on 3DS? People like that game. I don't know. I never played it, but, like, don't people like that game? Doesn't mean that you have to, of course, but, like... Man, that's not... That's, it's, that's not an answer I expected, I suppose. WWE 2K20? The only annual release sports game that I think is even worth I don't think there's a sports game that releases annually that I think is worth buying every year. None of them innovate enough in that one year period for them to be worth the $60 price tag that releases every year. Like Madden games, they come out every year and they're always worth 60 bucks and never in that year are they ever innovative enough to actually justify charging 60 bucks for other than that people will pay that. So, you know, theoretically, the only thing that... Oh, this is on uh, Wii U. This is on Wii U, Chubby Bub. No, this isn't emulated. Um, and it's the only thing that, like, makes them charge 60 bucks for it is the fact that, you know, people actually spend 60 bucks on it, and they're like, you know, they're always good-selling games, despite the fact that everybody collectively as, like, a group, hates, like, the fact that Madden is a horrible sports franchise now. I don't know. Like, I don't think any sports franchise is worth buying when it releases, like, one new game a year. I bought MLB The Show 22 for the Switch, and I'm enjoying it, but am I gonna buy 23? Probably not, unless it does a lot of innovation. The only one that I can really think is the F1 games are usually pretty good every year, but... <clears throat> Still, I don't know if they're worth buying for full price. I don't know. Either way. I think it's just EA. Yeah, EA, who does, like, most of them, and then uh, Sony does the show, and I think all the 2K ones are, I mean, by 2K, right? Yeah, they'll just milk everything they make? Well, of course, and people will keep buying it. So who's, who's really the idiots here? Octopath Traveler is good. Octopath Traveler is 70 bucks. Sims 4? Oh, yeah, Sims 4. Like, base game being as expensive as it is is criminal, considering how much, like, the DLCs are that actually make the game worth buying and how much those cost as well. Wait a minute. Through my microphone... Through my green-screened microphone... Yeah, I was about to say, I saw a fish. It was really weird. Makes you wonder how many of those that I missed. This year, NHL added retro NHL 94. That was worth the money. I don't know. Maybe. Could you say that you expect it to be worth the money every year? Probably not, though. The base game should be free for Sims 4 and then only pay for the DLC. Even still, you're getting ripped off. Like, I don't know. It's hard that a, a free game could make me feel ripped off, but Sims 4 is so bare bones as a base game that I'm like, I could pay no money for it and I'll feel ripped off. Just for the fact that it promises to be like Sims games in the in the past, like 3 and 2, which were actually like, you know, good games without needing to buy the expansions. That promise in itself, and the fact that it didn't live up to that promise, is just, that makes it feel like I feel like I'd be ripped off even if I didn't pay anything for it, man. I don't know. I don't condone pirating games. Sims 4, however. Oh, I do. I condone it. Depends on who you're pirating it from, though. Like, who's losing out by you pirating the game? If you ask yourself, is it ethical to steal from EA, and your answer is no, then please reconsider how you value the world that we live in. Because I think it's completely ethical to pirate games from EA. 
I think it's completely ethical to pirate games from most big games companies that don't give a shit about you or its player base in general. Nintendo ain't losing shit from you pirating Animal Crossing City folk, man. They're not... Because they're not making it anymore. So they're not losing any money by you doing that. Because they don't make the game anymore. Now, if you're pirating a game that they're actively releasing, okay, then they're losing money. But still, do you really feel bad about stealing from the biggest company in Japan? You shouldn't. Then, just as they don't give a shit about you. If you're pirating or if you're uh, modding a Wii U to put games on it illegally, like, they're, they're probably not making those games anymore, man. They're probably not making them anymore. It's like, you ever steal something from your workplace? And you, like, feel empowered because of it? It's kind of awesome, right? <laughs> now, of course, you probably shouldn't do that if you value your job security. Okay? But, like... Like, I remember I used to, um... At... I used to work in a factory, and I would, like, take stuff from the maintenance department sometimes if I needed to, like, use them at home. Are you speaking from experience? I'm literally telling the story right now. I used to, like, go to the maintenance department, and I would, like, take, like, bolts, screws, anchors, or whatever, and, like, take them home. And I'm like, hell yeah, dude, I don't have to go out and buy these, I can just steal them. Hell yeah. Now, okay... That's pretty tame, because everybody who worked there did exactly that, because why would you go to the hardware store when you literally work in a factory that has all this bullshit, okay? Why wouldn't you? Why who, who would buy that? Now, I didn't go out and steal, like, entire injection molding machines. Now, that's just a little impractical, but, you know, you get what I mean. It's empowering. It's empowering sticking it to the man. Alright, this lobster has ten... Give it 15 minutes for this lobster here. I used to steal pencils from my school. Yeah, what is your school gonna do? Suspend you? Yeah, I suppose, maybe. But not for a pencil, man. You start pulling, like... Okay, I will agree that, like... You know that devious lick trend on TikTok? Where people would, like, steal urinals from the bathroom? Then you're just being a dick. There is a line where you're just doing something... Or you're stealing something for practicality's sake, and it's really kind of harsh to even label it as stealing because you took a pencil, you know, from the principal's office. Pretty benevolent versus stealing a urinal from the bathroom. I think that there's a line to be drawn there. There's nuance to everything. Stealing TP? Yeah, like, I don't know about... Like, stealing TP... How much TP we talking, I guess? Yeah, come home with, like, a full-on toilet. Like, what was up with the devious lick trend where people would, like, with great pride, post the fact that they just stole the paper towel dispenser from their high school? And I'm like, you're so badass, dude. What are you gonna do with that? You gonna put that up in your house? You gonna put that up in your house? What are you gonna do with that? What are you, what are you gonna do with that? You gonna pawn it off to somebody? You gonna pawn off genuine certified paper towel dispenser from this high school? Bro, you could probably go to, like, DeSantis fucking janitor supplies and get, like, ten of them for five bucks, alright? You're not cool. I don't know why a public toilet. I'm just, just making some examples here. I don't know if anyone actually stole the toilet. Stole someone's shoe from under the stall? That's just rude. Like, that's, you're not stealing from the school at that point. You're stealing from someone else. My uncle did the epic gamer move of stealing street signs. See, that's, like, not cool because now you're just inconveniencing people. If you're stealing inconveniences, people, like, not named the multi-million dollar company, then it's just a dick move. Like, if you're stealing from people or otherwise inconveniencing people, that's not so cool. Like, street signs. What are you gonna do with that, man? You're just making it so that it's harder for people to navigate. Someone did steal a toy. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Yeah, schools had to do the buddy system, right? Where they had to, like... Have people go to the bathroom together to make sure they're not gonna pull any devious licks. I'm like, that's so cool, man. That's so awesome. My man stole a stop sign in a neighborhood watch in the street for fun in the 90s. If you're stealing stop signs that people's tax dollars paid for 
and you're inconveniencing people by probably, you know, maybe causing an accident by removing a stop sign, that's a dick move, man. Like, I don't know. You can try to, like... You can try to justify it. It's a pretty dick move. Considering you were kind of, in a way, the one who paid for it, you know? I stole a dog magnet one time when I was, like, five. One of my earliest memories, mom was not happy. What is a dog magnet? I don't know what that is. It was a dog magnet. I remember, like, from Wegmans, they had, like, a bulk section for dog treats, and I stole one for Stanley. And I'm like, look, I like Wegmans, man. They're, they're a good place to shop. I don't feel any sympathy for it. Oh, it's a magnet in the shape of a dog. I'm like, what? Oh, is it like a magnet for, like, your dog? What does that do? No, it's, it's just like a dog-shaped magnet. <laughs> don't feel bad about it, man. I promise you. They, 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 they don't care. It's not hurting their bottom line. Still peppermint patties from... So what you're saying is you're the reason why Blockbuster ain't around no more. There's only one in, like, Bend, Oregon. What you're saying... Look, there's something about correlation and causation, but you were stealing peppermint patties from the Blockbuster, okay? And now, Blockbuster don't exist no more, okay? So I'm just curious. I'm just curious, okay? I'm just curious, is all I'm saying. People love to steal at Target. Among things stolen are TurboTax boxes and Plan B pills. I like how, uh, Plan B pill- I don't know about TurboTax boxes, that's not really so much where I'm going here. I like how Plan B pills and otherwise, like, you know, childbirth options are so, like, restricted and unaccessible for some people that they have to rely on stealing Plan B from a grocery store. Pretty Paulgers champion, honestly. Pretty Paulgers champion. I imagine that's gonna start going up due to current events. They lock them up now? Yeah, I've been in, like, Walmarts where literally fucking everything is locked up. It's kind of sad because you're, like, you're looking at, like, the damn underwear and you're like, Who's stealing underwear, man? Why do people steal underwear? I just want to get some damn undies without having to call over an associate and be like, Oh, yes, sir. Which, which, which pack of underwear would you like, sir? And I gotta be the doofus who's, like, pointing them to the fucking right underwear that I want. It's like, I don't want to do that. I'll just, I'll just order it online at that point, man. I don't want to have to go through the fucking shame of calling over some store associate and pointing to the fucking pack of undies that I wanted to buy. It's just mortifying, man. Don't make me do that. We'll lock up the undies. Come on now. Or like the deodorant or something like that. I'm like, if you like lock everything up in the store, I'm gonna try a different store. I'm not gonna ask them to unlock absolutely everything that I need. Or actually what they do is they'll unlock it and then they'll bring it to the register. And after they bring it to the register, you gotta be like, yeah, I'm the one who bought the uh, the underwear, the deodorant, um, the toothpaste. Yeah, that was me. And they're like, oh, okay, this is you, sir. And then you just basically r rattled off your entire fucking grocery list to this underpaid Walmart employee. Probably laughing at you on the inside. Fucking embarrassing, dude. Embarrassing. Pog. Condom shame buying? I don't know, I feel like it's the opposite if you're out there buying condoms, man. I feel like most people take great pride in that fact, but I don't know if they should. Just saying, they probably do. Necessities or healthcare items, which makes it sad? Yeah, because it obviously signals that people can't get good enough access to these things that they have to rely on stealing it, you know? Or maybe people just steal it for malevolent purposes, like they don't even need it, they just feel like stealing it, so I don't know. It's that mix of good people and bad people that kind of makes it tough, right? Some people want to ban contraceptives. Yeah, it's pretty fucked up. <laughs> Pretty messed up. I can assure you that the employees do not give a shit what you're buying. Yeah, I know, but like, look, okay, oh, I don't know, man. I used to work at a hardware store, and sometimes people would walk in and they would be like, they would buy stupid shit, okay? Like, I'm just saying it. Like, it obviously isn't that stupid if we were selling it, but, and it's a hardware store. How much stupid shit could you sell at a hardware store? But like, sometimes they would come in. And they would buy, like, I, I don't know, they would buy, like, just dumb shit. And then I would, like, 
I would scan it like I would scan everyone else, but then in my head, I'm like, why are you, th th this is stupid, why are you buying this? So, of course, they're not judging you, but of course, the, of course, they're not judging you out loud, but of course, they're judging you, they're only human, right? Of course, they're judging you in their head. They're not gonna tell you that you're stupid for buying this, but they're gonna think it, because I did, I thought about it. I would see people get like, okay, so one thing that I did a lot was I would, um, I would cut keys. So, like, you ever go to, like, get your, get a key duplicated and then had to throw that into that loud-ass machine that duplicates them? What sometimes people would do is they would put the cute little custom patterns on them. So, a lot of the times it'd be, like, local sports teams. One of them that we had that was a fan favorite, a customer favorite, was, uh, Minions. People loved putting minions on their keys that they were duplicating. So, rest assured, I was judging them when they did that, okay? Rest assured, I was judging them. So you might say that, oh, they're not judging you. Of course they're judging you. They're not going to say anything, though. But absolutely, in their head, they're judging you. Of course. Absolutely, they're judging you. I judged you. What's your worst customer story? It's the... I, I've told this before. It's actually relevant to the key cutting again, but I cut someone's key wrong one time. Um, like, I used the wrong base key, and they got really mad at me when they came home... When they came back to the store and were like... And their key didn't work, and they're like, You fucked up! And I'm like, I'm sorry, sir. Can I offer to do that again for free? They're like, no! And they're like, they don't want a solution. They just wanted to come back and get mad at me. And I'm like, that's fair. I'd be a little bit chuffed. Not chuffed, the opposite. I'd be pretty mad if somebody, like, you know, fucked up my house key. And then I get home only to realize it doesn't work. So I gotta go back to the hardware store because some dickhead did it wrong. And I'm like, I'd be a little bit mad too. But I wouldn't go back and yell at him, okay? I was miffed. Yeah, I was a little miffed. And I would be miffed, too, if it happened to me, but that don't mean you gotta yell at me, man. Don't yell at me. And not to mention, like, we did offer to fix their problem, and then they didn't even want that. They, they were like, I don't... No, I don't want you to redo it. I'll have it done somewhere else by someone who knows what they're doing. And I'm like, awesome, man. I really don't care. My, you don't, your affiliation towards this store doesn't mean anything to me. A lot of people be like, I'm taking my business elsewhere as if I give a shit that you're going to do it at the fucking, you know, instead of doing it at the Ace Hardware, you're going to be going over to the fucking Home Depot to do it. I don't care. Good. It's one last customer I have to deal with, if anything. I don't care. I'll take my business. I don't care. Go. Take your business elsewhere. It don't matter to me. Maybe they had poor anger management? Yeah, like... Yeah, they probably did. It's exactly... That's... Yeah, probably correct. Now, why is it such a epidemic that so many people have poor anger management that they have to take it out on retail employees? Well, geez, I don't know, man. I don't know. You just lost a loyal customer. Awesome, dude. You weren't loyal to me. You're, I promise you, like, however loyal you were to this company did not make my paycheck any better. It did not make it any better. So as far as I'm concerned, I don't give a fucking rat's ass, dude. Moms who were mad at Target when they didn't have a specific protein bar flavor being like, I'm never coming back to this Target again. Girl, we know you're going to be back. Shut up. As if it's like even your fault that you don't stock the right fucking flavor. Like, it, it, sorry, sorry, madame. We don't have any more of this certain thing because I personally, I personally put it into effect that we do not have this flavor of protein bar just to screw you, just to fuck with you, okay? I did that. I'm the one who personally did that. Not management, not the fact that supply chain, you know, not, not just the natural flow of supply chain or anything like that is the reason why we don't have it. No, I did that. That was me. That was me. Can you check the back? No. <laughs> There was a, there's a series of vines or TikToks from this one guy who worked at Ikea, and he's like, he he rattled off, like, common customer comments, and he, he gave his rebuttal as what he wanted to say to them at the time. 
and he said he did one that was like, can you check in the back? No. The back is not some magical place where things where missing inventory just appears for no reason. No, we already checked in the back. <laughs> the IKEA. Yeah, I don't know his name, but he's funny. Those take yeah, they're good. They're good. I don't know. Either way, um yeah, the average retail employee does not mean to inconvenience you, but at the same time, uh, it's not their fault when you are inconvenienced, and therefore is not your right to get mad at them. Considering especially, like, they can't retaliate. Like, and people know that. Retail employees can't retaliate. They'll lose their job. Like, when I got yelled at, I just had to, like, sit there and take out, and, like, take my, like, and take my chewing, right? Sure. I just had to sit there and just be like, okay, 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 okay. And just, like, take my chewing. As soon as I talk back to them, I lose my job. And customers know that. The customers know that a retail employee can't talk back or they'll lose their job. Or let alone smack back. Then again, if you assault a retail employee, okay, I'll lose my job just to get back at you. I would lose my job to, like, smack someone back. I mean, at that point, like... Can you fire a retail employee for being hit and then hitting a customer back? Because at that point, it's self-defense. Like, I don't think that... I think you'd get some, like, pretty negative PR if you fired an employee for that. You got a sea bass? Holy shit, that's rare. I know, man. So true. So true. So true. Retail workers have to be better behaved than the fucking cops? Yeah, that's pretty true. That's pretty true. So true. Please. We'll both be going to jail if a customer slaps me? I don't think you'd go to jail for slapping someone. I think, you know. Get a finger waggled at you. Probably it. Make a working retail fast food mandate. Yeah, like, I think everybody in the world needs to work, like, retail or fast food. I was gonna say, I thought I saw a fish, man. Yeah, this is city folk. I think everybody in the world should be subjected to working, like, retail or fast food for, like, six months minimum. I think that would offer a lot of perspective. I think it would. Truly. I think it truly would. I'll escalate to that. I, I can get down with it. I mean, fuck, I, I, did, I didn't even do six months of retail, and I already had, I had enough of it. I had enough of it, man. Yeah, like, no thanks. Like, you wouldn't want to do that, but I really think that a lot of people would do good by that, so I don't know. As much as I don't want to have to work retail, I would do it if it means everyone else does. Because, you know, I'm spiteful? I don't know. The C-plus joke is like, okay, so C, you, it, it's, and that's a rhyme, it's the same thing as C, you pronounce it the same as C, like S-E-A. So it's like a C-bass, like a letter C-bass, at least it's a C-plus. I don't know, man, it, it, it's something like that. They ran out of jokes. They should have just went back to the joke in the older games where if you caught a sea bass, it would be like, Ah, oh, shit, not again. That would have been funnier than the C+, plus, man. Better than a C-? minus. Yeah. It would be cool, like, I don't know, how, how much effort would it be to have, like, a few puns per fish? So that every sea bass you get had a chance of being, like, one of a few different puns instead of always being the same one? It'd be kind of cool. Or what if, like, every, like, one in every, like, a thousand fish you caught had, like, a special pun to it? I don't know. Like, that's just... I don't know. It's just... It's just, just, just throwing out ideas. Yeah, they got, like, a few for squid, so I'm like, you've done this with, like, squid, but, like, only for squid? I remember there's one fish that if you catch it in the daytime, it's different, versus if you catch it in the nighttime, like, the pun is different. And I'm like, well, that's fucking weird. Why would they do that? Your hundredth fish comes with a special quip? Really? Like, your hundredth time catching a certain fish, or your one hundredth fish overall? I didn't know that. What, what fish? Did a Twitter thread about the sea bass joke? It used to be better, but was rewritten. Yeah, I remember, uh, I remember the guy trying to explain it, and it's like, after I read that, I was like, still confused, but I don't know. Oh no, that was a suggestion, okay. Like, having it say, like, oh, I feel like I could haul in some better fish now after you catch a hundred fish and therefore qualify for more fish to be caught because of the 
uh, total catch requirement for certain fish. Yeah, that would be kind of cool. Never worked a real job, but I try to be as nice to retail and fast food workers as I can because I feel bad for them. I mean, I don't think you should pity them. I don't think that's the right attitude to, like, feel bad for retail workers because they're not really... I don't think you should pity them, but treating them nicely is... A... Yeah, I, I agree. You should treat them nicely. I don't know if you should, like, feel bad for them or pity them. Because it's not like their job should be, like, looked down upon. Like, oh, you poor retail worker. Like, I don't know. I think you should just be nice to them because everyone deserves to have, you know, everyone deserves to have someone nice to them. Musical theory joke. Sea bass is read as a sea bass. Sea bass? And the three in the C plus is read as C sharp. I don't fully understand it. I think I've seen this explanation before, but I still don't really get it. I still don't really get it. You know, I'm also dumb. Hey, pescado una lobina, mira que guapa y que fina. What does that mean? <laughs> Fina and Lubina? Okay, I see the rhyme. I don't know what it means, though. And also, what fish is that? Hey, pescado, una Lubina. Is that just the pun, or is that the fish? I mean, it's like an average fish? I don't know. Maybe that is the interpretation. Oh, that's the sea bass pun. Oh, okay. Well, what's that mean? I have no idea what that means. Or, I don't even know if I said it right, to be honest with you. I don't even know if I said it right. If it was musical theory, they should have just said treble. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Thanks for the hydrate. Alright, five minutes. Uh, I think I said 15 minutes ago, I'm gonna give this lobster 15 minutes. Alright, it's got five now. I've extended the deadline because I really don't want to have to log off of City Folk, log back on just to get the fucking lobster, and then move on to New Leaf. But I also don't want to fucking stream all day, preferably. It's not a C, so it's a C plus grade. Maybe, man. Maybe it is just that simple and we're trying to look into it too much. That's very possible. It's very possible. I'm applying for retail jobs currently and I'm so scared because people in my area... Ah, see, that's too big. Gosh. It could be a coelacanth, though, so... And imagine, I caught a coelacanth in one fucking hour in this game. Like, less than that. I can't even get a lobster. Or a surgeon fish. Or fucking anything. Like, this is something... This is wrong. I must have got really lucky in that coelacanth video, man. Anyway. In my area, there are so many people who would not hesitate to scream at me for no reason. Yeah, I don't know, man. I wish you the best of luck. It is tough, though. It is tough. Nobody should have to deal with constant berating and belittling at their job, let alone by customers who are already privileged enough to have their every needs, you know, acc accustomed to in a store. I don't know. Especially at, like, a store where, like, oh, the customer's always right. No, they're, they're rarely ever right, to be honest with you. Rarely are they ever right, to be honest with you. It only works if your manager doesn't suck. That only works if your manager doesn't suck. Third period in the Penguins game? I'm gonna look up the score. I'm, I'm gonna be in a bad mood. I'm gonna be in a bad... Oh! oh! I'm not in a bad mood at all! Holy shit! Oh, they're kicking ass! God damn! Okay, well fuck. Now, I mean... It's weird, but, like, now I don't feel as bad about not watching it, because, like, holy shit, we're, like, kind of stomping. Jeez Louise. I think, in Spanish, more of the catch quotes are rhymes than puns. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how puns would work in other languages, because often puns are, like, the result of wordplay. And, I mean, if you don't know words in another language, then you wouldn't really know how to do wordplay, would you? Do you watch NFL? I do watch NFL. The only sport, major North American sport that I don't watch is NBA. Capitals? I mean, dude, you're doing all right as well. You're doing all right as well. The only major the only major North American sport I don't watch is the NBA, and that's only because Pittsburgh never had the city that I grew up near. 
never had an NBA team, so real in like nobody in my family really cares for it as well. And that's how like oh jeez, it's gonna be tricky with two of them right next to each other. I never had a, a NBA team in Pittsburgh, so that combined with the fact that really nobody in my family likes the NBA kind of makes it so that I never really bothered with it. Okay. How is that fish not getting scared? Let's go! All right. I think that's actually 70. Oh, let's go. I'm so glad I don't have to just... Uh, I'm glad that I don't have to come back on tomorrow just to catch a lobster and then not do anything. But that took a while, man. City Folk only had eight fish. And most of them came pretty easily, but the surgeon fish and the lobster, mostly the surgeon fish, was worse. I don't know. Either way, pause the timer and say thank you all for watching today. I very much appreciate it. I'm going to be live again tomorrow, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. GMT, 7 a.m. AEST. Huh, for more Animal Crossing, we're going to move on to New Leaf tomorrow, so I have to get that all set up. Fun. 70 out of 93. And maybe if I can get Animal Forest working, then I'll work on that as well tomorrow. But, um, yeah. Do some New Leaf tomorrow. <laughs>